FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. new day here at Achanda and we have got a fabulous day ahead of us. Very excited for this hour because we've got Mill Shop Online with some amazing fabrics. We've got a brilliant one day special, we've got happy hour shows coming up later on with Crafty Devils, we've got Pergamano all set up in the studio. We've got a fabulous day ahead of us. Natasha's going to be in a little bit later on with a bit of sewy fun as well. So do settle yourself down. I do hope we can keep you company for the majority of the day. Now, of course, talking Mill Shop online, I'm not going to be on my own. Via the powers of Skype, we are going to have the lovely Joe a little bit later on. But we've got a fabulous hour. So do jump ahead and have a little look. We've got loads of faux leather, as you can see the details on your screen there. We've got some beautiful kind of velvet feel fabrics. Very much an upholstery feel to the show, I think, today. Um, so if you've got any um, sagging cushions or anything that needs a little bit of a makeover, this is definitely the hour for you. And do jump ahead and have a little look. Got some amazing cushion pads as well. Um, kind of big, huge cushions. So if you're into those big, comfy cushions, do jump ahead. We've got some fabulous deals on those. We've got the traditional scissors from Mill Shop Online. And we have got some beautiful fabric. Shall I show you these? Because we've got the beautiful leatherette detailed on your screen. Got two different options with regard to this particular one um, and it is a brilliant weight with regard oh sorry my hand's right in the screen I couldn't figure out where the camera was because it all looks very much the same but have a little look at this whoops Daisy don't lean on the board Halo this is beautiful absolutely gorgeous it's got such a softer do you know what this reminds me of stroking my little worm um, my, my little dog's tummy you know that velvet feel that you get that kind of lovely little kind of kid leather feel that you get with their tummies it is just like that 
Strange description, I grant you, but there you go. It's a Haleyism. Now, of course, you mentioned the lovely Joe, um, Joe Douglas from Mail Shop Online, and we've got him with us via the powers of Skype. You look like you're sitting in a bucket there, Joe. <laughs> I do, don't I? Yeah. I've just woken up from the purple bucket. Is that where Here you I am. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. How are you, Hayley? It's been a long time. It has been a long time. We need to have a catch up. I've been drooling over your fabrics here. They're absolutely amazing. But I, I, lo I love your description. You're stroking your your the tummy of your pet. I but think it's know, brilliant. You know, do you really, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that will relate to that. So uh, that's yeah, that's <laughs> the way that I, I see it. Now I can see that you've got your purple bucket there. So tell me, what what's going on with this purple bucket? So we've got yeah, we've got the lovely purple bucket. Obviously, it's full of goodies as usual. So oh. any purchase within the hour, I mean, there's some amazing fabrics in here. Big pieces, small pieces, quilting pieces, great for bag making. But they're not just small pieces. If I grab a piece, okay. this bit looks interesting. I Ooh. mean, there's all sorts in there. So look oh. at this. I mean, oh, my goodness. this is amazing. Oh, I remember yeah, right, us right, having right. this on a show and thinking what a fabulous print it is. Oh, those are quilt yeah, blocks ready to be made. Cool. So, I love the purple bucket, as lots of people do now, and they're sharing pictures of it, but it is one of those things that I can share a bit of love back, and we're starting to see pictures coming through, Hayley, of people getting their bu their buckets, or their box, I should say, because I do have to keep my purple bucket. Well, you're very attached to that bucket. You're not going to let the bucket go, are you? But the content's you No, not mind. at all. And you're right, social <laughs> media, I'm seeing loads of people who are thrilled when they receive the contents of the bucket there, um, and it's the sheer volume of fabric that you're getting in there. So what do we need to do? How can we get involved with this purple bucket? So very, very simple, Hayley. If we make a purchase within the hour, and I think about sort of... 40, 45 minutes in, you'll pick out a lovely name of somebody who's lucky enough randomly to win this lovely purple bucket. Fabulous. Oh, well, it couldn't be simpler than that because we are sport for choice during this hour. I think the hard thing <laughs> is to stop adding things into your basket during this hour, I must admit. And we've got some demonstrations coming up from you a little bit later on. I'm looking at these and I'm thinking very much kind of upholstery and home decor kind of projects. Is that what you've got in mind? Yeah, definitely, Hayley. It's something a little bit different. I wanted to bring her onto her chamber and show everybody. Obviously, at the mill shop, we do all sorts of fabrics for upholstery, for curtain making blinds, obviously crafting. Uh, but it is all about that education. And I know you love your fabrics. And I oh, thought yeah. this is great that you're there because it is so different with the very, very luxurious velvets. But those faux leverettes, very unusual very super soft i absolutely love them perfect lovely um so uh, we've got loads and loads to share with you which i'm going to take the lovely people through so we're going to have a little look at your videos later on have we just got one show with you today joe you have indeed i'm afraid no. nice early show for me today so what a it's um, yeah only one today oh that's a travesty we'll have to take Take that in hand, I'm sure. Well, thank you for joining me so bright and early. And, and thank you for being so generous again with the Purple Bucket during this show. So, uh, yeah, I'll say goodbye for you for just for now. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have a catch-up soon. OK, Hayley, lovely to see you. And, guys, please take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye, Joe. We certainly will see Joe very, very soon as well. And he always brings us quality. You know that. So I'd better show you everything that he's bought. So back to this fabulous leather. I just can't stop stroking. It's amazing. Two different, um, obviously, choices with these. As you can see, they've got that gorgeous um, slate and steel featuring with these ones. This one, obviously, the darker being the slate. This one being the uh, the steel. Um, and on the screen there, it looks like you've got quite a, a dark grain running through there. It's just the way that light catches it. So it's, it's a beautiful you can see that it's a very malleable fabric as well so don't think of it being quite stiff and quite hard to work with you're basically looking at just a thicker fabric and this has got um, a kind of a backing it's very clever backing because when you look at the backing it almost like you are work, looks like you're working with real suede very clever um, so a lovely one to work with just rubbing, rubbing my hand up and down it doesn't feel as if there's an actual pile to it we'll talk about pile when we get to the velvets so I don't think you have to be concerned about direction of this one and laying out your pieces but a fabric 
fabulous fabric and brilliant value for money. So $9.99 if you fancy getting hold of yours. Details are there on your screen, 588038. And as you will find with many of the fabrics that we're looking at here, Joe does send these to you as a complete piece. So if you have got a project in mind where you're going to need a full meter or meter and a half, then just increase your quantities and Joe will send those to you. So lovely, we'll come back to those ones, I'm sure, but 588038 if you're wanting them. Now velvets, how many velvets would you like to choose from? We've got an abundance of velvet here, going right the way from this gorgeous kind of salmon uh, tone, right the way all of these are included. Absolutely beautiful. Now you're going to get a half meter, um, your traditional 54 inch wide, and you can see you've got some beautiful um, colors and weights and textures with these. Um, you've got that kind of dusky pink there, perfect maybe for a bedroom. You've got the luxurious gold there with a, literally a shimmer running through that. Very traditional kind of burgundy. Always reminds me of cinema seats, those in the good old days. Um, a lovely kind of lime green. Those two together look fabulous. And bring all three of those, and wow, what a combination that you've got. Of those stripes in there. Stripes continue with that gorgeous kind of berry red that you've got there and this is a fabulous one. Almost like a crocodile skin done in a, almost like a velvet velour feel to it. So absolutely beautiful and that's cool of course your teal there now if you are going for any of these if you're going for one of the solid velvets as i'd call them just be aware that you will have a, a pile with many many velvets so all you need to do is rub your hand over it you'll be able to feel straight away if it's got a certain um, kind of flow to it so rub it your hand up and down if it feels completely smooth and then the pile is fine that way but then just run it run it horizontally as well and you'll often find like a little bit of a resistance you know when you've got one of those kind of de-linter fabric um, brushes how when you push it one way you can feel rough and one way you feel smooth that's similar to what you're going to get with your, vel um, your velvet selection here so all you need to be aware of is it's a bit like a, a pattern that you have to make it make sure that all your pieces are cut directionally so if you are cutting an anything out with shape or you're wanting to make sure that everything flows the same way just make sure that when you stroke all the individual pieces that the, the, um, the pile is all going in one direction that's only with your planes. Um, with your stripes, obviously, you're going to see those. You're going to be using them horizontally or vertically, whichever way you choose. Um, um, but again, you will find a little bit of a pile within those velvet stri um, stripes there. So it's just something to be aware of. Because Can I just show you one of these pieces here? So you've got, the, obviously, your dark velvet there. When you brush it one way, you can see how it uh, all goes smoothly. Brush it. If I rub my finger, I'll try and do it, rubbing my finger through the middle there. Can you see how you've almost got like a finger mark there? That is the pile that's doing that. I've not got dirty fingers guess not this morning anyway and then if you move it the other way it's almost like erasing that it's a smooth finish there so just be aware of the way that the pile flows but other than that fill your baskets because you've got a brilliant value bundle there 9.99 whichever of those you choose to go for and again if you want to multiply them then please do 129.680 now something that we're moving on to now is flyer fire not flyer fire retardant fabric so again straight away we start thinking about upholstery this time we're looking at a leatherette finish and it's a good weight leatherette this one so very durable um, it has got kind of like a fabric backing on it I'm just going to bring the grey forward so as you can see that on the back there so you can see you've got that um, it's almost like a, a stockinette that's attached to the back so some machines I know I've been recently working with PVC um, with the, the bag show that I bought you. Um, you some machines you'll find that if you are stitching that and that is in touch with your stitch plate then you might find that you get a little bit of resistance you can get um, the kind of plates that will sit on your machine that will allow you to, to stitch with that if you have any problem just a, a bit of tissue paper underneath that will make it easier to flow through but most times you will find that you'll be doubling that over so you have got um, your fabric actually touching the bed of your sewing machine and also the underside of your foot to some people like I came in the gallery I, I've just turned into a Martian and I'm talking in tongues and it means nothing to you but if you're a sewer you'll know exactly what I'm talking about so you've got some fabulous fabric choices with regards to colors here um, half meter again 9.99 brilliant value for money five three six three zero seven don't be afraid to stitch this through you we're using your sewing machines it is a thicker fabric so don't go at a, a rate of knots when you're stitching it my suggestion was to uh, would be to uh, kind of stretch out your, your stitch as well don't do it at 2.5 which is your standard take it out perhaps maybe four some uh, like the, the stitching you'd use for denim 
just a little bit longer because it just makes it easier for your machine. And do keep an eye on your needle. A leather needle would be perfect to work with this. There you go. A few little tips from me. Um, 536-307. Fill your boots. As I say, some beautiful colours there. Lots to choose from. So, yeah, pop those into your basket. Now, you will find that you'll need some fundamentals when you're actually doing upholstery work. And that's what Joe's done with this little bundle because you've got a little kind of cushion pad. And I think Joe's going to be using some of these essentials within his demonstration. So you've got your lovely square there. I'm not sure of the actual size of this, actually. I'm guessing it's going to be about an 18-inch pad, but I will get Kim to confirm that just to make sure. Just give me the thumbs up on that one. Um, it's an inch thick as well, as you can see there, so it's got a good, good foam. I mean, look at that. That's got a lovely bounce back on there. Beautiful. You're also, in addition, going to get some additional pieces that are going to help you with your upholstery. Things like your wadding, which is lovely for you to place on top because that's going to give you kind of that sponginess if you're using it as a cushion that you're going to put your bottom on. You want it to be as comfy as possible. So that is going to give you that kind of lovely comfy feel with there. You've got a good generous piece of that in there. You've also got your burlap in here or your hessian, um, if you're wanting to call it that, which is a nice one to have as well because that's going to give you durability. Quite often that will go on the underside of your project. And you've also got your calico there, which you can put on top of that um, hessian if you want to. Um, flame retardant with your calico as well. And incidentally, we have got more of the flame retardant calico available if you're wanting it by the metre, so to speak, or two metres, I think we've got within the bundle here. Um, it, um, yeah, you can see it's here. Oh, it's a metre. It is a metre. 56 inches wide, so slightly larger than your standard width. 9.99, a fabulous value for money. So if you are into your upholstery, then that, that is definitely one to go for. The flame retardant element obviously being key for that. Now, Mill Shop Online Scissors. Oh, we've only got one pair that I can share with you. These are fabulous. It's a nice one, though, because usually when we've got these in stock, we've got your 8-inch and we've got your 12-inch, which, and then we've also got your 10-inch. So it's kind of like, well, which one do I start with? That's why the 10-inch is the perfect one for you to start with, because it's sitting in the middle of the two other sizes. Because I've got the, the 8 and the 12, um, ironically. Um, but with these, they've kind of got a blade that's long enough to work on your larger projects. So if you're kind of cutting up your fabric into more manageable size pieces, 10-inch, perfect. If you're working on a smaller project, then again, you might be usually going to your 8-inch because they've got a smaller length. With these, again, they're going to be perfect for those smaller projects. So 24.99, really good value for money 279 at 324 um, three, um, and they're just so comfortable to use I use them all the time and they've just got that really satisfying sound when you're actually cutting through your fabric Kim in my ear has just gone oh because it is it's one of those it's like oh Oh, that sounds good. Um, they're £21 and 24p if you wanted to get a hold of those and you're a freedom member so two four um, did I say 24p 24.99 or what was the freedom members price 21 pounds and 24p there you go i don't know if i said that or not I don't listen to myself half the time um two seven nine three two four if you want to know now the cushion pads that i was telling you about these are they're huge but i love them aren't they fabulous these are so oh no a continental pillow i don't know actually that sounds very very posh continental pillow so it's a continental pillow square then. I thought they were more long. Oh, okay. Well, it could be a continental pillow. I don't know. I'm being, I'm being taught. I'm being educated. What I do know is these are like big cushions that would fabulous. They'd look fabulous on a bed, wouldn't they? Amazing. Brilliant if you've got a little bit of a lounge area and you're wanting some good cushions. They've got polyester in there as well. So the polyester aspect will give you that bounce back with these. So if you fancy making some really good cushions, good cushions that you're really going to kind of sumptuous and fall into, then these are also very good for a pillow fight. So 682181, if you're wanting to get hold of these, pop those ones into your basket. I'm never very good at pillow fights. Mm. Yeah, I always come off worse, but there we go. Um, now, of course, if you, I do feel like I've suddenly gone very small with these. Um, if you do want to do your upholstery projects, you do need to invest in a, a, a fabulous um, staple gun, and that's what we've got here. You will see that um, Joe will use this, I'm sure, within his demonstration. So, obviously, you've got your staple gun. It does come with some little staples in there, and you also get an additional pack of staples, so you can be really good to go. You've got loads within there, and two different sizes as well, because, of course, the length of of the staple will depend on the the wood or the, the 
kind of a work surface you're going into that's the key thing with these um, you can actually use it for your tax as well so if you do want to invest in some of your little metal tax then you can use these as well um, 24 pounds and 99 pence the thing that astounded me with this one is it's so easy to use because sometimes you think like you've got to stand up and you've got to put a lot of weight into it not with this one literally very light finger touch with this one to get those staples in 909-986 if you're wanting to get hold of that and then something else that's going to help you get your fabric in place place is your adhesive your spray adhesive you can see their mill shop online branded so you know it's quality big can 500 mil in there and there's a freedom member 11.99 this is one of those items you should have in your little your little book your little notepad that you're keeping your essentials um, listed in this is definitely one that you need to add to it so if you fancy yours 180.859 now one more bundle to share with you if you've not seen our seven day savers already then this is one that you certainly need to consider um, it's a brilliant deal you've got three half meters within it and look at the price on your screen you saving a whopping great 19 pounds with this one 10 pounds and 99 pence being the price i'm just going to pop those there can i do can i do a quick bit of personal shopping kimber i'll be back have a look at those i'll be back in a moment um because when i do my personal shopping what i do like to do is bring in other fabrics that are going to work alongside what we have got um, coming up for you and there's loads actually shana's looking at me she's scowling i'm sorry shana i'll put it right afterwards i've brought in some of the fabrics that we've got on the show because let me just put these down so you've got your seven day saver details on your screen what about your leatherette your leatherette you've got your two different tones of your leatherette so here we've got uh, i probably mm, i'm not too sure about that one it's a bit creamy a bit yellowy i'm going to take that one away but that one definitely that is a definite must have that would work with it that's that gorgeous chocolate brown if you're going down the velvet route then we've got another one there that would work with that. It's almost like a minky tone that would work. So do consider some of those additional fabrics alongside your seven day savers. And you really are going to get an amazing bundle of fabrics for your money there. But if you're wanting this one, 554-389 is your item number. And you're just looking at £10.99. pence. So Joe has got some hints and tips and his first demonstration coming up. So settle down and have a little look at this. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online, and I thought I'd share you a lovely little upholstery project that's simple to do at home using some of the kit that we use every day at the Mill Shop Online. So this is my lovely chair from at home, okay, and we're going to make this nice and fresh using some of the kit that's provided from the Mill Shop Online. We've got a beautiful foam here. This is our one-inch foam. This is the base of my seat itself. This is one of those projects that a lot of people will find that, they're scared of but don't be scared so the initial thing to do is our template itself we're just going to use our scissors to score it all the way around there we go okay it doesn't have to be perfect because we won't see these edges we're going to cut these out now whether you've got the mill shop 10 inch or the 12 inch scissors both scissors will cut through the foam very easily there we go so one cut through we'll use that for a project no doubt We'll turn that round, another cut across, there we go, and the last cut. So you can see straight away we're trying to get the shape of the actual seat. Like I said, don't worry about the rough edges, okay? I'm going to pop them there. We've got our spray adhesive, we've got our panel from our chair itself, and we've got our foam. So what we're going to do is a very, very light spray of glue on the actual wood itself. And our foam straight on there okay just line it up make sure it's nice and central okay give it a light push down you can see how firm the actual foam is okay and straight away you can see that's stuck okay so what we're going to do now is give it some shape because it needs some shape we want a nice round edge again don't worry about if it's a little bit rough but we're just going to trim the corners off very simple all the way around to give it that shape we want a nice curved edge okay and this will help when we actually put the actual fabric on itself there we go last one I generally find that I leave the back edge square because that goes to the back of your chair unless you've got an open chair then we would trim that side as well there we go last one okay just make sure on our front corners just like so because we don't want it extra foam when we're pulling our fabric in. So instantly you can see the first layer is complete. 
What I like to do is give it a little bit of depth, give it a bit of shape. So we're going to use some of the wadding. Okay, so this comes in our lovely upholstery set that we do at the Mill Shop Online. We're going to cut this to size. All these little bits, you know me, that it'll always be for crafting. So at some point that will get used, so we'll keep that there. Okay, just lining that up. Do exactly the same, so we're just cutting it to the same size as the actual foam itself. There we go. Okay, one little snip on that side. And then we get our lovely spray adhesive again to hold it all in place. We're just layering up, so we're building all the layers. So we've got the base of our actual chair, the foam and the wadding. Another little spray of... And we're going to pop that on the middle. There we go. So again, we'll just show you that's nice and stuck. It's ready for action. So the next layer is our top layer, so is our fabric. We've got the beautiful new Toho Chanda leverette range from the Mill Shop Online. So this leverette that we've actually got here is an FR leverette. And FR stands for fire retardant. So it's got a coating, so it's suitable for domestic use. So you can feel safe that your upholstery project will be safe in your home. Okay, so we're going to lay the leverette down. Nice and simple, and we're going to turn our pad upside down. I always say that we need to have approximately three inches all the way around, okay? Gives you enough to actually pull the actual leverette in. The difference with this leverette is it's very durable and it will stretch. You've got a lot of give on it, okay? So I'm just going to trim that off there because there's no point in wasting that lovely piece of leverette. I'll make myself a new handbag, a new wallet, okay? We're going to turn that round. Do exactly the same there, so approximately about three inches. It's one of those projects that you, if you had a quote, it can be very expensive for upholstery. So doing it yourself does save, save a lot of money, but also it's just that enjoyment of actually achieving something at the end. So what we're going to start at the bottom end here, I'm going to get my lovely staple gun. Pop one in the middle. And then this line here, we want to keep it nice and parallel all the way along. So I'm going to put a few more staples in there, making sure this line is nice and parallel. There we go. We're going to spin it round. This is where we start to stretch it. Always flip it over and have a look. Make sure it's nice and stretched. You will find with the leverette that you can really give it a good tug. So it's nice and tight. We'll put the first staple in. Okay. And exactly the same here. This line needs to be parallel. Okay, so we're going to pull that up as we work. There we go. And that one. There we go. So now we're working on our sides. So this is the, the crucial bit. That a lot of people say there's a fold. Which way shall I do it? With the leverette, because it's so flexible, we can literally stretch it in and get rid of any creases on the face. The creases go underneath. So it doesn't matter how many creases we have underneath, as long as we work it, there we go. So we're going to pop that one in there. So we have no crease on the actual bottom itself. It's crucial. There's no right or wrong way. Have a play with it. We're going to do exactly the same in this corner. Work our way along, making sure we've got plenty of stretch there. We can cut the extra off when we're finished. I love using the staple gun, as you can see, I get carried away. Okay, so there we go. If we pull it in, you'll see a curve there. So we're going to pull that out, stretch it a little bit more. Okay, nice and simple. There we go. And on the corners, tuck it in until you're happy with it. There's plenty of give on the actual leverette. Okay, that side there. So we'll do exactly the same on this side. Tucking that in, getting rid of all those pleats in there because we don't want to see any lines. Okay, pull that one in there. The beauty about the staple gun as well, because it is lightweight, it's not too heavy. So if you struggle, sometimes I struggle with carpal tunnel release on both my wrists. So this is great because the lightness of it really works well. Last corner in. Again, just making sure that we haven't got any creases on the top edge. All those creases need to be underneath. Like so. There we go. Just have a little look. One more in there. One for luck, I think. There we go. So instantly there, we can start to see the shape of it. So we're going to trim the extra off. 
I'm going to get my big scissors. And this will also show you if you need any extra staples in there, then we can put some extra staples in there just to make sure. We'll get rid of the extra. Okay. Pop that over there. And the same on this side. It is one of those projects that sometimes people feel a little bit scared about doing. But have fun with it, enjoy it, and you will, at the end, have a great finished result. So, it looks a bit untidy. Okay, we do need another staple in there. So, within our upholstery little set that we do, you will have a little piece of hessian as well. Okay, so we're going to finish the backing off with a hessian. It is one of those a lot of people say to me, well, we're not going to see it. But I'd rather a nice finish just in case. Okay, so we're going to cut that to size. So I'm going to staple one corner in and then we'll cut it to size. There we go. And pull that one down there. So all it is, it just covers up all the little curves and little creases at the back. Nice little snip down there. We'll do exactly the same on this side. There we go. And then one more cut on the front. So we're just going to staple in that one there, just to keep it in place while we cut it. There we go. Last cut. Perfect. Last few staples, just to finish it off and tidy up the edges. Very satisfying little project. There we go. So instantly we've transformed our pad to a brand new leverette pad that we're going to get our chair. I'm going to pop it in and then I'm going to lift it up and show you and see if it fits nicely. There we go. Within five minutes we've created our bespoke very own leverette covered upholstered chair. Thank you very much. How amazing was that chair? We'll all be skip riding now, I think, to see all those um, kind of little bits and pieces that we can recover and give a new look to. A little bit of paint there, as you see, um, and then uh, recovering that seat pad. And there you go, brand new chair. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, you can go back and watch that, that little tutorial time and time again uh, if you want to hit rec record on any of the repeats. But, of course, you have got the ability to go back and rewind and watch it for up to 60 days. So you could invest in any of these. If you've got any chairs around it, and maybe you've never, ever upholstered anything, Joe's just shown you how simple it is there. Just get hold of your fabric, get hold of your gun that John was... Um, John? Who's John? <laughs> that Joe was working with there. And then go back and watch and rewind and just follow it. Just like a tutorial, just as Joe showed us. So that is the key thing. And it's so, so simple. That's what Joe does. Very rarely will he bring a sewing machine into his demo because he makes it achievable. And that's the key thing. Everything is achievable with Mill Shop Online. Now, I'm back to stroking my little do doggy tummy. Thinking of my little, my, my little Molly, my little piglet. We call her piglet as well because she's got a curly tail, just like a little pig, like a little quirks on. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, and this is so, so, I wish you could put your hands through the TV and feel it. It is literally like a, like a kid leather or um, a gorgeous, like a moleskin suede, if I was referring to something like that. And this is something, you're quite right, though. Um, I came there in the gallery. She's saying she, I'd have a jacket out of this, and it'd be fabulous for a jacket. It's got a little bit of kind of a sponginess feel to it as well, so a really comfortable fabric to wear. Would suggest that you do line it with something, just so it looks nice when you take your jacket off. But um, it is a lovely fabric to work with. And this is going to look beautiful, actually, on a seat pad as well. Um, again, the leatherette we were looking at, perfect. If you've got kids, you could wipe this down. I don't know, you might know what older kids with this one. A few little jammy fingers on this one, you might get a few marks. But I don't know, perhaps the, the, the marks will lift out. We can have a little word with um, Joe a little bit later on, because he's going to come back when we're doing the announcement. Because, of course, you place an order during this hour for anything, whether it's just half a metre for 9 99 you are in with a chance of winning the contact of that fabulous bucket that Joe showed us at the top of the hour. So you've got choices with this one. You've got your gorgeous steel. I don't think I've stopped stroking this, have I? As I've been going. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got your slate being your darker grey there and of course your steel being that lighter grey tone there. And it really is so soft. You wait till you get this back. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you receive this. 588038 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Next ones we've got velvet. 
huge selection with these so it's kind of one of those whatever tickles your pickle with regards to these really you've got some very traditional um colors gorgeous salmon pink as you can see they're gorgeous burgundy very traditional when you're looking at your velvet lighter tones as well so if you're looking maybe you've got an ottoman in your bedroom maybe a blanket box you're thinking of making a cushion pad for then these would be absolutely fabulous things like those wicker chairs lots of us do like the kind of the loom loom look chairs as in the, uh, in our um, bedroom so yeah those would work with it like this one the um the lighter tone here it's got a bit of a, a kind of shimmer to it and almost like a a, a shantung kind of uh, kind of like a um a, a a, a pull through it when I say a pull I don't mean it's been pulled but you can see that you kind of got like a grade there can you see it's almost like a little corduroy little groove in there beautiful love the mink again a very traditional one that's going to fit beautiful in any home isn't it got a very classy look um oh you see we've got our Kimberly now she's she's personal shopping for you here those two together they look beautiful don't they absolutely gorgeous um, then you've got the gold the gold has got a lovely shimmer to it i mean this is a very classy look very luxurious again i'm thinking of something again a bedroom chair oh that would look amazing next to a dressing table oh you'd be in the lap of luxury wouldn't you beautiful can you use these for curtaining as well um you could use them for um i'd probably potentially a roman blinds just be careful because you don't want to have too many folds with them there because of it to being too bulk bulky um, but um, yeah you could use them for your drapes as well um the burgundy touched on that one i love this one i mean these two together it's like pistachio and chocolate it's like chocolate chip ice cream that one isn't it pistachio ice cream with a little bit of chocolate chip oh nice the lines running through these are stripes you've got three choices with your stripes there you've got your chocolate you've got your pistachio and of course that gorgeous red all of those work well whether you're picking out certain ones together um or whether you're going for um just one on its own beautiful and then the final one that you've got which i think is a really interesting one this one's quite a, a heavyweight one again it could be footstools things like that and again it, it just reminds me of crocodile skin or alligator skin something like that but it's beautiful teal tone with regards to that one they're all on the website so it's possibly the easiest way rather than me going through and naming every single one of them many of them are pretty obvious when you get onto the website anyway but of course do give me a shout if you do need to um, kind of hone in on any of those studio at achanda.com 129-680 if you'd like to take advantage of those. Four metres, then of course you can go for that. Joe will increase those if you, kind of the length and the run of those, if you increase your quantities, just to reiterate that. The leather wrap. Saw Joe working with this one a few moments ago. Um, and it's a really nice one to work with do like this you've got loads within here so this is one of those that and, and i was just saying to kim, kim with leather it might not be something that you think to yourself oh i must go and get myself for that or i like the color of that i'm going to buy that nine times out of ten i think you'll have a project in mind but of course when you come around to do your project which could be in three months time six months time whenever we might not have these here and available so i would say even if you're not ready to do your project yet but you've got something in the back of your mind then this is definitely one to go for just a half meter there you will be able to cover well you let me just pull this gray one round just to show you because when they're draped you can't see you've got a really good coverage there so it depends on the way that you're actually cutting this and if you've got kind of like the tapered off chairs that joe was showing us potentially you could actually get three cushion pads with these I'm going to go err on the size of caution and say two for certain. But things like your bag making as well. I mean, this would be fabulous. If you've got a nice tote bag pattern, then this would be brilliant because you could be creating some really kind of fashionable colours with these, really funky colours. But again, your upholstery as well. So $9.99. Um, of, course, of course, it has got that fire retardancy with it as well. So uh, it is perfect for your upholstery. And uh, yeah, 536-307 if you are wanting any of those. Beautiful. Now, a project pack. Um, that's exactly what um, Joe was looking at. Did you notice that on his counter um, when he was in his video there? And this is brilliant because you've got all the fundamentals that you need. Now, of course, if you do multiple chairs, then you will need multiples of these. And the good thing news is, because they're on the same item, but there's no additional post and packing. You've got your cushion pad here, which is 18 inches by one inch thick. So good kind of foam there. And good solid foam, that. So, I mean, you can see that's bouncing back brilliantly, isn't it? Hardly making any impression at all. Fabulous. Um, and again, it's just a nice base and a lovely, comfy one to, to sit on, that one, nice and firm. You've also got your hessian, which, of course, is useful when you are doing your upholstery. You've got your foam, um, your, not foam, your um, wadding, your polyester wadding, which, again, you can layer and put on there. And Joe does all of these different elements that we're sharing with you, especially things like your hessian, um, your um, wadding, and also your calico. You can get hold of larger quantities of these. This is kind of like a project pack. So if you are thinking of something that you don't feel that these people 
pieces are going to um, be big enough for, do jump on and have a little look at some of his essentials. So a good size piece for your wadding, that's going to more than cover your cushion pad. Similarly with your fire retardant calico, you've got a good size piece there as well. All of these coming to you for just $14.99 and we have got the fire retardant calico um, available by the half meter, sorry the meter should I say with these. Um, and again it's another one that to uh, keep a note of the item number because this is a useful one to keep when you need to keep referring back to it. 9 99 is going to get you the whole meter on that one, 56 inches wide. But again, if you do want to go for a continual one, you can do. Please do. Scissors. Now, I can't endorse these scissors more. They are fabulous. Um, you can see here they're 10 inches, so that's a really good size when you need 10 inches worth of cutting area. Then this is the way to do it. Nice in between it because you've got the 8 inches and you've also got the 12 inches um, with regards to scissors that will sit on either side. We've only got the 10 inches to share with you at the moment. And this is nice. If you just wanted to try out a pair of the scissors, then the 10 inch one is the, definitely the one that I'd recommend because it's a bit like the Goldilocks one. Not too long not too short um, so it's right in the middle just right and that is the key thing with this one 24 pounds and 99 pence 279 324 if you want them they've got a really good feel to them I mean that you can hear that the actual blades um, obviously you, you're gonna be using these a lot you've got rubberized handles there so they're very comfortable and they're good whatever size of hand you've got as well because I know there's a lot of gents out there that are doing their sewing and uh, yeah if you've got larger hands then you're not gonna have a problem with those really good apertures for your thumb and your fingers very comfortable to work with um, and you need that if you're cutting through multiple layers of fabric you need it to be comfortable I've had blisters on my hands from scissors before but um, not with these 21 pounds and 24 pence um, at 279 324 if you want to know and then your cushion pads I mean these are beautiful lovely huge size as you can see 24 inches we're thinking continental pillows although I don't know what a continental pillow is it's like a square pillow you put on your bed, apparently, so there you go. We just call them cushions in Redditch, but there you go. That's, a, that's if you're posh like our Kim. Now, if you're wanting your 24-inch polyester cushion pad, they are so, so soft and comfy. Again, you've got a lot of bounce back on these ones. So, again, that's the thing that you, you want, isn't it? You want to have that lovely, comfy feel absolutely amazing with these of course the fabrics that we've got are going to make some beautiful cushions i might have a play around with some of those fabrics when we go into the next video just to give you an idea of how this might look if you're using some of the fabrics that we've got but 10.99 is your price on this one um, you can go for multiples if you wanted to same item number so it's not going to cost you any additional post and packing but there you go details on your screen 682181 if you are wanting those but of course if you are doing an upholstery project like joe was doing you saw how easy it was for him to uh, get those staples in place with this staple gun now it's a, a mill shopper online one um rolson a fabulous brand with regard to um kind of diy and this is brilliant because it is very very easy for you to use that trigger really simply just pull that down and it will put those staples into whatever your project is you do get staples with it and you've got actually um, a, a refill of those as well two different sizes you've got your eight mil and your six mil so you're covered for all opportunities and if you do want to use it with a little tax that you can invest in then you can see there you can pop the tax in as well so you can use it in a couple of different ways almost like a little nail gun then 19.99 year if you're a freedom member brilliant price on that one so but yeah pop that one into your basket 909-986 and then the adhesive spray again another fabulous must have to have whatever project you're working on brilliant with your upholstery but again if you want almost like your, your sticky pins so to speak rather than actually putting your pins in in place to position your fabrics then why not go for this one um, it's designed specifically Typically for your upholstery, so it's got a good kind of tack to it. Um, and $14.99 is your price on this one, unless you're free to remember. Another discount is price there for you at $11.99. But oh, your seven day savers, you are loving these. Rapidly approaching limited stock with regards to these. Now, you've got really good size pieces with these because you've got half meter pieces. So when we open those up, you can see you've got some gorgeous gorgeous fabrics good size piece I mean even as a scarf I mean I know it's daft but you could quite easily be using that that is very in keeping with the other fabrics that you've got in here beautiful for your home decor really good weight with regards to these as well so if you are thinking of bags tote bags canvas bags brilliant um, to work with um, and 10.99 for your half meter piece I don't know whether you'll get a continual run of these um, if you are going for the full meter so I'm going to say you're going to get cut pieces and then if it's a full piece it's a bit of a bonus isn't it and when i say a full piece i mean like a full piece of the, t the, the kind of the tartan i don't mean that they're all going to be joined together because joe's good 
but he's not that good. 554389 if you want him to get hold of these. And yet yeah, 1099 being your price, but only up until Sunday or until it sells out, which stands a chance if it's limited stock now, or rapidly approaching limited stock, should I say. Joe's back again. Um, now, it looks like he's got a little friend with him. What is he up to? Hi guys, welcome to Joe at Home. I hope you enjoyed going through the fabrics with Hayley, those beautiful velvet, obviously the leverettes there, and as you can see here, I've got a little friend, the stunning, stunning faux leverette. It's a really unusual fabric, and I'm sure Hayley's there stroking it because it's so super soft, really, really good. Unfortunately, a much to Lily's disappointment, we don't have a real pet, so a cat or a dog or anything like that. We have some goldfish, but she's got a little Dougal here, and we've made, using the faux leverette, a beautiful, big, little cushion for our little friend there. It's a 24-inch polyester pad using the faux leverette, a nice envelope cushion. So I'm going to show you now a really simple way to make these using two straight stitches down the side, just about ironing and measuring, and you can make your own for your little friend, and I'm sure you've got some real friends at home. So I'm gonna pop that to one side. I've got some of the faux leverette in the slate, so the darker one here, and I'm gonna grab my little cushion, so I've got a 16 inch polyester pad here, okay? The key I always say, although all the mill shop cushions are nice and plump, I always like it nice and tight, so I've got a 16 inch polyester pad. I will then make my cushion cover, so my envelope cushion cover, an inch shorter. So 15 inches all the way around. So it's nice and plump, a bit like the big one I showed you there. Very, very simple process. Don't be scared, have a go. If we haven't got a sewing machine, or if you break it like me, which is usual, then just get your needle and thread and we'll do a straight stitch. So all we're doing, we've measured our actual fabric itself. So I have measured this, so I have 17 inches. So my cushion pad is 16 inches. My actual fabric width is 17 inches. So I've got an inch either side. So it brings it into that 15 inches that I spoke about. So it's nice and plump. It is, Hayley will probably say this the same, a lot of sewing is about the ironing. Not so much about the sewing, but getting that ironing nice and crisp. So I folded my fabric, you can see my full width there. I folded it up and we create a little tab. So then I'm gonna fold again. I'll just hold it up so we can see there. So I folded back about two inches, which I'm gonna iron so it's down, like so. Get my little line there. I love the feel of these. They're so lovely to touch, really, really soft. Whether you're using it for yourself or for a pet, I think it looks stunning, absolutely stunning. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm gonna fold that over. We're gonna also iron this corner here, so that's nice and flat, so it's nice and crisp. Obviously, it is a thicker fabric, so just be careful. I wouldn't have the iron too hot on this because of the type of fabric it is. We don't want to ruin the fabric. Okay, so fold that over. I'm gonna bring my other end over. I'm gonna fold again, two inches at the top, so a tab there, so we're folding that over. And this is where our measurement needs to be 15 inches from top to bottom. So it gives us 17 left to right, so we've got an inch to sew down and 15 inches top to bottom. I'm never going to admit to be the best sewer in the world, but I find this is a really simple process, really easy to get a really nice little cushion. I've made some for at home as well, envelope cushions, because they're simple to do. It is a thicker fabric, so what we're going to do now is grab a few pins, okay? I'm going to put them probably about four inches in just to hold it in place. So we have a nice area that we can sew down. One in there, we'll put one in this side as well. Just keep it all in place. This is where I get all fiddly with my fingers and thumbs. Try not to get my finger there, there we go. Okay, so what we've got in fact, we'll put two more just in case. So another one there, just to hold it in place. Give yourself plenty of space to actually sew down. One, and one more for luck. So holding all those folds that we've put in and we've ironed down in place, ready for sewing. Like I said, we could hand stitch down here about an inch in. I'm gonna try the machine, fingers crossed it doesn't break. Okay, so my first, you can see there, we've got the fold there, we're gonna put it in and about an inch in, we're gonna sew literally a straight line. Obviously where you get to your folds, it's gonna be a bit tougher 
there's a lot more fabric there, so just take it steady, there's no need to rush. So we're going to do the first one in. There we go. I'm getting to my first fold, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. Just to get through there, just take it steady. We're coming up to the last fold as well, so there's a few layers going on there, so really take it steady when you're going through. There we go, right to the end. Right, so far so good. My little scissors, snip that off there. So all I've done is done a straight stitch all the way down about an inch in from the right hand side. Cut that extra off, so those pins can come out. One and two. So we'll do the exact same process on the other side. Really, really simple, really quick. Like I say, we can do this by hand as well. We're gonna pop that in. And we're going to go through again. Be careful again when the layers are all together because we've got a lot of layers going through the machine. We don't want to break the machine, which I usually do. There we go, right to the end. Nearly there. Perfect. Fingers crossed, so far so good. The machine is in one piece. So we'll take that off there, snip that off. We'll take our little pins out. Okay, so all we've done is stitch about an inch in from each side. I haven't stitched the fold, don't need to there, keeps it simple. Okay, and now what we're going to do is turn it inside out. Okay, and it's so soft, it really is. I absolutely love this fabric. You will feel, it's one of those, that if we could feel through the screen, we would do, because it is stunning. Okay, get through the corners, make sure it's all out. There we go. Take my fingers right in the corners, get all those corners out, and in the top side as well. There's one, the last corner there. Okay, so straight away, give it a little shake. You can see a really lovely envelope cushion case, ready, with two stitches, really simple. You see how quick it is? We'll grab the polyester pad now. Obviously, I've made it that 15 all the way around inches to take the 16, so it's nice and plump. I'm going to pop that in, making sure we get all the cushion into the corners. Okay, have a little bit of a wrestle. Tuck that in there. There we go. And it is lovely. All the velvets as well. It's absolutely stunning. Cushions and soft furnishings and obviously upholstery with the FR leverette and the velvets as well. They're great seat covers. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to give that a shake and then instantly we've got a beautiful faux leverette cushion in the slate lev faux leverette there to go with my, let's get him, let's get him, little Dougal back. So we've got my large one, my small one, a little Dougal there. Have a go, really, really simple. I'll send you back to Hayley now. She'll go through those lovely fabrics. Guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. I think I'm a little bit in love with um, Dougal. He's really cute, really cute. Very good. Anyway, um, we're talking about that fabulous leather, right? And these are beautiful. Joe's just reiterated how soft they are. They really are. They are amazing. And what a fabulous way of making a cushion. And so achievable. That is the key thing. Now, of course, if you've been placing your orders during this hour, potentially for the leatherette, um, then you've been, uh, popped, well, you've had your name popped into that um, kind of virtual bucket that we have of names. And we're going to be drawing a little bit of a draw. And Joe is back again with his purple bucket which of course the contents will be winging their way to somebody. How are you doing Joe? You alright? Hi Hayley. <laughs> yeah, I haven't used anything from the purple bucket. I was tempted to, but right. it is lovely and full. All these lovely fabrics in there and I wish everybody all the luck to try and get the lovely contents there. Well, this is it. So uh, before we get into that, while it's fresh in my head, you were uh, working with the leather out there and I was saying how beautifully soft it is. And you're, you're a man who's had kids. Uh, and I've got kids, and I know that younger yep. kids, sometimes those kind of jammy, chocolatey fingers and faces can leave marks. Do you know much about it? Because this is, I mean, it's a beautiful fabric, but I was thinking, should it be kind of just used for maybe adult homes, or could we actually wipe this down? Do you know much about that? Well, I'd say probably in my house it's more jammy fingers and chocolate mouth for me and not my kids. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it, it is one of those fabrics, like all velvets um, in this... Like you explained as well, it's almost like a suede, 
that I would just use a damp cloth. I wouldn't get too too serious with it and you know, rough it too much because of the pile on it as well because it is super, super soft. Good tip there. So there you go. So you should be just a damp cloth and then you'll be okay. Right, let's get back to the formalities. We've got all that fabric to give away to somebody. So, Joe, um, we have got um, your bucket. Let's have a look at the bucket. What's in the bucket? Because this is all going to Mary. Mary, congratulations. Mary Wallace. Well done. Well done, Mary. That's brilliant. This is coming to you in the next few days. Enjoy. Yes, I'm sure she will. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank, thanks for your generosity. Now, are you going anywhere, Joe? Can we hang on to you for the next few minutes? You fancy no, you can chat? hang on to me. That's okay. Fabulous. Right. So, um, of course, I've asked my question now with regards to the leatherette. So I'm going to tick that one. The details on your screen if you do want in your leatherette. And am I right in thinking that if people want to go for continual runs of these, they'll be able to go for a full metre and so on? Indeed, yeah. Uh, on a fabric like that, I'll always cut it a continuous length because it's one of those in the past that I've bought fabrics and it's frustrating when you get two pieces when you want that bigger piece and you can sort it for different projects. Well, um, exactly. So there you go. You heard it from the man himself. So uh, 588038, if you want in that, increase the quantities, as again, if you do want your longer pieces. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at 54 inches wide and a metre piece with regards to that, which you can do a lot with, as Joe's just shown us. Now, there's lovely velvets that Joe's just been re re referring to. I mean, we've got loads of these. Have you got a favourite amongst these, Joe? Uh, my favourite has to be the teal, I'm afraid. It is a nice one. I love one. That, that. Like you were saying, like a crocodile skin effect. Yeah. It is so, it's so different. Um, I think, I mean, you imagine a bag made out of that one. Oh, gosh, Ailey. yeah. Done it. Looks amazing. And of course, it's a nice one that if you wanted to bring in a contrast, you could bring in um, quite a steely grey with that one if you wanted to, um, or even a black with that one. I must admit, yeah, I do. Definitely. Or even the rose pink, maybe, Ooh, just to yeah. give that contrast. Nice contrast, yeah. I do like the striped one, though. That's got a really classy look to it. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Something a little bit different. Mm. And it's, I knew full well that you would love stroking those velvets, Hayley. That's why <laughs> you know me when too I saw well. you doing the show. <laughs> they've got, they've got they've kind of my hand marks all over them now. There is a method in my madness, because, of course, if I'm doing this, then nobody else can have them, can they? You're just going to have to leave them for me. <laughs> no, exactly it. You know me, Hayley. You're more than welcome. <laughs> oh, bless you. But, I mean, the choices that you've got with this, I mean, it's astounding the range that you've brought to us. And I love the way that you've brought such a fabulous palette. There's going to be some something here for every home decor no definitely yeah and it is one of those it's an unusual fabric and if you're scared don't be scared because it is usable whether it is for soft furnishings bag making and let's like say um, if you wanted to do a blind then don't put too many folds in it it's still usable as well so it is a great fabric that's it and if you are nervous perhaps mind you any of them to, to be honest they're all good weight so you're not going to have a problem with any of them probably the heaviest of them is the one that we were talking of with the teal but there's not a lot in it to be fair but of course details on your screen there with regards to your velvet one two nine six eight zero now of course joe was working with the faux leatherette um fire a retardant with regards to these um and again perfect for your home decor um with these i mean we can sew with these as well can't we joe i was talking about the fact that you've got the fabric almost like the stockinette on the back that makes it nice and easy to stitch with yeah no it's good and to be honest as well it does even on the leatherette side it does go through quite comfortably even on my small machine and um, i think the best thing about the leatherette is that it is stretchy that it has got a lot of give so when you saw me do the upholstery but also if you were going to make a bag or something as well it does give so you can stretch it a lot of leverettes you find that are a bit too stiff and you can't work with, but this is lovely, lovely and durable. That's a good point. I didn't actually check out the stretchability on this one, and it is brilliant. Um, nice one to sew with, of course. Don't use pins when you're working with leatherette because you'll put little marks in there. Now, I had another question with regards to something else that we've shown our lovely viewers, your seven-day saver here, which has been incredibly popular. Um, if they go for multiples, will they get continual runs of these, or is it already pre-cut? Always a continuous cut on those ones, Hayley, for you. I love that. <laughs> and the scissors as well. Don't forget those scissors you can get from us here as well that Joe um, is always using. Joe, thank you. Goodbye for this hour. Hopefully you're back again very soon. Yeah, I will be back soon, guys. Take, take care. And Hayley, take care as well. See you soon. See you Bye. soon. And again, thank you for your generosity. So there goes Joe. Um, do keep your eyes and ears peeled for your, um, obviously your shows with one, uh, Mill Shop Online. But do get hold of your seven-day saver. It's been incredibly popular, rapidly approaching limited stock. You could miss out on this one if you're not careful. I'll see you a little bit later on.
So we're back with a one-day special, lovely Leone. Um, she's not only presenting, but she's demonstrating in this hour as well. Pink Fresh one-day special. Um, oh, we've got a handmade by Hayley coming up, which I think is actually Crafty Devils. And then we've got Faris. I don't know if that's the right menu. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family 
Hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. If you can hear that noise, I got my die cutting machine working while I'm doing this. Yay! Um, now, we launched a brand new ODS one day special from Pink Fresh last night, and this is such a gorgeous collection. I love Pink Fresh because they do bring us fresh products, they do bring us really innovative products, um, really cool products based in America, of course. Um, a team of fabulous ladies who um, produce, who design. Uh, they've got an amazing design team as well. Um, they manufacture. I mean, it is a, an all-round company. Um, and of course, with something like this, you are talking about quality products, serious quality products. Now, I'm going to talk you through what you're seeing because, uh, right, I'll be dead honest with you. When I looked at the one that you're seeing now, this is part of your stamp set. I looked at that and then I looked at the die next to it and I thought, well, that, that die, that isn't in this one day special, so where is it? It's because you build this. So if I flip this round, because, can you see that gorgeous image? From this, you are building that beautiful image. So you've got the gorgeous flowers. You've then got the actual leaves. These are already sized, so you're literally just stamping over the top. It's dead easy to do because of the actual sizing. It means you would pop your, your different inks on your, your stamps, so it allows you to build up the colour of the inks. I really like designs like this. And then, of course, you've got your stamp. Uh, sorry, you die that easily cuts those out. That allows you to get some gorgeous colours in there. Let me read some of the sentiments as well. So you've got, um, oh, this is good. Warriors lead with their hearts. I love that. That's a bit different, isn't it? You are the best. You are enough. You are an inspiration. You've got this. Do you know what these are gorgeous for? I've got a planner. I've got a planner. These are so nice for planners as well. Hang in there. Be yourself today. It's your best look. I love that. We will get through this. There's so much more ahead. We are stronger together. Really good, um, strong sentiments in there. Very positive affirmations. So you've got your stamp set. You've got the die that will match perfectly. You know that will match perfectly because these are size. You don't need to mess about cutting these up. They're the proper size to build that gorgeous flower. Next. Now this. You can tell I've been playing. I love this. This is seriously cool. Quite bizarre, actually, because um, you know I do my own products. I've done a circle one, and it, you know, when you see something, you go, oh, no, because I've, I've designed a circle one. Not quite the same, obviously, but the same kind of concept. So these stamps, these are lovely quality. If I pick these up for you, it's a mounted stamp, okay, foam mounted stamp. All these are cut intersections so that means look at this that means you can get designs like that you can change the colors how striking does that look that's well cool isn't it this is using the inks that we've got on the show i love that we've got um other stamps as well other big patterns really like that that's a favorite favorite is that um and look at that doesn't that look professional see this is what pink ink do they're pink fresh do sorry i had pink ink yesterday sorry i have so many pinks um this is what pink fresh do they they look fresh you know the colors on there they are fresh they're bright they're beautiful that little bow on there this dye will create bows so this die, now the dies as well, something to point out, you have got the magnetic sheet on there as well. So you've got the magnetic sheet with your dies. Um, that die will create those bows. So it does mean you can create your embellishments as well. Imagine cutting those out of beautiful patterns that you've created. You've also got that beautiful big tag die. Now I love these. That cut out of that pattern. That's exactly what I was going to do. And what you've got there, you see, again, you've got your magnet with all your dies. And you've got all your layers. See, that is such a nice big solid die. Really, really like that. Beautiful. Now, this is your one day special. Um, and of course, with something like this, there's so many different things you can achieve. Look at the colours you can build up. Those colours have been stamped with the ink pads that we've got on stage show. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? It's one of these shows where I want to play with everything. We've got the big dies as well on the show. 
I really, really like these. And you see that background, you can create that with the other dies that we've got on the show. Literally, there's so much that goes together. Yeah, I love this collection. It's very strong indeed. Now, two payments, £34.98. You're saving £16. So it's a massive saving there as well. 895-285, that's your item number. Now, everything's going to be dispatched to an American company, so everything's going to be dispatched from the 15th, which is amazing. And I love it because we don't see Pink Fresh everywhere in the UK, do we? I mean, I'd not seen them before. I did the, the One Day Special last time. They're really, really beautiful and really, really, um, I think, new to us, quite frankly. If you do want your One Day Special, 895-285, OK another one that's well cool now this is sorry sorry yeah you look at that for one second i'll go and get the die out of my machine because i was cutting this one <laughs> now look 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 so i'll show you and, and this is quite cool I, I didn't do it on purpose i just forgot but look so what you're doing with this die I really like these dies. So look, this has been designed so you can do your weaving. For starters, you could actually have it like that, cut another one and do your weaving. But look, if you take all of these out, like so, so you cut that out, you could then cut that out again and just place another one over the top. Or of course, you could actually start to weave these back through again cut it from different colors weave those back through this is a gorgeous die look and how easy to create a beautiful weaved pattern out of that it's one of those dies that honestly you will you will have fun with this and that's why i picked this up and started playing now what's the price on this 74.95 yeah i thought so these are big dies i don't know where i've gone and put the package in oh I've, I've, sorry folks Sauce. Oh, it might be there. Yeah, it's stuck to my card. Okay. Over 40% has gone. This is seriously cool. So you've got that one that's going to cut those fine strips. You've got that one. That's going to cut a rainbow. Sorry, 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 that one. So this... <laughs> That, hold on, where are I pointing? Oh yeah, that one. That one's going to cut your rainbow. Sorry, back to the front. <laughs> but it cuts out, you'll use the bits that it's cutting out and look, 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 that's the other bits. How cool is that? A shake a rainbow card. That's seriously cool. And then the last one, this is just cutting out your line so you can see there. So where they cut out, you can see you've got your increment there. These will cut out your lines. So again, for pattern building, these are seriously cool. Not only have you got those big three dies, you've also got two huge um, stamps, and these are gorgeous. And look at them. So you've got sending hugs and good vibes your way, beautiful big stamp, and you've got loads of extra on there which is amazing. You're a whole lot of awesome. Isn't that fabulous? And again, look at all those gorgeous elements. They've even got little birdies on there. This is such a good collection. I love this. Um, there's so good vibes. Good vibes indeed. Um, okay, you've got a massive £13 saving. £74.95. If you split your payments up today, you can get the whole lot delivered for £37.48. It's one of those you want to play with. You want to start um, die cutting. You want to start stamping. You want to get this in your stash and play. Now that, I do believe. Remember last uh, time we had the pink fresh, we had the washer. That has been stamped, because I brought my washer into die cut. That has been stamped on the washer. How good does that look? So if you bought that washer, you'll be able to do that. If you bought it last time, look at the rainbow. You can tell that was someone's favourite. Um, and this is a sneak peek of the ones that are coming up. Absolutely love that collection. That is busy. If you do want to get hold of that one. Oh, and can I just mention, that's that background. You know how we're talking about the background? That's the background. So that has been weaved just in white. Oh, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? OK, if you want that, it is 622410. That's your item number. Um, you've got your three flexes. That means if you're buying this one, you can pop... Oh, sorry, two flexes. Oh, gosh, it's early, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm my coffee. Um, two flexes, 37.48. That's great, because in two months it's paid for. Miles better. Okay, love this as well. Love this. 
I want this. Yes, this pops out. So look, all of these have been cut so they'll layer up. I adore this. And as I said, um, so if you see my circle that I've designed, I didn't get the idea off these. I'm just telling you now, I'd already done it. I'd already designed it. This is the problem when you're a crafter. It's like, everyone's like, oh yeah, you can tell where she got that idea from. No, we just come up with the same idea sometimes. I love this. It's seriously cool. I love the pattern. I love the, the way that you're going to be able to ink that. It's such a cool stamp. And the thing is as well, you're going to be cutting that up when you've stamped it. Yeah, I want that. And it's massive. It's absolutely massive. You've then got, now these are fabulous. Oh, you die. So you've got hello, you've got friend, you've got uh, lovely. You've also got uh, Bestie, isn't that gorgeous? You've got Beautiful, Handsome, oh, Gorgeous. It's a good job I've not spelt these. I always spell Gorgeous wrong. Um, now, if I just show you, bear with, bear with, because, yeah, one of them's, one of them's dropped off. Now, you will get, and I'm just showing you, you de do get your magnetic sheet. I'm not picking it up because I'll knock the whole thing off. So you get your magnetic sheet. But, so what you're getting with these, let me pop that back on again. Sorry, not, you get the border. So what you're actually getting, you've actually got the outside edge and you've got, um, where's my other bits gone? There they are. And you've got your, um, your frame, if you will. So of course you can put, you can mount them. You can put a different color around them. You can really, really play with these. That is a good kit. I really like those as well. See, I'm a bit gutted because obviously, I want all of these and I want time to play with all of these, but I'm not going to get time, am I? Um, okay, look at that. Now that has been created with that beautiful stamp set. Um, you've got a lot of the gorgeous dies that have been created as well, like that one. And you see this, you see? that hello so the white has been cut with the finer dye and then the black with that drop shadow beautiful really like this kit as well now two payments 19 pence and 99 pence this is the problem there's a lot of really strong products it's choice there's so much choice so far i want everything but i want this as well um oh no actually this I've did the next one. Oh man. Okay. Now this is another that's very cool. So same kind of idea. So you look at this one and it's like, what are these ones? But these are your filler inners. These are your, your blocks that you can color in. So it allows you to multi-layer. Um, I just love that because it gives you that it gives you that sort of like a paper piecing, but you're doing it with your stamp. So you've got the stamp, and you've got loads of stamp there. You've got some, again, your sentiments. Um, thank you for believing in me. Feel, um, feel the fear and do it anyway. Do you know, I love things like this because they're different. You can use these for your, your journals, for your planners. You can use these for any cards, but you can also use them for your art journals, and I really like that. Um, really gorgeous. You can, and you're halfway there. Isn't that fabulous? See, you've got the big believe there that's cool really cool um, and I love it because they will match with your dies as well everything mixes and matches you've then got the perfect die that works together now 33 pounds and 98 pence is your price look at that isn't that beautiful really really effective Yes, yeah, done in this one. Now, you've got a massive £5 saving on this if you'd love to go for that one. And look, can you see that background? That tag is your one day special. All those beautiful, see the stripes? That's that massive die to create that background. They're so cool. Okay, 492-760. That's your item number if you'd love to go for that one. Now, next, I love this one as well. I do apologise for saying I love them all, but this is another one. This is right at the top of my list. Um, this is seriously cool. Only 13.99. This is oh sorry, sorry, it isn't 39. I was going to say that's a good price for that because that's a massive die. That's more like it. 20 pounds and 99 pence. This is huge. It's a huge die. What this does is cut out, and if I show you on that card, so it's the white portion that the die cuts out. So perfect for paper piecing in, but for seeing the card behind it, I adore this. 
this is really really cool um, and somewhat like that it just looks so classy now with this one 20 pounds and 99 pence however and you can see that's been paper pieced back in again love this one um only 18 pounds and 89 pence freedom members you're not paying any postage these are from america i mean it's the first time i've ever seen that die and you can now get hold of it at that freedom price 18 pounds and 89 pence five zero five three one two now these are cute when we had the one day special last time we had the little i don't know if you remember but we had the flowers in the squares so this time we've got the flowers in the circles they're really really beautiful i love these because they're they're that gorgeous simplistic design but really really stylish um and what you'll see with these you've got that gorgeous you're going to cut out can you see so it all this you can paper piece back in again if you want to or of course you're just using that beautiful outline they're so delicate the cut I mean look at how fine that cut is really good cut the die cut is right on the edge there so it's giving you that pristine finish I mean when you look at that look how delicate that cut is they're beautiful absolutely beautiful um, really like these. £13.99 pence is your price there. And how much has gone, on, Kim? 30% has gone. Now, I must admit, the, the ones in the square were really busy last time. Um, these are proving just as busy. Now, this background, that's one of those gorgeous stamps. That hello is one of the dies. So again, everything's on the shore. Everything mixes and matches. £13.99 pence, 096 um, 452 is your item number. Um, now, please make sure you check your baskets out. I've started playing with these, obviously, too, when I were doing my inking. These are lovely, and it's a beautiful colour blend. Now, we've got a massive collection here. You've got 48 inks in total. What I love, of course, is the, the beautiful, the blend has been done already for you. I mean, have a look at that. So you've got the proper tones going on, and I really, really like these because, obviously, something like this, you can do so much with these. Um, if you want to get hold of these, you can go for that full collection. You're saving £24. You've got the really soft pale colours. You've then got the really nice strong colours with these as well, which are just divine, absolutely divine. Um, obviously, your payments, it should be £143.88, but you are paying uh, way less than that. And you have got three flexes in this as well, £119.88, but they are going to be split up for you. Now, the dye inks, see that one, look how rich that is love it absolutely love it and that was just me playing but but you can use the pale colors or of course you can do your second stamp in second generation and you'll get the paler tones as well really like these really like them beautiful dye inks dye inks so you'll be able to do loads of techniques as well um Three payments, £39.96, and, and they're handy. Keep them. I'd keep them in that thing as well so you can find the colours straight away. Um, 190963, that's your item number. OK, check the website, achanda.com. That's where you're going to see absolutely everything that we've got on the show. We've got loads of gorgeous individual goodies as well. So you've got loads and loads of choices. Um, obviously, if there's anything you want, if you want to see something live, maybe you want to see something cut live, email in i've got my machine in the building um and i'm i'm absolutely well ready to cut because everything's here um but yeah email in especially if you've already got the pink fresh goodies last time i'd love to know what you think about them was it the first time you found pink fresh um we'd love to hear from you as ever studio at hachanda.com um now i'm gonna have a really quick play uh, we have got a clip from last night um, of the lovely Leah who of course works for Pink Fresh um, it's a wonderful team really inspirational um, but I just wanted to me being me it was like let's show that gorgeous gorgeous stamp so what you've got um, 
and this is from your one day special so with these stamps i mean they are beautiful beautiful stamps i'm using my stamping platform uh, because for me that's easier now i must admit with these what you could do say you've got your stamping platform and you've got your your glass mat underneath if you've got your glass mat underneath you can line your actual platform up and then line this up so you know when you're putting it down for instance when you're popping it down you will be able to see the actual sizes and if you're doing it that way you can line it up so you know you're getting it correct now that's a dead easy way of doing it personally the way i like to do it um, and this is me being me i like to just take the stamps off that um, delivery system so I'm going to start with the, the big one in the centre because that's kind of a nice guide and then just put them on like this because I find that easy. I'm, personally, I'm rubbish at trying to work off a, a guide. You know, like um, a thing, uh, the ruler, I'm rubbish. I haven't got the patience, that's my problem. I find it easier working this way because for me, boom, it's done. I've just recreated it. And then I like to take the elements away that I don't want to use. That I find easiest. Um, Leah's going to be using these stamps, I think, in her second demo, so she'll show the way that she uses them. So then, so then what I'm going to do is peel off the ones, first of all, that I don't want to use, okay? So just take these out for now. And I'm only doing this because it's then easier to ink up. So I'm taking the gorgeous inks and I'm going to use those blues again. Okay, so I've got them in the pack. There we are. And I won't spill them everywhere, I promise. And I won't go quite... <laughs> I won't spill them everywhere. Literally, spill them everywhere. <laughs> Uh, you got this <laughs> okay so just quickly inking these up now what I adore about stamps like this these are phenomenal for technique I mean you can now with these ink pads I'm just doing one color on this but just on this one line you could because it's a solid stamp you could easily start bringing in different colors so on this one you could easily blend on the actual stamp honestly there's so many techniques you can do with these are well cool shall I just show you what I mean so say so say the tip I'll take a darker colour, so just going over there with a darker colour, you can just blend that in there like so. And just nice light taps, honestly, the race. Do you know what else you can do with these? So, say you've got another stamp, which I happen to have. This is another pink fresh one. You can actually lift off the print. Okay. Boom. See? So then print this out so popping it down and let's have a look at that boom oh look at the colors can you see the colors and it's very lightly picked up i could have done to have um, picked it up a bit stronger but very lightly picked it up i love that color blend as well so then what i want to do is put this one back in again and as i say i find this the easiest way i'm sure leo will show us a quicker way but this this is me just picking up the stamps and the first thing that I do. Okay, so just pop those back in again. They're such good quality stamps. They're a red rubber stamp, they're a mounted stamp, so it'll give you that beautiful, beautiful quality stamp in every single time. Um, what was that, my love? You definitely don't, the stamp platform I'm using, I don't need to remove the foam, but the stamp platform I'm using, um, is br it's just brilliant because it, I can use all my stamps on this, I don't need to worry. Um, I'm going in now with a pink, so I've gone in with quite a dark pink actually. If you do want the inks, I mean you can see how beautiful, vibrant, bright colours these are. This, oh, they're great. I love the fact that you've got such a massive colour window there, you know, that you can do so so many different um, so many different techniques with these just because you've got the full rainbow so just thinking those up and what this proves as well I mean we've got these nice little ink pads um, but I don't need to worry about having little ink pads for big stamps because obviously you can use your big stamps just taking the darkest pink just slightly 
pop a little bit there as well. Okay, remember to put the proper lids on and then boom, look at this. And it's lined up perfectly. And I haven't taken, look at that. Isn't that strong? It's so strong. And then, and then you take this. Doesn't that look good? Honestly, this is the one, this is the kind of thing that you'll keep playing with, with all your different colours, with loads of different techniques. If you then take that beautiful dye off here, because you've got that dye, you see, let it go that way, because look at that, how beautiful does that fit on? Perfect. So, <laughs> gorgeous bunting. Gorgeous. And if I just cut this one out just to show you. I adore that. I love how it's been designed so it fits perfectly. Of course, there's so much you can do with these. You know, you cut these out, your circles, you will be picking up the prints. So you'll be able to do that. You'll be using loads of different colours on here. Why not put a stencil down and then actually ink through your stencil as well, stamp through your stencil. I mean, there's such technique dies look at that now doesn't that look well cool boom beautiful absolutely beautiful it's such a good print that is such a beautiful beautiful dye i've gone for strong gorgeous colors you don't need to you can go for in that color blend look look i've gone for the strongest you've got those two soft colors at the bottom so you can make this really pastel if you want but for telly you want to go for strong because that makes a proper pop and look at that look how it's been designed so it lines up yep love this now if you do want your one day special this is one element from that one day special. I mean, you have got so many gorgeous elements in there um, and two payments of 34.98. Now, as we said, our lovely Leah joined us on Skype last night and we have got a demonstration. Uh, so let's see what Leah's doing with the beautiful one day special. So um, I am going to be making a little bit more colorful and vibrant version of this card. Oh, right here. gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Perfect. But we're going to make it a little bit more colorful and summery. So oh, let's get started. Is um, yeah. The first yes. thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp the nested chevron. Yep. I've already put it in my stamping platform, yep. but just to show you, this is what it um, looks like. Yeah, perfect. So I wanted to show it to you in the platform. Yeah. So it starts out like this. Yeah. Um, and the great thing about these, the guide. Um, that you have on this, yeah. there's this really great frame mm -hmm. around it, and that will help you put everything back in as you take pieces out for um, creating that background in multiple colors. Okay. So I am doing this in the three shades. I'm going to pick a pink, an orange, and a yellow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out the the layers that I don't need quite yet. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ah. You see what I'm? Yes. I, I, see, I, I know see that this perfect. isn't the best angle in the world, but. Yeah, it's so, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to start. And this yeah. is going to be my pink layer. Okay. Yeah. And so I am going to stamp it with a bubble gum pink. I'm using the full size ink pad, but mm -hmm. this same exact color is available in that ink cube yeah. bundle that you guys have, have okay. for sale. I'm just going to go ahead and you're going to stamp it up. Now, the reason why we chose to do our background stamps in red rubber yeah. is because you give you get that really crisp impression yes. yeah. that sometimes a clear stamp doesn't always lend itself to. So we wanted to make sure that our backgrounds were really easy to stamp and that you were getting a good impression every single time. Okay. So whenever you are putting these into your whatever type of stamping platform it is that you have. The one thing you want to make sure is that you're using the setting for it that is for cling stamps okay. instead of your stamps. Yeah. Just okay. because they are a different depth. Of course. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And you absolutely are able to ink these large stamps up with your ink cubes. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just for time, for time purposes, we went with the big ones so that it would be a little bit quicker. Yeah. 
No, that's perfect. Yeah. Now I have a question with the, uh, regarding the inks. Are they water yeah. reactive? Um, because they are dye inks, yeah. so they they are by nature going to be a little bit water yeah. reactive. Yeah. But they're not going to be as water reactive as say like an oxide of or course, yeah. um, a distress ink that yeah, right. you are kind of geared towards being water reactive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got the pink layer yeah. up, the pink layer is done. So I'm going to yeah. move on to the orange layer. So I need to change and add in the um, oh. next layer. So what I do is before I take out the, the layer that I just used, I use it as a guide to put the oh. next one in yeah. and then I take it out. That's a very good tip, yeah. And then looking, I need it to go one, two, three. Okay, so then I need to do this layer. Yeah. And I do the same exact thing. Line it up and then pull out the layer that I don't need. Yeah, that makes so much so it makes it go. so much easier. It does. And um I've seen people both use the little frame that we yeah. include with it and not. I choose to because I feel like it makes sure that I'm getting good placement. Yeah. But um, you can also just use the other layers yes. as your placement guide as well. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So the next layer I'm going to use is I'm going to be using our clementine, ink, which Ooh, can be also be found in the ink cube book bundle. These are the colors that I chose from our inks. These tones are uh, probably the the what we would consider like the brightest. They're yeah. not the darkest tones. Yeah. But they're definitely probably the brighter tone in that color family yeah. and every pack has got like pastel shades as well as like you were saying dark and then vibrant right so it's they are so what you get in each color family there's four shades that run from a pastel to a darker tone and then in the middle you have a tone that is more vibrant and then just a little bit more vibrant than the pastel okay so yeah that pastel when when we were getting these, the colors all formulated, we also wanted to make sure that all of the colors in that color family layer together really well. So we were very cognizant and um, just wanted to make sure that if you're using them for a stamp layering set that you're gonna see here in the next part of the demo, that they would layer together seamlessly. Of course, yeah. And I love that the, the, the whole palette is beautiful. Everything works well, you know, look at that. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That was a lot of work, and, but we're really, really happy with how the colors yeah. turned out. Yeah, they do. All right, so I got the orange layer done. Yeah. And we just need to do oh, the I yellow layer now. Well, I, and now already it's looking so good just by you know by using the stamp and remember at home you are that's one of the items of the one day special and there is so much more in there as well in the one day special it sure is the card we're making today uses every piece of the one day special yeah. i wanted to make sure that you could see it all used together perfect all right we're going to go ahead and we're going to um layer up the, the next and final yeah. set of layers for this background piece yeah and once again, just using the previously stamped yeah. layers and, as my guide. And, and, and it's, it's, it's really quick as well, because you're making it uh, very simple and very easy and very quick as well to create these backgrounds. It is actually, these are so user friendly. Um, and one of the great things that I wanted to mention, when you're using these backgrounds like this, something that I do when I have them out is I will create just a bunch of backgrounds yeah. all at one time in different colors. Yeah. And so then you just have all of these backgrounds ready yeah. to go. And of course, having a platform means that you can multi-stamp several ones at the same time, right? So you would do like, yes, sure, yeah. you know, and that means, and you could do every one a different color because you, you just clean the stamp every time, maybe in between. So layer. Absolutely. Is, that's fabulous. So it's great. It's, it's, they're really great. and user-friendly for if you're wanting to create a bunch of the same cards or the same backgrounds in different colors. It's really easy and really fun. I think you guys will really enjoy using this stamp set. It is. Now, okay. uh, we, 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 yeah, so that's the lemon. Yeah. Yep, sunshine. 
Ah, sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just... <laughs> hey. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth. Um, we will come back to Liam, but we just uh, we were very worried about time. Okay, now then, we have got the wonderful one day special. I mean, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love that Leah, the way Leah was using the stamp, she was building up all the different colours. You have got so many things you can do with this. I want that stamp. I want to take it home and just play and use it with all my inks, all my different techniques. Um, so you've got the gorgeous big stamp, massive stamp. And you've then got the beautiful stamps that will build up that bouquet. Doesn't have to be the bouquet. What I love about this, that looks amazing as it is. So it doesn't have to be a bouquet, but you build up the, all those gorgeous layers and you're going to get such a beautiful finished effect. I mean, just have a look at that. That looks professionally printed. That's inked, that is stamped. Isn't that just gorgeous? That looks so professional. You've then got the die that will cut this out perfectly. Um, and I love that they go together absolutely beautifully. You've then got the, um, the sort of your embellishment dies, your finishing product dies. Your, um, I mean, the tags, you can do so much with that. I love that. It's such a good shape as well. And it's a big, big die. You've got the layers in there. And of course, you can cut the detail in the dies if you want to. Let me just flip that round so you can see you can cut the detail in there which looks really really pretty remember with the dies you do have the magnet sheets as well so you've got your storage you've then got the ability to create your own gorgeous little bows now this is your one day special from pink fresh stunning absolutely stunning there's so much you can do with it two payments 34 pounds and 98 pence eight nine five two eight five that's your item number now we have got some wonderful seven day savers oh i should have had this because i have been borrowing card I'm a I'm a one for borrowing card. Um, now, if you do want to go for this one, um, it is your pink frog. It is nine pounds and ninety nine pence. You're saving a massive six quid there. Um, if you do want to get hold of that one, I mean, it is absolutely exquisite. And you have got the oyster pearl colour there as well. Really, really pretty. Lord, you can do with that. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, five six six zero three four. Obviously, check out your uh, seven day service. I know we've got quickie glue pens as well, which are an absolute essential. Falling over then for no reason. Okay, stamps. I need this in my life. Um, it's huge. It's got all those gorgeous layers like the first one. Obviously, tons you can do with this. I'm hoping, I mean, it's 22 nearly. It'd be ace to have a play with this one. Who knows? Um, if you do want to get hold of that, you're also getting these. Now, these are seriously cool. Um, you've got your, you've got the outline die, if you will. You've then got the drop shadow. And they are gorgeous. They're a really good size die of these. And there's so much you can do with them. I mean, something like this, because it is so effective, um, you'll use them in your journaling, you'll use them again in your planners. Um, beautiful for your cards. I mean, they're very, very strong. Look at that. Really strong designs. And of course, with something like that, because you can put your drop shadow on, um, I reckon I've got 3D form um, in the sheet. I'd absolutely be able to cut that out of the 3D form in the sheet. Now, if you do want to get hold of these two payments, £19.99, you're getting 14 dies there. You've actually got 18 stamps in that one. Imagine all the different configurations. Uh, 655 831 that's your item number if you do want to get hold of this one saving nine pounds um now we've also got for you i mean we've got so many things um the next one we've got now this is really pretty um you've got your gorgeous floral bundle and there's loads you can do with that because again you can use the the solid shapes to infill the color of course you don't need to it's got that Again, Pink Fresh, you, you, I'm recognising Pink Fresh. I've only, this is only the second show, but they've got that style. You know, they've got that beautiful sort of watercolour style. Very, very elegant. I mean, it just looks uplifting, doesn't it? That is so beautiful. Using that gorgeous big die behind it there. Obviously, we've got loads and loads of sentiments. 
using the die from the one day special and the die that I'm going to have a play with as well. Now then, 492760 is your item number. I've kind of pinched all the inks are over at the demo area, sorry. Uh, 492760. That's your item number. Um, if you want to come for that, you're saving five pounds there. Now, another absolute favourite of mine. This is such a cool die. It's a big die again. It's cutting out and that, that allows you to paper piece. So it cuts out and you, like that. That's the best way of showing you. The white bit is cutting it out. It's lovely. Just imagine cutting that out of black and putting it over a really cool background. It's one of those that literally you could change so much. Imagine cutting that out and then putting it over, you know, um, a book page or a really beautiful paper that you've got. It'll look amazing. That's one of those dies that's so ridiculously effective. Um, nine, 20 pounds and 99 pence, but Freedom members, you've got a better price than that. Um, so you can save a little bit of money if you're a Freedom member. 18.89, no post. These are coming from the States and you're not even paying postage. 505-312 is your item number. Now, some of that has been popular. I loved working with the, the little square ones of these. You've now got the circles. They're elegant. You've got that beautiful, pristine cut. Again, it's pristine because they're ridiculously delicate. Over a third of the stock has gone here. Um, only £13.99. Beautiful. I mean, when you look at that, absolutely beautiful. 096452 is your item number. Um, 096452. Now, we're going to trot over there because I've raided all the inks. <laughs> um, if you do want them quickie glue pens, which are a seven day saver, these are an absolute essential in your crafty stash. It's great when you can get them as a bargain because obviously saving money. Um, if you'd love to go for those, they are your pink frog crafts. Um, fantastic uh, quality as well. Loads you can do with those and only £12.50. Please make sure you check your baskets out with those. Um, they're one of those that you should have in your stash, so make sure you do. Uh, 499194 is your item number. Okay, so I'm going to play with those dies and hopefully get a little bit of die cutting done. I've got the, um, the inks, so I'm just going to open the inks in front of me. So... Now, your inks are available in sets of four, so if you did want to just get a set of four, you have got that choice. I obviously, I'm very lucky I've got them all in front of me, so I can work with the complete collection. Um, but, of course, it's nice to have a choice. If I were going for it, if I was just choosing, ooh, I'd go for the one with the ocean breeze, because that's beautiful. I love that green. The yellow's beautiful. The pinks and the blues, oh, sorry. That's why you've got the main, yeah. That's why you've got the main collection. Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm going to be quick because of time, um, but just taking my ink pad. Now, let's have a little look because I really like this die. I'm going to go, right, not following the, the design of the actual um, die. So just bringing my ink down like this. And I'm not trying to get it solid. That isn't what I'm doing. I'm trying to get... Um, just a beautiful colour down. I like orange as well. Orange and yellow. They're just summer, aren't they? It's gone a bit colder today, but it is a bit... Well, let's go that one. That one's nice. So we do need the water. Our plants needed the water. And that's fine. There we go. So put that gorgeous orange on there. And then let's go for... I want to go for blue in the centre there. Oh, no, I want to go for that really nice green because then it's sort of summer. Nice, isn't it? Cheeky bit of summer. Okay. <laughs> Cheeky cocktail. Okay. Now, if you do want the set of four inks, you've got all those choices. Um, you know what to do. Check your baskets out. So, you're going to take... Yeah, it does look like a refresher lolly. Oh. So, taking the... Now, see, these are going to go that way. So, obviously, I'm not going to be cutting it the way I've inked it. And I like this because it changes the the formation. While I'm cutting that, I've got enough space to cut this one as well. So that one I've inked, this one, backgrounds, taking one of my backgrounds that I've already done and the rainbow. 
obviously the rainbow oh my gosh you're gonna have such fun with this one this is a beautiful dive i'm just spinning it to decide where i want it to to cut there we go so popping that on as well um, i've only got a teeny tiny bit of washi tape so let's hope that holds and let's pop these through and um, that's a lovely thing about working with an air foam machine at least you can cut two at a time you've got the other one now the other one remember is the one that you can do this with um, so if I just take a bit of black card so you can see that so what you can do with it you can do your weaving now what I want to do with this one is cut it in a different color as well but see how easy it is so you can just do that little old weaving da -da 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 -da. Like that. there you go sometimes a machine does decide to, to dispense it loudly <laughs> otherwise sometimes it doesn't so you can leave gaps in or you can butt it right up I quite like leaving a little gap. Doesn't that look cool? Imagine doing the whole thing. I'm going to cut this again in another colour just to show, just to play a basic one. Okay. You could chop up a photograph and then put the, put the, weave their face back in again. <laughs> in different sections. You could cut two photos of different people, like as a, as a nice um, Valentine's Day card, and then weave the two faces together. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't we, Webster? That'd be well romantic. <laughs> uh, right, let's. Did I bring my pokey tool? No, I didn't. So, yes. Hold on. I could do two because I didn't bring my pocket tool. And I don't want to lose all my bits because obviously I need the bits because, see. This is where you start building it back again, which is good if you've got your poke tool and you can poke it back out properly. Hold on, let me give it a bash. <laughs> mm, let's have a little see. Just chuck it in. Amazing, thank you. Oh, it gets stuck to my magnetic sheet. Oh, thank you. Oh, now it's coming out. Now they're coming out. And I, ah, oh, typical, innit? You'll do this properly, but they are out. And they cut beautifully. Okay, so you'll get the gist in a moment's time. So all you need to do with that, oh yeah, strong felting needle, is <laughs> pick them up off the floor. So you're then going to be, look at this, how beautiful this is. So you start building this back up again. And what you can do with this, you see, you can obviously build it back up as it was, but I wouldn't want to do that. I, I just think when you open this out, see, then get that beautiful shape going on. How pretty does that look? I won't do the full thing because of time, but how cool does that look? And obviously, if you bring another one in, um, so if you cut it out of another colour, you could make a gorgeous Christmas tree out of that. Oh, you're on fire with your ideas today. Look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? So that's that square one, which I adore. Really, really like these dies. There's so much you can do with these. The rainbow one. Let's have a look at our gorgeous rainbow. Now, this is seriously cool. Because your lovely little rainbow, cause and all your bright scrap card, you see. So if you took that away, you could then keep those in situ like this and look again you were using the outside edge so you've got that gorgeous the bit that you've cut out and you can still glue them back and create your gorgeous rainbow with those which will look absolutely amazing you could then cut this one cut the actual die again and put that back in place so <laughs> Don't that look fabulous? You could then cut that out of a different colour and put that back in. But what you then could do, of course, you've got that. And that, you'll be able to take a different colour. So say you've got a beautiful, I don't know, yellow I've got here. Say you've got a gorgeous, uh, bright colour. You could put that underneath it. Look how pretty that looks. And obviously, just cut that out. That is such a gorgeous die. The other die, of course, your weaving die. 
what if what if look at that background now the thing got is with stuff like this if you've created backgrounds that you don't like this is where these dyes really lend themselves uh, because i'm just thinking well I'm now these are busy over half of the stock has gone if you want these you do need to check your basket out otherwise you are going to miss out on these um, you've got all three of these dies um, it is 622430 that's your item number if you do want to get hold of these gorgeous gorgeous dies please do not miss out on these ones remember you're getting those two massive stamp sets and the thing is with those stamp sets you've got loads and loads of stamps in there so it's not just the big stamps You've actually got tons of choice, so please check your baskets out with that one. Do not miss out on these, they're gorgeous. I'm being a bit cheeky because I'm putting that flower one in there at the same time, because we can. A big ornate flower, because it's lush, is that one. Okay, let's send these through. So, again, cutting that weaving one out. So if I bring my big piece of card back, like so, bring my weaving one like so so with this one there come on little machine dirty jeff dirty jeff that's what it's called oh, yeah dirty jeff the man dirty jeff is dirty jeff because he is <laughs> It's just dirty and it's Jeff. <laughs> um, okay, so they have got the release holes at the top there. I mean, oh, where have I put my felting needle? Felting needle, maybe not the one. Watch your fingers. <laughs> but if I just take, it does take them out. Just watch your, watch your fingers because the drop of blood ruins your projects. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely speaking from experience. I mean, how many times? Okay, there are cues on the phones. Please check your baskets out. Um, and I know I haven't got tons of time, so look at that. Doesn't it look cool? Straight away. See, and the thing is, if you talk this out, you see, and then, look, if you kept this, but actually, again, if you cut, I want to now cut this out of black and put it back in. Look how cool. See how cool that would look. Done it, isn't it good that? But, but, I'm thinking as well. So, now, you've got this one. But, of course, you don't need to weave the same colour. I'm thinking this colour isn't going to work particularly well with this. But, you don't need to weave the same colour back in. You can obviously mix and match your colours. I just, I picked up that lime green just because I wanted to see what it looked like when it had die cut. I, I really like doing that. So with some of your heavy backgrounds, die cut them and just see what they look like. Because it's dead interesting how they change once you've die cut them. See, just do another one weave. We've only got three minutes, so we need to see that floral one. Yeah, let's have a look at that beautiful floral. So just weaving that one through quickly, pulling that down now, like so. So squidging these together. I love those. See, for your backgrounds, you could create some incredible backgrounds with that. Absolutely love. These dies are amazing. The big, strong dies. If you want that bundle, please check your basket out with that bundle. Okay, now with this one, look at this. So that has cut out perfectly. Okay, so with this one, this is another one. Get yourself, let me get myself a background okay so I've got a really nice bright background those bits I could paper piece back in again I'm not going to because look however take a whole of these out like this boom actually this I bet that will cut out of my 3D foam as well now when you put it over there look at that boom and all I need to do if I cut that out Look how good that looks. Doesn't that look good? And then the bits I'd like to paper piece in. Oh, it's one of them you just need to play with because I want to now paper piece that back in again. Look. Look. And how good would that look? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful, that? 
I can't find the other bit, that one. See, paper piece then back in again. How beautiful would that look? It doesn't, isn't that a strong image? Really like that. Looks cracking on overhead, does that one, doesn't it? Where does this one go? There. See, you need an overhead in your life as well. I love that die. Oh, there's so many to play with. Right, I've only got a minute. Um, now, if you do want anything, please, please, please check your basket out. Remember, our one-day special is um, one of the stars of the shows, but we have got so many stars of the shows. I love that die. Um, okay, we have so many stars of the shows. Um, please check your basket out. We are back with the one-day special at 12 o'clock. We will have Leah doing a live Skype call at 12 o'clock. I'm really looking forward to chatting to Leah because I do love her company. I think it's amazing. Um, so yeah, make sure you tune in at 12 o'clock for more ideas and inspiration. In the meantime, have a little perusal. Make up your mind what you fancy. There's so much choice and everything is lovely quality and you can do so much with it. It's one of those where how do you choose? Um, anyway, the one day special course, amazing saving, 895-285. I will see you at 12, I think. Bye-bye. <laughs> Me in it, I can't remember what I'm doing. Uh, coming up next, we've got Crafty Devils. It's a happy hour. We've then got for you um, Helen McCook, embroidery, absolutely gorgeous stuff. And then it's the Pergamano Show. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you Twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV. It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet. Only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected. Use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. 
Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Happy, happy, happy. It's a happy hour for you, which can only mean bargain prices. But the clue is in the name. It's just for this hour and this hour only. So I certainly do urge you to jump on the website and have a little look. We've got Crafty Devil, so you know that means quality. You know that means value for money. And you know it means all sorts. We've got card, we've got MDF, we've got shadow boxes, mirror card, stamping card. We have got lots for you. In fact, we have got seven day savers from Crafty Devils. And the good thing about that one is it's going to run through until Sunday morning. But that is only if stock permits us to do so. So I'm going to take you through everything in the next few moments. I'm showing you all those different goodies. But of course, if you do want to jump onto the website beforehand, you can do. But bear with me for the next hour and I will keep you updated as we go. Now, the key thing is for us to be able to keep an eye on time. So we're going to need a clock. And there we go, we've got a clock for you there. And of course, keep your eye on the clock because of course the time will be ticking down. Once we get to zero, which we will actually see during this hour because we finish at five two, but you will have up until 10 o'clock to take advantage of these deals. But please don't leave it that long because sometimes you could be cutting it a bit fine and you might miss out because of the, qu um, the kind of quantity that we've got of these. So. Let's have a little look at what we've got. Now we've got some assorted artboards for you here. And these are brilliant because they're perfect bases for you to work with. Now we've got lots of different sizes. You've got your A4, as you can see here, which is a good a traditional A4 size. You've got your half A4, which I know we might think of ourselves, oh, half A4, that's going to be an A5. Not on this occasion, because you've got your slender cut with regards to this one, which is a nice one. And then you've got your your um, A5 after that one. So, of course, you have got your variations there as well, which is your traditional half A4. Now, these are brilliant because, of course, with your artboard, you can use them just as is. You could use it as a canvas, quite easy. Nice, manageable size with the A5. Again, similarly with your half A4. Or are you going to be drilling holes in these, maybe turning them into art journal covers? Now, this is amazing because you've got multiples within here. So, quite easy there, straight away. You have got the ability to turn that into journal covers. Of course, multiples, put holes in there, them together using a cord or maybe little rings and you could be creating signs for these as well good size signs so if you want to do things like home decor or maybe you're making up things that you're selling then these are going to be fabulous again quite easy putting some of your little holes in there um, and then putting a piece of cord there it could be a nice little door frame it could say um, I don't know Haley's crafty room it could be Molly's shed it could be Emily's kitchen keep out baking in progress which happens a lot um, now you have got a whole array here I don't know how many you're getting of each of them but you are oh it's eight of each that's a good amount isn't it and they are proving to be very very popular so there you go 14 pounds and 99 pence 298 777 why not pop those into your basket works out at just 62 pence per board that is amazing value for money that is brilliant because we are talking incredible quality with these. Now, you might not have a need for these straight away in your crafty life, but we don't often see those prices coming along. So do stock up on this one and already 10% of the stock has gone. And if you can afford to go for multiples, then please do so. That's a really good price. You're saving £20 on those. Now, if you want to then pop them into your basket before you check out, though, what about some stamping card? This is always a useful thing to have, isn't it? Especially when you've got, oh my goodness, look at this. You're getting all those. You're getting 200 sheets. Wow. It's 300 GSM. 
um, which means it's a fabulous thickness there. Really good weight. So if you are looking at stamping, maybe you're going to be um, applying colour, things like your alcohol markers. Maybe you're going to get your watercolours. Maybe you're going to have a lot of kind of uh, paint um, and wetness in here. Because you've got that 300 GSM, then of course it is going to be able to stand and cope with that. Of course, it's perfect for your card bases. 300 GSM is going to make some wonderful bases. In fact, I think you can be making small boxes with these as well. Um, seven pounds saving on this one, 17.99, and it really is a hefty part of card lovely super smooth feel to it as well so if you've struggled with your stamping in the past it's always a good idea to perhaps try your stamping card that you're working with if you're not using stamping card then do try this out at that price it's very affordable and you will find it works out nine pence per sheet can you imagine that nine pence for a card base amazing brilliant value for money takes the color beautifully not just with your stamping but if you're wanting to put your colors on there and blend them and move them around so yeah nine seven five eight three four if you're wanting to go for those again stock up if you're wanting to it's not limited to one per customer any of these items that we're going to be sharing with you so what have we got next magnetic sheets now of course our one day special a lovely abundance of dyes you need a way of storing them and this is the best way for you to do so magnetic sheets then you can use these for your storage it works out just one pound per sheet but of course the thickness of these if you wanted to you could die cut these as well so you could also um, perhaps print on some paper and um, stick that on with uh, obviously the right type of glue to work with your magnetic sheets and then die cut it turn it into fridge magnets we had those fabulous letters on yesterday didn't we from um oh was it create oh what was it in there card making magic card making magic we had those letters you could be making your own alphabets putting your little comments on the fridge Mmm, we know the kind of comments that can sometimes appear on the bridge. Um, £14.99, 732736. You're going to get 15 sheets of those for um, £14.99. So, yeah, pop those into your baskets as well. Perfect. Half price, yeah? Like a half price deal. Now, shadow boxes. These are brilliant. You're going to get four of these. Now, the idea of a shadow box is you can see you've got your depth of frame with these. Come to you, as you can see with your MDF, they're six by six in size, and it gives you the ability to store, build up scenes, create something three dimensional. These are lovely as well. If you've got something, maybe a keepsake, that you're wanting to kind of preserve, three dimensional baby booties, things like that, those kind of things that we love to keep and perhaps put out on display. This is the perfect way to do it. Now, everything slots together, so um, very easy. I knew I'd knock over something. Let me move those. Maybe big wafty sleeves. Um, you've got your frame. You've got your elements that are going to fit in here. And you can see you've got the little kind of nuggets and you've got your little holes that go in there. All really simple to put together. Just get yourself a good quality MDF glue that will allow you to stick those together. Once they are together, that is the time when you're going to add your decoration. So maybe you're going to paint. At the front here, you can see you've got your dark areas there. If you do end up with any recess, just go in with a little bit of um, it's kind of smooth paste. That will fill in the gap. So you'll even find your paint will kind of sit within there. And then, of course, you can paint or go on with your, your cardstock. It could be creating a frame. If you are going to put cardstock on your frame, I would suggest that you create this, use it as a template, draw around it, create your aperture, but don't stick it in place until you put your box all together. And equally so, if you're going to paint it, leave it till it is fully constructed, because, of course, the moisture can make the MDF swell, which makes it a little bit tricky with those kind of little um, grooves that you're going to be popping into place. So there you go, 12 99 if you're wanting those. Another popular item. You're having fun today with these bargains. Not surprised, to be honest. Some good savings. So, yeah, pop those in. Now, your mirror card. Oh, this is amazing value. You're getting loads. Um, you're getting 50 sheets of your gold and 50 sheets of your silver. And you can see how highly polished that is. Amazing. It's always a popular item. Many of us use it for um, matting and layering. Of course, you can use it with things like your alcohol inks. Of course, we had the one-day special a few days ago, and the lovely Lou Sims is here working with the alcohol inks. They sit beautifully on mirror card, and it kind of illuminates the colours from the back. So $14.99 if you're wanting to get hold of these. Two repeats of those, not two repeats, two different colourways, should I say, but 50 repeats. That wouldn't be very good value for money, would it? Four sheets for $14.99. You want real gold for that, really, wouldn't you? But not on this occasion. You're getting 50 sheets of each, um, and uh, a brilliant value. It's a popular item and again it's another one of those ones that you might like want um might like to stock up on so yeah pop those into your basket as well now we've got some gray board for you this again is another fabulous base substrate base now we've got quite a list to go through with these because you're going to get a lot of different sizes so we're going to start off with the smallest ones these ones your little square 
we are looking at, oh my goodness, they're all on the screen there. Four by four, I'm going to go for with those. You've got four by four with those. We're going to put the squares together, actually, because it makes it easy for my simple little brain. So let me move those over and take hold of those. So there, let's have a little look. With these, you have got your four by four, four by four, four by four, four by four. four it sounds like a pop band, that, doesn't it? Uh, four by four, you've got your six by six, your eight by eight. And then your 12 by 12 is so a really good sizes with those. Then we're looking at our rectangle. So with your rectangles, um, you've got, is it 4 by 6 or 6 by 4? Whichever you want. It's half a dozen of one and four inches of the other. Um, and then you get your A5. And you're also getting your A4 in there. So you are getting all six of those sizes in there. That is brilliant value, isn't it? You get multiples as well. Now, some of the larger ones, I think you're getting kind of like three sheets of, whereas some of the smaller, you're getting more repeats. But you're getting a good quantity within there. Um, you're getting 44 sheets in total. So that is a lot of grey board, lots of substrates there, ready for you to get creative with. And, of course, similarly to the MDF, if you do want to punch holes in these, things like your croppadars will go through these quite easily. Some of your, your um, manual hand punches will work. And, of course, you can... Um, to drill these with a hand drill as well if you want wanting to but they just make fabulous bases for all your mediums 12.99 a popular item yet again 189642 if you fancy popping those in again multiples i'd go for those um again we're looking at gray board now if you're wanting more of the a4 than you are getting within that kind of variety pack that you've got with these it's just concentrating on your a4 and you are going to get 20 sheets of these nine by nine um, nine by nine nine ninety nine I'm just shouting out random numbers. Random numbers. That's what happens. Um, so, yeah, if you, you want to, you're getting 20 of these. It's two mil thick, so the standard um, sort of size that we see from Crafty Devils, which is a brilliant base because you can see that you haven't got that little bit of flex naturally, but it's not one that you're going to fold easily. So this is one, if you are thinking of making it into covers for your books, then just slice it down the middle. Make your, your kind of your hinge, maybe using some of your book grinding tape, things like that, and you can make some fabulous um, book bases with the... In fact, that's about 20 book bases when you think about it. My 99 It's got to be think it, worth thinking about, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, 575846 if you fancy those. Now you've been jumping ahead, which I love, because that's the thing, when you've got bargains like this, you want to get in there early. You don't want to miss out on anything. And that's what you are doing with these tags. You are loving these MDF tags. Now, good size. You can see they're 20 mil by um, 100 mil, so 10 centimetres by 20 centimetres. That will be to the... <coughs> You're getting 19 of these tags. <laughs> Just fun. It flew. They're very durable. You will get 20. <laughs> Do apologise. Over 20% of the stock has gone. Now, these have got a lovely, simple edge to them. So what you could do, potentially, things like your stamping cards, you could trace around these. Again, turn them into little tag books. Turn them into technique books where you've got one of these on the front, one of these on the back. You've got your pages in between with all your different kind of blends of colours, stamps. Um, could be a way of kind of indexing things. These are flying out. If you want in these, do not dilly dally. You could potentially miss out on these. They are so so popular. Multiples of these are getting ordered. So yeah, again, if you want in those three seven 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 nine eight, do get those into your basket. Do not miss out on those. Um, adhesive tape, another good opportunity to get a saving with these. Again, Crafty Devils, sheer quality with regards to these. You are getting a hundred meters in total, and we've got is it four different sizes with these? So you've got your widest which is your 12, so that's a little over a centimetre. You've got your 9, which is just shy of a centimetre. Then you've also got your 6, and you've also got your 3, which is your skinny one. Now, it is very adhesive, so you might find that they stick together. Paula gave a fabulous top tip with regards to these. Get your anti-static pad and just run it around either side of those. When you get them home, separate them up, and then you'll find that they don't stick together. And they also don't end up covered in glitter or anything else that you've got um, knocking around in your crafty bag. So there you go, £14.80. You're getting loads within there. Brilliant value, 20 rolls in total, and it's another one to wor worth stocking up on. You get five metres on each one of those, so definitely one to go for. 221-112. Gosh, there's lots of twos and ones in that number. 
I have to pause and make sure I get the right ones because you might have ended up ordering a shed or something like that if I give you the wrong number. So uh, there you go. Oh, we're back to bingo. Uh, so what have we got? Two little ducks, legs 11 and a dozen. There you go. I don't know what comes through the dozen. By the way, every so often we do have crafty bingo. So if you've got any bingo calls for the number 12, email in and let me know what they are. I need educating because there's 95 numbers, is there, in the standard bingo card? Was it 90? I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know actually. Is it 90, 99? It's somewhere between 90 and 100. There we go. And it's only 75 if you're playing in America. There you go. Interesting fact for you. Uh, well, maybe not so interesting. Um, Christmas baubles and bells. Oh, my goodness. These are brilliant. Of course, we're getting close to Christmas now. It's June. TV shopping world it is. Christmas is literally on the doorstep. Um, now, 541600. These are fabulous. Um, and it is a good opportunity to, to get a bargain. Potentially with these, you're not going to be using them until later in the year, obviously. But saying that, certain shapes you might use all year round. Things like your ovals here, um, not your ovals, your circles. You could be using these all year round if you wanted to. Um, the stars especially, um, I think they're a nice one to use all year round. The bells, maybe you've got somebody where you've got wedding bells that you're wanting to create. It could be that you're doing that with these. Um, the Christmas trees, well, they are traditionally Christmas trees, but funnily enough, we have trees all year round. So you don't have to just use them for Christmas. Um, the Christmas stockings, yeah, you probably would use those more for Christmas. There could be football socks, though, couldn't they, if you wanted to. Um, and then the little baubles. I think these make nice little shields and plaques. Maybe you're making it a card um, and you're turning it into, or oh, it could be head boy, it could be um, best uncle, Father's Day coming up. It could be a little plaque there as well. What is it the other way around? A squid? Yeah, I often have wondered why I couldn't get hold of a MDF squid, but there you go. Um, it's, there's loads you can do with these, to be honest. Almost, if you put them together, they're like petals as well, aren't they, whether you'd use them all together. But you could put little book rings on these and turn them into key fobs as well. And I need a key fob like that to find my car keys in the bottom of my handbag, to be honest. There's that much junk in there. I need a way of finding those keys. Now, with these, they're just 9 99 Very affordable way for you to get hold of them. And 30% of the stock has gone. So 541600. They're lovely projects as well for the kids as we get close to Christmas or memory projects. Um, they're, they're just nice because you can be creating a bauble and putting your personalization on the back there. So, as I say, just take advantage when you see these savings. That's the key thing. Um, more to come with you regards to your MDF. So we're going to say goodbye to our Christmas decorations for the few months as we go into sentiments and phrases. These are lovely. You're getting loads. My goodness. If you're looking at getting hold of these and using them with things like your, your journals and your MDF panels, well, this is a definite one to go for. Of course, we had the MDF with the different sizes of the A4. So you've got, obviously, your slender, you've got your small as well. Um, and I've just bought in a couple of pieces from those sets just to show you because some of these will sit beautifully. They're all stuck to the board, so it's a bit tricky for me to show you. But you can see that they would sit there quite nice. If you wanted to make an inspirational plaque, then these are going to be really nice. Things like blessed, inspire and blessed. And all of these will fit nicely on there. So if you have invested in that set of MDF that we looked at at the top of the hour, then definitely add these in. Saying that, though, you have got some plaques to get you started. So you've got a couple of your rectangles pre-drilled, as you can see. A couple of your rectangles with your rounded out corners. Kind of like your name plaques, they're nice. You've got some ovals and you've also got some hearts. And they come to you in these fabulous boards and you literally just pop those elements out, very sturdy. Um, and then just um, glue them down. Again, just use your MDF glue with these. Paint them before you put them in place, paint them afterwards, it's entirely up to you. But when you're saving a fiver, again, it's one of those ones that's going to be very useful. 20% of the stock has gone as well. We're busy for everything. You are in the mood for a bargain, aren't you guys? And guess who's in the wrong place to get a bargain? Huh? The whole team. So please, we're just we we give it. We're doing this for the team, the, the our uh, Hachanda viewers. I don't mind the fact that I'm missing out on these savings. I'm glad that you're taking advantage of them. Now more MDF bases again that are going to work alongside the the phrases we've just looked at. And this one is a bumper pack. And this is a bumper pack with a capital B because you're getting loads in there. My goodness. Wow. You're getting loads. Now, the bit that's dropped off the bottom of your screen is, now, answers on the postcard. What do you think it might be? It's the, the, the word plaque, because you're getting some plaques in here as well. Love these door hangers. 
these are brilliant you can have so much fun can't you so you could have like at our emily she could have it on a kitchen door cooking in progress keep out or uh, uh, enter at your own will um, there's loads you can be doing with these again father's day fabulous gifts wonderful if you've got somebody's birthday maybe you're giving somebody a pamper gift for their birthday you could be making them a little hanger for their bathroom door do not disturb pampering in progress or something like that um, some lovely um, ATC style um, pieces as well so these are fabulous if you're wanting to create um, your kind of your swaps. Again, these are love for tr lovely for trialing out techniques. Maybe you've got stencils that you want to give them a, a little bit of a go and see what the kind of results you get. Of course, you can uh, write the instructions on the back. You've got your ATC coins as well. So, of course, two different sizes for your swaps potentially. And then, of course, you've got loads of different plaques. You've got coaster sizes with these as well. Really good size pieces. Amazing. So, of course, take advantage of these while you have the opportunity and of course everything that we're chatting about here is a happy hour deal so keep an eye on that clock that is the key thing you will only have until that comes down to zero which will be at 10 o'clock in the morning for you to take advantage of so uh, details are there it's that side isn't it? no it's that side i get my left and hand left and right's mixed up i was right the first time because i couldn't look at the monitor because it's very unprofessional to look at the monitor well sometimes we do um so we're going to go back to what we're going to look at next Seven day savers, that'll be over the back then. So, oh no, slow down. <laughs> so, kind of which, did anybody watch the, the launch with the, I haven't actually seen them outside of the, um, the uh, what's it called, the ISS, International Space Centre. It's all very exciting. They haven't done any like walking because they've not gone to the moon. Anyway, quickie who pen. Now, these are, now this little segment of the show, they're seven day savers. So just to let you know, with these, the prices are going to be good through till eight o'clock on Sunday morning. So this is where the clock for this hour doesn't necessarily make a difference. What does make a difference, though, is the quantity of stock that we've got. So you could miss out on these for that reason. So the quickie glue pens, you have got five of these coming to you. Um, they're 12 pounds and 50 pence, brilliant value for money. Another one of those ones to stock up while you have the opportunity. Got your Fabulous little ear cap. I love these with the little ears. Design so it doesn't roll off your table, which I think is a very clever idea. Now, when you get yours home, I know these have all been primed previously, so I'm not going to take the lids off all of them. They will come with like a little plastic bead on that ball there, because these are like a traditional ballpoint pen. Um, just remove that. If you start trying to write with it and it won't write, that's the reason but, uh, why. And that has got a fabulous little flow that when you actually press down on that ball, the glue will start to flow out. Now, it is blue, so if you've not experienced quickie glue pens before, just wait for it to go clear. It will still be tacky then, which means you can use it for applying things like your um, embossing powders, your glitters, your foils, all those kind of things. Really good value at £12.50. pence. Something else that is brilliant value um, are the paints. I love these paints. You've got your primers in there, so of course that's going to give you lots of scope. All the colours of the rainbows, of course, coming from those primaries. And then you've got your white there as well. And of course that means you can add the, that in to turn them into more of a pastel tone. The white is a fabulous base as well, so you can use that if you're wanting to, um, to create a base for um, a colours to go on. It gives you a nice true white. It might be nice to put onto your MDF though. So uh, 999-102379 if you're wanting those. Busy for those ones as well. And then Crafty Devils are making an appearance for our seven-day saver. So if it wasn't good enough that we've got a whole hour of fabulous deals, we've got a seven-day saver. Now, this one's a little bit of a lucky dip because you've got a whole host. Now, I'm not going to pick these items up because it could be a while. Um, but feast your eyes on this. You've got all sorts. You've got things like frames featuring in here, as you can see. Lovely size frames there. You've got circles. You've got all sorts. Now, it is a bit of a lucky dip, so hopefully you will get some of the elements that I'm sharing with you here. Um, but they may vary but you are going to get some wonderful shapes gives you lots of opportunity see I like that well there you go we see we're getting plant pots we are also getting handbag I'm thinking a handbag if you put little um, uh, little holes in there what are we thinking a rocket yeah it could be a rocket couldn't it? would you need that on the top or is that more of a shuttlecock I don't know <laughs> bit more like I don't know it could be a little person could be a little person, an alien, yeah, all sorts. You'll have loads of fun with these. Little tiny tags featuring in these as well. You've got circles, discs, some of them will have holes in there. This particular bundle, we've got some little inches in there. I know um, um, Janice was asking about inches um, a little while ago. So you really have got an abundance with these. 
Oh, I'm so tempted to knock those over, but Ben's gone to so much trouble. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, seven, seven, right at the end of the hour. 447 491 pence. Now, in hours like this, you're going to be adding loads to your baskets. Now, of course, you've got your lead post from packing 295, but when you start adding additional items in, it's one pound extra. Soon starts getting to that six or seven pounds mark, and that's when Freedom Membership is a good idea to take advantage of. And here's Janice to explain what that's all about. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family and lots of us are freedom members and taking advantage of it with shows like this i have to say um and now of course we are here with a happy hour let's have a quick look at the clock what sort of time have we got oh my goodness a uh, little over half an hour left to take advantage of these savings time really does go quick when it's a happy hour so don't pop those items into your basket and sit back and relax because some of these are very very busy items i know it's been busy on the phone lines i think we've avoided the queues so far uh, but um, oh oh no I spoke too soon three minute queues We've got plenty to look at though. We'll keep you entertained during those three minutes. But um, yeah, make sure you're adding those goodies in so you don't have to phone back and get caught up in another queue. That is the key thing. Our MDF bundle where we've kind of got the A4 themed with this bundle, I'm going to say. Um, this has been a popular one. You've got three different sizes within here. So you've got your full A4, which we're all very familiar with. You've got your A5, which again, we are very familiar with. But then you've got your A4, kind of slender, because this one has been cut on the length here. I like this one, to be honest. I think this is a brilliant one for things like plaques wall plaques maybe if you're wanting to make um, a long journal something like that it could be that you're making a notebook it might be a bit long for a notebook to be honest as well but um yeah i do like that one and there's nothing stopping you if you want to do well actually you're only getting three uh, no you're getting three or four of these three of these ones i think or oh no eight <laughs> told you that before didn't i <laughs> I've got three in my hands, I'm, that's all I'm counting. Very short-sighted, what can I say? Um, now, with these, you could actually put them together and turn them into boxes if you wanted to. Obviously, you need to add your hinges in there. Um, maybe some of the squares that we've got coming up would fit as the, uh, the ends of those. So, yeah, there's loads of ways you can use these. But the thing is, to get hold of them at that price that we've got on the screen with a £20 saving, that is the thing with these. Do not miss out on them. You've got £20 saving. They're proven to be one of the most popular items during the hour. Rapidly approaching half of the stock has gone. So 298777. Don't forget, we've got a little over half an hour for you to take advantage of these. So we're kind of at the halfway point of the show. Whether they'll last for the full hour, I don't know. I haven't got a crystal ball. It's about the only thing I've not got on the set here, to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, just take advantage while you've got the chance. Again, another popular item is that stamping card. Now, if you have 
struggled with your stamping. I know many of us do, and we kind of blame ourselves. I can't do it. I'm getting it wrong. I'm doing this, that, and the other. It could simply be down to the quality of the cardstock that you're working with. The key thing is, if you're stamping, you want something that's going to be smooth, super smooth finish, because it makes it so much easier for you. If you're not getting any texture in your cardstock, that that's giving you the kind of as much opportunity and chance to get a fabulous impression. Now you are getting 200 sheets. I'll let you into a secret. There aren't 200 here because Leonie stole some earlier on. She took some for the one day special shows. Now, if she's using it, you know it's good quality, don't you, as well? 30% um, of the stock has gone. Probably the same from this pile, to be fair. Um, $17.99 being your price with this one. You are saving £7, and it just works out at nine pence per sheet. It's 300 GSM. So using it for stamping is perfect. It's lovely to blend your colours onto as well if you're wanting to create your backgrounds. It's going to accept moisture as well beautifully because it's 300 GSM, so it's not going to kind of buckle and bow. Well, I say it's not. I don't know what you're going to be using on it. But you throw a, a pint full of water on this, and it probably will buckle or bow. So I'm not going to say it won't. But in normal crafting circumstances, that is going to be minimal, I'm sure. So Crafty Devil's bringing us quality again within that pile there. So 975-834. If you're wanting this, add it into your basket. It's been a very popular item. Was that 30%, did you say, Emily? Yeah, 30% of the stock's gone popular one um now magnetic sheets this is something else that's worth stocking up on now over half the stock has gone of these now these are brilliant because you've got your magnet um, your magnet on your magnet that's supposed to be your magnet you've got your magnet <laughs> on these you've got kind of two different sides to these now i know some magnetic sheets are kind of magnetic from both sides i think with these but i think these ones it's just going to be singly um, there's a funny there's a big long what's the word anisotropic See, that sounds like it should be like pan, 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 <laughs> plant related, like a, a method of growing plants, really, shouldn't it? But it's not. OK, I can't repeat or whatever the word is, but it's, I don't think they're that type. Um, with these, though, this is where I would suggest, perhaps, if you wanted to make your own fridge magnets, here you go, look at that. You could take your super smooth cardstock, stamp your, um, your image on there, especially if you've got something like the one day special where you've got stamps that marry up with dyes, because why quite often your dyes, especially if it's a simplistic, shape which an outline of a stamp usually is um, you can be making your own fridge magnets with these so you'd be taking your super smooth card which at the bottom of your screen 17.99 your magnetic sheets there 14.99 you've got 15 of these sheets so you could potentially I mean if you're looking at what a fridge magnet being what a couple of inches square you're probably looking what three or four across there maybe five down this way here so you're potentially looking at what uh, about well five ten probably about 20 fridge magnets potentially from an A4 sheet. That is really good value. It's a fundraiser. Because you know when we're working with things like um, uh, the, creating things for charities, fundraising, or making things to sell, this is the other thing. I know lots of people can get a bit disheartened because you're making a card and you might be taking an hour to create a card, but when you actually come to sell it, quite often people won't pay the price to, to give you kind of a decent margin on those. So with using the techniques that you use with your card making, you could make fridge magnets, personalised names, all sorts of different fun. And indeed, some the elements that we've got especially from the seven day savers you could glue those onto there and turn them into fridge magnets as long as there's not too much weight on the front that is the key thing seven three um seven three two seven three six fourteen ninety nine lots of you taking advantage of those what was the update again on that one emily oh we're just we're checking it's going up that quickly that's the fair thing over half the stock has gone of those now as well there you go so if you fancy those pop those into your basket busy for everything that's what I like. That's when we know we've got a good happy hour when everything is hope spelling. So thank you. Good to have your company. Um, next one that we've got for you, shadow boxes. Now, if you've not come across shadow boxes before, um, you've basically got a frame element and you've got your box that's going to sit on the back. Um, and uh, everything glues together. You just need a good quality glue, um, MDF glues, sometimes PVAs. If you've got a good quality um, PVA, that will help you with these. And it's like a little kind of three-dimensional jigsaw. You've got your front panel, which you kind of put to one side to start with and you've got your base so let me just move this out of the way just to explain to you how you're putting these together you'll have your four sides and you'll have your base as you can see there and what happens is your four sides will glue together like so okay so you're going to put your glue in the recesses there and on the sides of those little kind of I call them noggins or nuggets sometimes but they're kind of a 
slot together like so. So you'll put all four of those in place, then get yourself an elastic band and put it around all those to keep them in place, keep it nicely glued. Then once it is set, that's usually when I come back in and put the frame on. I know some people will do it while the elastic band is around and they're drying, but it's entirely up to you. I tend to wait. Um, and then that's when you can start decorating. So when you create with yours, um, it might be that you're wanting to put some of your pretty cardstock in. So cut your cardstock beforehand, construct it, and then put your cardstock in place because you want to avoid these little connectors, and that's the same with your paint. If you're wanting to paint before you construct it, then keep your paint away from these little recesses because MDF naturally will swell when you get moisture involved with it, and that can have an effect on your construction. And then when you put it all together, you'll have your frame. If you do find that you've got a few little recesses, then just take some of your smooth texture paste just to fill those little gaps that you've got in there. The paint may well fill those as you're painting, um, but just in case it doesn't. And then there you go, you've got your little hanging um, loop um, or hole there, should I say, and then you've created a fabulous little box. And if you're wanting to put something like acetate in, you can always put that on the frame before you sit it in place. So you're going to get four of those for just £12.99, pence, one five six four four five, being your item number. Mirror card. This has been popular as well. You've got 50 sheets of your gold, 50 sheets of your silver, um, and it's just, well, what can we say about it? We use it so much, don't we? Matting and layering, sometimes just having that little tiny bit showing between your layers can really set a project off. Um, as I say, mixed media, you use things like your alcohol markers on this and also your alcohol inks. They come together beautifully on your mirror card. Um, and it's just a useful one to have. It's like a, a pantry item, isn't it? It's one of those things that you always need to have. It goes in your crafty pantry. If you're on a, a crafty desert island, you need to take your mirror card, because that way you can ensure you get a nice tan. There you go. Multi-purpose. Um, so uh, details on your screen, just £14.99. You're going to get 100 sheets in total, half of them in your gold, half of them in your silver. And of course, perfect to use with your embossing folders as well. They really do show off those designs to perfection. So one, three, one. Five, eight, four, if you're fancying those. More to share with you though, because we're getting into kind of the mixed media aspect with regard to your substrates. So we've got some grey board that I'm going to share with you. Huge selection in this first pack. So if you like a little bit of everything, then this is a good one to go for because you've got your squares, starting off with your four inch squares going right the way through to your 12 by 12. So you've got your four inch, you've got your six inch, your eight inch and your 12 by 12 coming with regards to your squares. Then when we're looking at the rectangles, you've got those at the back here. So you have got things like your A4 featuring within here. Um, you've also got your A5 and then you've got your four by six or your six by fours if you prefer. Depends on which way you want to use them. Twelve ninety nine if you want. Are they five by sevens or are they half? They are A5s. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was giving you the wrong size for the moment then. But they're not far off to be, oh, we haven't got anything that's five by seven to compare, but similar sort of size. But uh, yeah, standard, um, a half, A4, A5. Now you're going to get, oh, how many repeats did we decide on these? Did we decide? So you're getting four of the biggest ones because obviously the, the amount of uh, board that you've got in there. And then you've got six of the smaller and is it, is it eight? One, two, oh, we've got, hmm, hold on. Two, four. Let's have a look at this. I think Leone's been at these as well. Um, there's loads there, though. Don't worry, you will get a, a pack that's untouched by Leone. Um, one eats it. You'll get 44 pieces in total for just 12.99. It's not surprising, really, is it, that half the stock has gone of those. So, again, stock up on it. You're saving £13 for each one of those bundles you go for. And it's something that's not going to go off, is it? It's going to sit in your crafty cupboard quite nicely. If you want to concentrate on A4, then here we go. We can help you with that as well. Um, £9.99. Um, it's the 2 mil thickness that we've spoken of previously and it's again just one of those ones that's worth going for got a good kind of good flex to it as well it's not gonna be something that you can be able to fold in half but saying that you could cut it with a guillotine or a craft knife if you're wanting smaller pieces um, and it is just it's a really nice board as I say it's going to take your mediums all your different products that you're using you're gonna be able to use on there now the tags these have been a bit of star of the hour we have been so busy for these. It's incredible, amazing that they are still here. I think they're hanging on at the moment. Um, so you can see there, um, 20 mil being 20 centimeters, taking you from the widest point for the length of your um, tag there, and then the width of them being your 10 centimeters, which makes them a nice size, nice manageable size. 
the over half the stock has gone of these. We had a huge amount of these, a huge amount of them. These are brilliant for um, kind of, well, you could even put, you know, the little post. Oh, now here's a gift idea for you. You know the little squares of your post-it notes that you get? your sticky notelets you could put those on there turn or turn it into a little blackboard even but you could put your little notelets on there and then you've got something you could hang that up in the fridge could uh, not on the fridge in the fridge you could put it in the fridge if you wanted to i've got a little hook in my fridge it's not everybody you're not got a hook in your fridge um so you could hang that up maybe um, in the, the kitchen maybe even your uh, magnetic sheets that we've got in the show you could use on the back there and then it could be like when you need your shopping you could put it on a little sticky notelet and then take that with you like that idea yeah it could be a cheese board for one maybe another little way um or maybe you're going to be using it well there's loads of ways techniques i think are perfect for these and of course a nice simple outline if you're wanting to create your own pages again that super smooth card will work brilliantly alongside those as well 9.99 i mean we're looking at a tenner for 20 of those i mean that is brilliant value that was that was it 50 pence each is that my, is that, that's elementary maths really, isn't it? Yeah, it is 50p. I would look very embarrassing then if I'd got that wrong, wouldn't I? Um, but yeah, brilliant value and they are flying out. Take advantage of those, please, folks. Um, it's 377789 if you want to know like those something else worth popping into your basket and it's something that you don't ever want to show. Oh, oh, we're moving. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he's keen, is that guy? He's keen. <laughs> he got somewhere to be. <laughs> now you've got your fabulous um, adhesive here. You've got your red liner tape, but you've got it in different sizes. Now you've got 20 rolls in total. I love this photograph. Somebody's had a lot of fun with this one. Have a look at this. I think they've been, you know, the fun fair where you've got the ping pong balls and you've got to get them into the goldfish bowls. Or hoopla, that's another one you could do with this, yeah. Um, at £14.80, you've got your different sizes. So you've got your 12mm, which is your widest. You've got your 9mm, which is slightly sh um, slightly shy of a centimetre. You've also got your 6mm, and you've got your ultra fine with your 3mm in there. And as I say, do make sure that when you get them, they can be a bit tricky to separate because they're, they're very friendly. They like to be together. Um, but use something like your anti-static pad on the edges there, and that will mean that they keep nice and separate. And also it means you're not going to get things like your embossing powders and, and dust and glitter and things like that um, on the edges there. Oh, pet hair, yeah. Good point. Um, two, two, one, 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 two. Two little ducks, legs 11. Have we had any answers for 12? No. It's a baker's dozen, 13. So I don't know. Is it just a dozen? That's a bit boring. We need something else, really, don't we? Baker's dozen, less one. <laughs> Maybe something. Um, oh, the 12 days of Christmas. Boom. What a link. Um, now we've got some Christmas MDF for you here. Um, and you're getting loads. You're getting 30 pieces in total. Um, you're getting five repeats of the six different designs. And you've got things like the bells. You've also got your shields or your baubles. My goodness, three quarters of the stock has gone of these. Christmas stockings, they're featuring within there. And again, you've got things like your Christmas trees in here, your round baubles, which don't just necessarily have to be baubles for Christmas. And then you've got your fabulous little stars. Now, Emily would turn that into a Christmas pudding. You can turn what? The stocking upside down. It'd be an elf hat. Oh, a little gnome hat? Yeah, I can see that. Or... Or it could be a little worm coming out the ground. Could be a worm, couldn't it? I like these ones. These ones could be ears. Oh, but then you could be turning into a little rabbit. That works, yeah? Petals, maybe? Shields? There's loads of opportunities to use these as well. All of a sudden, they're not selling anymore, aren't they? No, I'm only joking. They are very, very popular. Um, 541 less than a tenner for 30 MDF pieces. I mean, that is brilliant value. I'm thinking as well, if you've got 30, you could actually turn these into um, like an advent calendar thing, couldn't you? If you put your Christmas tree up, maybe on the 1st of December, and then you could be making a, a, an embellishment or a bauble to go on your tree for all the days of Advent. So uh, there you go. You'll have some left over as well. Well, tags for your parcels as well. Good idea. Molly. Um, 999 541600 if you're wanting to take advantage of those. Now, of course, more MDF with regard to your words. And I love these. Some really nice words of inspiration featuring with these. But it's not just the words that you are getting. You're going to get your boards, obviously, with your, uh, your elements in there. Laser cut phrases here. You've got all sorts. Some of those keywords, family, sparkle, joyful, 
really nice phrases with these and the beauty is that you can apply colour directly to these if you're wanting to things like your sparkle pens you could go over it with your your inks your colors whatever you want to do you've also got some plaques and bases so again these are nice good sizes for some of these sorry my voice has just got a little bit funny um ben if you got a second could i have a little glass of water <laughs> it's a lot of talking going on <coughs> excuse me plaques as well within these as you can see there um so you have got a fabulous range with regards to these now Oh, I got to kind of croak and just disappear. I think we better have a little look at a, a video. So here is Leonie to tell you about Flexi Order. Flexi Order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your flexi buy payments so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments after your first payment is made your entire order will be dispatched when you add at least 60 pounds worth of any items to your shopping baskets either online or on the phone you'll qualify for our flexi order offer this means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly flexi buy payments offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. There we go, normal service has been resumed. Well, it's normal as you get when I'm around anyway. Um, time is ticking away, keep an eye on that clock. You can see that we've just got 15 minutes left for you to take advantage of the seven day saver, not seven day savers. <laughs> Happy hour deal. We've got seven day savers coming up. Thinking I need to lie down. Um, but yes, I was telling you about these fabulous words. Now you've got loads of words within here. You can see lots of family related, lots of words of encouragement, some really nice words within here. You've got your connectors as well, things like ands, and you've got your ampersand in there. So you can make little phrases with these if you wanted to. Live, lie, um, laugh, love. We see that regularly on home. Um, uh, kind of home decor pieces, don't we? So really nice um, sentiments within there. Now you're going to get those which is loads, you're getting loads of those within there, just the singles of these as well, so you might want to go for a couple of sets of these. You're also going to get some of your base plaques. Now these are nice because they're good sizes to house many of those words on there, and you have got different sizes within these, so you've got um, your, it's kind of like your, your wall plaques as you can see there, you've got your hearts, which are going to be nice, and you've also got some of your ovals as well, as you can see there. So uh, yeah, nice little selection within this one for just 14 99 um, very crafty bundle that one. Oh, you've got your little kind of name plates with your corners taken out as well. So yeah, nice bundle that one. So uh, 177543 if you fancy in those. Now the last bundle, this has been a popular one because you've got loads of different styles in here, which I think is nice. So if you've not got one specific project and you just want things for all sorts of occasions, then this is brilliant. Um, larger versions of the ovals that we've just saw, and again your plaques. So again, uh, you can see here different sizes with your, your straight um, rectangles, different shapes with regards to these. There's loads within there. Those are your larger pieces. You're also going to get, well, you're going to get some big pieces in here. You're going to get some 12 by 12s in here, I think. Yeah, 12 by 12s. You've got some A4. You've got your slender A4 in there. Um, 8 by 8, 6 by 6s, 4 by 4s. They're all featuring in there. ATCs, ATC coins in there as well. All your door hangers, all for $24.99. I mean, that's amazing. 15 pounds saving on these so lots of you taking advantage of those so do get those into your basket along with all those other goodies that we've just had a little look at but of course we have been chatting about the seven day savers check these out So seven day savers are a little different to the happy hour deals that we've been chatting about. They're all fabulous prices, but this time you have up until Sunday at some eight o'clock in the morning because they will change. So one of the ones that we've got to share with you, which is always a popular one, and it's been popular in this hour as well, your quickie glue pens. Now these are fabulous because they operate just like a regular ballpoint pen. So you don't need any particular skills with these. You could literally trace a design with these, even handwrite, doodle, add little dots as well. And they're nice because sometimes if you do want 
to add just a little kind of embellishment, a tiny bit of glitter, then this is the way to do it. And you'll regularly see our crafty guests here at Achanda using these. You're going to get five of these. Now, when I had a craft shop, I used to charge, I'm sure it was about £4 a pen. Um, so that is a really good price to get all of those at twelve fifty. Now, it's not a price that we regularly bring to you. Normally, you'd be paying at nineteen fifty, and you can get them any time. They're on our website. But when we've got them in the happy hour deals, that's when we do find that we are extremely busy for these because, of course, it's one of those items that, again, it doesn't go off. Um, it's something that you can have in your crafty stash for ages and ages. You'll be able to see the barrel there. It'll actually show you when that glue is depleting. So by having five of those, you know that you've got a good length of time that you can be able to craft with those. So that details are on your screen there, 499194. By all means, keep a note of the item number, but do be aware that when you do come to look for them, they might be that full price, £19.50. Um, so this is the hour to take advantage. Now, of course, the paints we've been looking at as well. I mean, these are beautiful gorgeous colours. You've got your primers at the front there as you can see with your red, um, your blue and that lovely yellow featuring within there. Now you've also got your whites so that means that you can lighten those tones and you've got two repeats of those because you might want to use one as a base and then go back in with those colours and of course you could make um, any of the colours that you've made with those combinations into pastel tones with that titanium white. Do have a little look online for a colour wheel. Brilliant colour wheels uh, will give you kind of the combination of using those different, it's kind of say like one part of this and one part of that to get different colours so uh, yeah it's really easy one to work with very affordable at 9.99 perfect for all your MDF to be fair talking of which we're back round to crafty devils with our seven day savers they have put together an amazing bundle now yours might not look the same as this particular one because of course contents are going to vary with regards to regards to these um this particular bundle we've got things like atz's in there you've got well we're deciding are these handbags are they plant pots are they um i don't know it's almost like a megaphone that one um our ben thought it did look a little bit like a rocket as well so there's all sorts of different pieces that you will get within there um, yours it's going to be weighed so you're going to get a box and um, that's going to weigh um, 150 not, well not 150 1.5 kilograms should I say um, and you're going to have all sorts in there might be frames that you're going to get in there. there's loads circles little rectangles diamond shapes absolutely loads you're just going to get some inches yay I did it and you're going to get some circles as well um, 12 pounds and 49 pence 447 Four nine one. Now, of course, we do get very busy on the phone lines during happy hour deals, um, and uh, yeah, the website is often the place to go, especially when we get busy. Really simple and easy website to find yourself um, way around. And I know many people will, don't use the website, but our call operators can search for things on your behalf if necessary. But it's a good way for you to jump ahead at the beginning of a show. Sometimes it can take us a while to get through all those products. So yeah, do have a little look. Also gives you the opportunity to see other people's views on the product. So things like those Christmas um, baubles and bells, very busy for those. Some of you may well have looked at the uh, kind of the, the reviews that we've got on those. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time though that's the key thing but if you do want to check out the reviews then you can do um, and of course do come back and pop those goodies into your basket so hopefully we'll manage to get through everything again because I know we haven't got a lot of time left but we'll go as far as we can show you some of the favorites maybe so this is one of those ones and this one is your art board you've got your fabulous boards here you've got your a4 you've also got your a5 which is your half a4 very traditional size but you have also got your slender a4 which is where your a4 has kind of been cut on the vertical there which is a really nice size perfect as I say if you want to put a couple of little holes in there you could be turning it into a little room tag um, or again a couple of holes on the the landscape and turn it into kind of like a, a long book if you want into um, brilliant value for money 20 pounds saving you're gonna get eight of each of those three different sizes absolute bargain at 14.99 29777 sorry 298777 if you're wanting those stamping card this has been a popular one always is 300 GSM you're getting 200 sheets there it's just 17 pounds and 99 pounds and it's definitely one to add into your basket lots of you taking advantage and as I say Leone did borrow a few sheets I'm sure they are coming back not um, but so if you're wanting yours at nine seven five eight three four she's using them in the one day special shows so uh, yeah do check those out a little bit later on uh, magnetic sheets these are something else that many of you are stocking up on very busy they've got a good weight to them they're substantial perfect for kind of keeping your dies in order but equally so you can use them for your fridge magnets as I say if you're getting hold of the board that we were just looking at that stamping card using dies and stamps a bit like some of the combinations that we've got on the one day special you could be die 
putting these out because dies are regularly cut, simple dies, simple outlines when you're working with stamps and turning your stamps into fridge magnets. Maybe put them onto the front of the card um, or maybe you're doing logos and all sorts of different things um, that you could be using your magnets for. So yeah, £14.99, you're getting 15 sheets of those. Shadow boxes, these are brilliant, really good size, nice depth to those as well. And of course they have got that lovely fra um, frame on the front there for you to finish off your project. Really easy, come together so simply. You've got your front um, with your frame, you've got your back, and then your um, four side pieces. So six pieces, and that's it. Jobs are good. And £12.99, 156445 if you want in those. Mirror card as well. Again, you've just got well, a little over five minutes to take advantage of the deal that we've got with this one. In fact, with all this, uh, uh, these um, happy hour deals. 14 99 50 sheets of each of them, 50 in your gold, 50 in your silver. Always a popular one, and it's a staple item to have in your crafty pantry. So do make sure you take advantage of that before the end of the hour. But the one that lots of you are taking advantage of, the fabulous grey board. Um, and we've got a couple of different ways of you getting hold of these. We've got your variety bundle, which is featuring things like your 12 by 12 your 8 by 8 6 by 6 is 4 by 4s with your squares. And then, of course, you've got things like your A4, your A5, and your A, um, your 4 by 6s within here as well. 12 99 brilliant value. If you're just wanting your A4s, then do check out the bundle that we've got with regards to these, because, of course, these are your A4 and you're getting 20 of these so it is one of those ones worth going for but one of the things I would say if you're wanting the tags you need to be placing your order for these these have been incredibly busy and at 9.99 I am not surprised so if you're wanting these in the multiples I would suggest you're getting 20 of these it works out just 50 pence per tag I mean you'd be expecting to pay that in cardstock really wouldn't you um, at 377.789 get those into your basket and don't forget the Christmas baubles as well they've been a popular one in this hour it's been really good to have your company in this hour i hope that you've taken advantage of some of those savings if you have just joined us if you quick and get on the website you'll be able to see everything that we've brought to you but make sure you check out your baskets before 10 o'clock because it's going to cost you a lot more otherwise i'll see you later Oh, we've got a lovely hour coming up. Brand new guest to us here to Chanda with Helen McCook and the embroidery. Lovely hour, looking forward to that. I'm going to be back with you with the Pergamano show and then we're back with a one day special at 12. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie. 
using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Oh, I'm live. Sorry, I'm chatting to Helen. Um, it's lovely to have your company. I'm very excited about this hour. Um, uh, we've got the amazing Helen McCook in the in the show, and she is such an interesting lady. Very, very talented indeed. Um, we can give a wave to our Helen, can't we? I do believe. Um, <laughs> our lovely Helen is stood there. Good morning, Hello. Helen. Good morning. It's wonderful to have your company. Oh, lovely to be here oh, today. So, that, I've been reading about you, and you've got so much knowledge. And I mean, you've been—you've um, obviously been doing embroidery for some years now, haven't you? Yeah, for quite a long time. I've been freelance for crikey since 2008 now. Wow. So, but I've been doing embroidery since 2000. Absolutely fell in love with it. Yeah. I love it because when we were chatting before, it's not just the, the stitch, but you're, re you're really passionate about the history of the stitches and, you know, following the line. And I love that because mm -hmm. I think we forget that, don't we? We forget that the everything, you know, it's got a history in its own right. Absolutely. I think the, the backstory to everything is really what I find uh, really interesting as well. And it kind of yeah. helps me remember why we do certain things. Yes. So yeah. I think it's really fascinating when you, yeah. when, when you know that as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it's, uh, it's, uh, it adds to the richness of everything, doesn't it? All the different yeah. cultures and, yeah, yeah so interesting. Uh, we'll be chatting with Helen a lot more and obviously demonstrating. I'm going to tell you now to get hold of a book. I mean, it's a beautiful book. Uh, it's from Search Press, obviously, they know the thing when they're doing, um, doing any kind of um, craft book. I love it because it opens up um, flat so you can see it to actually work. But And this, I mean, I'll show you in a minute, Helen, gold work it is phenomenal when you see the the results it's absolutely beautiful and there's loads of details in there so get hold of Helen's book I mean that is just gorgeous we will be talking about that in more detail but we've got some beautiful beautiful brand new kits for you let me tell you first of all about these now you might have seen this in the last show, but you might not have. It might be the first time you've seen Helen's work. It's the first time I've had a show with Helen, so it could be yours as well. Obviously, Helen, um, I'll be asking about this in a second, but have a look at that. That is so beautiful. Helen, I love the material that it, it's worked on as well. That is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a nice neutral background, isn't it? It really kind of makes the colours pop, so... And it's different. Yeah, yeah. We normally go quite bright or pastel-y, so it's, um, it's something in between. 
That is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So with this one, um, a perfect for beginners, you've got the, the I always say it wrong, skeins. You, you got it right, yeah, well done. Yeah. <laughs> Points to you. <laughs> I say it where I just don't, you can tell I don't trust myself. Yeah. So obviously you've got your skeins ready to go. You've got your, your print of fabric yeah. um, and also um, your beautiful instructions as well. Um, so brilliant for anybody to pick up and start. Yeah. And then the, the program I was on before with you it has um, full instructions as well. So I actually did some demonstrations so they can go back and call that back, have Wonderful. a look through. Yeah, so if they're not sure, um, it's beginner's kit, it's got everything in it. So Perfect. full instructions, step by step. So. And it's a beautiful starting point because the, the stitches that you've done, I mean, you know, as a beginner, um, the, the little yellow flower, that's gorgeous. I always think they look like little ice gems, don't they? Yeah. So they've got lovely texture to them. They're really pleasing. And we did demonstrate that on the last show as well. Oh, so, lovely. Yeah, so. I love that because for a beginner, you know, you, you've, you've crammed a lot in there for Thank a beginner. You. It's beautiful. I think you want a range of textures, don't you? So you want to yeah. see a few things that give you a range of different types of stitches so you can yeah. kind of decide what you'd like to do with them. So. Yeah. I love that. Um, um, brilliant way to start, brilliant way to learn. Only 19 pence and 99 pence. Very, very affordable. Obviously, you don't get the hoop. You get in your skins, you get in your gorgeous um, the fabric to work on. And then, of course, you get in your, your embroidery uh, patterns that you can turn to time and time and time again. Um, if you would like this one, it is uh, 687002. That's your item number. Now, next, this is absolutely exquisite. Is it? Now, have a look at this. Oh, sorry, love. I always bring it closer and I should forget. I should remember that you're just going to get in, aren't you? Look at the detail of this. Helen, this is ridiculously fine. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is on uh, beautiful Irish Belfast linen. It's 28 count uh, threads per inch. Wow. So um, it's the type of thing that you want to work with, preferably something dark if you're working with uh, clothes on... Uh, dark clothes on so that yeah. when you see it above your lap it showcases the holes ah, so okay. it's a nice little tip so if you're wearing light colors you're going to struggle to see the holes in the fabric ah. so um, otherwise use a magnifier make sure you're in yeah. good daylight but actually it's quite you, you kind of you, your eye adjusts to it yes. so we're gonna I'm gonna demonstrate this later and we're gonna show how you count across the threads of the fabric to create that lovely intricate lacy pattern yeah that's what I noticed straight yeah. away. I mean, when you look at that, that is, let me just move that thread out of the way, because you've got an option. You've got the, mm. uh, the black option or you've got the green. I mean, look at that. It does look like lace work. It, looks, it just looks like a really fine sheer netting, doesn't it? Yeah. That is sensational. You can do some really outstanding patterns with those counted um, techniques, and this would be a lovely technique for people who've maybe found themselves doing cross stitch and would like to move forward with that into yeah. a different technique as well. Yeah. So because the patterns in there, versatile. That's phenomenal. I mean, that looks like circles or even hexagons in there, and it's it's the. Especially, I think, with the, the black and white one. I mean, it looks shaded, doesn't it? You've, yeah. you've created that beautiful shading it, with the needle. Yeah, it's quite thread. graphic. And, yeah. um, and as I say, traditionally, it was most commonly worked in black thread on white linen, which is yeah. why we've included that option. But equally, um, you did sometimes see uh, black work in colour traditionally, but yeah. also, you know, the contemporary mind, you know, sometimes likes to see a little twist. So yes. we've added the colour version. Equally, it. you know, some people who do struggle with the rice sight do find um, that it's easier to see the colour on the white linen. Or yeah. some people with dyslexia find it easier to count uh, across the white linen in colour. Excellent. So. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Now, um, what you've got again, um, that beautiful, beautiful linen already printed. So you've got your pattern there ready to go. Of course, you're going to get your, your skeins. Then you get the beautiful thread. So that is the, I mean, that is gorgeous. Super fine there. And of course, you are getting your, your patterns as well. So if I just flip through. Oh, nice and easy to read as well there. Let me just, hold on, get it from the beginning. There you go, that's better. Oh, cool. So giving you full instructions. Boom. 
easy to follow and they are really nice big printed so you can really see that I like that no squinting at the book there's nothing worse than straining your eyes to read the instructions <laughs> absolutely and it just annoys you doesn't yeah. it if you can't even see the instructions yeah. it's such a bad starting point <laughs> oh yeah that is a bit you don't want to lose your patience that you've even got the needles in there as well I'm presuming you that you've got a super fine needle with this as well yes yeah, so you've got tapestry needle and you've got an embroidery needle and um, the tapestry needle is for the counted work where you're going into the holes right and um, then there's some detailing for the edging and the tendrils which you'll go into either the hole or the fabric thread Fabulous. so the sharp needle is for that so you can get to choose where you'd like that stitch to sit amazing amazing and again full instructions in there um, that is beautiful and different as well I think that's what I love about Helen's work um, she's bringing us so many gorgeous techniques now 33 pounds and 99 pence is your price 440 uh, 290 is your item number sorry that's I'm a bit rubbish with that screen <laughs> my eyes are I need to get as soon as we can go in opticians sorting it out <laughs> uh, my, ear, my eyes boom it's all getting sorted now next I haven't I probably have seen this before but I didn't mm. realize I was seeing this this is really interesting when I was chatting with Helen before and I know what to do now Helen because <laughs> Um, because so this originated so shadow work originated in India yes. is that right yeah and it's if you look at the back look isn't that cool so the richer patterns on the back yeah which means you get the shadow of it on the front so it's more subtle yeah how cool is Hence that? Hence the name shadow work. And you get to choose which one you'd like to see um, on the top. You know, it's beautiful on the back and the front. Yeah, so we don't have any knots hanging around. So you can do either side. That is so absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and again, when we were chatting about the history, you know, obviously mm. it came to us from, from India. Mm. But you were saying that this was used in the really, on the really fine fabrics. Yeah, absolutely. So we're using organdy, which is a traditional fabric for this. But yeah. um, the fabrics that we originally used came over from India, as did the technique. So we were using muslin uh, fabrics for the first time. We were using yeah. the organdies. And um, it's that fine see-through gauzy fabric. Yeah. And yeah. Um, traditionally, we use used white on white, so it's very, very fine. Yeah. And I've got an example of white on white here. So oh, I don't fabulous. know if you can see that. Um, can you see it's um, ah, got a backing, yes. but you can see the stitches show through. Yeah. Um, and it's very delicate. So we think of those Regency dresses very popularly, you know, Jane Austen period. Yeah. Yeah. You know, those lovely muslin floaty dresses with the embroidery and embellishment decorate. Yeah. Um, really delicate designs. Yeah. This was very, very popular at that time yeah. for that type of um, garment. So, That's so interesting. Yeah. And when you think of the work that went into all them garments, yes, amazing, absolutely. isn't it? You, yeah, you know, you look at them with a, a different eye, don't you? When you know the, when you appreciate the work. Well, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's stunning, is this? One. Yeah, it's we've done it in colour again because it's really easy to see. It's really yeah. bright and beautiful and cheerful. Um, but it gives you the option once you can do it in colour, you can do it in white, and you'll be able to see yes. it really easily and know what you're doing. Yeah. So. And I love that because again, it's learning the skills. Yeah. So you've got your fabric perfectly printed, so you can see really easily um, the organdi. It's a lovely feel to it, isn't it? I know it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really and you've also got all your really gorgeous bright scales. These colours are amazing. That blue, just beautiful. You've even got your your sequins. And the the wonderful thing about this when you look at that because the sequins are on the back it's going to be it's going to be subtle you know it's that subtle sort of shine as opposed to the other side which has got the proper you know you Real can really glitzy. see the sequins yeah. so different isn't it I love that that is so cool um yeah you're really liking this we're approaching 20% now if you'd love to get hold of that one something different um you've got that for 45 pounds and 99 pence you have got your two flexes there as well so you can split the payment over two months it's 880539 today you can get the full kit delivered for 23 pounds I love it because it's one of those if you're into embroidery, embroidery, it's giving you so many different options. And obviously, Helen's knowledge is incredible. Now, the book, already 40% of stock has gone. Can I show you this straight away? This is just amazing. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is a Tudor rose. Helen, that is absolutely sensational. So this is gold work. 
I mean, yeah. yeah, it just looks so expensive. Yeah, I mean, it just has that glamour, doesn't mm. it? I mean, we associate gold work with all the most important kind of ceremonial events that we have in this country and in other countries. And it's just that pomp and circumstance. It br yeah. brings that real style to it, doesn't it? Yeah, so. yeah, it really does. Yeah. I mean, it is so eye-catching. Is it different then? Is gold work... Um, is it just the thread or is there a lot of difference between yeah. the stitches as so, well? So basically, I mean, it has very specific threads that you use for very specific purposes and people think it's very complex. Yeah. But actually, when you use the threads in the way that they've been designed to be used, yes. it's very straightforward. Amazing. I, I just think it's so interesting. Again, it's the history of it. I love hearing about the history of it. My goodness, look at that page. <laughs> That's amazing. There's so many of these um, incredible works that, that uh, they last for centuries, don't they? Absolutely, yeah. Completely yeah. entrenched in our important historic events. Mm. Yeah, um, beautiful. And that, it, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Because there's so many of these where the pictures, they are depicting history. You know, this is how a lot of history has been passed down through, Absolutely. through needlework, which yeah. is phenomenal. Um, now, if you would love, love, love to get hold of this book, this has been so busy. Um, only £10.99. pence. It's a beautiful book, is that? And, it, you know, obviously you'll learn a lot out of it. The pictures have been gorgeous. Um, now, 809459, that's your item number if you'd love to get hold of that. Very interesting, Helen's a very interesting lady. Now, I'm going to throw straight over to our Helen, because uh, we're going to be doing, we, because Helen's <laughs> going to be doing a demonstration. What are you going to be showing for us, first of all, Helen? Right, so I thought I'd demonstrate shadow work, and um, I thought that we could do um, how to start the thread to start with, because people worry because it's a see-through fabric. Yes. So how do you start that thread without a big knot on the back, without a big knot on the front? So let's, let's start with that one. So I'm using double threads and they're fingertip to elbow length. So I'm taking my needle down on the line, not on the top, and I'm going to do two tiny stitches. I'm using the waist knot technique. So I'm doing two tiny stitches, just very small and tight, on or next to each other, on that ah, line. Yeah. And then I can just carefully snip that off, that knot off. That's sufficient to hold the threads in place Fabulous. and you can see it's going to be nice and neat and then what I can do is I'm going to make sure that I stitch over that with my decorative stitching. Amazing. And it holds so it, it in place it just completely. even firmer. And that's so, beautiful. So yeah, either side it's going to look really neat and absolutely. tidy. Absolutely. But that's really important with embroidery generally but really super important for this technique. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then what we're going to do is a simple back stitch which means that you get lovely coverage on the front and the back. And with the back stitch, make sure that you go down into the shared hole of the previous, the end of the previous stitch. Right, yes. So, so with this, obviously mm. because it's fine fabric, yes. um, like you're not, you know what, you're not sort of counting the, you know, like you would with your cross no, stitch. No, absolutely not. Counting it. not. It's so, um, freehand technique. Beautiful. So is it important to try and keep your stitch length the same? Yes. So you want to try and monitor the stitch length. So whatever you're starting off at, you'll want to continue. Right. So um, it's worth, I mean, you've got plenty of thread in your pack, so you could always have a little practice. Yeah. And if you, you, on the side, but if you feel that you've had a go and you think, oh, I don't like that, take it out. And just with your needle tip, just give the, um, manipulate the threads back into position. Right. They're quite so, a nice uh, fabric. It will help, yeah. you know, if you're gentle with it, it will move back into place. You won't see any needle holes, any thread oh, holes, and you can just go for it. And if there's any thread fluff left in, just get a little bit of um, scotch tape right. and just lift it off because it's a low tack tape. Lift it off on the front and the back and you can start again. Good as oh, new. Perfect. That's a good tip. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's something you've had to do a few times, isn't it? Throw oh, it yeah, yeah, we yeah. call it reverse stitching because it sounds more positive. <laughs> and we're all masters of the reverse stitch before you become a master of anything else. I'll Amazing. tell you that much. So, so you can see this one, you just continue round. And if you decide you've got to the end of the thread or you've got to the end of the shape and you want to finish the thread off, we do it in the same way as we did before. So if I angle out from underneath the stitch that I've just done, yeah. angle back underneath it and do that, do that a second time again now. That's so cool. I'm hiding those little holding stitches underneath the decorative stitch. Yes. I can come out on that line still 
and snip off. Amazing. And you can see it's a lovely, neat way. No knots on the front, no knots on the back for starting or finishing. Yeah, yeah. So no, you can't tell at all. Absolutely. It builds up really quite quickly, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's really pleasing because there's also repetition in this. So there'll be sections where you'll be doing, um, where there's a double line in the scallop or the um, peak, then you'll have the backstitch rows here and here. Some of them are um, shadow work where you do with like a herringbone on the back. So I'm going to show that in a second. And Beautiful. then others we do running stitch. So there's repetition, you change yeah. the colours and because you've got lovely shapes and you've got lovely colours to play with, it just feels really delicate and fresh mm. when you've done it. Yeah. So it's yeah. just really pleasing. And the fabric's gorgeous. Being able to see through it like that is wonderful. Exactly, yeah. It's really it different. Just, it's surprising, isn't it? Because you just think, well, you know, how am I going to do that? But actually, when you've seen how it starts and how it works up, you're just like, oh, hang on, that is really simple. Yeah. I yeah. just didn't realise it was going to be that yeah. straightforward. Yeah, just absolutely doable. Yeah. I presume working on a, a hoop is going to be way easier. Absolutely. You're going to struggle doing this just in the hand. Yeah. So um, I like a hoop that's stationary, so I can use both hands, but that yeah. is not necessarily what you have to use. You can use a normal hoop. And in fact, if you've got a normal hoop, you can just weight it down to a table with a heavy book or um, a bean bag, for example, like a you know like a school sports day bean bag. Yeah, yeah. A couple of those. Just something with a bit of weight to it so that you can have the same um, thing just perfect. nice and cheaply at home. Yeah, perfect. So. Yeah, uh, we do have hoops. So they're at the... Um, the zooming up actually. Excellent, the there, there you, you go. go. They look pretty as well. That's um, it, they're quite good for presenting the work in. What you yeah. can do is once you're finished, if you just um, do a little running stitch to gather the back in, so it's nice and tight on the back, yes. so you don't have your fabric flapping around. Yes. And then you can hang it up, just put a little bit of ribbon through the hoop, yeah. um, through the little metal screw at the top, and then use it to hang up with. Yeah. It's really it, straightforward. It just looks, yeah, really pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. You get a lot of people. It seems to be a, a thing, actually. Um, if you do want to get hold of the hoop, it is 568876. That's your item number. Right, back to you, Helen. Right, well, I thought I'd show you how to attach sequins. So what we're going to do is we talked about the fact that the sequins are on the back and you can see I've got one here. Um, so underneath you're seeing um, a cross on the top. Oh yeah. But underneath there's actually a sequin. So um, I don't know if I put my white paper underneath it, it might show up a little bit easier. So can you see we've got we've got stitches under here and we've got this sequin yeah. under there. You get that little glitter. If I, yes. if I move that around you might get a glint of that. But the way that we do that is putting the sequin on the back as I say. So we'll... Um, I'm just uh, getting my thread ready. We, um, I've started the needle exactly as I did before, started the thread exactly as I did before, and I'm putting two sequins, sorry, a sequin onto my thread. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my needle up where I want the sequin centre to sit, and it ah. makes the sequin sit at the back into okay. position, okay? Yeah. And now what I want to do is to just do a north, south, east, west stitch. So I want to... Put four stitches on, coming up through the centre each time. So and going down on the edge, up in the centre. Yeah. And did you put a knot at the back of the sequin then? Time? No, I did exactly the same starting stitch as I right. did. So here, I did a knot on the top and two small stitches, and then I hopped across to the centre having put my two st sequins on. Get it. Because I um, don't want knots on this piece. Yeah. So that's now positioned on. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is hop across to here, and that again, using the same thread, is a back stitch. So I can now use that thread to back stitch with. Amazing. Makes okay. me want to look at the back of this now. It's really interesting, isn't it? I can see where you've saw. See, can you see where the behind? So that's the gorgeous sequin. That's what Helen's doing. And then just popping across. Perfect. And yeah. you can see them now. It's, it, I love it because now it's like, oh, yeah. Like, oh. That's where you popped across. Yeah. Oops, today, so let me move that fabric out of the way. Can you see? There. Popped across. Perfect. <laughs> um, a quarter of the stock has gone. If you want this, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh. The more you look at it, the more you appreciate it. There's quite a lot of detail in it, and mm. it's really beautiful to look at. But actually, as I say, it's a very straightforward set of techniques. So once you've actually kind of got that nailed, you'll just be like, yeah. oh, OK. Like most embroidery, actually, it's not complex step by step. It's just one of those things that the, the final product looks complicated. Yes, so, yes it does. Um, Especially to an untrained eye. Yeah. You know, to someone who doesn't do embroidery, you'll just think, oh, my good grief. Or a beginner when you're a bit, oh, 
Yeah. But when you've when you've got the skill set. Yeah, I mean, I, I teach a lot of people, and they quite often they'll come to, they'll see things in exhibition or at, you know, um, kind of trade shows or whatever, mm. and they'll kind of go, I could never do that. Yeah. I'd never be yeah. able to do that. And then you start to teach them, and you kind of like, you, you, can. you see, yeah. you see what yeah. it's like because you break it down, yeah. and um, and it's with anything, you know, yes. um, just learn those, drops. Yeah, yeah, rudimentary steps, and it all just builds up and builds up. It's like yeah. um, learning a language. You're learning yes. word at a time, you know, vocab at a time. It's the same with this. It's stitch at a time, yeah. and it all builds up into this amazing complex vocab that you can kind of play with and yeah. re really kind of create some amazing things. And it's so. lovely because you can make your own pieces. You can really make it your own, as I say. I mean, these um, these are all just guys to teach you the technique. They'll, they'll create beautiful things, but the idea is that you'll then have those stitches in the bank so you'll be able to then think about how you'd like to approach something. So, yes. It's so interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Helen, back to you. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, so I, I thought I'd show you one last stitch, which is a really important stitch for this technique, which is the herringbone stitch. So it looks like a back stitch on the front, and it's a herringbone stitch on the back, which looks like a cross stitch. But where cross is normally cross in the centre, yeah. this will cross to one end and then the other end. So okay. it's like there and then there. Ah, so yes. um, what we'll do is... I'm starting in the peak of this um, point with the knot on the top. I'm going to do two stitches again because I want to show you from the start so you don't think you've missed anything. So I want you to fully understand what you're up to. I love this stitch. It looks absolutely stunning. It does, doesn't it? Mm. So what we're going to do is you come up on the side that you've started and stitch as though you're going to stitch a back stitch. And then you'll do a twin on the other side. And then you'll do another one, as though you're doing a back stitch on side one. And then another one on side two. So you basically just serpentine from one side to the next. The end product on the top, as I say, looks like a back stitch. Yeah. But because you're crossing from side to side, it creates that lovely cross stitch on the back, that herringbone on the back, just yeah. naturally staggers across. That's well cool. So you, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. I, so your travelling stitch is decorative. Yeah. I'll show you. I will show you. Hold <laughs> on, I love that because Kim in my head went, I don't get it <laughs> because I Kim. So what you're seeing essentially is this side. Yep. Isn't it, Helen? Yep. So they're seeing this side. The back so, stitch, you're seeing? Yeah. Yep. So it looks like a back stitch, but look what it does. So it looks like it's sort of shaded in, but you can subtly mm. see that yep. wonderful sort of herringbone. When I whip this over, look, that's what it's doing on the reverse. That's your travelling stitch that you're seeing. That's well cool. Yeah, and that's the, the, the idea of it being shadow work is that you're getting that shadow of colour on yeah. the front. Yeah. That subtle, that subtle colour. But then, as I say, on the back, if you if, if you prefer the back, use that as the front yes. when you've finished, you know. That but is it's, such a clever stitch. It, I'd love to take credit for it, but yeah. it's hundreds of years old and it's just as beautiful now as it was when it was made. And I it's love, just... it, you know, the people who did this, yes. you know, the, the minds who came out with a stitch like that to realise that it looks just as, as effective on the front and the back. Absolutely. It's just, yeah, it's a, exceptional. So that's the shadow work, and as you say, if I just, um, it's quite difficult to see here, but if I just put something white underneath it, yeah, can you see that shows up? Yes, so perfect. So you can see how that stitch looks. So um, it's just a really pretty that's technique at the end of the day, cool. isn't it? It's very, so straightforward, really yeah. quick to do, goes in really swiftly. So and those are the main stitches. I love that, thank you. My and pleasure. it is like you so said, once you've learnt those stitches, look at it in the... So, have a look at that again, because that stitch, that's really... Look on the... Can you see the green leaf? So, on that green leaf, you can see... Because you can really see the, the herringbone. And then when I whip that round, look at it from the other side. Hold on a minute. Which bit of fabric is it? I need to move there. Look at that. Yeah, it's on the leaves. It's round the edges, but in two colours. It's round. Isn't that effective? is you do your herringbone that I've just demonstrated yeah but you leave a little gap in between each stitch and then ah. you go through in a second colour and fill the gaps doing the same stitch amazing and that's how you get that detail yeah. 
Oh, Helen, that is so <laughs> cool. Um, if you do want to get hold of this, I mean, that is exceptional. Such a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. You are going to learn how to create all these stitches. Shadow work, I really like that. I just think it's ridiculously effective. Obviously, this isn't the book. Um, it's I've, I, That's the book for the one I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, but that is what you're going to do with the shadow work. That is 8803, uh, sorry, 539, that's your item number. £45.99 is your price. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I will quickly whip down this counter for you and then we'll get back to our Helen. So what you've got, first of all, if you want to start, if you're watching our Helen with shadow, the, you know, the, the beautiful shadow stitch and thinking, oh no, that's a bit too... Don't worry, this is where you start. And I love it because that is a beautiful piece, isn't it? I mean, straight away, you're learning all these gorgeous stitches. Again, look at the detail of that. You know, when you look at that, can you see that really nice little yellow stitch in the middle, in the cross? Honestly, this is so beautiful. When you start, look at that, isn't that just stunning? Absolutely stunning. And this is a beginner's piece. Imagine doing that as a beginner. How gorgeous. These will carry you forward, these stitches. And that, that is just ridiculously cute. Isn't that pretty? And th I love it because this is just such a beautiful starting piece. Gorgeous fabric to work on. You've got the skeins as well. Lovely, bright colours to work on. Really, really, um, really effective and happy, happy colours. And then, of course, you've got very easy to follow um, uh, guides there and really nice big print. So you won't be squinting at that. I love that. I really like that. I love that the pictures are lovely and large for you. Uh, £19.99, pounds, that's all you're paying for that kit. And the thing is with these, it's not a one-off piece, is it? Because obviously, the, what you learn, as, as Helen was saying, this just builds up your knowledge. Um, if you would like that one, it's 687002. That's your item number there. So that's your beginner's kit. We've then started on the, the brand new kits that we've got. Um, the black work. So obviously we've got the black work option for you. And I must admit that uh, that's my favourite. It's just phenomenal. It's another one of those. When you get in really close and see the stitches, it is absolutely exquisite. So can you see there? It, I mean, you can sort of see circles. It almost looks like hexagons. And then it's building up those stitches to create that incredible shadow. And they do look amazing. And I need to show, look, look, Helen's work looks good front and back as well, obviously. I mean, so, so obviously. Um, so that's the black and white one, the black work. Or you have got... Um, the beautiful green, and that is just exquisite, which is um, which is your colour stitch. That is beautiful. And again, the shading created with um, the stitches, created with the variation of colour with the, the threads, but the detail of those stitches. I mean, that is exquisite. Now, with this one, you are getting your, your fabric, and this is the, the Irish... Belfast Irish linen. Excellent. Belfast Irish linen. Beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely, is that? Mm. You've got both of your needles there. Of course, it's printed. You've got the skeins and the thread. And, of course, really good printed instructions that you will be able to go back to time and time again, um, which is fabulous. And I love it because that's a really nice big print as well. Now, if you would love to go for this brand new kit, £33.99 is your price. Um, the choice is yours, which you wish to, which you wish to go for. Um, that is 440290. That's your item number. I was stumbling over my tea. Now next, the shadow work. 40% of us gone. This is stunning. So that's the fabric that you're getting. I mean, look at that. It just, it's got such an unusual texture to it. It's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's almost, it feels almost papery, mm. doesn't it? Yes. It's just amazing. So it's so different. And that, I mean, I'm, I love that I chatted to Helen about this because I, when I first looked at it, I didn't get it. And what I didn't do was spin it round. So I didn't get the, the you know, the subtlety of this and the, uh, how incredibly intelligent those stitches are. You know, that you are creating that pattern which looks phenomenal on one side 
but just so subtle and beautiful on the other. And look at the way you see. Can you see the shine of those now? You can really see the shine of the sequins, but it's, it's subtle. So it won't give you, look, that's the proper side. So that side, I mean, sequins can look a bit sequiny. Whereas that side, it just gives you that beautiful sh shimmer of gold, doesn't it? Really like that. Uh, you've got your instructions, you've got everything you need, including your beautiful sequins. Um, if you would love to have a go at that one, £45.99, and pounds, exquisite. You've got two payments, £23.40 and 40 of the stock has gone. 880-539 is your item number. And then the book. Now, this has been really busy. I mean... Helen's work is phenomenal. You know, the, the detail in that, it just looks so expensive. Look at that. All those stitches, there's so much work there. It is, I find it um, very tactile. And you want to touch that, don't you? You know, I'm not, don't touch it, I can't, it's behind glass, it's <laughs> safe. But don't you? You want to because you can see the, the depth of that stitch. You know, you can see how raised it is and how tech it does. I am terrible. You know, any, any beautiful stitch work, the first thing I want to do is touch it. That is just good. Which doesn't go well, you know, when you're stately homes, when you're walking around looking at the, <laughs> the year old tapestries. <laughs> And then you've got me like a, an horrible kid with dirty fingers. Uh, anyway, I don't do it, honest. <laughs> Please don't bar me <laughs> from all the stately homes. Um, not allowed in yet, anyway. Shut up, Leone. So, yeah, it's my National Trust card taken off me. Um, so, if you do want to go from the book, I'll show you some more of the, the beautiful stitches in there. You've got your stitches. You've got, of course, some beautiful... Um, and it's some beautiful history of the, the gold work and, of course, some lovely, lovely ideas and inspiration there. I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? Um, £10.99, that's all you're paying for that. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous book of Helen's. That is 8094.59 is your item number. Um, and, yeah, that is wonderful. And the RSN, um, the Royal School of Needlework. And that, um, Helen... I mean, you have been part of the RSM for years, haven't you? Yeah, so I went there after my degree and I was, uh, you know, it was life-changing for me. Like, just, yeah. I hadn't stitched until I went there. Really? So I went after my, yeah, it was a massive gamble on both, on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I just took to it. I just absolutely fell in love with it. I, I was like, I don't know what it's going to take for me to do it, but I mm. want to do that. Yeah. And, um, and I've just been absolutely obsessed ever since. And that's amazing. But they're so clever with the way that they teach um, and have always taught, um, since, certainly since I was there. And, yeah. you know, just, just such a genuine love of the subject. And they just genuinely want to pass on those skills, yeah. keep those heritage skills going. It's just such, in, such an important yeah. Uh, mission. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I love it because you've designed, you teach for them as yeah. well. Yeah. It's yeah. Lovely. And, I'm, yeah, you've got that passion as well. So yeah, I, I, it gets its hooks into you. I warn you, yeah. we've started with the shadow work with you. I'm like, ah, this is just the start, Leonie. It's, uh, it's a slippery slope from there on in. <laughs> it's a big old beast. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's bigger than people think. Yeah, so. yeah. And it's been going for a few years. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, if you do want the book, please check that basket out, 809459. Now, um, something I am going to talk to you about, uh, we've got some seven-day savers as well. We do need to mention these. Um, some threads here obviously these are seven day savers and are not part of um helen's kits these ones um these are more your sewing machine threads aren't they um nine pounds nine nine pounds tell you what though look at all that for that price that is incredible you've got uh, contents will vary there it's just a really really good price whether you are hand stitching whether you're popping those onto your machine um your your con well your colors will vary but yeah just a phenomenal deal there. 990-565, that's your item number. Please check out your other seven-day savers because we've got some seriously good deals on there. Um, so don't miss out on those because, of course, it's only a limited time. Now, back to our lovely Helen. What are you going to be demonstrating for us next, Helen? Right, so I thought I'd demonstrate the blackwork stitches. So um, one of the things that's really important about blackwork is that people think that it needs to be the same both sides. Yeah. This is not shadow work. So yeah. 
yes. what it needs to be is decorative on the front following the pattern that we've got in the guide yeah and then on the back you're doing stitches to get you across to get into the right place to do it yeah so it's as you say my sample you've just shown the back of so it's a working space so you don't hop about all over the place yeah. in a frenetic manner you just work efficiently around the space using as small an area to jump as possible yeah. to get to your next place. Because it does look, it still looks really good on the back. Well, <laughs> so yeah. neat and tidy. It needs to be neat. You don't want loads of threads hanging around. Yeah. You don't want bulk and knotting. Um, and the more you kind of pass the thread, the easier it is to get your tension wrong and to yeah. get loops and bumps. So as I say, the, the best guide is to think what's the most efficient way I can use my thread yeah. to move across this space. Yeah. Um, but there's also no right and wrong to the pattern. So the way people work across the pattern themselves, um, it, it varies. Yeah. So it depends very much on the way that your brain reads that pattern. Oh, that's so nice. it, yeah, it's very yeah. personal to each person. So I'll show you how I do it and it will make sense then and you'll kind of look and think, oh, okay, well, what do I see first in this pattern? Because that's yeah. the thing that you identify first is the thing that's your marker to help yeah. count out the pattern. Yeah. Sometimes it's helpful if people have got a bit of graph paper at home, if they just do a section of the pattern whatever they've started drawing first is the thing yeah. that is their marker amazing so it's yeah. quite a good tip yeah so um but yeah so what i thought is that i'd start um i'd show you the two ways of starting threads in black work Perfect. so i've printed them onto the fabric so we will have edges that you can then start and stop in like we did with the shadow work yeah but also the other ways that you can start um with a thread end and then work over the top of that with your counted stitches which means that you don't have to have edgings on other types of black work excellent excellent so, okay okay so one of the things to start is with the knot so um if i do that again so just so you can see how it's widely applicable to a lot of the techniques that we do so it's the knot on the top and the two small stitches in an area you know you're going to cover so in this case the outside edge and then you bring it up ready to work and then the other way of doing it if I just bring in another thread and I'm using single strands of this so with your skeins I've cut it to a fingertip to elbow length which okay. is an L or elm and then you sh you shred one out ah, right. okay yeah so if you if you kind of flay them at the one end so that they're spread out you can then use um, you can then easily pull one thread out Perfect. and it will just travel up quite easily without course, creating yeah. a knot Perfect. people get into a right pickle when they're trying to get a, a, a thread out of a skein yeah and yeah. that's that's the easiest way to do it amazing so, see i love those little top tips yeah because it just it saves time doesn't it well it does because i mean these little frustrating things that actually there's easy ways around yeah. when you're shown yeah. that's the thing that stops people quite often from doing embroidery yeah. Yeah. so it's trying to thread the needle how do i start the thread how do i finish the thread yeah i keep getting knots all over the place and um, yeah, these are the things that put you off doing it, yeah. and in reality, they're really easy ways of getting around that. Yeah, so, perfect. Right, so the other way of doing it would be, um, if I'm working in this area with my counting, I just bring my thread uh, down with the knot on the top, about an inch away, okay. in an area I know I'm going to cover, and then bring it up, and then once I've worked across this section and this section, that yep. knot can be cut off and that's nice and secure ah, yeah so amazing. if you don't want edges then that's the way to start but so with this that design easy. absolutely straightforward isn't oh it oh my god i know i know yeah if i show ridiculous. you yeah oh, if i yes, show you this Helen. one for example that one doesn't have edges so you can see that one technique blares into another one stitch blends into another without edging see now what am i saying so uh, right mm. okay Am so, I looking at the white? Or is the black, the black's the actual stitching, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Wow. So it becomes very confusing, isn't it? Yeah. So it's Because yeah, it's it black on edge. white, it's really interesting because the black creates an optical illusion. It becomes like, um, it looks further back. Yeah. So it drops away from us, so it looks like a hole. So we want to read it as though the black is behind and the yeah. white is in front. That is so, phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so you can see there's so many different types of patterns and stitch patterns that you can do. You can do it on larger scale fabric as well. Anything that's got an even weave pattern, yeah. you can do these patterns on too. So an even weave fabric, any of those would be suitable to do these um, stitch techniques. That looks amazing. So, And it's so cool because as soon as you, again, when you look at what you can do, again, I, can we get in? Uh, uh, 
Mr. Webster. Because looking at that detail of that, can you see? Look at the circles. Isn't that cool? <laughs> the, and you, it does. It's one of them. You need time to look at it, it don't you? Yeah. Look into that pattern. It's you kind of get sucked into it as I say. It becomes hypnotic. Yeah. Um, with yeah. black work and it's one of those things that I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll stop for lunch and then suddenly you realise it's you know half four and yeah. you've completely yeah. missed lunch. So it's so. amazing diet aid. <laughs> well absolutely yeah. Because yeah. you've got lost. I mean the big um, look at that. Again part of that just looks like lace work. It is I mean it's that optical illusion yeah. and um, again it's a really old um, technique. Um, so we think that this type of county black work actually came across from um, Spain with Catherine of Aragon ah, and wow. um, her and her ladies did simple county borders and patterns and then by the time we're into the period of Elizabeth I we're seeing whole sleeve fronts and wow. skirt fronts worked in these counted stitches. They didn't tend to use different um, weights of thread or different shades in the same piece. It would just be yeah. one th one thread in one weight. Yeah. So it was all the same finish, but different stitches to create those different patterns. Amazing. So and that is so interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, love it. It's I mean, it's so beautiful. We yeah. had other types of techniques here. I mean, that's one of the reasons why people get confused and think that black work has to be the same on the back of the front because. Yeah. Prior to those stitches coming from Spain, we had a type of black work that was double sided ah, okay. called Holbein stitch. Right, so okay. people get confused. Yeah. So it's referred to in um, Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, for example. Wow. So it's a really old te set of techniques. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's more straightforward than people think. Amazing. So, so don't get put off. No, Have absolutely not. This. No, no, it's for everybody. Yeah. So. And especially, yeah, I think when you get into it and you see those, that detail, those stitches, yeah. you will love that. You will love this. It is, it's, it's patterns within patterns. It's, it's pattern, your pattern building, you know, with your stitches, your, your patterns are creating a bigger, a bigger pattern, aren't they? Do you know oh, what this always reminds me of as well? When I was a child, um, I used to have those colouring books that were patterns like this. Yeah. You know those Altair colouring books and they were like geometric patterns and you could colour them in. This is just the same but in yeah. stitch. It's, it's yeah. so addictive. Yeah, that's so, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, so, back to you, Helen. Right, so why don't we um, demonstrate one of the stitches? So the one that you keep referring to that looks circular is one of the stitches that's going in the underside of the leaf. So what I'm doing is where it's near to the vein line, I'm going to do it in the dark green, Beautiful. whereas the outer edge is in the light green. So what we're going to do is, I've come up and started this pattern, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count across two of the threads okay. and take my needle down. So if I then, it's like a back stitch. So basically, if I come back up in that same hole, I'm going to undo the stitch I've just done. So I've got to go across in uh, to across two threads. So one, two, and go down back into that hole, and then one, two, back into that hole. I'm going to come back up into that stitch so that I can then go across two to create this little square to finish off. Beautiful. And basically we've got um, an octagon which has a square on four sides is the way that I see it. So the north, south, east, west there's a square. So I'm popping that square in for the next side. And you want to be controlling the tension to which you're pulling these stitches because these even weave fabrics, if you pull at them really tight, then they will pull together the fibres of the fabric and then they'll end okay. up doing pulled work, which is a different thing entirely. Beautiful. So, um, so what we want to do is to just control... Ah, yeah, you can see it. I can see the squares now. So if I just bring the actual pattern booklet over, we're doing rounded eyelet, which is ah. this. Okay. Well, um, that one. So you can see I've done this one and this one, and I'm working around it because it's this octagon. Yes. With a square, 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 and then um, two two sets of crosses in the middle. Amazing. So if I complete this square at the bottom, I can see you'll the have seen a full circuit farming. of it. Then it's beautiful to see it from and look at that. So you you actually. Joined the RSN, but you hadn't done any stitching. No. <laughs> Crazy. That's a leap of faith, isn't it? I know. Well, on both sides, actually, and yeah. um, and it's really interesting because I just um, I'd done a degree in printed and dyed textiles with non-European art history, and 
I knew I wanted to do textiles and I was still kind of looking around for the subject that was the one that I loved mm. and came across the course. I actually pulled out a brochure in the, in the um, careers library at university and this wasn't the brochure I was pulling out, but as I pulled this brochure out, the RSN leaflet fell on my feet. Wow. And did, did, I, kind did, of picked, did. I know, I picked it up and I was like, it's just meant to be. Yeah. So I saw this uh, leaflet and I was like, my goodness, that looks amazing. Oh my um, God. So, yeah, so I ended up um, applying to uh, one of the courses they had then and went three years full time. Wow. And, um, and just absolutely fell in love, completely yeah. immersed myself I in it. I suppose they knew your, your passion already because you'd studied the history yeah, so, so they used to see they see different things in different people mm. and people came to these courses from a lot of different backgrounds yeah and that adds to the flavor and depth of the skills that they bring together as a team yeah so um, we've all got different interests and different backgrounds and that uh, you know as with every company yeah. Uh, yeah. gives you different insights yeah so, everyone brings um, their own little yeah, thing yeah exactly the table. And it all adds to something that really kind of is amazing yeah. so yeah um so yeah it just really worked they took a gamble and I, it just really paid off Perfect. um but it's it's just one of those things with embroidery the more you know the more you know you don't know yes and yes. um and it's just so exciting because of that because yeah. you know you're learning techniques there's different techniques all over the world and different ways of doing particular stitches so you might know a stitch a particular way and then you'll yeah. be teaching somebody and they'll go, well, that's not how I do it. I do it this way. And you'll be like, well, that's amazing. And then you kind of think about which is the best way yeah. of doing it and the most efficient way to do it and why. Yeah. So we have these long conversations. We amazing. can literally talk for like two hours on <laughs> how many wraps a French knot has and things like why. And, <laughs> and um, very immense, you know, getting into the nitty gritty. And because we want to teach things in the best way yes. to, most, um, to make sure that you get the best results yeah. repetitively yeah so that's um, really nice yeah. yeah getting everyone's head together and absolutely yeah. if you understand why you're doing something you, yeah. it helps you remember it absolutely so and it helps you teach it better as absolutely, well absolutely yeah i am going to mention i mean chatting to helen is so interesting uh, there's a lot of knowledge in the book as well and did you say this is your first book that's just, yes, just yeah. yours or yeah yours? so i've contributed to other people's books but this is yeah this was one for uh, the Royal school of needlework for search press which Beautiful. was specializing in gold work it is just such a gorgeous book. Um, if you would like to get hold of this, this has been so busy. £10.99 pence is your prize. I mean, it is a beautiful book. Obviously, um, you know, Search Press always produce gorgeous books, but the, the information, the ideas, the inspiration, um, just stunning. And just the pictures are so pretty. <laughs> £10.99 pence is your prize. 809, I mean, look at that. 809459 is your item number. If you'd love to get hold of that, please do not miss miss out on this one. Um, remember Helen is chatting about the gorgeous uh, black work and you can see so at the minute let me see see Helen's working I think which bit is it? It's These the lower ones. half of the leaf. There can you see look look. Yeah. So the bottom half of that vein line. Yeah so you're just down here. Yeah. And I can see now the stitch and now I understand that yeah, stitch. Yeah it starts to come together doesn't it you yeah. start to read it so um and then it's interesting because with the, the difference between the colour and the black work, what we're going to do is with the colour, we've got a change of colour. So where it's darker, we're using dark green. Yeah. Where it's lighter, we're using light green. And we're using a single strand across the top. So it's only a single strand. Whereas with the black work, the difference that we're going to do is um, we, it's more modern style. We're going to use different weights of thread. So with uh, the darker area that you're seeing on the sample, we're using a single strand of the stranded cotton. Uh -huh. And then with the lighter area, we're ah, using a finer weight yeah. of thread. Okay, so it's exactly it. the same stitch. Yeah. It's just that where you're wanting that difference, we're using a different weight of thread because obviously rather than going black and grey, yeah. which would kind of diffuse the effect, yes. the traditional way would be, as I say, that we've developed is to use different weights of thread. That's so, absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Helen, thank you so much. My absolute pleasure. I love it. I love it. Um, so if you do, oh, I need to move. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stood up there somewhere. Um, I need to just give you a quick reminder. Um, that wonderful story to get how much time we've got. We've not got much time left, have we? 
Okay, um, if you do want the beautiful beginner's kit, please do not miss out on this. This has been really busy. I mean, when you look at that, it is gorgeous, isn't it? And you're learning so many different um, stitches there already. I adore how fine this is. I love that, that attention to detail, the beautiful um, points of yellow, the flowers. I mean, they are just got Again, this is perfect for me because I can touch every stitch. <laughs> so tactile. I know, ridiculous, isn't it? But it's so tactile. Um, gorgeous colours. It's something you can create time and time again because, of course, you have got the booklet with uh, your full instructions in there. Only £19.99. £99. Please do not miss out on this. It's a lovely beginner's kit. And I love it because... Um, Oh, you need to, Helen teaches as well, imagine, you know, you just want to, to get all of Helen's knowledge. Uh, now then, 687002, that's your item number if you'd love to go for that one. Um, we'd also love you uh, to go for the black work. It's really interesting because now seeing Helen, seeing how those stitches build up, I mean, I, I can see this in serious detail and that, yet every single stitch is incredible because that can you see now what Helen was doing so creating the squares and then bringing the detail in I love that it's just absolutely amazing and um, if you would like to go see there it is being built up boom <laughs> Mr Webster <laughs> that's a great shot and look look we can do this then <laughs> oh, bring the green in. Um, so £33.99 is your prize. So that's how it builds up. And that's what you are going to get smooth. Um, that is 440290. I, that is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Chris Webster. <laughs> I have to say his name. So he's doing the fancy shots for you. Um, if you do want that wonderful black work, you have got your choice. You can go for the black work or you can go for the green option, which is the coloured option. I adore both of those equally. They are absolutely stunning. OK, a uh, minute and a half. OK, the, uh, the shadow work. This. I've never seen, well, probably I've seen things like this. I am, doesn't it make you, shows like this, doesn't it make you look at things in more detail? Doesn't it, next time you see anything like this, you'll definitely be going like that. You just hope someone's not wearing it because that <laughs> could lead you into trouble. Uh, but, <laughs> but you do, it makes you want to, to, to really, really look into it. And I adore it, that colour. And knowing now how those stitches are created, it's fascinating. Um, being able to recreate that, incredible. You've got the skeins of colour, you've got that beautiful fabric, and of course, most importantly, the instructions. £45.99, and and what a beautiful kit. 880339, and then of course, Helen's book. You need to get hold of Helen's book. You've got um, loads of ideas, inspiration, I mean, it's... It's just beautiful. Uh, now, we've only got seconds left. Helen, thank you ever so much. That My went pleasure. far too quick. I know, it always does though, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, they do, they do. Uh, thank you. I hope to see you back really soon, Helen. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, please check your baskets out. Don't miss out on any of these kits. There's literally something for everybody here. Um, Achanda.com or give us a ring. 01733 Thank you very much and thank you to our Helen. Bye-bye. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, we've got the wonderful Pergamano show. Uh, we've then got Pink Fresh, it's a beautiful one day special. And then we've got Creative Grids. Stay tuned to Achanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche.
Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. In the future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkle shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes, and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas, and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hello there, welcome back. It's really good to have you company. We've got a fabulous hour ahead of us. Um, and of course, we are going to have a chat with little Paul. Um, little Paul, he's <laughs> taller than me actually, isn't he? Um, Paul Church in a little while. Um, in fact, he might even be ready now. Are you there, Paul? Good morning, Hayley. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I don't know where little Paul came from, but there we go. How are you? I've been called worse, don't worry. <laughs> As it's the adrenaline kicking in, I think. Now, we've got another fabulous hour with um, a Pergamon. Is this one of your regular Pergamon shows? It is, yes. The first Thursday of every month um, on these two hours. Um, so we, we sort of combine Groovy and Pergamano. It's sort of like a match made in heaven, isn't it? Oh, gosh, um, yes. And um, so, yes, so what we've got this month is another beautiful in the garden plate from the lovely linda williams she's got these down to a t hasn't she they're absolutely amazing the whole range that she's brought us that's right and we started off with the big collection of um six plates and then each month we're introducing a, a new one and they're just proving to be so popular and when you look at how much detail 
Linda puts on the plate, it really is. It's not surprising at all. Well, this is it. And the thing that I love about it is, I mean, it's perfect if you just want to do it straight from the plate. You've got everything configured, everything's put together absolutely beautiful. But then if you have got any of the other plates and you want to kind of swap elements around, you can do it quite easily. That's right. And because this is the in the garden collection, um, what you'll see is when you look at what some of the design team has done, they've taken some of the previous plates and combine them with it because it's that beautiful styling um, it just works beautifully together. Absolutely gorgeous. And you can see here, there's loads of different ways the design team have used them. And of course, different levels of experience with regards to Groovy and Parchment. That's right. I mean, the, the whole thing about the Groovy system is that we've always said it, and you know yourself, Hayley, I mean, you've done Parchment traditionally. Yes. And to mm. do it traditionally is a skill, um, and it, it, it takes many, many years to perfect that. And all the Groovy system does is it replaces the time that it would take to trace out um, with a pen and ink um, the actual line art. So we've always said if you can hold a pen, you can use the groovy system. Well, this is it. We've seen loads of different styles. And I love this because, of course, so, and some people, they have a real love for the Pico cutting and all those gorgeous edges, whereas for other people, it's the concentration of the colour detail that they enjoy. That's right. It, it's a very, for me personally, it's a very mindful process. I mean, I love when I get the plates um, to test them from the, the lovely Lucy when she sort of created them. Um, it's just sitting there and just tracing out the design. Um, and that's the beauty of parchment art, is that if that's all you want to do and put it onto some background paper, that's the job done. It really is. And the thing that strikes me, I mean, we've seen the, the darker parchment, we have got some lovely pastel parchment on the show today. But it, it, the difference that you get from bringing in that, uh, that de deeper tone part, um, parchment, That's I mean, right. it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we've got the, uh, the beautiful um, soft tones on there. We've got a pack of 30 sheets there. Um, but again, when you look at the black parchment, how dramatic it can look with that. Um, but we've also got the designer parchment as well, which is, gives you instant colour. It really does. I mean, look at this. I mean, that is absolutely joyful to look at. Love this little character peeping from underneath the tablecloth. I know, it's great. And when you, we always say that when you get a new plate, um, that what you do is you just spend half an hour or so just tracing it out. Um, and you'll, as you trace out, it's amazing how you can find different things. When, when you first look at the plate, you think, wow, that's beautiful. But then when you trace it out, you think, oh, I didn't know that was there. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Um, so it so really... True? It is. It's just, it's, they're amazing. Beautiful well, design. Well, that's true, because the first time I looked at the plate, I didn't notice the little cat there on the, the chair. So, obviously, there's something going on between these two, isn't there? Yeah, there is indeed. Oh, isn't there the little one there peeking over the table there? Got his eye on that lemonade, definitely. <laughs> Adorable. Um, and, of course, as you say there, whether you're working with them alongside the plates that you've already got, or this is the first one that you've got, oh, we need to add a little bit of glue to that one. I'll pop that on the one side. Um, then they are beautiful. You can isolate certain areas as well. I mean, this looks beautiful. We're by itself no cat no dog featuring you here just picking out the elements that you want that's right and and that's the beauty of the of the groovy system is that as you say you can just trace it out exactly how it comes or you become the designer and you mix the match and as you say just take different elements from it incorporate it with other sort of designs that you've already got um, yeah, it's, it's just they're just so versatile and so yeah. classic. Isn't it? And then on the little table there, you can see one's got a lantern, one's got one of the little uh, jugs or the picture on there. Absolutely beautiful, each and every one of these. And of course, as you say, they work so beautifully with the designer plates. Now, I know we've got some fabulous demonstrations coming up. I think we've got two-part demonstration. I think it's Barbara's turn this it time is, Yeah, Barbara's um, doing all the demonstrations in the, the two Pergamano shows. Um, so, um, so yeah, so it's lots of hints and tips and tricks and techniques and really, really informative. It certainly is, and I can't wait to actually see what Barbara's got for us in this hour. So, um, in order for us to get everything in, sadly, I'm going to have to cut our conversation short, as much as I'd love to stand and chat to you all day. Um, but, Tim, you've got another show coming up later on. That's right. I think it's 3 o'clock, I think, the next one. Okay, so you up for a chat around then? I what am you indeed. Yourself? Yes. Yeah, Perfect. I'll be around.
We'll give you a call a little bit back a little bit later on then. So in the meantime, Paul, thank you so much. You're and welcome. don't forget, do check out Groovy via social media. I know Paul gets involved with the group there. Groovy Worldwide as well. There's loads and loads of people supporting you. And of course, don't forget, Barbara does her regular blog as well. Now, if you need to add this additional plate into your uh, collection, then the details are on your screen. As you can see there, nearly 20% of the stock has gone. We were busy for this before we even started the hour. So we knew that we were in for a good hour with these. Details there if you want them, 2720. Five now. now, as we mentioned, this is the latest in the kind of the additional elements. We're going to go through the additional elements kind of um, in reverse chronological order. Gosh, that's a big word for me at this time of day. And then we're going to show you the original bundle of six that we started with when these were first launched. So next one to share with you um, is the rose arch. And this is a beautiful one. I just love the little ducks running through that rose arch. I just think they've got so much character. Really cute little chaps. And you can see that from the, um, the card, the finished card there. They really do stand out, especially when you're doing things like your white work with these. But again, whether it's your little cards, your large cards that you're working with with these, they just look absolutely beautiful. The roses there, the tiny little roses all coming together to perfection. Little kind of the, the wire work that you've got with the rose arch there, the duff coat there, the, the little hive in the background and all those little buzzy bees getting busy with their honey. Um, whether you're wanting to make it as the full image or whether you're wanting to make it as a smaller piece, then the, the choice is yours it's all about choice that's the key thing with these little elements larger elements building them up with frame keeping it simplistic with your color it's all about choice and that's what you've got with these i mean this one here is absolutely beautiful look at this with all that gorgeous pico work around the edge there you can have as much fun as you want whether you want to keep it simple or whether you want to be elaborate with these um, if you want to incorporate other things that you've got from your collection you can and of course you just take certain elements if you want to it doesn't have to be the rose arch it could be just creating a beautiful frame for your work as you can see there and this time they're coming through the little garden gate there as you can see 10.99 will get you your rose arch plate really good value for money as the plates all are it's a5 so of course it's going to fit in your original um, uh, oh no it's not it's the square isn't it i think you've got with the original so it's the calligraphy plates for these to sit in if you are wanting your plate made with these i'm sure we've got those on the show as well 106 at 453 if you fancy that one now prior to the rose arch this is the first release of by themselves after the a complete bundle and this one's a lovely one I love that little kind of summer house that you've got there I know lots of our crafty viewers have got little summer houses with their little uh, kind of craft sheds um, at the bottom of the garden maybe this is your little craft shed maybe it looks something like this love the little picnic area that you've got with the lemon tree garden and again so many different areas within here that you can cross pollinate with the other plates and of course take the elements from the other plates into this one if you want into 3842 Four, five. Again, 10.99, very affordable way for you to get hold of that particular plate as well. Um, some of these, we might still even have the shows on the, um, if you go back and watch on Rewind as well, go back and have a little look with these. I'm not sure when they were all launched, but you'll be able to find them. This is a lovely set. Now, this is the original set. So when Linda came up with these designs, she came up with all six of these that were released together. You may not have seen those shows. You may have missed out on them. Perhaps the affordability wasn't there at the time. Well, this is the way for you to get those original sets. Six. Now, of course, you can get involved at whatever point you like. You could go for these as a set of six with the details on your screen there, or you could go for them individually. They're all on the website. But the biggest saving, as you can see there, eleven ninety nine. That's going to cover more than the cost of one of those plates. So. Do consider that if you're a Freedom member, do take advantage of that deal. Otherwise, you're looking at £59.94, and pence, but you've got a lovely collection of six plates with lots and lots of content within here. Things like the little elements of bunting. There. I love these little stairways that you've got with this one. Plant pots, obviously, on each step as you come down, but it could be that you take the little cat or the little dog and you pop those on there, or there might be something else that you're wanting to hang from there. It could be little ducks, couldn't it? Up and down the stairs, the little ducks. Um, you've got your teapot there, so, of course, with the plate that we were just looking at you've got that picture maybe you just want a nice little cup of tea on there instead little on the hammock that looks beautiful doesn't it all those lovely little tassels there i'm sure you will use those with other plates and they really have got lots and lots of content within these that's the thing with the plates and Linda's artwork um, is beautiful to go into the plates because she has so much kind of, I love that, the greenhouse as well. That's going to be a useful one, isn't it? Especially with Father's Day coming up. This one's a nice one. The little cat takes an appearance again within here. Um, you've got the gorgeous lanterns hanging down. That is a seat that you would just love to sit in, isn't it? Just rock back and forth all day. Don't know whether I could rock back and forward in a, a hammock all day. 
I'd, yeah, I'd be fortunate if I could get into it in the first place, but that'd be uh, entertaining to watch me do this. And I love this one. This one always, always reminds me of my dear old dad, bless him. He's no longer with us, but he used to always find him in the garden on a stripy deck chair, usually with a newspaper over the top of his head, and he wasn't reading it, having a little snooze. But there's nothing wrong with that at all, is there? Um, 798135, again, a lovely collection of plates. Lots of um, personality to these, lots of hobbies, and lots of things that are going to be perfect for you to create your cards and obviously you pass those on to friends and relatives or sell what you've created because you can do that as well. Now Paul did touch on the um, parchment. I was speaking about the strong colours that we've got on the website but this is a lovely bundle. Very in keeping with the kind of mindful and kind of relaxing sense that we've got from the plates that we're bringing to you in this show. And these are beautiful. Now as is the case with a coloured parchment in whichever colour you go for, you have got two different sides with regards to these. So you will have a soft side and something that is a little stronger. And it just depends on where the colour has been flooded with regards to the, the content of these. You will get different results with things like your white work, dependent on which side you use. But it's always good to have a little bit of an experiment with them before you go in with your final project. £29.99 will get you all 30 sheets there. You've got five sheets of each of those six colours there. And it's a brilliant value bundle. And of course, do check out the other coloured bundles that we've got on the website. 163476 if you're fancying this one. And we promised you some tutorials and demonstrations from the lovely Barbara. So here is part one. Enjoy. Hello there. Welcome to the Pergamano shows. What I'd like to show you today is another one of those wonderful garden plates that Linda Williams has been illustrating for us and also a couple of beautiful samples that she kindly uh, created for these two Pergamano shows. Let's have a look at the plate first and you'll see here this is just a beautiful summer scene um, we've got two lovely wicker chairs lots of mix and match ability there's so much in this plate when you start to see there's a little dog there have a lovely day there's a chair there are two chairs in fact there's a table we've got butterflies we've got birds we've got a bird we've got we've got fairy lights we've got it all going on now let's have a look at a couple of beautiful cards that linda's made for us using these plates this plate sorry and you'll see that the, there is a, a, a predominant pattern here. And in this one, it's around the outside. And this one, Linda's even made um, a checker with it. So if we just take a look, for example, at this plate here, uh, this card here, you'll see we've used this chair. We've used this table. We've tucked the table behind the chair, which is great. We've used some of the hanging vines we've used a couple of the butterflies yeah and we've also we've used this brilliant um, border one of the things about all of these garden plates is that all of them have these very very clever borders so that's what we're going to focus on in the first hour this this particular card and then in the second hour later on what i'd like to do is take a look at the actual the actual plate and look at the armchair look at the little elements and how this has been put together i thought we might also if we get time we'd have a look at the pico v's that linda's dotted around the outside and i'll show you how to space this out so that you get that lovely it looks like a do you know what that reminds me of it looks like a beautiful tablecloth for a picnic doesn't it i bet that was linda's inspiration too so that's what we're going to be looking at later but to this this particular hour I'd like to look at this card. So let's see how Linda put this together. The first thing that we need to be checking out is this border here, which we're going to find here. Now, if you can read the words, then it means it's smooth. So the groovy plate is etched on the other side. You can hear it now. So we're working from behind. One of the other things that Linda's done is she's used ivory parchment really lovely parchment check out if i hold it up close you'll see here let it just you can see the pattern and you can see the ivory parchment too we've got light ivory on the top and then she's done a second layer in the back with the dark ivory but gorgeous and works beautifully with our craft card right so so that's what we're looking at and i want to show you how to lay up this um this beautiful frame. That's what we'll do now. 
very easy, just needs to be explained. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut a piece of um, ivory, light ivory parchment using our nested dies. And you'll see here that this has been done using the one, two, three, fourth one in. Okay, you can do a couple of layers at the same time if you like, but all of these you'll see if you look here, Linda's used the, this one for the middle, this one for the next outside, the white, then this one for the dark ivory, and this one for the white outside. So you get this lovely layering. And the thing about layering up parchment, it, it's not until you put white underneath that you see its color. So it's worth bearing in mind that these nested dies are brilliant for cutting out and it looks like proper pico doesn't it so the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of parchment and cut it out then the next thing we want to do here's ivory for you and then what we're going to do next let me just show you if we can see this on here you'll see that it's got pencil lines on it now the thing about this is and we we should take a good look at this this is ivory and the pencil lines are on the front now when you what's the difference between the front and the back the front is a matte color and the back is shinier in other words the parchment has only been impregnated with color from one side if you it, when you're looking at this it's worth knowing this with parchment when you're when you're looking at a darker color you know ivory clear parchment here we go look. Clear parchment hasn't got a back and a front. As soon as you go to coloured parchment, then it does. So let's take, for example, what's this one? This is gorgeous. There's a selection pack on the show of these colours. Let's take this one. This has got to be rose, right? If we take a dark rose, you'll see it much more clearly. The gorgeous colours. Now, you'll see, if I go to that side, look, you can see it from there. Shiny, matte. Do you see? And... The, the shiny side, that glossy side, that is the back. And the matte side, that is the front. But when you put it on a piece of white card, like so, that's when you see its beautiful colour. Okay, so translucent, bright, gorgeous. Right, so I just wanted to explain, if you see it on a, on a, on a darker piece, you'll understand. So how do we find the squares? Let's go to the um, the starter kit. In the starter kit, when you buy the Groovy starter kit, if you're interested, there is, um, it's great. Hang on, I want to go, I want to trace out. That's it. So this is what we call a Groovy plate mate. Let me turn this round. And it holds all A5 square plates. Just to humor me here for a moment, this is an A5 plate and that has another through the plate mate to hold it which is the larger one the calligraphy one this is brilliant as well so we'll use that later too but for now we're interested in how to get these squares in order to line up the, the patterns on our here look we want to get those in the right place don't we so the way to do that is to take a ruler and a white pencil and a groovy tab there we go and we're not embossing anything we're just we're deciding we're going to work on the not the shiny side but on the matte side you see it's, it's already been done for me it's already been done for us but you can see how it works and then all we're going to do is just hold this in place very simply like this hold it in place with the groovy tabs then you take your pencil and on this side you take your ruler you establish look you just take your ruler literally like so and then you just draw along the ruler and you trace there you go look I'm going to do it a little bit whiter so you can see it better you see and you do three rows like that so you do three rows and you trace the grid. I'm literally using that framer, that set, as a as a as a tracer. And it's the wrong, it's it's not with the 
it's the wrong way around the the grooves are on the back I don't I'm not interested in the grooves I just want the the outline you see so you so you do that and you do that all four along all four sides so you've got your I'm doing it quite hard you wouldn't do it this hard usually just to show you now the groovy ruler is ideal for this because you can see if you put this what you do is you find where the center is okay so you can see where the center is here so you measure it from here to here if it's 11 then we're going to go five in right and we'll just make a little mark f halfway in so do that at the top and the bottom as well and then you've got your marks there there so you've gone all the way around and you've got your your halfway marks in place as well okay this will help a lot when we're positioning our frame so once we've done that just use these I mean these groovy tabs are great and they're reusable use them again and again and again okay just lift them off there so we've got our piece now ready to be that's useful so pop that there and now we've got our piece ready to be um, embossed so we'll take our a5 plate now and we'll use our plate mate to hold it in place see it helps a lot because you've got more room to put your work on now what we're going to do let me just explain if you if you see it on another piece before we even start you'll understand it well what we're going to do is we're going to put our piece over the top and we're working from behind and we're going to lay our see where the corner is the corner there is going to sit exactly in the actual piece but you're working from behind so now you're looking for the shiny side and the pencil is on this side okay because you're going to rub that out afterwards it's just your guide so what we're going to do now is we're going to add our there you go let's go to the bold corner so you can see it see the pencil lines so that's going to go in there like so and it's going to run along the inner line of that entire pattern so before we even start I'm going to take a tumble dryer sheet and I'm going to wipe the parchment this is so that the tool glides well in the parchment I'm going to wipe it but on the mat rather than on the groovy plate mate thing is if you wipe it on the groovy plate mate then what happens is the slick from here goes on to the groovy plate mate and then the groovy tabs don't stick very well so now we're just going to line that up like so grab a couple of groovy tabs again and we're going to just add that in there like so we'll just position the it's very very easy once you figure it out and of course you're working with a 90 degree angle so we're going to go from the line here in the middle to here we're just going to do the corner and then we'll turn it and what we're doing in effect is we're working our way into the center now what tools shall I use let's have a look I've got choices I can use the number one tool from the starter kit or I can use the number one tool the Pergamano tool they're much of a muchness and what we're going to do now is just take our tool and we're going to get in the groove see where the the line is there the halfway line and now I'm just going to go in there like so and this is the center line and it sits exactly if you can see this it sits exactly on my pencil line which is on the other side and because I'm working on the back of this ivory parchment the it's actually going to be white on the other side when I'm done so as you go around like this you'll see so you go on right I've gone beyond the I've gone beyond the line see so I should have stopped there because that's going to be wrong now but it's all right it's all in the name of R&D right so now you see I can come down here as well so I can actually hold that in place make a mental note gray stop when you get to the line you drew it now just all you've got to do is stop there it's not hard it's just me right so you go like that you've got to concentrate 
Concentrate, Barbara. Right. Down you go. And you carry on. And you get, and as you get closer to the middle line, you start saying to yourself, Stop at the middle line, Grace. Stop at the middle line. <laughs> there you go. Coming in for the middle line, and she stops right there. <laughs> it's not hard, it's just me. Okay, and then you see when you turn it round, you put your V's in again, you line up your lines, and then you go back to the center again. And what you'll end up with, if I can show you on just to fast forward, you'll end up with this one. Now, this is an interesting one because you'll see this is, for example, this is the, the mat, isn't it? And you can see it's lovely and white, right? And it's on this side, it's, it's cream, which is exactly what it's supposed to be because we worked from this side. And but on this one here, what's happened here is it's this has been done on the wrong side. When you turn it over, it's cream on that side. Now this is interesting. You can, there's no, there's no law that says you can't turn the parchment round and you can have the shiny side on the front, but you just need to know that your emboss will be the colour of the parchment. It won't be white. So that's worth bearing in mind. See, so what we're going to do now, if this one's been done here, then in order to get the next layer in, all you're going to do is go to the next the next um, pencil line. You're going to line up the next pencil line, exactly like so, and then you'll go again. Then you'll line up the next pencil line, always using this, always working to the centre, and you'll go again. And so in the end, you'll end up, there are two done, you see, the third one gets done, and you just keep working your way into the centre until you've got all three. And then you're ready to add your, your, um, your artwork in the middle, you see? Isn't that lovely? But what a beautiful frame that makes. When we get back together again, we'll work on the inner picture and we'll work out how to put the tablecloth and the table behind the chair. Because as we know, on the plate, it isn't, is it? So that's easy. Let's do that in a minute. Oh, yes, let's do that, Barbara. Now, I haven't got the finished sample that Barbara's been working on there, but I found something that's very similar, using the border in a slightly different way. So you still kind of got that little kind of uh, wave of a border running through. But what a lovely configuration where the chair and the table there with a the lovely parasol. And I love the idea of this kind of bow there of all the lovely little flowers featuring there and, of course, some lovely little lanterns as well. It just shows you the versatility of these plates. Been a popular one, this particular one. Um, half the stock, nearly half the stock has gone of this one. And it's course as Barbara's shown you there just using little elements you don't have to use it in its entirety I mean the chairs are just beautiful and I love the fact that I've done, when I look back at the plate I suddenly said oh the dog isn't actually or the dog is on the plate but the, the little um it was the cat that was the thing that I, I thought it was part sitting on the cushion but that was whoever designed that card that was their concept their idea they took the cat from one of the other plates and transferred it over so it's in the right position to actually sit on the cushion and did exactly that and that is the beauty of this and as Barbara is going to show us in the second part of her uh, demonstration, taking the ingredients of the plates, I suppose you could call it, and put them together in whatever recipe you choose to get your own design put together. Lots of you taking advantage of this. We've been very, very busy. It's been a very popular one. And I think everybody can kind of relate to this restful scene that we can see in there. Many of us sitting out on those sunny days, maybe with a jug full of something nice and cold um, and a, a little bit of a parasol there to, to keep you in the shade, because of course that's important as well. Love the trees over the top as well. Everything about this place, um, plate is idyllic and that is the key thing. It's what Linda does with her artwork. Creates some beautiful pieces that you can use in so many different ways. Um, a few other little ideas that you've got here. Again, similar to the one that Barbara was working with, with the chair, the parasol and the little table as a configuration. Um, whatever style you want and whether you want the table on the left or on the right, you can do that with these. Um, and of course, you have got some wonderful elements here. Now, I've not been doing any name checks. How are myself? Maybe we've got Linda, Linda 
Linda Page has created this fabulous one here, and I love that, sitting in the evening sun. And of course, personalization with those calligraphy plates. Clever use as well there of the, um, the papers in the background, the designer papers, because it does look like you've got kind of like a sunset in the background there, really pretty. This little one that we've got here, again, lovely use of a, a little circle. This one's been done by Glynis. Um, and again, I love that blue behind there, really shows off those cushions, doesn't it? Pink theme this time with this particular one. This one, again, is from Glynis. And the gorgeous artwork that we saw earlier on. Um, that particular one, that's Carol. Carol's been busy with her colour on that one. And I think Carol um, does enjoy her uh, colouring, as does Francis. So, uh, yeah, really, really pretty. Love the idea that Josie's done with this one. Of course, Josie regularly um, contributes to the, the shows from Groovy. Lovely idea. And I love the way that she's captured that... Um, uh, well, here you can almost see through the wicker and see the cushion in place. Very clever idea. Um, Josie again here, really going creative with those little tiny dots that she's popped in place. Um, and Sheila here putting together a lovely little configuration again with the little dog at the centre front there. This one's a pretty one as well. Now, I've got a name on the back. Oh, it's Gail. I can only just about make out the, the name on the back there. But that's keeping the colour quite simple. On some of the cards, you'll notice that we've got little bumblebees or butterflies. On this occasion, it's the lovely little birds there, all heading for the little birdhouse that you've got there. Absolutely beautiful. And Chris Walker, again, a seasoned parchment crafter, um, using some of the traditional parchment skills alongside, obviously, some of those time-saving groovy techniques that you've got in there as well. Lots more. We'll have a little look at those other finished samples later on give a few name, name checks as we go as well so if you're wanting this plate um, at £10.99 half the stock has gone though so you need to get hold of it quickly we don't forget we've got another show coming up later on at three o'clock so uh, 272059 if you're wanting yours now another one that you may have missed is the rose arch that's the last one prior to the one that we've just been looking at and of course these have been monthly releases since the original six plate release that we saw in the beginning and I love these the little ducks they're running through but of course you could have the little ducks running around the table in your idyllic scene that you're creating with the latest one because this is the key thing you're taking the elements that you want to use and using them in so many different ways that's exactly what Maggie did with this one she didn't want to use the um, the little ducks and the, uh, the other elements on there but what she did want to do is really enhance those little doves that you can see there taking flight and uh, I love the the frame that's been built up there with that gorgeous pico work I mean it's just like a piece of lace around there isn't it Francis again on this particular one has bought in the color and an absolute Absolutely amazing array of colour that you see there. Again, personalisation around the edge there, using the sentiments and uh, obviously the fonts that we see on the frames. This one here, Francis, again, has taken just little elements. The doves that we saw a few moments ago with the rose arch being used here with a lovely heart that's been put together. Because, of course, the rose arch has got that curvature on it, which lends itself really, really well to heart. Um, and uh, Maggie, again, I mean, look at that beautiful work. I love the flowers at the front there absolutely amazing now with this one again it's been a popular one um, and uh, rapidly approaching a quarter of the stock has gone can I just show you this one as well? I think this is really clever design with this one I'm gonna have to pop my, oh I haven't got my glasses on oh it's Emma I can just find my see Emma isn't this clever using the designer papers because it almost looks like a field that you'd see in the countryside there all um, with the little hedges around but really using the optimum area there to finish off that design to perfection Beautiful design team come up with some amazing ideas. I know lots of inspiration uh, from uh, Paul and Barbara with the demonstrations are drawn from the design team. So, yeah, keep up the good work. Now, the Lemon Tree Garden is another one that was created after the original six. This was the first one that came in its own right. And there have been monthly rollouts since. I hope we've got many more to come because the artwork in each and every one is absolutely gorgeous. This one here, you can see you've got almost like little dragonflies around those little lanterns. Parasol on this occasion has got those lovely little hearts dangling from each of those little arms that you've got there um, you've got your picnic um, blanket there and a, a, a bottle of something nice in the hamper there I wonder what that is I wonder if it goes pop as you open it um, you've got little flowers featuring with these as well and of course you've got the little sign there that says lemon tree or you've got your cushions there as well you can get comfy oh there's a little cat as well in it's little sleepy basket there beautiful Gorgeous, I love that one. Um, so yeah, 10 99 If you did miss out on this one previously, then now's the perfect opportunity to get hold of it. So uh, 384245. Now the bundle of six is where this all started from. These are the six designs that Linda came up with um, to start with, and you've been loving them. Um, and ever since she designed them, to be honest, they've always been popular when they come on. Now the beauty of this is you can get all of these with a fabulous discount if you are a Freedom member. That is a key thing. And there's a little cat that we saw on one of the most recent cards as well. Now, 
freedom member with these you can see you got 59 and um, 53 pounds and 95 pence being your price you're saving 11 pounds and 99p one of the plates alone is 10.99 so you're saving with that one and a little bit more as well and you've got some lovely um kind of elements within here that you can be able to work and as i say cross pollinate across the two i've just noticed a little mug of tea down by the uh, the, the little deck chair there as well nice idea um these i mean this is a lovely one with the staircase there again the hammock making an appearance and of course the beauty is if you are to, um, taking advantage of this deal and you add in any of those additional plates then it gives you the opportunity to spread your cost over two payments so it might give you a way of getting hold of some of those new ones if you've not seen those and you haven't got this set as well um so yeah just 26 pounds and 98 pence being your flexi buy on this one and it has been a popular one again 30 percent of the stock has gone so as i say it's always one that you guys like out there now 798135 is your item number for this one add any of those others in but don't forget the brand new one is the one that we've seen lovely Barbara working with and we left it just a few moments ago part way through her demo I think it's time for us to rejoin her now let's focus on those lovely wicker chairs in the plate that we we sorted out the the outline didn't we the frame using this out, outer edge here and we worked out how to position it and now we're going to to look at how Linda created this lovely little garden scene within that frame. So we fast forwarded a little bit and you'll see here, let's just take the sequence. We've taken the chair, that's the first thing, number one tool, or the Pergamano tool, since it's a Pergamano show. Um, Pergamano and Groovy are the same people. Us, basically. Right, and then I've taken the table and I've popped the table in. But when I come to do the um, the underlayer, because I want to emboss it like this, I'm going to flip my tool and I'm going to use my number two tool. So the other end of the the starter kit tool. Or, of course, I'll use my 1.5. So either way, I, I want a softer outline so that when I go to do my... Um, embossing with my ball tools then you can see this is softer if we look to the front you can see that these lines are whiter than these ones here and that's just because we've used a larger ball tool for these bits here so all we've got to do still is add a little bit of grass or hanging vine here haven't we if we look here we've got to add a little bit of grass We've got to add a couple of butterflies and that's about it really and then it's just a question of embossing and colour. So let's fast forward here and we can see how this works. Oh, but just for example, the detail here, if I want to, let me just show you, I can show you exactly if I take my tool here, I can just add the little, you know the, the pleats from the wicker chair this is from the cushions you see and you work from behind just to recap when I turn it over straight away I've done my little images here and so you can add them um, very quickly and very efficiently if you're new to the groovy system that's how it works you just get in the groove and you add your elements so let's assume that we've done all that and now we want to color in and we want to do white work so we'll take this out of the way if we want to do white work Let's do that first. The, there are two options. We've either got the black mat, the soft side of the black mat in the starter kit, or we've got the pink mat. It's up to you. If we use the pink mat, it's, you'll see it's a lot more forgiving. If you use the black mat, that works great, but you do need, let me just show you, the black mat, if you turn it over, it's soft on this side, but my suggestion would be that when you do use the black mat when you're first starting out, pop a little poly bag or something on it like that. And then when you go to emboss with your number six ball tool, it won't be quite so radical as you start to add your white work. You see, just gently, gently, just stretch. Let's just add a little tiny bit of white work like this. And you'll see when you turn it over, You'll see straight away it's starting, it's already going grey. If you, if you look at it like that, you can see it's starting to change slightly here. 
the the more you the more you press if I take my poly bag away then you'll see that it gets whiter faster one of the things that I do like using especially when it's warm as it is today I do like to use my groovy guard because it just protects it isolates the area I'm using and it protects the artwork from my warm hands so I'm not leaning you see now I'm using the 6 then I'll use the 4.5 then I'll let it rest but you'll see immediately how it's starting to change change color you see so that's the embossing and that's how we will get that lovely floaty white effect on that there you go on that um, on that tablecloth so so that's how you use your black mat on the soft side or as I say you can use the pink which is a lot more forgiving because it's only so thin <clears throat> But it works beautifully and a lot of people really like the pink mat. So it's just another option, the excellent pink mat. If I want to add colour, let's have a look here. What I need to do to add colour is take colour out. So here, for example, if I want to make a blue, let's just put a piece of white copy paper behind that so you can see it better. If I want to make a blue tablecloth, then what I have to do is take out the ivory in order to be able to get a true blue. And so to do that, I'm going to use an eraser. This is what you would do on any coloured parchment. So what I'll do is I'll take a white eraser and I'll eliminate even the ivory. You can see immediately how it's coming away. This is a really important thing to do. Look, before you start putting in the blue or whatever colour on any things that you're colouring in, it's important to take out the colour first. See, just take this out. I would suggest you take a little brush and you just brush away the excess, but you'll see immediately without adding any colour, you're just already changing the look. See, here as well, just get rid of all this. There you go, get rid of that. Probably do this before you do the white work actually might be easier but I didn't do much white work so it's not a problem right there you go get rid of the color before you reintroduce and that's how you get to see how it changes it completely doesn't it so you can see here moving ahead you can see how the colors already been taken out ready to be reintroduced for the chair for example let's have a look if we take the chair, you can take any colour. Let's use pergoliners. They're great for this. Pergoliners, we'll use the B pencils. And let's make the chair a nice blue to go with the... I'm going to get two blues. These are lovely. I'm using the B4 and the B16. B for blending. Let's call it B for blending. And then all I need to do on this side now is to just add a little bit of blue Let's just say to this, see there's a pillow there. We can change the pillow afterwards. Let's add a little bit of blue to the cushions. This is a lovely summery image, isn't it? We're working on the back, always working on the back to do this. So just loosely add a little bit of blue. I wouldn't worry about the dark blue quite yet. And then what we're going to do is take our blending tool and... This is how you smooth out the colour. Because if you look, let's just take a quick critical look at the colouring in on the back. And you'll see it's quite, uh, oh sorry, there you see. It's not very beautiful, it's just on the back. And now what we're going to do is use our, our dorso oil and our blending pen to smooth out that colour. And you'll see it works really, really well. So we'll take a bit of the dorso oil. And we'll just pop a little bit of it on what we call spot on sponges it's great just for holding the oil while we work and then I'm going to take one of my blending tools here we go so the blending pens they come with nibs like this look I've got loads of them see they come with 10 I think or 20 I'm not sure check it out I'm sure I'm sure someone will know Right, so what we're going to do now is just add a little tiny bit of oil. Just pick up the oil, like so, 
and you'll see that as soon as you if you don't put too much on it it will just take the color out but as soon as you add it look how it changes the texture of the it just makes it so beautifully smooth it makes such a difference I think I might be better off doing it on black so I can see yeah I can see better as I'm coloring it in but you'll see as you just use small strokes like this little circular movements like this and the oil will just spread that color out beautifully for you just smooth it out little circular motions and then when you look from the front I mean I'm rushing here now and it never pays to rush when you're doing parchment but when you look from the front oh, I tell you what it does not smell lovely the daughter will smells like oranges it's really nice you just smooth it out like so right when you turn it over you'll see it's much 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 more uh, less less gritty okay so let's just do this like so and you'll see it works much much better look see it's not so gritty so the dorsal will smooth out the color and then once it's dry you can add more texture and more depth and more colors you see and that's how this has been layered up two or three layers of color have been added to this so that you get that beautiful finish isn't that beautiful and i found a similar card again um here created obviously within the circle on this particular occasion you've got the chair with the color that we spoke and um, saw barbara speak of here can i just draw your attention it's so difficult to show you can you see how the tablecloth has kind of been layered on top though really effective it's almost got like a little decoupage element with it love that idea that's glynis who's um, come up with this particular one the little kind of tiny bluebirds featuring there some amazing results with these jane talford i mean this gorgeous ribbon outline that you've got there i mean it looks so dimensional doesn't it absolutely beautiful and again these are all creations using that brand new plate that we are seeing from linda's artwork and maggie here has take, decided to take both of the chairs on this occasion a little bit of a cocktail going on there rather than a cup of tea and i love the cushions that are making an appearance here of course personalized is key when you are working with these because that's something that you can do and again Chris Walker a very traditional outline to that one absolutely beautiful gorgeous work there and all done with that brand new plate that we've been chatting about just 10.99 for that brand new plate but rapidly approaching two-thirds of the stock we've got a second show coming up with this one at three o'clock so how the stock will go in between the shows I don't know but what I would urge you to do is to take advantage of yours while you have the chance now at three o'clock we're going to see some different demonstrations so if you do want to see the ones that we've just seen you'll need to go um, on to rewind and of course you'll be able to have a little look at those as time goes on but shall I show you some more of the interpretations of those lovely plates now Chris again here I mean she's introduced color um, some of the traditional techniques there the gorgeous pico cutting around the edge there and this is the key thing you are going to be able to create your own cards the way that you're wanting to do them I think this was Gail again here again using the black doesn't the black make that gorgeous card pop forward there with that topper um, a lovely design with this one here because this one here is kind of a different slightly shape um, with this one she just uh, decided to take the hexagon and I love the way that it almost looks like it. you've almost got the the curvature of the, the the moon or something like that with this particular one I love that that shape that you've got there but doesn't it sit beautifully behind with the chairs really going into some detail with the colors on that particular one Sheila um, Josie again has been busy with that infill the little dots of course don't forget you have got your uh, piercing plates on the website so if you do want to add the detail as you can see with many of these cards that's the way that you can do that one again Josie she's the queen of that she really does some amazing results results with those color again Francis has been Billy busy with her color um, and again bringing the chair in slightly more so that Barbara was speaking of and again another version with this one slightly more subdued watercolor tones with these ones potentially using those pencils um, and again this particular one has been created by Carol 
And again, she's chosen to use the um, kind of the more muted tones with regards to the designer paper. That is the other side of it. But of course, you can use those gorgeous muted tones. Another beautiful little card here, as you can see from Glynis. Again, lots of detail with those colours. Maybe using some of the, the Perga colours. Maybe adding a little bit of that gold touch, as you can see here. Love the little characters on there and the little lanterns. Again, just using little elements. And this is, um, Francis again has been busy. Again, the background paper is coming into the forefront with this one with, from Carol there. And on this occasion, do you see what she's done? She's put everything slightly off to take advantage of that parchment there because it almost looks like there's a stream or a river or something like that with the uh, kind of the weeping willow there. Really clever configuration, that particular one. Do enjoy that one. And then the last one that I've got here, and I think we've gone through everybody's then, um, is the lovely Linda. And again, this time you can see it's setting it. The sun is setting there and you've got the little lantern and there with those little drinks um, to the side there. Busy, busy, busy with this particular one. Lots of you are going for it now. £10.99, nearly 70% of the stock has gone. Wow. We knew it'd be busy because so many of you have invested in the set of six and then gone for the additional plates as time has gone on. So, uh, yeah, but you can get involved at any time. If you've not got any of the others, this might be the first one. So 272059 if you're wanting to go for this particular one. The last one prior to this one was the Rose Arch. And again, there's loads of content with this, um, this plate. And they all cross-pollinate so, so well. So you can see here you've got the little doves. The doves were featuring in some of the finished samples that we just looked at. But, of course, this is where they originated. Little bumblebee there beneath the rose arch. And this one has been created very much in keeping with the plate. So following the, the configuration. So it shows you, you can just literally take this, get it home, trace the entire design out, add your own border, and away you go. Or then you can just take certain areas. It might be the dove coat that you're wanting to take and the little doves there, the gorgeous flowers at the front here. Might be that you want to incorporate these cute little characters that Josie did last time. Both of these cards from Josie really show different dimensions of working with these. Again, the colour from the parchment papers coming through on this one, keeping the colour quite light because, of course, you've got a lot of white work going on with this particular one. And then, of course, you've got the rose arch that Maggie has worked with here adding that drama of that lovely border around the outside edge. But whether it's a larger card or whether it's a smaller card that you're creating, um, like Chris has on this particular one, you know that you're going to get some amazing results. I love that kind of funky colour that you've got behind there on this particular one. Portrait landscape, nice to work alongside some of those lovely verses. Um, again, Jane's done that with this one. She's taken one of the plates with the kind of prayers that um, the prayers and the poems that we've seen previously. And uh, on the other half, using the rose arch. That's a Clever um, configuration. Oh, I don't think I've shown you these ones before. Um, you've got the lovely uh, Glynis again here, taking the rainbow from one of the plates that we've seen previously there, and of course the dove coat. Um, and again here, Glynis has been creating some beautiful pieces, lots of colour going on with these. I think we've gotten to the Glynis section here of the, fi <laughs> the finished samples because these have all got Glynis's name, with the exception of this one. We've got lovely Linda has created this one here. Absolutely beautiful designs throughout all of these. So if you're wanting the rose arch, then there you go, the details on your screen. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence one zero six four five three. Now the lemon tree garden, this is a lovely one. Again, it's a lovely place where you just want to sit. It's one of those things that you can go to certain places and you can just sit there all day. Nothing has to happen. You can just quite quite calmly sit down and enjoy what's going on around you. Um, and there you go, that's one that, that I would certainly like to sit in now. And um, at 384243 will get you that plate. Now of course all the plates we've been looking at, 1099, um, and that's kind of consistent throughout. You know what you're saving on this complete bundle is more than 10.99, so it's like you're getting one of those plates as a bonus, um, and uh, well, and the saving as well, because um, 59 pounds and 94 pence is your price. As a Freedom member, you're saving that 11.99, so that's where you're going to get that saving of your plate and a bit more. And again, so much content within here. Um, I love it because the way that they're put together uh, is just such a clever way, because you've got your card there already made if you want to make something without having to put an awful lot of kind of um, complex thought into configurations it's all done but if all those little elements had just been put onto a plate just kind of random anywhere they wouldn't look as attractive as they do here but there's loads of content within there 40% of the stock has gone of these 
again if you're wanting them you've got a fabulous deal with them got the ability to spread the cart with your flexi order which of course opens up the opportunity for you to add any of those other plates in that we have been speaking of and that is the key thing with these absolutely beautiful cards time and time again with these so take advantage of these while you have the opportunity um, three dimensional aspect if you're wanting to do your decoupage with these you can do but the key thing is get hold of the plates while you have the opportunity more from these plates and lovely Barbara at three o'clock so make sure you do tune back in then and of course the show that we've just brought to you is going to be available on rewind with those demonstrations for 60 days from today i will see you a little later on bye bye So it's Pink Fresh One Day Special. It's the midday show. Can't wait to see what Leone um, has got planned during that. And then we've got Creative Grids. Come and get myself and Natasha. Looking forward to a sewing hour there. And then the Addictive Sketch. Come and get new company. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. And we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the loose seat style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and I'm looking forward to seeing you on her channel. order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. 
So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hello and welcome. Lovely to have your company. Um, I'm so pleased to be um, bringing this one day special. It's not just me, however, in this hour. We've got the lovely Leah standing by to speak to us on Skype. Um, let's have a see. Can we speak to Leah? Is she there? Hi, Leah. Hi there. Hi, Hi Leah. Um, I believe it's really early there, isn't it? Is it about 6 a.m.? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, Leah, thank you so much for joining us. I can't believe you look so good at 6 a.m., Leah. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a nice compliment. <laughs> Trust me, at 6 a.m., I do not look like that. <laughs> You're doing very well. I don't normally either. <laughs> <laughs> um, Leah, this one day special is absolutely gorgeous. And, and not just the one day special, the whole counter is full of beautiful products. Um, I bet working for Pink Fresh, um, I bet it's just a fantastic job, isn't it? It's really, really fun. It definitely is. It's like a dream job. Yeah, yeah. And does everybody contribute ideas and inspiration to, to the wonderful things that you produce? We sure do. Yeah, it's a definitely a very team-oriented process. And you've produced so many gorgeous things. I love your style. You've got a real specific style, haven't you? It's very, um, I don't know, you can create some really beautiful, pretty cards, but there's also some really modern takes on everything, isn't there? It sure is. Um, we definitely have a very fresh and modern mm. feel, um, and we try to make products that are very versatile and... Um, unique yeah yeah i think you've done that in this one day special i love it and the big everything there's so many different elements as well it's gorgeous now we are going to be talking to lee in a little while she is going to be demonstrating for us demonstrating at 6 a.m i mean th that is amazing <laughs> poor poor leah um we will let her get ready we'll let you get ready leah to to do a demonstration thank you very much we'll see you in a few moments time okay thanks <laughs> Um, okay, so the one day special. Right, I'll be dead honest with you, because obviously at 8 a.m. we didn't have Leah live, of course. I mean, it's it's only 6 a.m. now. Can you imagine? We'd have had to knock her up in, um, I don't know, already 2 a.m. No. So I had a bit of a play, and I, I, after my last show, I didn't go back. I just came here and carried on playing. That's how good these are. They are beautiful. Let me take you through. So first of all, when I first saw this bit, okay, I thought, okay, that's the die, but where's the stamp? And I, at first, I did think, this is wrong. They haven't put the stamp. Oh, Leona, this makes up that so this is gorgeous because you can layer so you've got that beautiful now that is in its own right a really pretty stamp but you've got this you can then layer that one and then you can layer that one you've also got of course the beautiful leaves it will give you and i'll spin this round it will give you that kind of look now i adore this because you can really play with the inks we've got gorgeous inks on the show you can play with the colors and it means you'll be able to do things like this now look at this because that looks printed doesn't it i mean that looks professionally printed you can get that kind of look just with your inks and with these stamps and the lovely thing about the inks that we've got on stage sure they're in proper color palettes so it'll give you um your you know your proper tones of one color which really enables you to create something like that now the stamps let me just read you some of these as well because there's some beautiful sentiments they're really um really inspirational aspirational they're the kind of stamps that you won't just use for cards like um you are simply splendid isn't that marvellous? You've got, you've got this. You are an inspiration. You are enough. I really like these really positive. Hang in there. Uh, be yourself today. It's your best look. We will get through this. Isn't that 
nice. See, and there's a lot of these that are really on point at the moment. Uh, well, not just now. I mean, we all have tough times. Um, there is so much more ahead. I love that. Really positive. Um, and I think with something like this, when I looked at this collection, because I've got a planner, because I've got a planner show next week, which I'm ridiculously excited about. These are beautiful for your planners as well. Really beautiful, strong um, sentiments to put in your planner. Gorgeous. So you've got the stamps. You've got the die. That die is going to cut that gorgeous stamp set out. Love that because it means you don't have to faff about cutting it out. Um, and it's a really nice, plain, simple die. The stamp. Now, this is beautiful. That's massive for starters. If I spin this round, it's a mounted stamp, so form mounted. And I'm sorry it's marked. I've been using it. <laughs> Someone's been playing. All of these are separate. Now, this is cool because it allows you to create so many backgrounds. Let me show you what I was doing. Uh, this is so simple but ridiculously effective. Doesn't that look good? So strong. And that is the best it is one of the dies we've got in the shop. I love this. I just think it's one of those prints that you will use time and time again. Look at that. Isn't it cool? That's using the inks that we've got on the show. I really, yeah, my mega fan of this. So you've got your stamp. You've then got, and obviously there's 13, oh, actually, no, there'll be more stamps than 13. There's loads more than 13 stamps in total. That's got nine, and that one's got tons. Is there 17 in that? Yeah, 17 in that, yeah. That's 26 stamps. There's 26 stamps in total. And you've then got your gorgeous dies. So you've got your... Um, now, these are brilliant because it's just adding to your collection because this will give you the balls. So you can make loads of cool balls out of all your car stock so everything matches together. That has got the magnet behind there as well. I love that because your storage is sorted. And then, now I do love this as well because this is cool. This will give you the outside edge, which has got the cutting and the beautiful paper pricking. It gives you the layer. It also gives you the smaller tag that you can cut an aperture out of and then these you can cut detail into it I really like that die as well in fact that was the one I used for this card because I just thought that was such a gorgeous elegant die so again using the stamps using the beautiful sentiment dies that are coming up using that gorgeous floral I mean look at that the colors that is using the beautiful stamp that we've got on your show the floral stamp, the bow that we've got on the show. I love that. That is bright, it's fresh, it's just zesty, isn't it? Now, if you want this collection, it's a beautiful collection. And there's loads you can do with this one. And it's a great price. You're saving a massive £16. I mean, when you look at this, you're getting so much for your money. Um, and as I said, this is bright, it's fresh, it's cool, really, really cool. Now, you have got your flexi as well. So if you do want to get hold of this today, you only need to pay £34.98. Now, it is coming from the States, um, so you do have to wait just a little while for it to travel over. The 15th of June is when it's going to be dispatched. Love it. Um, 895-285, that's your item number. Two payments, £34.98 and 98 pence is your price. Now, moving on. Um, I will be a bit quicker because I know we've got lovely Leah waiting to do a demonstration for us, so I will be a bit speedier. This has been so busy. I really like this die set. 70% of the stock has gone. This is so different. It's so cool. So, first of all, you're getting these massive dies, okay? Three massive dies. Now, they do different things. So, this one will cut out strips of paper. Now, with that, oh, I've got to move mine. So, with that, you can create some really cool backgrounds with uh, cutting out strips of paper, mixing them up. You can create some wonderful backgrounds. If I spin it round, that kind of thing. Honestly, it's seriously cool, is that? That's your first one, the rainbow. Now, have a look at this die because it's cutting out. Can you see where the blade is? So it's cutting out that beautiful line there. So it'll cut out the rainbow, but then, of course, you'll use the panels in between as well, which gives you that kind of look. Honestly, that is, again, 
really cool and then your last one now these are beautiful these are all part of the color block series this one again you can see where it cuts so it'll cut the panels but then it'll cut out the actual weaving grid so you can do things like this but you can actually if i show you what i started in the last hour you can actually start weaving so you can either either leave space or, of course, you can put that right up to the top. But can you see? You can do so much with this. It's a really nice set. If I show you some of the ones, I love this, that Pink Fresh have done. How cool is that? It's a, it's a shaker rainbow card. That is genius. Absolute genius. Um, that beautiful background, that is done with that weaving die absolutely exquisite really cool now you don't just get the three dies i must admit just the three dies and i was sold but you then get these beautiful stamps as well these are exquisite again you've got a lot of stamps here 28 stamps because you've got that massive sentiment sending hugs and goodness uh, good vibes your way isn't that beautiful but then you've got the gorgeous florals so you can add to it but then you've got your other ones because you've got your and and I really like this. Um, this is not a card, it's a hug. Oh, sending you a big hug. You've then got on the side, let's read some of these because they're beautiful. Um, with, a, oh, with a fold in the middle, I like that because obviously we're talking about cards. Uh, sometimes you just need a hug. Oh, I can't wait to hug you. Isn't that nice? Again, really on trend. How many people at the minute are you seeing? Because you can do your social distance, but you can't give them a hug. I mean, oh my gosh, how many cars do you want me to send out? You're a whole lot of awesome. And with this one, you've got the swirls. You've got all the little accessories. This is such a good kit. It has been exceptionally busy. Um, how much? 70% of the stock has gone. If you want this, you need to check your baskets out. I mean, it is such a wonderful collection. We did have another one, but I've moved it there, bear with, because that one is gorgeous. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, okay, two payments, £37 and four check pens. Do not miss out on that. Very, very busy indeed. And very, very cool indeed as well. Now, next, speed it up. We're going to speed it up. <laughs> that is a note to self. I'm not being shouted at. Um, Hold on, yeah, this is for this one. Now, this is another one of them. I want this stamp so bad. Look at these. All of those are separate layers. This is such a nice quality stamp. There's so much you can do with that. Absolutely exquisite. So that's your first stamp. And, of course, you change your colours. You can create some really good backgrounds with that. So cool. But then look at all of these. So you've got all of these dies. Now, what you're actually getting, this is on a magnetic sheet. They give you the magnetic sheet. You get the shadow and then you get the actual sentiment as well. So you are getting two dies for each one of these. I mean, when you look at how close that shadow is, it's a really nice close fit. I mean, the die cuts right on the inside of the die there. So it's a beautiful close fit. So you have got, and I'll bring that in because that's easier to read. So you've got, hello, you've got friend, you've got lovely, bestie, beautiful, handsome and gorgeous. Oh, you're a bit gorgeous. Um, and let me show you some of these. So that's the gorgeous right there. And of course, that's the other die that we've got coming up. We've got friend, and this, this is what I love. You're mixing it up with the beautiful sentiments from the one day special. You're mixing up with the stamps that we had um, with that big bundle. And honestly, you will get so much out of this. I really like these dies. And because you get the shadow, it allows you to create loads of different looks. Absolutely gorgeous. See, it's been used time and time again, has this one. Now, if you would like this collection, you've got um, a saving of £9 there. You've got two payments, £19 and £9. 99 pence. Do not miss out on that one. 655831 is your item number. Now, this is really pretty. Um, I do believe Leah is going to be demonstrating with this one. And again, this is really, it's fresh. It's, it absolutely works. Um, and this is another way you've got some gorgeous sentiments. You've got that beautiful flower. Now, the solid elements, they will work so you can colour fill. However, you can use them all independently. I mean, this is a massive collection there. You've got 20 stamps. You've then got three dies because, of course, you can die cut this out, which, again, looks like it's printed. And while I show you the cards, because look how professional that looks, and that... 
so that one is, you know the, um, let me show you the die. So it's that die, bear with. It's that die with the uh, beautiful one day special die. So it really mixes up to create that gorgeous background. And of course, that looks printed, doesn't it? It looks really gorgeous. Look how different that is. Completely different, same stamp, completely different style. And then different again. But same, same stamp, absolutely stunning. Um, let me just read you a couple of those sentiments. Um, they really they put good sentiments. Believe that hard work beats talent. Believe while others are doubting. Isn't that good? Believe you can and you are halfway there. Beautiful. Really, really like these. Um, again, that's a lovely collection. Another great saving, £5. Only £33.98. You've got a lot in that kit. 492-760 is your item number. We're nearly there, Leah, I promise. Um, so next we've got, oh, this was busy in last hour as well. I adore this one. This is a big die. And again, look, big die. Now, what this does, can you see the white on that one? So it actually cuts out, so it'll give you that beautiful white outline, which means you can just put it on a cracking background, it's going to look good. You can paper piece, so some of that has been paper pieced back in again to create that look. You can put it again on another background. I mean, in black, it looks really strong. And then all I've done is paper piece the, the sort of leftover bit, so it gives you a different look. You can use it really subtly for a background, which again looks so effective. Um, I really like this one. It's a cracking price. Even better if you're part of a Chanda Freedom. Now, £20.99 normally, eighteen eighty nine to Freedom members, and Freedom members don't pay any postage. 505312. That was very busy in the last hour, so if you do want that one, check your baskets out. As was these, these were busy in the last hour as well. Um, when I did the, the last Pink Fresh show, we had the square, um, sort of outline stamps. We've now got the circles this time. Half of the stock has gone. I love these. They're so cool again for paper piecing. They're ridiculously delicate. They're cut so fine. I mean, it's a beautiful cut on these. And what you can do with these, again, for your backgrounds, they're amazing. But they are the kind of dies, and they're all separate, so you don't have to use them all together. All absolutely individual stamps, uh, dies, sorry. But yeah, I really like these. Just, I think just one of the huts on a card will look beautiful. But obviously, using them all, aren't they gorgeous? So delicate. And again, it's that really fresh, simple, but effective look. Um, 13.99 and getting all six dies there. 096452 is your item number. Last, last but by no means least. Now, I've used these a lot, actually. Um, You've got choices, so you can go individual or you can go for the big bundle. It is up to you what you're going for. Now, the lovely colours, I adore the way they've done these because you've got your colour palette there. Straight away, it's sorted for you. So you'll get your darker tone going through to your lighter tone. And this is such a nice co uh, colour collection. I really enjoyed working with these, actually. And I used them on those big stamps. They might be little ink pads, but they'll go a long way. And because you've got... Oh, you're looking at them. I'll just collect cards. Because you've got such a nice colour palette, it allows you... Um, to be to be really strong and bold and bright, or you can actually get the really nice soft tones. So the choice is yours, because obviously you know the the bottom it'll give you those sort of pastel tones. And um, again, really good to work with. And they're uh, dye ink, so they're going to dry. See, isn't that cool? Look how effective that is. That's just two of the colours on here. Really, really gorgeous. That one again, look how effective that is. And that one actually is using the pink, but then a dark pink. The blue and then just a dark blue. Can you see where it's faded into darker? Just on the end there. Just thought that looked gorgeous. And um, again, look at the variation of that. Same, uh, it's in the same collection, but completely different because that's what you're getting in here. A really nice mix of different tones. Now, your choices. You've got all of those choices. They're nice juicy ink pads as well. Third, only 11 99 for four for one set, but how do you choose? <laughs> 543161. If you can't choose, if you're a bit like me and a bit greedy, you want everything, 
to be fair, the colour wheel, it works. The whole colour palette works. Um, if you're going for this one, you're actually getting two of these for free. So that's, I mean, that in itself is marvellous, isn't it? You've got three flexes as well, so you can spread the payments over three months, £39.96. You're getting a lovely selection of colours, and they are gorgeous quality. Once, uh, one nine zero. 963 done it okay i am so sorry to keep you waiting leah we've done the whole counter and um, so i'm now going to pass it over to you what would you like to demonstrate for us leah hi there hi. okay so we're going to do a card that uh uses a few different pieces from all of the items that are available today um the first thing that i'm doing is i am actually using that nested chevron stamp set that is in the one day special cool. but i'm only going to actually use one little piece of it and so the reason why i want to do that because it does create this really beautiful background but it's versatile enough that you can use the pieces just separately as well so and that is what is so awesome about how innovative these stamp sets are with all of the pop out pieces yeah so yeah. all I'm doing is I'm using that one piece to create a stripe to just be an added detail on the side of the card that I'm creating today. Beautiful. And so I am using our inks that you just chatted about. Um, I'm doing a, um, a variation of coral, sweet mustard, and aquamarine. So uh, I've already started it so it wouldn't take too long to get it all finished. The we will just stamp the last few layers here. The colors are beautiful, Leah. Thank you so much. This is one of my favorite color combos. Uh, just, just very fresh and yeah. perfect for this time of year. Absolutely. I love it because the inks, they'll last throughout the year, won't they? I mean, there's literally something for oh, yeah. everybody. I love this stamp set, Leah. This is so cool. Thank you so much. We were really excited when we thought about this. They feel really innovative and um, versatile, and I just feel like they make creating these beautiful backgrounds really, really easy and fun. Mm. And there's so much you can do with them because they're a solid stamp. It's lifting prints out of them. It's layering them in so many different ways. It's, it's one of them stamp sets you'll go for time and time again. It's a beautiful Absolutely. stamp set. I like what you're doing there. We that do. looks really good. It's easy to line up oh, as well. It is, yeah. You just have to use that um, the smaller line. You just line that up, and it works really, really easily. Even yeah. though it's red rubber, like there's, you know, sometimes people can be a little bit nervous with rubber, red rubber because yeah. you can't see where it's going. But yeah. with the fact that these pieces are all trimmed and um, they're trimmed so close to the actual stamp edge, they're super, super easy to line up when you're using just a single piece. Yeah, I love that they're already cut for us. I mean, if we'd have had to cut that ourselves, it, it, yeah, they probably won't be as perfect. <laughs> Right? I can't imagine if I tried to oh, cut no. this myself. No, mine, <laughs> mine are definitely have chunks missing. There won't be straight lines. <laughs> There would be like chunks in the lines. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. mine would be distressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to show you guys, Ooh, and I always get nice. this backwards. Yeah, that's there we cool. Go. That's really uh, cool. So you get so easy to just make this really beautiful yeah. striped detail. Yeah. And you didn't have to use the entire stamp set to get it done. Yeah. See, that looked good just with your sentiment on it, wouldn't it? Just as it is. It sure would, it yeah. It's so cool. Like with the um, sentiment dies. I love those sentiment dies. But yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, uh, I love those dies too. Um, they're some of my favorites. Mm. There's a lot. So I'm in... just going to go ahead and trim this down so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Beautiful. So I'm going to trim this beautiful stripe down. This is just really going to be an accent piece on my card. But look at that cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It kind of looks like candy a little bit. Yeah, it does. That's it. Isn't that so fun? Yeah. And you could create so many of them just because obviously you can get quite a few just out of one stamp pattern. I love it. Absolutely. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue. 
these work gonna, as uh, well, Leah. I'm sorry, is that? That would work. You know that little stripe you've created? That would work. Because I've, um, just, I've just entered the world of planners. They would look so cool in your planners, wouldn't they? I think so, yes. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of ways that you could do this. Think if you stamped it yeah. uh, all along an entire sheet of either a full, you know, eight and a half by 11 or a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You could yeah. use, you could actually make your own pattern paper for yeah. memory keeping, um, mini albums everything like that. Absolutely. All right, so then I'm just going to trim off the edges on the, this panel that I've already created here. And look at that. Oh, I love it. Simple. Mm. Just makes a nice little stripe on the edge. Yeah. Um, and I still have some stripe left over. I could make another card. Yeah, um, that's cool. It's simple as that. Simple but All right, happy. so I'm going to switch my stamping platform around to get it ready for clear stamps because now we're going to stamp the florals from the Believe in You, Believe in Yourself stamp set. Ah, stunning. So the reason why I'm saying I'm going to prep my stamping platform is because um, I was using cling stamps, so red rubber cling stamps, which are thicker yeah. than clear stamps. So depending on which stamping platform you have, you probably have to adjust um, its height setting. So for me, that was just pulling out the foam mat, and I'm going to go ahead and stick that back in. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So one tip I have when I am stamping um, florals or bigger stamps than like this, I like to actually put a full sheet of paper in my stamping platform so that it fits edge to edge. Perfect. And the reason why I love doing that is because it just allows my magnets to hold it down a little bit better. The magnets aren't going to get in my way yeah. of the stamping I'm doing. And while it might seem wasteful, I never waste. So all of the pieces that are around it that I might not stamp on, I'll use for die cutting out those great words, the phrase builder words that you guys are featuring um stamping sentiments to it i never let white card track go to waste yeah. so um but i like having the extra room around the images when you stamp them it's a good tip that because yeah i find if you cut it too close then you can't the magnets just get in the way don't they they do mm. and then they uh they flaw your stamping yeah. and i just that drives me crazy yeah. so yeah I'm with my you. little tip for everybody we like <laughs> give that yourself one. a little bit of extra room <laughs> And then use the excess around it for other things like yeah. die cutting or stamping smaller images. Yeah. And I have a feeling I maybe I'm going to need to draw my shade here in a minute because I see that the sun <laughs> is starting to the sun's peek in. Out. <laughs> Let me do that real quick. <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely, Leah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So first things first, we are going to stamp the believe in yourself floral, the outline in just some nice detail black ink. Beautiful. And when I stamp with, well, with any ink, but especially like a hybrid black ink, I'm just delicately, um, I'm not smushing it down real hard because then you get way too much ink. So I'm just kissing the surface of the stamp um, but making sure to get it nice and, you know, yeah. nice and inky and even. Uh, so the great thing about a stamping platform is you can stamp twice. So I don't like to apply too much pressure because then sometimes you skew or make those stamp lines a little bit too thick. Yeah. So I would rather stamp it twice, um, mm. but still keep that nice, crisp impression. Yeah. So I'm going to eat it up one more time here. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Sometimes I go a bit too heavy, so it's nice to do too light, isn't it? Too light one. It sure is. And that's where these, you know, amazing stamping platforms come in. Like what yeah. a um, amazing asset we have that got yeah. added to our making when yeah. those came around, right? No, thank goodness. Why did it take so long? Okay. <laughs> I know, you're right. Okay, let's do this one more time. We're just going to go all the way down. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. And look at how beautiful and crisp that stamp. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Now, you could leave it like that for just a more elegant, clean and simple feel. 
if you are a watercolor, if you like to watercolor or, um, you know, color in with markers, anything like that, you've got that lovely outline that you can do that with. Perfect. But the awesome thing about this stamp set is it also has the layers that you can just use with ink. Yeah. And so we're going to use the layers and we're going to stamp them in with ink today. And, but I just love that this stamp set is so versatile. It gives you all of those different options. Yeah. Um, and maybe you like to do all three. So you could make a card with this same stamp set that looks completely different from each other, depending on what medium you use, Absolutely. whether it's watercolor or inks or markers. Yeah, perfect. It's got a really nice watercolor look to it as well, hasn't it? The stamp. It's got that quite free and easy look to it. I it like really that. does. And the great thing about it is um, you don't have to. So the, the solid images, while you can line them up exactly, they really aren't meant to be lined up exactly. So they're meant to just have that more like artistic, um, like you maybe just kind of randomly painted yeah. in that color there. And it's a little out of the lines. Yeah. So it really has a very whimsical, um, fun feel to it. Yeah. I like that. So which colour are you using right, so there? Is that the coral again? Just, this is Coral Reef. It's my, probably my very favourite colour <laughs> that we came out with. Um, it's in the collection of reds, but it is this really beautiful shade of pink. Yeah, that's pretty. And I'll show this to you at the end when it's all said and done. Let's see here. What's the next one? that I want to use here. Okay. I love these because so it's like paper sorry, piecing, isn't it? It's like paper piecing, but with ink. Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, gives you that solid, finding, I love that. that layer. So I have a couple of the layers that are pink. So I'm doing all of the pink or the coral reef at once. Lovely. And it's already looking nice and fun. Um, oh yeah, that's that, I love how the layers don't um, match perfectly. It just really gives it just a nice, a fun fill. All right, so next layer, let's do the yellow. And like you say, it doesn't have to be spot on either, which, which is nice. Nope. Right? So sometimes you spend a really long time lining up stamp layers. Yeah. What I love about this stamp is you don't have to. You certainly can if you want it to be more precise and more exact. But the more artistic feel of this one just lends itself to being a little bit quicker. Um, and it's just, it's just a nice, fun feel. So for the yellow, I'm using the Sweet Mustard which is the third shade uh, in our yellow color family. Beautiful. And it's beautiful. Oops, that did not attach. Let's grab that again. There we go. And this is sort of the layer onto the coral now, isn't it? Um, this is the middle of the coral. Perfect. Yep, just the little dot. I can show you. I'm getting close. I only have a couple Yay. of layers left. Love but that. look at how pretty that is already looking with um, yeah. only just a couple of colors in there so far. I really like that. And I do like the fact that the way the, the inks come, because we've got that beautiful color, so the, the color family, it makes it really easy to do things like this, doesn't it? You know, because you've got the blend sure of colors. Does. It sure does. So we spent a very long time getting the colors for each color family perfected and what we were going for in each color family. And the, the biggest thing that we were going for was the ability um, for the colors to layer together seamlessly. Yeah. That was really important to us. So we feel like we achieved that. We feel like yeah. we have really um, beautiful colors that are um very pink fresh we were very yeah. big on color here at pink yeah. fresh so and the nice quality inks as well when i were using them they felt really nice and juicy they are they're very <laughs> nice and juicy um they 
stamp very evenly, even from the get go. Yeah. So um, sometimes, you know, dye inks, because they are technically trying to dye your paper yeah. when you stamp them, sometimes they can feel a little splotchy. Um, but even from the get go, these don't, our inks, I feel like just, uh, they, they just don't seem as splotchy as yeah. some that you might try out there. They give you a really so nice solid. Really, what was that? They give you a real nice solid finish, don't they? I found that when I was stamping on the big stamps, you know, on that. They were a beautiful solid finish. I really like that. They really do. And then as they continue to seep into the paper mm. and dry, they, they have this really soft, creamy finish almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we really are really, really happy with how they turned out. <laughs> All right, I have one last layer and then you guys can see the full floral image here. Beautiful. We'll let you do yeah. this, Lee, and then we'll have to we'll have to leave you for a few moments. But we'll see the the last the last bit of layering, and then we'll have to go down the counter again. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm almost done. I'm almost ready. That's fine. <laughs> okay, final layer is Yay. done. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's such right. a gorgeous image, Leah. It's wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Hopefully we'll be back to you again before that. Well, we will. We've got time. I'll be quick. Um, OK, I will whip down that count so then we can get back to Leah. This is your one day special, first of all. The one day special is absolutely crammed. You've got 26 stamps. Now, the way Leah was using that beautiful stamp, this is how you use that. You've got layers. It's one of those you want to play with. Um, you want to play with colours, your gorgeous textures. Maybe your last layer you're going to be using embossing powder. Powders. You know, maybe you're going to be um, using beautiful foils on this. You can use so many different products. You've got some good sentiments on here as well. You've got the dye. It makes it look professional. You know, as soon as you dye, because it looks bought, quite frankly, that stamp. I mean, these are amazing. I must admit, uh, out of everything at the minute, favourite favourites. This one and the others. Man, I love these. Um, they're just, if I just whip that round for you, look, you can see all of those independent stamps. That is seriously cool. Um, you can get it on its own, actually, just there at the bottom for 16 99 Worth it. It's really good. Which, when you look at that, really, in your one-day special, that's for free, isn't it? You're not paying for that in your one-day special. Um, and you're getting all this other stuff, all this goodness. Now, the bow, that's so handy. You can create your own beautiful bows, and it does look really pretty. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So professional. And then last but by no means least, I adore that beautiful tag. I just think that looks so exquisite. And again, everything looks professional. However you use these, whatever your, your style, this uh, that's what I love about this. You know, I went really bold, really strong with it, but you can go really fresh and bright and breezy. I mean, it really suits everybody. And the stamps are gorgeous. I mean, I really, really like the sentiments in this. It's such a positive collection. And I think that's what's beautiful about this. It's positive, it's vibrant, it's fresh. It's, um, it's just joyous, isn't it? You know, the colours that Leah was using, they're happy colours when you look at that that's happy you know it's a really summer card isn't it now two payments 34.98 that is 895.285 that's your one day special next now these have been seriously busy seriously in fact 80 percent of the stock has gone we've only got one more hour after this and look at your saving now these are being shipped from america you don't see pink fresh everywhere in fact i've never seen pink fresh when i've been out in any craft shops and as you can imagine i've been in a few craft shops um and i've not seen pink fresh these still feel so special and cool this collection of dyes is an absolute must-have and they are fabulous you can create that really cool solid background with all the different colors whoops a daisy you can create the beautiful rainbow you're cutting the outside and you're cutting the panels so you can fill those in and make shaker cards which is genius and then the last one again you're creating you're cutting that outside edge and then of course you're using your panels as well the big the really really bold and effective 
love those. You then got the two, now the stamp sets, you've actually got 28 stamps in here because you've got that massive stamp, sending hugs and, go and go good vibes. I keep saying gorgeousness, or uh, good vibes your way, love that. Then the packaging you see, look, you've got all of these that you can build it up. I really like that. I just think that's brilliant. Don't forget to put the hand in. I would have put the hand, I forgot to put the hand, hand in. I like that they've done it separate because of course you can add a different color. And I love all the extra stamps. When you think about the stamps that you're getting in all the collections, imagine the variations, even the dies. When you think about the dies, you'll be able to mix and match everything, giving you so many different uh, fonts and different looks because you can die cut. You've then got this one. You're a whole lot of awesome. How cool is that? But it's not just a stamp. I mean, all these swirls you will use in so many ways. If I flip that round, I love how the packaging is good for inspiration because the packaging is going to give you ideas on how to build that up. I mean, look at them, how cute is that? And you know what? If you get the dice, um, the ink pads, you've got the light blue, you've got the dark blue, so you'll be able to create that beautiful layering and that is actually really easy and achievable. Right, 80%. You know, this one, that has been stamped. You remember last time we had Pink Fresh, we had the washi tape, the rainbow washi tape. That was ridiculously busy. That's been stamped onto rainbow washi tape. So if you've got that, look how good it looks on there. Um, that rainbow, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. And then, of course, beautiful. How good does that look? That's your one day special. That background is those dies. Um, if you do want that one, two payments, 3748. You cannot miss out on that one. 622410. Next, another one of my serious favourites. I mean, serious favourites. I love this stamp set again. So this is your nested diamonds. Can we get this one on its own then as well? Oh, you can. So if you do want this one on its own, you've got that option. Um, do check the website out for individuals because you've got lots of individuals. It's so cool. Do you know what? It feels really nice as well. I know that's ridiculous, but it's that lovely soft rubber that you can really bend and shape it. There's so many patterns. I want to play with that. It's one of them stamps you just want to take home and use and oh, it's lush. Um, you've then got the gorgeous die set. See, I love these because again, they'll mix and match with these stamps. You've got the outside and you've got the inside. So it allows you to create so many different looks. And of course you stamp these out of like, um, in fact, where's that card gone? There it is. If you stamp, if you die cut, say, a form, see, you can actually make your own stamp with it. And that's a beautiful thing. So because of nice big dies, you can do so much. Remember, because you've got that cutting, that outside cutting edge, it allows you to create the little apertures with these as well for it to sit, sit into. Um, love that collection. £39.98, pence, saving £9. Uh, two payments, £19.99, pence, 655831. Next. Now, this is what uh, we've just seen Leah demonstrating, and this is lovely. You've got that beautiful set of stamps. You've got so many good sentiment stamps, strong, strong stamps there. Um, so you can and you will. Believe you can and you will. I love that. I just love it. And then the beautiful stamp that Leah was working with. You've got all of these that you can layer in. There's so many ways you can use it. You've then got the die. I mean, the variations that you can achieve. They look superb. You know, whether you are going to use it for stamping, whether you're going to use it. I mean, that doesn't look like the same. Is that the same? No, it isn't. I've picked up a separate one. I thought that doesn't look like the same. It's because I've moved it. It should have been with the um, that background. But look at that. Look how strong those colours are. Again, you've got those ink pads on the show. Um, yeah, really like that. Please don't miss out on that. Uh, £5 saving there. 33 98 is your price. 492760. Next, one of my big favourites again. Another big favourite. I love dice like this. 40% of the stock has gone. I love it because you can create a really easy card with this, but it'll look dramatic. You know, literally, that card, okay, something like that. It's a gorgeous background. Then your die cut out of white cardstock and stuck over the top of it. That is it. Anybody can do that, and it looks good. It'll make you look dead professional, but... 
then you can start playing with the, all the scraps, putting the scraps back in again. You can then play again with your background, but then fill in the other bits. And again, look how dramatic it looks. And it changes the background. You know, if you've done a background and it's horrible, one of those, and it looks a bit dodgy, just pop that over the top of it. It absolutely changes things. It looks so effective. It's such a good die, is that? £20.99. You've got a freedom price there, 18 89 505312. Last, not last, we've got die, uh, the ink pads yet. Now over half of the stock has gone of these. These are the kind of dies, they're delicate, they're um, interesting, they're very easy to use, they're very pretty, are uh, these. Um, I mean, that, again, a beautiful background, just putting your die cuts on. However, however, you can change that. If, like with this one, for instance, so that's the piece of card that you've cut out, then you're popping these back in again over a beautiful background. That, you know, that gorgeous technique Leah's just done, that's using that stamp that's in the one day special. But just one of those, how good would just one of those look? You know, that is so pretty, so pretty. Really like these. Um, £13.99. Again, there's loads of techniques you can do with them, and it's a cracking price. 096452. Next, the inks. We like, I like these. I like these a lot. I love the fact that you've got that beautiful palette. So it will give you dead easy. It allows you to create um, really nice tones. When you're doing your stamping, like... Um, like on, while well, you're looking at them, like on that packaging, bear with, this packaging, this one. So, on that packaging, okay, it's showing it. Now, that could look like it would be tricky to do because you're thinking, oh, do I have to mask things off? You know what? That is so easy to do because you've got your different colour palettes. So, your dark blue, but then the light blue. And that is so handy because you're picking up one stamp set and you've already able to create two, at least two different tones in there. You know, all those different colours, because you've got the beautiful, strong colours, but then your nice light colours in there, you're away. It's a lovely, lovely collection. Um, they're acid-free, they're perfect for your watercolouring techniques. Um, it's a raised dye ink pad, which I really like, because it means I don't get as inky on my hands. Um, and yeah, they're really nice and juicy. Lovely colour palette. Now, 11 99 if you want to go for individual stamps, um, ink pads, that is tricky. I, if you can, the bigger is amazing because you get the full thing, you get the lot. Um, I know it's a considered purchase, but you are getting 48 colours here, 48 ink pads. So when you break that down, what does that work out per ink pad? 48 ink pads. Um, for three payments, £39.96. pence. I mean, it's a massive £24 saving. It works out at just under £2. Whee! Um, £2.50 for, for one block, is that? Yeah for one ink pad so again fantastic and the good quality yeah we love these i love these um you're getting two for nothing as well if you're going for that big deal um okay one nine zero nine six three that's your item number do not miss out on those it's such a nice deal okay did it uh, we can get back to lovely leah and see where leah's up to leah back to you hi there hi. all right so i'm just just finishing up that card, I went and I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of the florals, and I'm just going to add that right to the front of the card. I guess I'm doing this kind of off camera. And then I also added, so off camera, I stamped and heat embossed the sentiment, and I'll show that to you in just a minute. And I'm just going to layer it down in the corner. So what I did is I stamped and heat embossed the word believe in gold. Lovely. And it does have a coordinating die. And so because the heat embossing has a little bit of a bevel, I was able to die cut it after doing the heat embossing. Now, if you wanted to stamp that in just like black ink or in a colored ink, I would actually suggest die cutting first yeah. and then stamping because it's solid. Uh, so and the, it's a solid die get just you. for um, structural purposes. So... Um, the sentiment that I did for this card says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Oh, I love that. I think, do yeah, you know, the really good, strong sentiments, aren't they? You know, the really positive sentiments. 
They are. That's something that we um, are known for at Think First Studio. We try to cre uh, create very unique, heartfelt, mm -hmm. encouraging sentiments. And we always also have memory keepers in the back of our mind. So yeah. we are both a scrapbooking and a mem or excuse me, and a card making company. Yeah. So when we create products, we are always trying to find ways to make them usable for for all sides of people. Yeah. Oh, I, I agree. When I saw these and I think for me because I like oh, everything, but for me, you know, I like my art journals. There's things because they're not specific like just happy birthday. I'm using these for my art journals. Now the planners, you know, they're, they're literally something for everything, isn't there? There's something for everything in your collections. Oh, there I'm... really is. Now, um, I know we haven't got, how much time have we got going? We've got about five minutes. So, so yeah. what do you want to show us then, uh, Leah? I'm just going to stamp out this chevron stamp set in a little bit more. How I, on that card, I only used the one piece. So we're going to stamp this stamp set out um, a little bit more as intended, just so Beautiful. you can see it. And I'm going to do it in a, a little bit more masculine tone. So I am actually just using one of our blue color families, and I'm just going from light to dark. Um, you know, I make a lot of cards, and I know that I tend – to lean towards um, more feminine colors. So yeah. it's always, um, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? It's always a little bit harder for me to pull out more masculine colors, yeah. but we all have oopsies, guys in our life. And so, uh, and we probably won't get to creating the entire card where those pieces go. But I <laughs> thought that it would look really great with the Hello, handsome. Oh, fabulous. Good guys. I like that. So, <laughs> yeah. But that, we would just go through and stamp it, this beautiful chevron, out in all of our blues. Now, when I use this stamp set, I tend to um, stamp the first layer yeah. and then line up the next layer before I pull out the next one. And that yeah. just makes sure that you're getting all of those stripes lined up in the proper area yeah and it also allows you to count and make sure that you're doing you're putting everything in the right spot yes i must admit when i had a go with this that's exactly how i did it it just it makes it really easy to line up then doesn't it it sure does so that first color was slumber and now i'm inking up the next layer in blue jay Beautiful. and this is one of our, this is our, I think our darker co selection of blues that we have in our, because like we have two blue color families. Yeah. And this one's the one that's a little bit darker toned. Gorgeous. I like, because it's a solid stamp, you can build up colors actually on the stamp as well, can't you? You know, you can build up, because it's solid, you really see the color. So you can actually create a, a lovely faded out version on the actual stamp as well, can't you? You sure can. So you can even do some ombre stamping um, on, you know, just, a, you know, maybe down towards one of the Vs. The, yeah. You don't have to stamp the whole thing up with just the one color. So you are definitely correct on that. The fabulous for techniques. You want to play with them, don't you? It's one of them stamp sets you just want to get and play with. It is so fun to play with. And one thing that I do quite often with these stamp sets is... Um, when I have them out and I'm playing with them, I'll go ahead and I'll just make tons of backgrounds with mm. them in all different colors, um, all different ways, you know, maybe selectively only using uh, a few of the layers here and there. Yeah. And then you're just, you know, you're ready to go with a ton of um, backgrounds for all of your cards. Yes, absolutely. It's just so effective. And I love how bold and strong it can look. It's um, gorgeous. Thank you. So one thing that you may notice when I'm stamping here is sometimes you get a little bit of ink around the edges. And the honest truth is you're going to just trim those off. So I don't worry about that too much. So don't worry when you see the finished product if you see a little bit of ink around the edge because you're just going to trim that right off. Yeah. And it's just from it's getting on that little frame that helps also um, 
help you keep placement and stuff, or the placement of all of the layers. That looks really effective already. See, I love this because you can leave elements out to then put your, you know, if you want to put a sentiment in there instead of another chevron, it gives you so many options. You sure can. So I'm actually going to pull this one out real quick and not do that last layer because another option Hello. that you actually could do, rather than doing the next shade of blue in there, yeah. you could go in and you could actually heat emboss it in gold to yes. give it a little bit of shine. Um, there's just so many options. You could leave it blank. And like you mentioned, you could yeah. put the sentiment in there. So I could even run handsome, um, like along side. Oh, that'd look cool. There. Yeah. I would probably need to do it not in white. <laughs> <laughs> we can see it, Leah. Leah, we've only got seconds left. Thank you ever so much. It's been absolute pleasure. Um, we'll see you later on, won't we? At, um, later on in the last show. Yes, yeah. you will. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. You take care and um, have a nice Thanks. rest in between shows and we'll speak to you then. Um, everybody else at home, please check your baskets out. Honestly, this is such a cool one day special. There's so many fantastic products. It's hard to choose, uh, but that's your job. Um, I will see you next week, I think. Take care and, and check your baskets out. <laughs> Coming up next, we have got Creative Grids. Um, that looks exciting. Now, Natasha's in the building. We've then got the Addictive Sketcher. Oh, I'd like to be one of them. And then we've got the Pergamano Show. Take care, everyone. See you later. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. You know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku. 
Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels, then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello there and welcome back. Well, we are in for a real treat in this hour. And I must admit, I'm really looking forward to it. We are talking creative grids and, of course, a fabulous company that brings us some amazing quilting rulers. And we've got our fabulous demonstrator here showing you... Well, demonstrator slash presenter. Our lovely, lovely Natasha is going to be showing you these. And Natasha, you're busy cutting already. I know, I know. It gets, it gets you a little bit like that. It's like, oh, they're here. May just as well have a little go. You're going to love them. Absolutely love them. Now, I'm going to take you through a few of the basics before we start. I'm going to hand over to Natasha to explain the concept more to you. Because the first three items are very, very similar in kind of concept and idea, whereby you are going to be able to create a fabulous block made up um, either a six inch or eight inch and created in a slightly different way to each other, um, but they all come together. It will all become apparent when I show you. So what you've got here, you've got some acrylic rulers and you've got a series of four in this particular set. Um, and these ones are your crazy six, um, crazy six. So it's going to be a bit like a crazy patch where you've got kind of all sorts of higgledy piggledy shapes within here. But overall, they're going to be a six inch piece. So you can see here, you've got your different pieces. So entitled A, you've got got um, B, C, D and so on and little E is that kind of part triangle from A. Um, when you actually hold it's a bit tricky. Could you, have you got any white cardstock at all? Um, we'll pop those on just to show you. So these basically will allow you to cut your shape. So think of these potentially as a paper, um, paper pattern almost. So giving you those but it means that you haven't got to do any angles, you haven't got to do any measuring. These templates will do it. So for instance if you're taking a part A you would take that, lay it down on your fabric, cut around the edge and you will use that to go in the section that it tells you within your pattern. Now the beauty is with regards to this that uh, you are um, going to be able to use your rulers over and over again. And of course Creative Grids, um, one of the first companies to actually bring us that grip on the back of these. So when you're actually laying them down on your fabric, they're not going to be moving when you're using your rotary blade. And you'll see Natasha working with these in a few moments. So you've got your four elements there that are going to come together. And you might think, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, I get that. But what is it going to look like? Well, the beauty is you can play around with this. You can rotate those um, blocks and you're creating them. You can use different segments to create alternative shapes. But every single step of the way, there is no measuring done. That is the beauty of it. We're doing the bit that we love, the sewing bit. We don't want to do maths and measuring and all that rubbish. We want to be sewing and getting creative. And you can see if you're taking one of those um, blocks, putting them together, rotating them as you go through your project, you can see an idea of how it's going to work. So, of course, the beauty of this is seeing them in action. And that's why we're going to go and have a little chat and speak to our Natasha. She's got a fabulous quilt behind her. And I'm guessing, is this the, the, the actual block that you've been working with, the cra crazy six behind you? That looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, this is. Um, so on each of the crazy patterns, that you've got. So you've got your crazy six, your crazy eights, and then your crazier eights. Uh, we've got all three of those. And they have been one of the best selling products that Creative Grids have because everybody has scraps. 
as soon as you start cutting into fabric you create a scrap and none of us know what to do with them we don't want to throw them away we've bought the fabric what do we do with them what do we do with them um all of the fabric we buy presumably we like um and so this is a fantastic way to use up those scraps into something that is absolutely stunning and on the back of each of those patterns you've got a quilt design um and this is actually half of the of the crazier eight quilt pattern uh, that is on the back uh, and you can do it this is uh, kind of lap quilt size so you can keep to it like that or you can double it or you can just keep doing more and more and more so this is your crazy rate and this is just this is all out of tilda we're going to have a look at some tim holtz in a little bit so it, whatever your style whatever your fabric this is absolutely perfect for it or if you just want to go crazy and pick out whatever fabrics and just go completely random you can do that too what a fabulous idea and I love that quilt behind. Now of course that is a six inch block. We've got a couple of eight inch blocks for you and um, as Natasha said there I mean they're just beautiful and a clever way to use up all those scraps that you've got left over. Those pieces that uh, you think oh it's just too big to throw away what can I do with it? This, this, this is the solution for you to create with these. Now this one and the next one are both size eight um, or eight inch should I say with regards to this. My suggestion would be if you're going for this one certainly do consider going for the other one as well because it keeps you kind of two different versions this one we're looking scrap crazy again at this time you've got your three different rulers within here of course there's loads of ways you'll be using these just independently not necessarily using them all together and of course they have all got that fabulous grip on there so they are not going to go anywhere you can see there I mean that is not slipping and sliding at all that is something that's quite key you've got your, um, your grid on there as well which is going to help you with your lining up element with these and of course each of these pieces you will see you've got the, the lettering so if I bring the the white card stocking just to show you the darker lettering on here you can see clearly and easily this is part a but it's also part b and you can also see where it sits within that eight inch block and down here cutting line for template b i know all that i haven't even had to look at the leaflet that's the beauty of this it's got all the instruction that you need on there now of course some of the markings are in white so moving that away you'll be able to see you've got your grid there so um, for you to get that kind of true perfection that is included and you've got your QR code. Now that is something that's incredibly useful. Using your tablet or your mobile phone, if you scan that QR code with your camera, it will automatically take you to the Creative Grids website. And that will mean that you can watch a tutorial video to give you some idea and some inspiration. And again, you've got that within the pamphlet that comes with your um, order as well. Now do bear in mind, American company, so of course we are talking a slight extended delivery, um, delivery with regards to these ones. We're only looking at a couple of weeks and it's the 18th of June. Because well, this one is an 8 inch block which means that the next set that we're looking at being an 8 inch block as well will work alongside it because they're the same size so clever love it now this one we're going a little bit crazier with this particular one you've still got your 8 inch block with these and you've got more segments with these so more independent uh, independent elements and I do urge you when you get this home do try those out do create different shapes of your own with these you can see all your different shapes there again coming together down at the front there it shows you how you're working those together there and again depending on the size of the scrap that you've got there will be one of these little quilt rulers that's going to be perfect again you've got everything that was spoke of previously you've got the little icon on there showing you where that's going to sit in amongst its other little friends you've got your ruler there with your grip on the back and of course you've got those lining up points as well so it really is a clever way to create this time the quilt suggestion on the back there it's got a little bit of sashing in there I like this though because it's kind of uh, almost like a brickwork um, element with this one so uh, yeah if you're wanting to, to create that this is the one that Natasha had got behind her she'd actually rotated it around so she got it portrait but that is the beauty of this I love that <laughs> there she is <laughs> um, and this is the beauty because once you've got your square you can rotate it around so if you want to have the kind of kite shape in the top right hand corner of every block then you can do or you might want it in the bottom left or wherever you want it to go that is the beauty that is yours let's get scrap busting with these that's the key thing isn't it 105237 it's surprising how much fabric that we've got that are those kind of scrap sizes let's get them used up and create something beautiful in the process as well now we're going to go over to Natasha in a few moments with regards to those but we've got more grids for you and more rulers and these are brilliant so check these out now we've got a couple of different sizes of the uh, stripology rulers for you now these are brilliant because what they will allow you to do is to create your strip fabric so think of things like your binding think of things like your um, your strips for doing um, things that you usually use um, um, a Swiss roll with that kind of idea so that's what you've got within here 
Now, the design of this, I mean, Natasha's going to go through all this, don't worry. But what you've got here is you've got your two different um, kind of uh, measurements. So you've got your imperial in one direction, and then you've got your half, sorry, it's inches and half inches, not imperial and metric, I do apologise. So you've got your inches on one side, and then you've got your half inches on the other. So you just simply rotate it round, and it will give you your other dimensions with there. Very, very clever. And of course, you've got your centre point, as you can see there as well. You've also got your diagonals on there, so if you are doing things like your half square triangles, that's going to help you with regards to those as well. And of course, lots of very useful markings. You've got your stars on there, which of course, we're going to learn all about these as well so your um, little stars that are going to mark you one and a half po um, points so uh, they are something to look out for again Natasha will explain this to you don't worry um, and the squares will give you your two and a half so you can see those kind of dotted along there is that clever love that idea so when you're thinking two and a half if you are thinking of doing your own kind of strip rolls you'd line the zero up with the edge of your fabric or your starting point on your fabric should I say and then cut every time you see a square so that's going to give you your two and a half inch strips if you want to do your binding then you're going to follow those stars because they'll give you the one and a half inch that's the beauty of this set like this one again it's got that grip on the back there so it's not going to slip and slide and of course this is the larger of the tool rulers now if you're wanting this one 22 pounds and 47 pence is a fabulous price for it and it's proved to be very popular it was selling before we even started the show they're always popular and I know lots of you out there Natasha strippers I'm sure we'll hear the mention of that name before long uh, so uh, 848199 if you wanting to get hold of yours but what about when you're crafting on the move this is a brilliant one it's a mini one very clever idea so of course the larger one is brilliant if you're wanting to use that at home but if you're out and about it's nice to have a smaller version of them so you don't have to wait to cut your strips to get back home um, and maybe you're crafting in a caravan or um, a holiday home and you don't necessarily want two of the larger grids in and there and one there and one at home well this is the way to do it this one is your smaller as you can see here so you still got all your markings on there still able to do your half inch increments as well as your full inch increments and again there you'll see those little stars featuring on there which is going to make it nice and easy for you to create with those so uh, yeah if you're wanting this one four three four five one five um of course we are going to see more of these as the hour progresses six and a half by 24 we're talking large 24 and a half because there's always that extra half inch on many of these rulers just to help you with your seam allowance and here this is a very useful one i've got something very similar at home and this is one that i go to time and time again and i use this one especially when i'm cutting down my large pieces of fabric so maybe you've got fabric by the meat or the half meter and you're wanting to turn them into something that's a little bit more manageable then this is the way to do it again around the edge you can see that grip that's going to hold on to your fabric keep it tight in place so you don't get any nasty accidents with regards to your cutting and nasty accidents with regards to your fingers as well that's something to be uh, thinking about across here you've got the little discs as well so those are giving you that kind of security again with that non um, non slip and again there you can see your inches your half inches um, and um, all your different increments that you need in there good size one to go for that's one that I often suggest for um, people who are starting quilting because you can pretty much do anything from your six inch blocks which of course we've been talking about today right the way through to your larger blocks because you could go up to 24 and a half inches square if you wanted to this one uh, but so uh, yeah details on your screen there 23 at 95 325 now six and a half um, is going to be a perfect one for you to square off your little um, grids that we've just been talking about with the, um, obviously the the scraps that we were chatting um, useful again if you are doing things like your half square triangles you've got your diagonals on there all the traditional markings that you need and at 14 pounds and 48 pence that is a very affordable grid and again with this one as is the case with everything on the show you have got extended delivery there's more for you to jump onto the website and have a little look at so it do have a little look you need something that's going to allow you to cut and that's why you need a quality rotary cutter so this is the one that we've got for you here and this is brilliant because it's the crafter's dream one you've got your 45 mil blade with this you've also got um, your sharpener for both the 28 mil um, and also your 45 mil there just 15 pounds and 28 pence nice ergonomic handle that one I like that one um, and there's your rotary blade sharpener you basically pop your blade in there give it a twist and before you know it it's been sharpened um, very clever technique that particular one 
pop that in if you're wanting to um, as well. What else are we going to tempt you with? I don't know. Have we got anything else we're tempting people with? We are. Of course we are. All oh, the crazier eights, of course. We're busy for these. Lots of you taking advantage of these. Creating those um, eight inch blocks using that um, crazier eight. Um, and of course, we have got the crazy eight. We've also got Natasha here. She's going to be working with the sewing machine. Um, I'm sure she'll tell us about the Juki um, HZLNX7. <laughs> doesn't roll off the tongue does it um but um, she'll tell us all about that as she is working with it so i'm going to hand over to Ms. natasha now what are you up to hello uh, that's not the machine i've got today i'm going to do a whole show on that on uh, the nx7 on the 25th of june so Ooh. if you are in the market for the super duper duper one then do that i've got the dx7 today which is its little brother um which i absolutely adore um, but they have both have been out of stock and they are both now back in stock so I know a lot of you've been waiting for them so if you have just a little note that they are they are there uh, so um, creative grids they are a UK company they're a family-run company uh, they are based out of Leicester and uh, hence on every grid you will see a little symbol of the fox which if you ask our Janice she will tell you is of course the symbol for Leicestershire so uh, we're going to work with today the Crazier 8, which gives us this. Now, on each of the packets, like I said, you do get a quilt pattern. And the other thing that I really like about them is the effects that you can create. So what I would say is take a look and take a photocopy of this on the back. And say you were working with just plain colours or something like that. Um, take a photocopy and then colour in the little bits because then you'll get an idea of the effect of what it will look like because you can get such different effects from using different colors uh, and working their way around with that and you get the full instructions in here as well as to how to put that quilt together and how to make the quilt what i would say is that with any of the creative grids do not throw away this little black slip because this has got all of the information that you need and they are so clear and concise um, with Crazy Rates and with Creative Grids, they are quilters who are making four other quilters. So you know full well that they absolutely, absolutely know their stuff. Um, so this one is designed by Karen Montgomery, who is a very famous quilter. Um, a lot of them are designed by Rachel Cross, who is the daughter of the founders. Uh, hi, Rachel, of, uh, of Creative Grids. She messaged me earlier. She said, have a crazy show. And I was like, yeah, we will, we will, we will. Um, so that's, that's the premise. And... Um, the, this this company originated through um, being located near an acrylics factory that was throwing a lot of stuff away. And so they took the waste and repurposed it. So um, this will this will show you that now um, now some is manufactured in the States, but it, it's it's a really lovely ethos, the whole company. So if you're going for the crazy rates. Uh, then you can uh, you can use 10 inch scraps which is which is great or you could go really crazy and dedicate an entire layer cake to it so if you've bought yourself a, you know one of those 10 inch charm packs and gone oh, what am i gonna do with that this is absolutely perfect otherwise work through your scraps uh, they don't all have to be the same i'm saying start with a 10 inch square that's where i'm going to start but of course you've got different acrylic rulers and as long as your fabric fits onto that you can use it on there. So, of course, you can work your way through. And then it's going to be completely random. And I love that idea. Absolutely. 40% gone already. Oh, well done. Okay, good. So, let's start, first of all. Let's move this out of the way because we've got to prep our fabric first. And that's really important. So, um, any quilter will know that the very first place that you start is cutting. And um, <laughs> I remember one lovely lovely lady saying i just can't get straight edges and i don't understand why and she was basically using her kid's ruler on a chopping board and just the horror the absolute horror and of course it just was a chewed up mess so um what i would always say is um buy cheap buy twice so um i was very lucky because i was introduced to creative grids very early on in my quilting journey. So it saved me a huge amount of money uh, because I only had to buy once. And, um, and I know that I've got the best quality rulers, uh, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's just, there's 
no no doubt whatsoever so if i don't already have 10 inch squares in my sash i'm going to cut them it's as simple as i'm just going to cut them so i'm going to use the um the stripology ruler which is of course absolutely absolutely perfect for this i'm just going to fold this tot edge down a little bit because it's just poking off the top but i will just fold it in line there um, so that i know that everything is going to line up beautifully now i've gone for loads of layers here got a bit Gone a bit crazy. It seems to be the theme of the show, doesn't it? Um, I've laid up lots of layers because I know that this isn't going to move around because all of these sort of opaque bits on the ruler is this inbuilt grip. And that's what makes these rulers so fantastic because I don't know about you, but the minute I pick, first picked up a rotary cutter, I was absolutely terrified to use it uh, because I thought I was going to chop my fingers off quite frankly now when you make that first cut on zero you are clearing off your edge and you're making sure that all those natty tatty ratty bits um, gone okay uh, so just get rid of those don't even worry about those I use them for dog bed stuffing put them in a bag use them another time and then that gives me, a, I'm, I'm on my zero line and I know that everything now is going to be um, beautifully cut from there on in. The other thing that I did before I started was line up that bottom edge along one of the many, many lines that we've got along here. So everything is lined up, it's going to be vertical, it's going to be perpendicular, I'm going to get all of those nice 90 degree angles that I'm looking for. Um, and then I'm going to come across to my 10 inch mark here, I'm going to put my blade in, I'm going to press down. Now look. That isn't moving anywhere. If there's any movement, it's the bench moving. It is not anything else. And that is what you want. Because the moment that anything slips, firstly, it could be dangerous. Secondly, it might mean that you miscut your fabric. And thirdly, um, that means that it's expensive. Okay, so we're going to eliminate all of those sorts of horrors. And we're going to start off by having beautifully, accurately cut fabric that we have not hurt ourselves with we haven't wasted any money with we have accurately and perfectly cut our fabric and that is exactly what we're looking for so i've spun it around and again uh, but look how many rulers can you just i've just got there and there it's not slipped it's not moved it's not done anything i've gone so close to my fingers but i know that because that blade is in that groove i'm not going to have any danger of hurting myself at all with these my six-year-old can use this what yes he can um it you know it, it is because he can't go anywhere else he can't it, you know it, 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 as soon as that blade is in there and i help him do that bit then he can't go anywhere else he can only cut straight and so that that is how easy this is and instantly i have got a 10 inch square cut perfectly might have helped if i'd ironed it a bit better uh, but that's on me uh, and look at all these layers one two three four five six layers cut without slip without anything all done and i'm going to cut now just very very quickly um, a few more so that we've got a little bit of variety here to play with now um, what we're using here is some tim holtz beautiful tim holtz fabric uh, which we have got some tim holtz fabric coming up later on i do believe am i allowed to give that that little that little teaser do they know Hayley, are you doing it? I'm not Where are you? I'm going to be on the phone ordering. <laughs> oh, well, no, well, that's okay then. That's all right. As long as you're ordering, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. We'll let you off that. Um, yeah, 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 no, that's fine. Uh, so, you know, but this is your excuse to use your favourite fabrics. Um, and it is absolutely fab. Now, normally when you've seen me use these grids before, um, I've cut. I've cut kind of, you see, now if it goes over a little bit at the edge, it doesn't matter. You can just sort of fold it down a bit um, if you want. If you're going to go off the edge a little bit, then you can do that or you can move up a bit or whatever you need to do just to get that lovely straight cut on there. Because basically, how much of the stock gone? 30 percent yeah i'm not surprised it is it is fabulous now the only reason i just checked okay so i'm going through a lot of layers here what i would suggest you do is um tr if you're going through a lot of layers like i just have there look where it's all doubled up there is um just try to take the fabric away that you're cutting off so you can still go back in and cut it just meant that i did a, a second cut and that's absolutely fine uh coming in here 10 inches all the way up there 
Now, I know that's not going to cut. I'm just off the end there. Um, and again, if you need to, I mean, I'm going through a lot of layers. Shall we just count these layers up that I've just gone through? Oh, look, it's just snuck that end bit there. Um, is, let's have a look. We just went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that bit. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 layers. I think I'll forgive it for letting me go through it twice, but it still cut it. It still cut it absolutely perfectly. And you think how much time this is saving. So not only is it saving you time, um, you are cutting safely. Um, you are cutting effectively. You are not wasting any fabric. And above all, you are also saving yourself time. And time is money, as we all know. So when they, you know, say money doesn't buy you time, eh, kind of does. Um, so let's very quickly square these up. Now these, I mean, actually, these don't have to be massively accurate, ironically, for this. But we're going to end up with nice, accurate squares as we go. And really, that is your prep before you then start to sew, uh, to, to use your grids. So, you know, with your favorite fabrics, what you can start to do is create your own layer cake. Layer cakes um, and any kind of pre-cut is always a more expensive way to buy fabric because somebody else has had to put in the time to cut. So the fact that you can cut your own jelly rolls, your own design strips um, with these rulers is just fantastic. Your own charm packs, design rolls, it's all there for the taking um, with your fabrics that you've chosen, that you've loved. Now, you can use lots of different kinds of fabrics, different colored fabrics, different designs of fabrics, um, but then also you can just do it with two different ones. And this one here, that was just done with two different fabrics. So again, take a photocopy of the back of this, color it in, and see what design and what effect it is that you want to do. So you can do it like that. You can spin it around and take that stripe through there. You get a very different look depending on how you want to do. So let's have a look at how we cut this, and then we'll have a look at how we sew it afterwards. Um, I've used these grids for a very long time and I still keep the instructions open. Just as a reference, just because I chat. <laughs> and as soon as I chat, over half the stock gone for the Crazy Eight. So the Crazy Eights are the newest ones. Um, they are all fabulous. So it might be that you've got the Crazy, uh, the, the crazy Six or the Crazy Eights. Uh, they are absolutely great. So it just depends on what size block you want at the end of it. So the Crazy Six obviously is going to give you a six inch block. The Crazy Eight is going to give you an eight inch block. And the Crazy Eight is, uh, an again, another eight inch block. Now the other thing to bear in mind is that this is going to be from a 10 inch square or whichever size bit of fabric, if you want to use that per bit of fabric. Um, the six inch and the crazy eights, you can also cut from a six inch strip as well, which is absolutely fab. So I'm gonna layer up, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna layer up a few layers of fabric so that we can get different colors working through here. And then we can have a good, a good play and see where we get to with these. Natasha, can I ask a question? Because, of course, we're talking about um, your crazy six and we're talking about the eights. Does that include um, all the seam allowances and everything? So when everything sticks together, is that the finished size that you're talking about? Finished um, finish size eight, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this will be, if I just measure this against... Oh, here, I'm... Yeah. So this will be, at the moment... Yeah, that's that's eight and a half inches, so that Which will be of a finished when you stitch eight it inch. into the quilt. Yeah. You're going to lose that quarter yeah. inch on each side. Now, the thing with creative grids is that they work to four, six, eight, and 12 inches generally. So if you've got things like their log cabins and things that we've brought to air before, then you might have bought the four inch, the six inch, or the eight inch. So imagine doing a sampler block with different blocks. So maybe a log cabin and, and the different styles that you can use with that ruler, and then bringing in some of the scrap crazies. You could build up a gorgeous, gorgeous quilt just using all the different rulers. It's something that I intend to do at some point. 
promise. When I get and time. one thing I've noticed as well with all those crazy rules, you kind of got um, a choice of three fabrics, four fabrics, or five fabrics, because of course the different size segments that come together. And of course, if you're going for the larger one and you want to trim it down to work alongside the six panel, then you can do that. You can kind of make it up and then position where you're wanting to take your six inches from, whether it's from the middle and you're taking a little bit off all of the sides, or whether you're taking get um, your six inch into the corner and trimming it off. So they are really very, um, very good to kind of cross pollinate and work across them with each of those to be fair. I mean I've just used two fabrics here so you can use as many or not as you want and and you just get a different effect and also depending on how you put them together and how you play with them and how you turn them around again you'd get a different effect so what I would like to do with this is create four of these and then just do a cushion out of out of the four different crazies it would be lovely just and that's just using two different colorways but here we've got a lot a lot going on so the very first thing that the instructions tell you to do and they are so clear um, is to mark up six and three quarters now I'm going to use this one here this side here with all of um, the rectangular and the square rulers from Creative Grids, they are very, very cleverly designed. Remember I said they were designed by quilters for quilters? Here's why. They know that quilters use quarter inches and half inches all the time. So when I have my ruler this way round, all of the measurements are full inches. All that. And all the way up there. But the minute that I spin it around, I've got inch and a half increments all the way along which is absolutely fab so I'm going to use that because I'm going to I want my six and three quarter so there's my six and a half and I just add on a little bit extra to get that six and three quarter mark that on my fabric there and then it wants me to go from two inches here so I'll mark that and then I will get my ruler uh, my and then just cut from one of course, I've used like the worst camouflage fabric for any pen marks ever. So I slice through it to begin with, and then I get to work with each of the pieces. So here, this is when I'm actually going to get out a rotating cutting mat, which I had some ah uh, here. I treated myself to a new one. Ooh, I've been promising myself one for ages because mine was so old and decrepit. Uh, so this is its first outing. So let's hope it behaves itself. Um, right. So here we go. And I would, I would say you don't have to have a rotating cutting mat, but it is nice if you do. Uh, for me, safety is paramount. Cutting away, always cutting away from yourself is key. So standing to one side, cut away. Move that, cut away. Now, what you have here is a funny little bit there. You want to cut that because that is going to make your life so easy uh, because that is going to give you a reference for your quarter of an inch. Now, I said that there are certain sizes that quilters always use. Quarter of an inch seam is, is a biggie, is a biggie. So that's, um, and Creative Grids, of course, know that if you can get rid of what we call the dog ears, the little bits that flap about at the end, um, then it helps us to place our fabric together more accurately um, and also give us more confidence when we use these rulers. So that's the first size. So let's put that up under D up there. I'm trying to be organized. Do you impress? Am I fooling anyone? No? <laughs> Haley's laughing, so I'm clearly not fooling her at all with my, uh, my mock organization. Uh, right. So then um, this fits beautifully onto here. Just decide how you want to square it in there. And then again, you've got that inbuilt non-slip grip in there. So I'm cutting through God, layers and layers and layers here. And actually, in taking off little tiny slithers like that and this ruler is not moving a jot it's fabulous and when you start investing in the creative goods that's what you're getting is a family of rulers that ain't gonna shift at all so that's my next piece i'm not pressing down terribly hard or anything like that um it, it just if <laughs> In fact, I was, I'd lost Freddie's school ruler the other day and I was trying to do some of his, <clears throat> some of his homework. 
yeah, right, I am that parent. And, uh, and I was like, oh, I just, I was using one of these rulers and I was trying to move it up the page to draw a grid for him. And I was like, it's not me. I had to flip it round and go on the slippy side. I was like, they really are great. Even on paper, they do it. It's fab. So then we get the other half like that. Um, and then, oh, you can also use this to do kite. You've got a bonus kite block in this as well, which is really lovely. Uh, so let's just move that up there. along there just take that off there and then again just keep spinning this mat around trim this is your preparation is key with this and that's what you're buying I have a saying um, prior and proper preparation prevents poor performance and uh, yeah thanks I'm not going to say that quickly or again uh, <laughs> that was it that was your one-off um, but what that means is that spending that little bit of time here, and actually it's less than you think because I've gone through so many layers here, is going to save us so much time later. And when we, we can chain piece these together now because actually I've done one, two, three, four, five blocks. That's what I'm cutting here. I'm cutting the fabric for five blocks in one go, which is just fabulous. Um, now, all I need to do when I'm cutting here is just making sure that I can fit everything in beautifully, which of course I can. There we go. Along there like that. So this will be the next piece that I cut out. Cut, cut, cut. And then spin around and cut. But the cutting is often the bit that pits people off. And especially if you need to cut something that's accurate, I would say this was great for beginners and normally I get a oh, what how can you say that but the way that the quilt goes together there are no points that need to be perfect because that's what people worry about isn't it when when they start quilting is will my points be perfect because you know clearly there are like quilting police that are going to come check out your points um, uh, and actually, with this, there, there isn't that to worry about. And obviously, I've just dropped a piece on the floor. So I would say this is a brilliant beginner's piece. Um, although, you know, it might, it might look like, oh, she's cutting out all these weird shapes. What's going on? But the cutting suddenly becomes the fun bit. And for me, many in e this is how sad it is. Many an evening I have happily spent cutting away and I find it actually very cathartic just creating some kind of order out of my scraps. My, when I first invested, and for me it was an investment, um, with, in my Stripology ruler I, um, I was absolutely, I, I was absolutely thrilled with it and I spent a whole evening going through my scrap basket, seeing how many things I could cut into two and a half inch squares. And or Natasha, the amount of waste that you've got here is minimal with this as you're cutting it. Isn't it? Yeah, look, there. Which when you think about how much waste you would normally get when you're cutting up a quilt, that's it. That looks fabulous. That makes me happy. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> that. That makes me happy too because I haven't wasted very much of my fabric at all. And also, if you've invested, if you're using, if you're going all out and using a layer cake that you already have, the last thing you want is to buy a layer cake and then waste any of it, right? Because a layer cake is a more expensive way to buy your fabric, but it's a treat because you haven't had to cut anything. Well, until now, now when you've got your stripology, you're going to be wanting to strip all over the place in a, you know non 18 plus way um so this is this is just a brilliant way brilliant 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 way i love it um and we're going to do some uh, sewing after hayley wonderful so it's time for me to give you a little bit of a review so you can understand the concept so easy to understand and as natasha said because you've got those multiple layers although you're just cutting one piece you're cutting it several times because of the layers that are sitting underneath it now this particular set you're looking at a six inch um, a square that's your finished size of course when you've actually stitched all of these pieces together you will end up with a six and a half inch square because of course your seam allowance then for you to put it into your larger quilt 
quilt needs to be added in but you don't need to do that because it's all done with the rulers each of these pieces have got that unique grip on the back of them though which means they're not going to be slippy slidey when you are working with these so it couldn't be simpler you just cut four fabulous pieces from these and as you saw there with Natasha working with the 10 inch square minimal waist within the instructions though I did have a little nosy just as Natasha was working with these with some of these this one's the six inch it does show you how you can actually cut it from a six inch strip there so you've got different layouts so with the eight inch that's the one that Natasha's been working with with the 10 inch um, obviously fabrics that she cut down to start with but it shows you've got your layout there that's to ensure that you've got minimal cut lines and minimal waste that is the key thing those two factors are key and of course with all those little shapes there you are going to be able to create your blocks your six inch blocks but you're going to be easy, able to use these in other ways because as you heard from Natasha there you've got elements like your triangles there you could take your triangles and kind of do almost like what I call a rig crack um, a, a block where you can be turning with topping and tailing it as you go out of a strip of fabric quite easily again with this piece here topping and tailing it you're going to have rectangles to put together then so the, obviously the quilt the, uh, the block that we're looking at as your crazy six is one idea but when you start looking at these independently and start playing around with them you'll find that perhaps two of those when they're rotated around actually make um, a larger piece that you can use so play around with these this is the key thing third of the stock has gone of this particular one this one is your six inch and as we said it's going to make your six and a half inch block but then of course when it's sewn in it will be a six inch that you're seeing it gets a bit confusing with regards to quilting because you kind of got your cut size and your sewn in size but your sewn in size is six inches with this even though when you finish your block and you're measuring it it will say six and a half don't trim it down at that point leave it as it is put your faith in the rulers that's the key thing quarter of the stock was it quarter of the stock you said then was a third now it's 40 percent i'm going the wrong direction 40 percent of the stock has gone of that one so 910009 it's been a very popular one do urge you to have a go with that one makes it achievable that's the thing that's what we like to be able to achieve with confidence now this is um, one where you've got three different colors featuring with this one um, and when i say three different colors because you can see you've got your three different fabrics there um, but I say three different colours. Each block you can mix up, you can play around with these if you want to. I know that you'll be very creative. Again, putting those pieces together, you're going to get your eight and a half inch block. Lovely manageable size to work with. That's the key thing. And of course, with a large block like an eight inch block, your quilt is going to grow very, very quickly and in no time at all. So you could sit down in an evening, make two or three of these quite easily, just with straight rows. That's all that we're talking about here. And then before you know it, you've got all those wonderful blocks to put together. You can see there, the rulers are going to give you everything that you need on there. The grid work is going to help you with your lining up. You've got your QR code there, so if you do need any more inspiration, that you can get it that way. But I love the way that this little template is included there to show you how this particular piece sits within that block that is the key thing once you made your block then you can use it in that formation in that direction or you can do what you can see on the back of your pattern every block at um, set comes with those little patterns on the back there and on this one you can kind of twist and turn it top and tail it play around with it once you've made your block then that, that's when you can kind of get crazy with these clues in the title really isn't it um creative grids of course uk company originally now manufactured in america so we have to uh, um, allow um, a little bit of time for these to get to you're only talking a couple of weeks but it's the 18th of june and you can see there how step by step they come together so quickly and so easily um, so there you go if you fancy that one the details on your screen 083395 I think you'll be adding these in together to be honest because I, I, my mind is only into overdrive thinking about how to work with these now the next one that we're looking at this one is we're going a bit crazier this is like crazier with a capital C um, now 80% of the stock have gone of these now I don't know whether people are collecting these or whether um, you should just jumping straight in with this one perhaps this one is appealing to you because some of the pieces within this one are slightly smaller so maybe you have got smaller scraps um, but again you've got all your five different pieces with these five different fabrics that you're going to be using to get different results but again don't just use them in the layout that is shown on there perhaps take that kite piece I mean that one 
one you actually stitch that one together and make it almost into like a dresden plate couldn't you with those points on the end there um again some of these pieces cut them flip them uh, over cut them again use them in different ways there's loads of ways you can use these but again you're going to have loads and loads of ideas and of course these ones are the ones that you are going to be able to work with using your 10 inch squares that natasha has just been showing with minimal waste that is the key thing but you can still create using them with a strip of fabric if you're wanting to so there you go if you wanted this one it's gone green on your screen limited stock with this one so you have to be quick with this one if you're wanting it 105238 if you're wanting those as well um so uh, yeah so lots of lots of interest lots of different areas in this house it's good to have your company natasha is going to be back at six o'clock we all know what happens at six o'clock and did she mention the name tim holtz tim holtz natasha fabric Mm, I know where I'm going to be at six o'clock. Um, now, of course, Natasha brings us inspiration in a whole host of ways. Um, and what she's done is she's put together one of our seven day savers, the details of which are on your screen. Now, of course, contents will vary with regards to this one. What, what you are going to get is a huge array of threads. Now, you're going to get a thousand meters on each one of these spools, as you can read. So incredibly durable, um, perfect for anything that you're going to be washing on a regular basis. Um, and you've got a five pound saving. You might find that your colors do vary with these but nice big spools perfect for things like overlockers um, wonderful if you're working on a quilt because again you don't have to keep changing your threads and getting a different thread use it on your bobbin as well if you're wanting to a very durable thread but as I say their contents may vary so you might fancy treating yourself to a couple of these 990565 if you're wanting to get hold of those um, and now lots of you've been going for that stripology square oh yes it's a popular one um, 44 pounds and 94 pence brilliant price on that one so uh, yeah 84 Eight one nine nine two flexi buys on that one twenty two pounds and forty seven pence. Now Tracy has been asked to or has asked us a question about this one, so I'll throw this one over to Natasha. Um, and she wants to know: Can she actually use these grids with paper? If she yeah, wants to course. cut a paper, yeah, of course, of course. Um, you can use your creative, your uh, stripology ruler. Of course, you can use it with paper. Uh, what I would say is, if you're using your rotary cutter blade, make sure it's a different one to the one you use with your fabric. Uh, that's a no-no. Uh, it's like you know, using paper scissors on fabric, and, and vice versa. You don't really use your fabric scissors on 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 paper uh, but yeah absolutely there's absolutely no reason and like I say when I was using um, the ruler to, to do the grid for my son's homework we had to do a weather chart and stuff uh, then um, yeah I actually had to flip it over because it was gripping the paper so well I couldn't move it up and down the paper so yeah you will absolutely be able to cut those squares beautifully beautifully um, and of course you can square the thing that uh, with the the squared one here and if I just pop this on my cutting mat here you can really see it so this one was designed originally for you to cut your blocks back so um, you'll see lots and lots of different markings on here you've got your inch and a half inch increments uh, your half inch increments all the way along there but of course you've also got if I just put my hand there you'll see a quarter of an inch increment there so if you wanted I was cutting something the other day at three and three quarters so I would move I would cut on zero move the edge across to that quarter of an inch then cut on the three and a half and that's my three and three quarters so they are incredibly versatile and then what you can do is you can either line up your blocks along here or you can put them in the middle if you've got especially so fabric tends to distort the minute that we cut on a bias so on that 45 degree line so that's often when we would need to cut back our blocks to make sure that they're all an equal size so here we've got this cross through here which means that even if you've done quarter square triangles um, you can lay them up and uh, and make sure that you're getting an accurate cut and you've got markings here for where to cut for a four and a half inch you've got six and a half inch and every half inch increment in between to square up those blocks that's what this was originally for but I, have we got time for me to just show you as well how you can make your own fabric 10 minutes oh yeah we've got time we've got time i'm gonna pop this to one side because this was and i think for anybody that gets this this will be the very first thing that you do and uh, and i know because there are quite oh no i can't use those can i because i've only just cut those into 10 inch squares that would be silly 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 uh, okay so let me get some of these so you might get some of your fabrics like this go right okay i want to um cut back to uh and make my own charm pack again any any time that fabric um is cut costs you 
and, and a lot of factories, when they, when they uh, cut fabric for you, will charge per cut. They'll put an extra charge on that cut. So if you, um, if you can therefore save yourself some money, then, you know, the, the first thing that you can do, of course, is um, every time I see a square on the bottom of this ruler and I put my blade in and I make that cut, what I am getting is perfect two and a half inch strips that's your binding that's all that kind of thing perfectly done two and a half inch strips are something that we use all the time now this could be any size of course this could be four inches it could be five inches it could be any size i want it to be um, that is the absolute beauty of it now if i line those up there like that and you'll notice i do this a lot i line fabric up multiples of fabric uh, because I'm not worried about it moving like I would with any other ruler. I would not do this with any other ruler um, at all. So, and again, I've just got two fingers on there. That's all I need to hold this whole grid down. It's incredible because of that inbuilt non-slip grip. So then if I just put my fabric there, two and a half inch, two and a half inch, um, and I'm not having to do any counting, I'm just going by the fact that I see a square there every time, and look what I've got. I've got my own little two and a half inch squares. That could have been four inches, that could have been, um, there we go, all cut perfectly, ready to go. How fast was that? I'm not gonna be paying somebody else to cut my fabric from now on, no way, no way. And I make up a lot of kits for Natasha Makes, cut accurately with my Stripology rulers. It's been an absolute lifesaver for me. Absolute. Love it to bits. And that's why there are lots of Natasha strippers out there, because we love them. Uh, right, now let's go back to what we were doing. Sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked there. Um, as we were, it's like a little, a little platter, isn't it? Um, now again, as I said earlier, I will always have my instructions there because I tend to chat and get distracted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these off. I've kept everything where I want it to be, but here's the thing. I cut multiples, didn't I? So what I do, this is just me, personal preference. I work methodically through. So I might keep that one with that one on top. I'm going to take one and put it to the bottom. I'm going to take two and put them to the bottom. I'm going to take one, you guessed it, three, move it to the bottom and then I'm going to take four. So now every single one is different and as I work my way through I'm going to be using a different one every single time but by the time that I finished every single one has been used yeah again pretending to be organized so <laughs> following following those instructions very very carefully um, I tend to lay them out first because things have a habit of moving in my head between here and there so um, in the instructions it simply tells me to flip it that way actually do you know, I'm just going to press that very quickly while I'm there um, flip it on to my other piece now you'll see do you remember we cut that little edge off and we're like why have we done that that is now your quarter of an inch mark for when you sew down that line very very clever so we put that on there and look you know we cut those funny little bits off there yeah that is edging up beautifully down there now if you were to cut if you were to normally sew pieces like that together you would be pinning all over the place mm -mm. No way. I don't need to. I absolutely do not need to. I'm just going to put the foot down on my machine. And yes, I have actually got a walking foot on here today. And you would be forgiven for thinking it was a bit of a funny angle. Well, yeah, it is. But have your walking foot on, quarter of an inch. I haven't pinned anything because I trust have trust in the grid um press 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 tell me i haven't run out of bobbin that's my usual trip isn't it um and then just press and look that is my nice top straight edge along there all beautifully done i take my next piece that's where i want it to be 
and I'm going to flip it down. So this bit here suddenly runs flush along there. Normally as soon, and look, this edge here is lying flush along there. So I know I've got it in the right place. Do I need to pin it? Meh. Um, could you pin it if you were, if you were a slightly nervy sewer? Of course you can. Of course you can. Absolutely. Yeah, you see our producer saying, I need pins. Uh, well, then pin it. You know, there's absolutely no shame in that. But I tell you what, by the time that you've done your fourth, fifth, sixth one, you'll be like, nah, nah. And look, okay. This is the other thing to show you. Is, oh, here. Look, 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 look. At that point there. Zip, so I started at that little clipped edge all the way down, and I came off right on that corner. That is how accurately these cut. Okay, so now the next two pieces are here. I'm going to flick that one over onto that one and off we go again. Again, as long as I've got those sides lined up, then we are good to stitch. Oh, hello. Something is not happy with my machine obviously as i get oh look at that jiggling around all over the place um, right i'm gonna have to re-thread this because it's having a little bit of a moment a um but honestly all that happens then that then opens up to there and you sew down there and that is your block done now if you here you go and it'll end up looking like that perfect there you go and that there you go Oh yeah, and that behind me is on there. Yeah, there you go. And that is actually that's um, half of the quilt that is in the design. You can, uh, you, they say, you can use it as a lap quilt. That's lap quilt size, or you can just keep adding and adding and adding until you get the desired size that you like. Easy. And I did that in a couple of hours. Now we're going to see Natasha a little bit later on, six o'clock. She's going to be here launching a brand new one day special, Tim Holtz Fabric. And as you can see there, I mean, those grids are what a fabulous way of working with those um, different elements that you've got there. So, of course, we have got a selection for you. You've got your scrap crazy, creating your six inch block with the, obviously your seam allowance will go on top of that. That's your finish size. Your finish size of eight inches with your scrap crazy. And then your final one, which is the one that's been so, so busy and is now limited in stock, that is your crazier eight. And you can see those five different segments there. It's the simplest. A stitches to B and those stitch to C and then you've got D and E stitched together then put the whole lot together to create your fabulous little block you've got your QR code there at the bottom of course so you can go and follow that if you need to and then of course you've got your layout to help you and get you started to create your fabulous quilt and when it does come to actually creating your straight connector pieces do not forget about your stripology ruler because that is the key thing it's going to allow you to create your two and a half inches or your one and a half inches and it is now limited in stock so it has been a part popular one. Don't forget it's got the unique grip on the back of there and of course allowing you to create those different sizes and of course to take it off and do all sorts of different wonderful things with that just as Natasha's been sharing with us. Natasha thank you so much. Best of luck for six o'clock tonight. Not that she's going to need it. It's going to be an amazing show so make sure that you do tune in at six and take advantage of that deal. Anything in your baskets now please do check your baskets out and I will see you tomorrow. See you later. So, brand new supplier to us here at Chandra, I believe, the Addictive Sketch. You're looking forward to that one. Pergamon on the show, second part of that um, regular slot here on the Thursday, um, first Thursday of the month. Then we're back with a one-day special. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high-quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies, and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas, and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. 
We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome to Hochanda. I know that we've got a lot of new viewers joining at this hour because we are going to be featuring a supremely talented artist. Uh, really proud to say that Ada Banjay uh, is going to be joining us. Uh, he's an exceptional artist and he really does bring all his passion into his work and his sketching. I'll tell you what we got. I think we have got him on Skype. So uh, allow me to introduce you to the man himself. Hello. Hello everyone. Hello, how are you um, doing, buddy? Oh, I'm just going to go into the screen a bit. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We're all, uh, Adabanje, we're all getting used to the world that currently, the new normal where we're, we're communicating by Skype. So trust me, you're not the only one and other uh, video networks and platforms are available. So look, uh, I know you're brand new to our audience. So welcome to the Hochanda yeah. family. I know we're going to be featuring yeah. your fantastic sketchbook. But before we do that, tell us a little bit about yourself. So... Basically, I am one person who just loves sketching. Um, everything about sketching uh, is, is, is in my DNA. Yeah. I'm addicted to sketching. Um, I'm the vice president of the Royal Institute of, um, 
oil, um, oil painters. I also present um, documentaries, art-related documentaries yeah. on the one show. Oh. And the one thing that stands out for me, I yeah. would say, is that I just love drawing. And I believe sketching and drawing is the basis of every bit of art. I've had the privilege of uh, reading your book. And I have to say, all that passion really does come through. Uh, you're exceptionally talented, but what I get a sense of is you're equally passionate about sharing your techniques, getting other people sketching. And you, this book will appeal to all levels of artist. Yes, um, you do need a bit of um, drawing skills, I would say. Okay. But what it does do, it gives anyone who is wanting to be passionate about re reigniting or just getting a bit of what they love, yeah. maybe when they were in school or so, just something to ignite your sketching passion or drawing passion nice. this is the book because there's so many ideas on where to sketch and techniques on how to sketch and that's the thing look indoors outdoors techniques 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 and also building off of artistic principles and foundations as well now uh, you dropped you dropped some big names so i know that you are working at the moment am i right in saying you're resident artist of a, a prominent show you just mentioned so you're, you're yeah, their the actual one, resident the artist? Show. Yeah, yeah, the beat, the beat, like last night, um, if anyone watched the one show last yeah. night, they would have seen me presenting something on um, the cathedral in Coventry and how it was Amazing. affected in the World War. Wow. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I love a bit of art and presenting oh. art, art how, history and stuff like that, yeah. How did that, tell me, how did that all come about? How did you go from artist then finding yourself working on TV? Um, Working on well, I won a competition in London a few um, a, a, a few years ago. Okay, it was in 2013. I won a competition called Pinta Rapido, right. and it was all about um, painting a picture quickly in one day, and then it would be judged by a, a prominent artist the next day. So, I won the competition, the first one, um, and Ken Howard gave me the first prize. It was a thousand pounds. That's amazing. And so, 2015, um, the, the, the organizers wanted me to to go on the one show to talk about what my experience of it was, uh, and my experience of winning it was like. And that's how they fell in love with me when I did that little talk. And that was it. Um, I started getting offers. <laughs> wow. And look, you're, you're such a talented guy. You deserve uh, to have a high profile. Look, we're just going to very quickly, we'll be flicking through uh, the books. So we're going to come back to you in a moment. Before we leave you, what, what are you going to be yeah. sharing with us uh, this hour? What can our viewers look forward to? So today I am going to be doing uh, a sketch of a very famous artist called Picasso. Oh. Now, everyone, every household name should know Picasso. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm going to sketch him using some of the techniques, especially one of them, which is angles, to plot this in a freehand sketch. Uh -huh. And I hope people will enjoy it. That, I can't. I absolutely cannot wait. Adabanji, thank you so much. Uh, so we're going to get back to you in just a moment. Do stay on the line. We're just going to uh, have a look and introduce your book and a few other things, and I promise we're going to get to your demonstration. But thank you so much for chatting to us. It's good. I'm really looking forward to that. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Okay, we're going to look at the book. For 11 I think this is an absolute steal. Actually, for 14 99 the amount of knowledge in here. So, look, what I would say to you, uh, Hochanda, I mean, if you are a regular to Hochanda, odds are you're passionate about your crafting. Imagine being able to inject some of your own hand sketched art onto a project. You can still use obviously your stamps, your stencils, all the other mediums. We're not stopping you doing that. But what you're able to do is embellish, add further detail as well. Uh, I know that Adabanje is passionate about that ability, call it the sketching, that instant sketch, the ability to come up with something very quickly uh, and incisively. Just going to go through the actual book, and as we progress through, I mean, for 11.99, if you do know somebody who loves to, who loves art, who really wants to develop uh, their skills in sketching, this is actually something that I used to love. Uh, when I was doing GCSE, so it was a long time ago, but I'd like to uh, restart my passion there, and I, obviously I need to refresh a lot of uh, my techniques. There he is. 
Uh, there's Adabanje. Uh, nice that you got uh, obviously an introduction to to him there, and then we start exploring. So getting a sense of work, principles, motivations, inspirations in the mix, what you need, which is obviously important. So he really does cover all angles. Then, as you see, great pictures coming through. Step-by-step -step instructions with all his techniques as you go, uh, as you progress in. Structure, which is important. These are artistic principles that you need, your organic lines. So again, this is stuff that we could all use. The, the knowledge in here you will be using across all disciplines of your craft. So being able to appreciate perspective, shadow, it's something that we hear a lot. Do you know what? This could be, say, you could be watching right now, purchase this book, and in a few years' time, we could be seeing your own hand sketches as a stamp on Hochanda. Now, uh, I've got to tell you something else. The first 50 that purchase this book will receive a signed copy. So that not only is a fantastic book, but it's going to be an absolute investment. You've just heard uh, Adabanje uh, discussing. He's highly sought after. He's on primetime TV, uh, well-known show on the BBC. 10% of the stock's already gone. So if you want to get this as a gift, my advice, if you know you're going to go for it, I'd want the signed copy, me personally. So uh, if you do want to get a hold of this, now's the time to pop it into your basket. Make sure that if you're part of the first 50 to order, and they are very busy now, the book is becoming very busy. If you're the first 50 to order, you will, look at this, receive that signed copy. But being able to do something like that, and what I would say to you with regard to sketching, yes, it is, it is a discipline. There is a uh, learning curve, but what, Adabanje does is he pours all his knowledge, all his experience uh, as an artist into the book and gives you the tools to be able to do this, those quick sketches. So if you wanted to add this to a journal, scrapbook, travel journal, memory book, look at this on Busker. So you could be out and about for the day, obviously when restrictions are lifted, uh, see something that catches your eye uh, and you can just sketch it. You could come to Hochanda, Maybe if you're a dream day viewer, uh, win a dream day, and do a little sketch. Markets, places, I know he's passionate about showing you different techniques both inside and out. It is a fantastic book. It's a book that you will take your leisure with, enjoy it, and let it pour in, and you will reread for eleven ninety nine. And if you know somebody who loves to sketch, wants to uh, increase their skill, this is the book for you. Uh, the best way to appreciate how good this book is and how good Adabanje is, is to see him in action. So we're going to go to Adabanje now. Uh, he's going to be showing us his work. Love this. We're going to be looking at Adabanje sketching Picasso. Enjoy. Okay, Adabanje, everyone. For it, um, I hope you can all see me clearly. Um, mainly, I don't want to be... Um, mainly in the camera, um, I'll show my face a bit, um, but I'm going to be a little bit out of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And even if you can only see my sketch in hand, that will be fine. The first thing I want you to do um, to understand is I love anyone or anyone out there to have the ability to look at something and sketch it um, with a bit of ease, because sketching is such is such a dynamic thing, and I think we can all do it. We have the ability. We've got the right brain, and we can handle it. And I'm here to encourage anyone. So today we're going to be doing Picasso. I'm pointing to him, very well known person in the art world, and I'm going to be sketching him using coloured pencils. Um, the coloured pencils I'm using are called Lyra Color Giants colored pencils. They are basically um, very um, thick colored pencils, but any colored pencil would do. I just like the Lyra Color Giants one, and I'm gonna be using maybe like three colors at least, like a black, a brown, and uh, a light brown, okay? I might, if time permits me, to add some sepia dust and some sanguine dust and these ones are from Krita Color. Um, they produce this lovely dust. It's, it, it helps in um, adding tones to a, a portrait. And apart from that, I'll have my handy knife to sharpen the pencil. I'll have a bit of tissue 
to rub in the dust if time permits. But the main thing I'm going to be needing today is my eyes and a knowledge of how to go about this. So without wasting time, I think the time now is 1411. Let's see how we can quickly capture Picasso. In the book, one of the techniques I share is called angles. And by angles, I mean the tilts. Like you might have a tilt there, a tilt here, a tilt going down, a tilt like that. And I follow that to be able to capture um, whatever I'm drawing. So if I'm going to draw someone's head, like say the woman in front of this book, the first angle I'm looking at is her forehead. That is almost a straight angle. Then it goes in, which um, goes in a, li a little bit and then it comes out again and I'm checking that angle and then it might go in again and it might come out and in and out. You can see me only following the angles. So most of how I'm going to, and that was, that's just a profile. And that's kind of like what I'll be working on. The word, the paper I'm using is, it's, I'm going to just put it in front of the camera. It's a very thick paper. It's about, uh, I would say, um, let's see. Oh, 300 pounds, I would say. 300 pounds, sounders, water fill, uh, water fod, um, watercolor paper. But I've also sanded it. I've used a little bit of sandpaper to sand the surface so that it can absorb the pencil and the dust. So let's go. The first thing I'm going to think about when trying to capture Picasso is I'm going to try and look at the overall shape of his head. And that is like a brief contour. So when I look at his head, I'm just going to be rolling my pencil, trying to capture the overall shape. Overall shape. And you, and you can keep doing this. Um, I'm going to use the lighter pencil to start off. I started using black. Just the way it moves, like the overall shape. That's so important. Um, you remember, this is freehand. So being freehand, there is no reason why I need to be worried um, about um, the accuracy. Remember, it's a sketch. And I tell people, don't get bogged down because at the end of the day, it's a sketch. I, I use this kind of funny thing in the book. I said, sometimes I used to sketch at the very beginning and people would look at it and say, that don't look like what you're sketching. And I'll tell them, it's only a sketch. And that's all that matters. So um, one of the things, it ta sketching takes the pressure off you. So here we go. So I'm just kind of like getting the overall shape of Picasso's head. Just the overall shape. So important to get that overall shape. Now, once I've got the overall shape, I'm going to be, and this I use, these are like organic contours. Just get that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I need to be able to see his head in structure. And just like if we had a box, the box would look something like this. If, if we looked at it in perspective, this area is dark and this area will be light. And that's exactly what's happening to Picasso's face. This is dark and the light is coming this way. And so I'm going to do the same thing on Picasso's face. I'm going to mark where the structure actually comes in, which is the, the plane of his face. And that will be around here. So and that just helps me to map out the side of his face, just the side. And I'm just going to briefly shade that just with hatching, just brief hatching, just to shade that in briefly with hatching. So you can see all of a sudden I have this light side and this dark side. And that helps me to kind of really understand how his head is without even going into any kind of detail. Now I'm going to get a little bit serious. And I'm going to look for shapes inside his head. Shapes. The first one I can see is like an egg shape. You can see me rolling the egg. Just my 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 um, just I'm rolling my uh, pencil. It's like an oval thing in there. And I'm going to put that just oval shape. I'm going to roll it right in here. The next kind of shape I see is like almost like a square shape. And I'm going to put that in somewhere here. 
just like a square shape. It's like a, a square, just a little bit of his hair that shows. And then it comes down. I know you can't see this that much, but I'm kind of like using my colored pencil. I know his hair, it, the, the line of it comes down somewhere there. So this marks this side, and his air is actually invisible because there's a lot of dark. But I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to put some sort of air in there just to fill in that place. And that area is the air. So, so far, we first of all did the shape. We made sure that we understood the shadow effect of it, because I'm just going to shade that in the shadow. And we have able to plot the air in. Now I'm going to go for the first angle, which is after the air, which is something right there. It's just the line of his shoulder because he's kind of like hench down. I hope this is all clear and it's all making um, sense as everyone can see. Now I'm going to plot the four, this whole area here, which is like um, uh, a forehead. It's like, to me, it's like a circle, an imaginary circle. And I'm going to put that imaginary circle just inside here. Just keep rolling it, rolling it. As far as I can see that circle, I'm going to put it right inside here. And that kind of gives me a very good feeling of it, right? Now, the next thing is for me to plot where the features are going to go. I need to be able to plot the axis in between the head and then also the the levels of the eye the levels of the nose and the levels of the mouth all like that just but first of all i need to be able to put that circle and i put that in there so i'm going to go with some really kind of straight lines and get the level of his eyes remember everything is done freehand so let's go that's one and I'm going to approximate, um, just put an approximate, um, I think that they, they, just all that for the eyes, just all that for the eyes. And then um, let's see, just make sure that I get this right. Just keep on always trying to get the circle. Okay, so I'm happy with that being the eyes. Again, I'm being very careful here because I noticed that my ear is somewhere here. So the eye level is quite low. So the eyes start off around here. So this is the eye level. The next thing will be the nose and that comes further down. So I'm gonna put that further down, somewhere around here will be the level for his nose. And then you can see all of a sudden, I know where the eyes might end up being. I know where his nose might end up being. Now his mouth, all these are just approximate proportions. Don't get bogged down. Just always look for simple distances and then put that. So I'm gonna put the mouth level somewhere here. And now I'm gonna carefully try my best to go with angles. I mentioned this in the book and I'm gonna plot it right through, but let me continue with the hedge first of all. So there's a shape here. And then there's an angle here, and then it goes down, that's another angle, and then it curves, and then it goes straight in, and that gives me the top of his face. And now there's this line that goes straight down. Notice I'm using the side of my pencil. It's a broad stroke, so I use the side of the colored pencil. It helps. I talk about that in the book, too. Okay, so now I've got that to a certain level. So I'm going to go over those lines again, backwards, here, around, his hair that shows, and then a little bit of the air, which will be around here, and then we have just that bit of the hench over there. And when I draw a straight line across, not a straight line, but a curve to connect to the other shoulder, I see something dropping like that. It actually drops at an angle. And I know that maybe around here will be where his other shoulder starts coming in. So if you notice, I'm able suddenly to plot the top of his head and I'm now gonna start dealing with his features.
The first feature I'm going to deal with is the, this eye. And I'm just going to block in a whole shade, just a whole shade of that eye. Just block it in like a whole shade because it's like a socket. I'm not even looking too deeply into it. And then the next eye I'm going to block in. Just block it in. Don't even think about the eye. Remember, this is a sketch. I'll probably be doing this so fast, but if I was on the tube, but I'm really slowing down so you can all see and um, grasp this. Okay, I'm going to go back now to the top of his head so I can make sure everything is in proportion. And I also am going to tone some of the dark areas. So all this, I'm going to tone it, just darken it. And I'm using the broad stroke technique here, just broad stroke. All I'm doing here is the broad stroke, just putting broad strokes in. Just all the area where it's dark. And I'm leading that dark, all this dark area. I'm just going slowly, steadily. I move, actually move into the, um, his top of his head. And I look at a little highlight in there. We're going to leave a circle for that. And just keep going with the top of my pencil like that. Like that. Just around, just over, just to create the forehead. And now... I'm going to make sure I get the right level of forehead right in there. So it's so important that because this is where the structure of his face actually changes. Everything in here feels like um, a forehead. So I'm going to put the, the furrows and everything and just run across it easily till I get to the top. So that's kind of like his forehead, um, just already kind of positioned for, for action. And now... I'm going to put, you know, that I, I said the eyes are just going to have these dark things. I'm not going to make the eyes prominent yet. And now I'm going to try and get the nose. So without putting much emphasis on the eye at the moment, I'm going to try and get the nose. So I'm going to see a line that comes like this and then it bulges out like that. It goes across like that sort of a, um, a way and it kind of has a little kind of dark thing at the bottom here one thing i forgot was the axis that goes through so i'm just going to put that through just the axis and that is it divides the head into two so i've just knocked that in very quickly because i forgot about that once i've got the egg and i've got the structure it's nice to have a nice axis that goes through OK, let's get the other side of the nose now, which is um, if I say the eyes began here. Now, this side, I can see a straight line. And another little bit of a straight line. And then you can lovely you can see how his nose just comes in. It's, he has a quite a large nose. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to put that right in there. Hope everyone can, can see this, um, you know, because um, everything's going to take shape uh, all of a sudden. So now we've got the nose in. We can get um, the level of his mouth. So we can note, we notice that there's a space between the nose and the top lip. I can say that's there. And then the top lip kind of like, flips just on a, on an area just around here okay and then the bottom lip is around here and his chin around there I, I noticed that the tilt of his mouth just tilts slightly it just tilts slightly in there and a little bit comes out just around there and under his lip there's a nice shade, a nice shade, very nice shade. Now I'm going to go into the eyes now just to make things so I know where things are. So very quickly, I'm going to get the shape. So from the forehead, he has this kind of Mr. Spock eye thing like I'm an old school Star Trek fan. And I know that there's this kind of like his eyes have this really intense feel. So that's the shape I'm bringing in there. And then I'm going to pick the eye area where the eye socket and pupil just come in strong. Let's just put that right in there. And underneath the eye, let's just keep that around like that. So that kind of helps us see that side of his eye. And now we want to go into this side of his eye, which is um, the one on my 
left. Uh, Adabanje? Adabanje? Yes. Hey, sorry, buddy. Could, would you mind if we just pause there for a moment? We will continue. I'm just going to need to give a few updates on uh, the book. Would that be okay? Yes. Yeah, brilliant. So just pause there. Don't do any more work uh, to it. We'll be back to you in one moment. But I have to say, it is amazing. And the whole team, we've been enthralled with your demonstration, just watching how quickly you've brought that to life. So thank you so much. We'll be back to Adabanje in just a moment. I've got to tell you, seeing it, and it really is a compliment to the book, uh, and Adabanje is a talented artist, all the team, we were all saying, we need this book. Uh, and you can see it now. Now, 30% of the book, actually, we're approaching 30% of the book has already gone. We're only 26 minutes into the show. What I would say, and it's so nice to see the demonstration, because Adabanje described the principles, and this is what you're going to get in the book. So you notice the first thing that Adabanje did uh, was the structure. Sorry, no, he didn't. He did the angles. So he just created the egg with the face. He called put in the axis so you had an idea of uh, roughly proportions. So that was the first bit, all about the angles, just getting the angles right, working off of that. Uh, and then he started to add the shapes. So he was looking for shapes within the face. So he was just picking out small little details and shapes coming through. And then it was the structure as well. So just building up, building up, building up. Uh, and able to, what I would say in watching, now obviously Adabanje is extremely talented. But in time, and it's not something you're going to get straight away, but you're learning that muscle memory. You're learning uh, perspective and so many principles. If we go through, I did have uh, the angle. There we go. So this is all about angles. Now, that's important. So learning the perspective, whether it's profile, uh, angles, obviously, absolutely uh, vital when you're building up your composition going through. So he discusses the angles. Then structure. That was another big uh, aspect of the demonstration you just saw. Now, these are all principles explained in the book, but these are artistic merits that you're going to carry through in, in all aspects of your crafting. So then organic lines, obviously very, very important, but you see how clear all the information is. You get the pictures. Now, I love this because you've also got uh, matching subject technique, which is really important. So it's learning the right technique for your subject. This book is an absolute treasure trove. What it is, is a masterclass in a book. Composition is a massive thing. Now, learning composition, you're going to use that in all aspects of your crafting. So you will never regret learning about composition. Uh, you've also uh, got your more composition in there, lighting, values. Oh, that's a good one. So values. I've got to tell you, within here, now values also uh, important with regard to tones. Do you know there are 400 color illustrations. Well, that is a very sweet picture. Really nice sketch coming through. So imagine sketching your family, your friends, or if you're going on a trip. We can obviously take pictures, but imagine having a little artist ske sketchbook or journal and being able to do a little sketch. This is what you will achieve. You've got pub scenes in here as well. So Adabanje effectively is taking you through every step of the way. He's there, he's holding your hand, he's giving you uh, techniques that are going to stand the test of time. We are extremely busy for this book. Just a reminder, the first 50 uh, will receive a, a signed signature, and we are very close to uh, have sold our first 50. There is still time, so if you do make a purchase right now, odds are you will still be in the first 50 to uh, get that signature. After that, you still get in the book, you just won't receive the signature going through. You've got uh, places outdoors, and this is an another thing the book really focuses on, both inside and outside. So when you do, oh, that must be Bath. Is that Bath? Isn't that stunning? It's got that. It's got that filter. Yeah, yeah. I think he's uh, Adabanje is nodding. Yeah. London going through. Oh, look at this. I mean, you can see uh, Adabanje. Um, you you've travelled some beautiful places, but you've brought them to life with your sketches. You kept those memories alive. Yeah, that's one of the advantages of knowing to sketch. So you're not only taking pictures. You're also you can also go with your sketchbook and enjoy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Adabanji, we'll continue with the demonstration. Thank you so much. Just a reminder, we are very, very busy for your book, so don't miss out. 11.99 your price, 434, 135 your item number. If you have just tuned in, watch the demonstration because we have absolutely loved it. So uh, over to you, Adabanji. Okay. So now I'm going for um, the, my left, the left eye now um, was my left hand, and I'm just making sure that I get the 
the dark area in between here because he's got this really dark area here which comes in and that creates the eye socket so I always look at it as a shape so going in there it's almost like a fish shape almost like a fish shape I'm just going through like a fish shape and then you've got this ball strong ball because Picasso's eyes are really deep like really bulgy eyes he's got so just gonna darken somewhere inside of this let it feel dark and yeah get, get that so what this happened here is that at least we've got the eyes the nose and the mouth in now we want to start dealing with kind of like I will call these the forms of his face so that it starts looking a little bit more like him like under the eyes he's got this bag here there's a kind of like a cheek muscle over here and there's a, a line to show his age he's aged a bit I'm just going to draw a straight line down there his mouth it comes out and underneath there is a little bit of a, a fold so all the forms on his face and when I say forms it's like those little lines that create a little bit of um uh, structure to his face um, gives it life these are the things I'm honing on now so just those little bits of structure um, like that furrow around his eye there there's another one in the middle just and I'm using the broad stroke technique here just the broad just a broad stroke okay now I'm moving across his nose to get just a bit of the effect of his his nose and then there's a like look at that stroke from his nose look at how it comes down like the whole uh, people call it number 11 but you know <laughs> the line so I'm going to pull that line now just pull it really strong just go and pull that line just really pull it down and then I'm going to come to where it falls it actually folds in and then it creates it creates the chin area and now all this place is dark and that makes it easy to handle so all I'm gonna do from this for um, this point forward is to just add shadow it's like the darkest tones I'm gonna put the shadow here because the the nose cast a shadow I'm gonna put a shadow where the, his nose is over here that helps I'm going to put a shadow under his eye and then all this area is pure shadow and I'm using the broad stroke technique just look at what I'm doing look at the marks so when I hold the pencil like this I can produce something very close to a brush stroke and you can practice this it's all in the book okay so here we go I'm just going on on all on and this is just me playing with the side of the pencil. So here we go. All this. Just keep it going. Make sure it has a lot of structure in there. Um, sorry, a lot of tone in there. And underneath here, a lovely shadow emanates. For that shadow, look at the line. Look at it moves. It just goes across, zoop, and over. So across, zoop, and over. And to make this interesting, all I'm going to do is to use the side of the pencil with strokes. Just watch. See how quickly it's filling in. It kind of it's almost like using a brush, but it's a lovely technique. And because I've sanded the paper, it feels good. The, the paper is absorbing the, the Sounders Waterford paper, which is brilliant paper. It just absorbs everything. So I'm just gonna go quickly because of our time, make sure that um, you know, I just really knock all this in broad stroke technique broad stroke that's all i'm using it's almost like using the pencil like a brush and i'm going to change it because sometimes the pencil gets a little bit blunt just, just change you, that area just as you're doing that advanjay just let you know you've got 20 minutes so we're in no rush we're all really enjoying it so carry on doing your thing thank you and then i'm just gonna go really darker now really darker and then the air just gonna darken that one too and yes so now everything almost that I need for the sketch is almost as it were set. I'm just going to darken the background a bit so it kind of feels right. Just darken the background. Same broad stroke technique, okay? You know, just broad stroke technique. Just really darken all that. Really darken this area. Just darken, like really darken it. 
Okay? And then he has some, um, just this time, I'm just going to go with some organic lines to create kind of like um, just his skin, a mid-tone skin. You know, this guy lived in the Mediterranean. He's like a lot of like uh, tan. So I'm just going to create that. That's not where I'm focusing on. So I'm just going to use a mid-tone to create that, okay? Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to make sure that everything starts feeling a little bit more um, detailed. So I'm going to change into a darker colored pencil just to bring it out. At this point, you can see that it's, he's almost there, okay? So now I'm going to work on his eye. So inside the eye, I'm going to use a darker pencil now and just create a lovely kind of a dark, so some of the dark lines so inside his eye, like that one. And then in here, just get the eye socket, just to get the eye socket in there and a little one. So I have this whole area, I'm gonna darken this and then really get an intense curve just over the eye, just over. Everything I'm doing here is from pure observation and it's like, you know, practice, practice, practice. So after this, when you get the book, you're gonna have a, you're gonna make sure you get a sketchbook. Go for the most inexpensive ones. Don't get too posh with it. And you're gonna make sure you sketch something from life every day. I actually mentioned that in the book. Now I'm on this side of his face and I'm trying to make sure I get that really definite side over there. And there's a nice bit of dark. Again, I'm using the broad stroke with this one too, the side of the pencil, just carving into his um, um, eye area. And then I'm gonna go in again over here and get that other socket. Make sure I rule a line down and see where it goes. Okay, it goes, yeah, that's correct. I just ruled a straight line down to see whether the eyeball, whether it, connected with the nose and it's a little bit out of the nose just there that would do because everything you're trying to do you're making sure that you're following it it's proportional and things like that so I'm ma just making sure everything fits so you can get an intense gaze Picasso's intense gaze he was a very powerful representational artist before he started abstracting. You look at his initial drawings, his early drawings, they are amazing. And so I believe every kind of art starts from you learning these basics that I share in the book and I'm sharing with you now. I'm going to go to his nose, just darken that too. Everything is the broad stroke. Just notice that I'm using the broad stroke all the way through broad stroke, and I've got to the area where his nose is here, and I'm gonna darken that, just darken that really strong. And underneath, really pull that out and get the bottom of his nose dark too. Here, I'm gonna darken that. Now I'm gonna go to his mouth area. He has a particular little indention over there, and then this, in the middle of his um, uh, mouth, the dark, the, the the line of the lip is quite dark. And then I'm just going to use, again, the uh, broad stroke to create the tones for his lip. Then this side of the lip kind of fades. It fades out a bit. It's not as deep. It's not as thick. And then underneath the lip, oh, that is very deep. So I'm going to go deep with the tone there. And then all I need to do is so darken some of those areas get that area in. All these are just little strokes I'm putting in now. Um, the side of his face, a little bit of a fold over here, an under little pinner, just something over his chin, darken that. Really make this area dark um, under the chin because it carries a lot of weight, that, that, that line. And then I'm moving over here to where his um, hair is again, going through hair, you know, He's got this bald head. I'm not going to work too much on that. Come back to this side and you've got a nice feel of this side of his face. I'm going to actually darken this now because it's a little bit darker than the others. So again, broad stroke, broad stroke, keep going, broad stroke, just keep moving it in, all broad, all nice and broad. There's the absence of light in this area 
makes me just want to fill everything up. So I'm just filling everything up, everything up, just filling it up, filling it up till I get to the edge of the paper. I'm going to darken this side. I hope you can see his face starting to pop out just because I put that little bit of dark in there because that is tone. I talk about tone in the book too. And all these things, they're kind of interrelated. Um, now we've got this lovely shapes here. I'm going slowly, but all this, I'm going to darken this side too just to make sure it brings out the side of his face. So let's darken this, darken this. All that darken, bring it to the edge, move across. This is broad stroke. Everything happening here is the broad stroke. And I'm going to go a little bit wild now. You're going to see the wild side of me now. Just this is really just to cover this whole area too to make it look interesting. So here I go, just crazy wild. That's the addictive sketcher in me, all right? That's a bit crazy. Just cover that area, really make sure the whole thing starts feeling, you know, arranged and cool and nice. And then I've got the dark area of the hair there. And then I can come back to the face. So gradually I go back to my um, other pencil I was using at the beginning. Actually, let's go with the black because the little bit of ball in the eye is black. I'm now going for some details. I'm now going for some details, some nice details that I can see. So, I'm, you know, I use three colored pencils. I've used um, the light brown, the light brown. I've used um, the, mid, the, 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 the normal brown, but this time I'm using the black just to get some, to get some more details, just some, so it's three colored pencils. Um, a light brown, a dark brown, and black. Yeah, that's what I'm using at the moment. So I'm just going to, I'm using this to get the inside of the eye, just that inside right there. And I'm using this to plot everything that I'm working on now. So get the side and then the side of his um, nose there, the line, that strong line that goes across very strong line um, goes across his mouth. Everything I'm doing is just to bring, but I want you to see how little detail I've needed to use into getting to where I am. So you don't, oh, because a lot of people, they say, oh, it's so much detail. Like I'm going to have to deal with so much detail. No, if you know the initial principles that I'm talking about here, it will all make sense. And as you go along, there won't be any pressure because like I said, you can let people know all I'm doing is a sketch. It was my easiest cop out whenever I wasn't sure of what I was doing and it took the pressure off. So I'm just going deep into this. I'm going to shade this with the black again now. Just really get that dark and um, work on the side of his head here. I'm just going to darken this area too. Just add a little bit more dark to this area. Just, just all that dark. Just get the shape in there and then a little bit of his eye around here there's a nice feel of oh his eyes oh the strongest bit of his face is his eyes that's where the character sits that's where his character just almost resides in his eyes he had the most piercing eyes but yeah so now i'm going going across again working on the side and, and i'm going to put i'm going back to my brown colored pencil just work on the mid-tones. So all I'm going to be working on now are some mid-tones. Mid-tones that he's got an indention in the middle of his, um, uh, just in the middle of the lip and the, uh, uh, and the nose, the top lip and the nose, just an indention there. And I'm work so I'm working on all the mid-tones now because I seem to have most of the tones sorted out. It's the mid-tones I'm working on. And then I'm going to move to this side of it and balance it up. So let's just really get this deep move it to the side each time i'm just checking how i'm doing for time i think i'm 15 minutes away which is good because remember all i want you to remember this is a sketch and one thing you're able to grasp here is a process that you can use with some of the techniques i've shared and they are the time said they Adi actually work Adi 
Yes. Everybody, just let you know, you've got uh, roughly just under 10 minutes uh, remaining, just to give you a little bit of a time check. It is incredible yes. what you are doing. Uh, we think you're, yeah. you're an exceptional artist. But one thing we're all noticing is you are making it so accessible because the whole team, we all want to have a go at this. So uh, carry on with your demonstration, <laughs> but we are loving it. Thank you. So here we go. So now I'm on, his, I'm on this side of his face and I'm really running this through, and I'm just working on the tones, tones, tones. The thing about a sketch, and I'm, I'm gonna say this as a source of encouragement, is you can stop at any time. When I'm on the train and I'm sketching someone, so say I sketch them, and okay, this is a side view, and they move, I stop. Um, if I saw another person, I'll start again. I never continue when the person is left because it's all about observation. So I want you to know that. So even if I was, even if they said, stop now, the banjo, you've run out of time. Do you know what my cop out will be? You know it. It's just a sketch. And that's the encouragement there. There is no pressure. Until you get it and until you're comfortable, you can keep riding on. Now I'm just going to work on this side and make sure I bring these tones to be darker because you notice this side is darker than his face. So let's go. Just keep going. Broad stroke. If I don't get the broad stroke, I run it across here until I feel the right broad stroke on my um, on my pencil. Just keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna work that in. Just keep that going. You see me working this whole thing through, and here. I'm gonna work on some of the furrows on his forehead, the lines, and then now I am gonna go into what I call hatching. These are ha hatching, these kind of strokes I'm gonna put into it now. I'm sharpening, you can see that I'm sharpening my um, colored pencil. These strokes I'm gonna put into it now, they are the kind of hatching strokes that will create a little bit more interest. So here I'm going to go right from here. I'm going to go round his nose with some lines. You can see these lines I'm putting in. They are to bring out the structure a little bit more. Some of them can be wavy. They're just strokey lines. I'm going to use a lot of them in his, um, uh, what do they call it? The furrow, his, uh, uh, on top of his eyebrow. You can just see me waving these strokes. All you're seeing, and let me just do it here, are things like this, are things like that. It's to bring out the form in a little bit more detail. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And I'm gonna use this to bring out some of the detail, the form, the areas that um, I've done the broad stroke, but this is just to bring it out a little bit more. Um, here I go on this side, watch how I carve it, cause that's the movement it makes. And then I get to this area uh, over here, again, just moving it around. The, his lip, his lower lip, I'm going to run the strokes over. This all gives it some sort of dynamism. I really love hatching. It's my love. I, I, I just love to hatch with the, with, the, with the pen or the pencil. It just creates a nice feeling. And I'm going to run the pencil all the way across, just strokes. Just a strokes. Um, those of you that know Rembrandt would know what the technique I'm using, how Rembrandt would just use the pen and run it across the face and bring out form. And I'm gonna use it on his um, body now. So the shoulder area, just gonna run that. And I'm running it according to the movement. Then he's got this um, clavicle, just the collarbone. I'm gonna create that movement underneath and then here just gonna wedge this all over and then in the middle here just some lovely strokes that come up again and then he's got this hairy bits which I'm just gonna knock in here and I'm just gonna make the rest of it side strokes side strokes again I'm gonna go into his eyes with the black now and bring out a little bit more detail in those eyes just a little bit more detail in the eyes. Just a little bit more. Really make it read strong. Really make it read strong because he's got the most amazing eyes. This is, this is what I feel the capture of him. Um, lovely bit of uh, just 
um, st um, structure. Um, all I'm doing now, I think I've got like four minutes to do this. So I'm, I'm kind of like just rounding up on little, I call these the bits I'm doing now, the niggly bits. They, they are, they're dangerous because sometimes you can overdo it and you spoil a good sketch because you still want the sketch to have strength. You want it to have power and a punch. So I have to be careful here. Just uh, make sure I do it. Yep. Banjo, I'm so sorry, buddy, but we are uh, unfortunately beaten by time. Uh, oh, got, that's fine. That, got, like I told the people, you, we you've can got end. Two minutes. If you just want to finish off, I know you're showing something important there. Yeah. So if you want to finish that off, we've got two minutes just to give you that two little minutes. warning. Yes. So okay. the last bit I'm just going to put in, side of his face, a little bit of the air, and somewhere around here showing that dark shadow over there. And all I'm going to do now is to sign it. <laughs> That and is... I'm going to put there Picasso. Oh. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> you are incredible. Seriously, uh, watching that, we are absolutely in awe. Now, uh, can we just give a shout out to your social media? Because we want all our viewers to be following you. So how can we follow you on social yes. media? So my social media is at Addictive Sketcher on Instagram. On Facebook, it's Adebanji Alade Artist or Addictive Sketcher. You just put addictive sketcher in, I'm going to pop out some way. <laughs> hey, you, my friend, will we get, I'm going to be following you right after this show. Uh, it has been an absolute honor. I really mean that. Look, one day uh, when restrictions do get eased, we would love to have yeah. you in the studio if you're willing Definitely. to come down. But that's been absolutely awesome. Very quickly, I know we've got a few more, uh, just a couple of minutes. Uh, just tell us, when, yeah. you, when you discuss value uh, for the audience, yeah. just explain what you mean by that. So when I say value, I mean the lightness or darkness of the area. And mm -hmm. looking at this, this is the darkest value. Yeah. This is a middle tone value. And this is the light value. So yeah. it's just like saying how light or how dark something is. And all of that is explained in the book. You're an absolute gentleman, and thank you so much for taking the time uh, to uh, join us. You welcome thank to the you. Uh, welcome <laughs> to the family, my friend. So we're hoping to have lots more shows with you. You are awesome. The whole team have absolutely loved this hour. So thank you so much. Truly, thank you. Thank you too. All thank right. you. Everyone. You take care. Cheers, buddy. Keep sketching. Show them. <laughs> And remember the golden rule, it's just a sketch, that's it. Uh, this hour, this hour is the epitome of why Hochandra is such a special place. Because where else would you find a craft channel that would dedicate a whole hour to just purely expressing the form of sketching, no presenters waffling on, it was all about the sketching with uh, Adabanje, and that's what it's all about, Hochanda. We always strive to bring you the demonstrations, whatever kind of crafting you're into. Now, obviously, we are a shopping town channel. I know sometimes presenters will have to talk and give you updates, but we are passionate about showing you the demonstrations and techniques, and this hour has showcased why Hochanda is such a special place. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have just tuned in, and uh, you might have missed this hour. It is, this is one of the hours I would thoroughly suggest. Go onto our website or use the Hochanda app and get, uh, you can watch it or get your friends watching as well. After the show, I'm actually going to give my mum a call because she would love this hour and I'm going to tell her to watch on Rewind. Just give you a little update on the book. It was incredibly popular. Uh, the Addictive Sketcher, uh, 434 135, your item number, 1199. All the principles that you show, uh, you were shown in the demonstration will be expressed. 60% of the stock has gone there, but whoever bought that, guarantee you're going to absolutely love it. Thank you so much uh, for your company and thank you to Adabaji. So coming up next, we have the Pergamano show. Cannot wait for that. And then last look at our fabulous one day special Pink Fresh. After that, we are felting with Frankie and Sydney. So lots to enjoy here at Hochanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. 
We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Now we have got a Pergamana Groovy Hour ahead of us featuring the brand new Lindia Williams Groovy Plate in the garden. Now we have got the wicker chairs. Now that was is, is a plate that is completely brand new today. You may have seen it at 11, but now this is the, the one that it was, has been launched today. £10.99 is the price and it's a beautiful, beautiful plate. However, I have got news about the, you know, well, basically Linda, Linda Williams launched the the first collection in the garden uh, and there it is that's the five the sixth place that you are getting now I need to tell you that the stock 
so at it because this stock once it's gone it's gone so half of it is already gone so if you want to grab your hands onto the original collection from Linda Williams in the garden there you have it they are six plays beautiful 53 pounds and 95 pence is your price if you're a freedom member and it's a why not deal which means that if by if you're not a freedom member it, it's you will save more money by becoming a freedom member than if you just go into the regular price basically six pounds and 97 pence is the freedom membership for a month and then you don't pay PMP on any item there but of course the start of the show is the brand new plate here we have it in the garden the wicker chairs now to tell us a little bit more about it, we will be talking to, I believe, Paul Church. Hello, Paul. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. And you? Yes, very well. Thank you. Good. Now, this is a fabulously beautiful scene in the garden. That's right. So this is the, the latest release from the lovely Linda Williams of the In the Garden collection. And as you just mentioned earlier, we had the original collection, which was the six beautiful plates. Um, and then each month we've released another one. So we've got the lemon tree, uh, we've got the rose arch, and then now we've got the beautiful wicker chairs as well. And the, I love, because for instance, this sample that I'm holding now from Josie Davinson, uh, Davidson, and you have got the black, you know, the, the nocturnal sort of aspect of it. And of course, the vowel and the parchment, white work, it's really textured and it really brings realism to that scene in the garden. That's right. And, and when you look at the play, I mean, what I love about this, the, um, the In the Garden collection from Linda is that if you're brand new to Groovy and the parchment system, you can just trace it out exactly how it is and you've got a beautiful piece of artwork. Yeah. Um, but the, um, the beauty, again, of the Groovy plates is that you can pick and choose. So that one that you're looking at from Josie, the two chairs, um, yeah. just on the black parchment, how dramatic and different it looks when you look at the actual plate itself. Yeah, and then of course you can have with the same, exactly the same plate, this one by uh, Francis is not, that you can, I mean, it's extraordinary the way that she has colored everything. And then suddenly, this is more like me, I mean, one, one seat alone uh, in the garden with quite a few cats, that's, that's me, all of Relax and enjoy your garden. I mean, how gorgeous is that work? It's just beautiful. And I love how you say, like you very much um, explain it, that you choose whichever elements you want to put. You don't have to have the two chairs all the time. You can choose whichever one you wanted, the parcel. That's right. And the one that, that you're looking at there, um, the tables in front of the, um, the wicker chair, whereas on the plate, they're separate. So it's just a little bit of thought and the beautiful flowers. And because it's all been designed by Linda Williams as part of the In the Garden collection, what you'll find is that people that have, um, people, customers that have previously purchased the collection will be able to mix and match yes, everything. Yes, um, And they just work so wonderfully together. <sighs> Look at that. I mean, I'm holding one by uh, Carol P. And it's just, it's just the detail that comes off the page, sort of a speak, uh, the way that it is the sun or the moon, depends on how you look at it. I mean, I just love this. It's so refreshing. It's so, and it's one of those th uh, things that you, somebody could take it to the garden and sit there underneath the parasol and, uh, or the, you know, and, and then just do some groovy. That's right. And it is, it's very, I mean, it's clean, it's tidy, um, there's no mess. And it is portable, as you say, so you can go in the garden. Um, if you've got a caravan, you can get, take it to the caravan. Um, and because it's all self-contained, yes. and it's easy to do. It, it is. really is. It is indeed. Now, of course, uh, if you want, uh, Paul, we are going to let you get on with your day. And thank you so much for joining us uh, today uh, over the phone. You're welcome. Take thank it easy, everybody, and yeah. thank you. Take care, and thank you. And now, of course, uh, we have got the brand new plate, a groovy plate, A5, Lindia, Windy, Lindia Williams in the garden. This is the latest release, the Wicker Chairs. Now, 
remember uh, the, the, they were the original collection, then there were two releases, and this is the brand new. Over 70% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, your item number is 2720591099 pounds and 99 pence. Now we are going to see uh, a little bit of, well, not a little bit, all the Lindia Williams in the garden. Now this one was the previous release. And you can see it here. This is rose arch. And you can see here all those elements. Like Paul was explaining, you can bring maybe to, if you go, say, for instance, the brand new release and this one, you can maybe put the rose arch just behind the wicker chairs, bring the, the bird feeder or the beekeeping, um, you know, is it the bee, bee is kept? No, it's kept. Oh, I don't know that word. It's kept. Bee house. I think that's better, isn't it? You know, bee house. Uh. <laughs> right, let's move on. Uh, they're laughing at me. And I'm probably at home, you are not. <laughs> You probably are laughing as well at home, but um, I do apologize. I do, I, so there are some words I do not know. And look at that, how gorgeous the flowers are. And to think that I brought her flowers and chocolates literally today. And literally I did. And this is how she repays me. Anyway, uh, if you want the uh, rose arch, uh, the plate. This was, was the previous uh, plate that was released from Linda Williams. Uh, is your item number is one zero six four six uh, four five three. Is your item number ten pounds and ninety nine. Pens. Then we have got the lemon tree garden, which features, I love this one because it features one of my dreams is to have a summer house really fully done with, a, you know, like a craft room, you know, maybe a sewing room. Can you imagine? And open those French doors and then have there all the goodies and just a picnic. Now that I would love now. Right now, going into for a while, getting a, a, a bottle of champagne, of course, not even Prosecco. Then we maybe yeah, take some strawberries and some raspberries and some cheese and some bread. Ah, uh, and the moonlight. Uh, or the sunlight, depending. And look, it has got a kitten as well. This is, this is definitely something that I aim for. This is, and this, I, and I love as well. Uh, now, because I, I love the idea of going into like the garden and kind of go walking through it. Uh, now, oh, I don't have any samples of this one, but uh, you can imagine how beautiful it's going to look uh, as well. And remember, yeah, you can pick and choose which elements you want to feature. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Uh, three eight four two four three is your item number. Right, and then we have got the collection. Remember, this is the collection. Once it's gone, it's gone, and we are approaching sixty percent of the stock. So please do be quick to check out those baskets if you want to have the original collection by Linda Williams in the garden. Now, this one features it's all six different ones, so none of the images are repeated across, neither in these plates or the ones that we have seen so far. For. So if you want it, remember that you have got a freedom price that is a why not. So if you're not a freedom member, become one and you will save more money by becoming a freedom member and then purchasing this bundle that if you were just, uh, if you didn't join freedom. Because the saving, 11 pounds 99 pence, there is, is basically is bigger than the 6 pounds 97 pence that you would pay for a me freedom membership for one month. Also includes PNP, so you just pay 53 pounds and 95 pence. If you're not a freedom member, you have got the 6 pounds saving, and of course 50, or you can also flexify it. If you are a freedom member, you only pay 26 pounds 98 today, and then in the 4th of July, uh, 26 pounds and 98 pence, and that's how it works interest free of course 798135 is your item number and then you can do something like oh by the seaside or by the lake and some regattas there and then and those days will come again of course oh or maybe a hammock like in the garden and look how realistic the parchment looks like with that embellishment the, you know the the white work because it looks like lace and look at that the swing in the garden and i love that linda definitely is one of my ladies she loves has a love for cats doesn't she 
And look how big you do. I have to tell you a story. Ca uh, Patchy and you just the neighbor dog, uh, cat and my cat were playing today. And I was very happy. They weren't fighting. So that's very good news. Anyway, if you want to have the garden collection, uh, yeah, the original one, 798-135 is your item number. Now, remember to become a Freedom member because you will save more than you will spend in the Freedom membership for this item. And now we have got Barbara to, uh, you know, to show us how to use it all. Right, now let's have a look at the second of these beautiful projects that Linda has kindly uh, created for us. Uh, this morning we looked at this one and we looked at the really clever use of the border in this, it's this lovely wicker plate, wicker chair plate, and we looked at the lovely clever use here. And when we, um, when we look at the second one that we're going to look at today, it looks fantastic because to me it looks like, literally, like a, a picnic uh, tablecloth, doesn't it? One of the things um, that is well worth investing in is this plate, which is an extension plate. It's great because it's got an entire alphabet and lots of words as well, so it's great for frames. But it also, um, it's brilliant when you're establishing your, your outer line, like here. Where do we get these lines from to work within and without? They're here. So let's have a look, for example, if we take a piece of uh, parchment just clear parchment A4 this time, and you'll see when you when you line it up, you'll see exactly where I've got my lines from. And I'm going to use my number one tool, and I'm going to outline the second line in, and the one, two, three, four, fifth line in. So that gives me this frame, which is exactly this frame here. Do you see? Just to try and dissect or or take, deconstruct the card for you. So that's how we found that line. So then the next thing is, how do we get the lines here? Well, this is actually quite straightforward. Once again, as we did earlier, we're going to use our ruler and we're going to use our uh, white pencil. Very traditional parchment trick, this is. And you'll see that from top to tail, it's 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the 8 centimeters, the middle, this is a great ruler, Pergamano ruler. It's really good if you get it with the groovy grip as well because that's a little addition of ours. What the groovy grip does is it holds it in place so it doesn't slide around. I haven't got groovy grip on this at the moment because I'm not needing it. But you'll see that what we're going to do now is we're going to put our halfway lines top and bottom. So again, if I, if I fast forward... Let's just take a look here. You'll see, just to recap, if I take this away, I've done this on the front, right? So this is the embossed side. And on the front, I've got midpoint, eight centimeters, fifth square in on that beautiful plate. There you go. Just to, to recap, let me just get it right for you. There it is. Fifth square in, second square in, and then we've got our midpoints as well. Now, how do we get our tablecloth effect? So what we're going to do is take the ruler. This is really where the ruler comes into its own. One and a half centimeters, always working on the front. And we're going to start from the middle here. And we'll start in the middle. So this is a centimeter. This is one and a half centimeters. So we'll line up just like so. You'll see. One and a half centimeters on the line. Do you know, I think I want to use my groovy grip. Let me take my groovy grip ruler. See, the groovy grip, what this does is it stops the ruler sliding around when I'm using it. It's not sticky. It's just a, a really clever piece of plastic. But when you, when you put it on the ruler, it stops the ruler. Let me just lift it up. It stops the ruler sliding around. This will help a lot while I'm putting these lines in place. See, so it's move, it moves until I lean on it. And as soon as I lean on it, it stops moving. And then what I can do is one and a half, one and a half. And I'll go and I'll put the, the one and a half line, grid, grid line on there. Press so it doesn't move. I'll go again. And just as we did earlier on in our other demonstration, you'll see that obviously the, 
the pencil marks can be rubbed out afterwards but the it's really cool because the um, the lines they work just perfectly on the uh, on the pattern so to fast forward if you like it's exactly the same thing except we've gone this way and that way the trick though is to always measure from the middle out and then you've got your tablecloth like so you see now once you've got that, let's move this out of the way, once you've got that, then you take your plate, enter the groovy plate. So you're going to put your groovy plate in place, because what we're after again is this border. I won't do it again because I did it in the 11 o'clock show, but you do understand that all I've got to do now is literally just line up the line like so, so that the, the pencil line is right in the middle, I'll press this into place like so, just hold it in place with the groovy grip. I take my number one tool and then I just start adding my lines one after another after another when I've done avoid in the middle. When I've done that, then I'll turn the whole thing round and I'll do the same thing going the other way, crossing over. And that's how we end up, fast forwarding, we end up with that. Isn't that glorious? And then once we've done that, then we can concentrate on our beautiful picture in the middle. That's absolutely stunning. Now, I need to remind everybody that, of course, uh, bar, well, we had another program on Groovy show at 11 o'clock. So refer back to the website, hotchannel.com, rewind, and then you can watch back again for 60 days, both that show and every show that we have got today. Right, if you want the weekly share, remember, is there brand new release today the latest of Lindia Williams in the garden collection three quarters of the stock has already gone if you want yours the number yeah you need to have is 272059 and check out those baskets to make sure that you will be able to create something as stunning as you can see there bright and colors if you want to do it because the parchment allows you to color and I love the way that you can select with a ruby plate exactly where materials you are gonna highlight but motifs you are going to transfer into parchment whether you want to bring the color in and replace it with of course those designer papers whether you want to just place them on top of the part there are designer papers from clarity but just do a little bit of white work to highlight those elements with the parchment simplicity itself of course with traditional pergamano techniques if you want to do the whole plate here add mom and dad as well because I think there is something very, very, yeah, I kind of think of my parents sitting outside in Mallorca in, his, in their house, having dinner or having just a little bit of a, you know, drinking there in the garden and enjoying. Or maybe this is just enjoy your new pet when you have got a new pet. Look at the beautiful birds as well in there. And that then kind of transfers as well. If maybe you want to do a little bit of simple picker cutting with those arches in here, like uh, Glenis has done in that one keep it blue refreshing um do you remember because hot days have been um around and then maybe a cooler days with a beautiful purple and i love that because it's basically if you can see it it's the same of course it's the same image but then the same table but how different do they look because in here there is some traditional pergamano techniques so that's one of the things I love about Ruby, that no matter how far along you are in the journey or you are just a brand, a brand new partner, this allows you to create with them from day one and then continue your journey. £10.99 is the all you are paying for the plate, the latest release in the Lindia Williams collection um, the, in the garden. Approaching 80% of the stock has already gone, 272059, why not get it? Put it in your buses and check out. That's the way that you secure your own plate. Then the previous release from the Linda Williams in the Garden collection is the Rose Arch. And here, of course, it features that gorgeous Rose Arch as well as the Bird Feeder and the Beekeeper, the, the Bee House. I can't want to call it that. Uh, you have got, of course, the beautiful birds as well as the ducks. And I love the ducks because you can see that they are a little bit, you know, ditzy and kind of strong. But it's just a full of life, that gar the garden, isn't it? And then, of course, you can select, I mean, how 
gorgeous is that for a wedding uh, congratulations card you know like the two love birds in there what about this maybe a new arrival uh, now this is the uh, how elegant that white work is done that's from Glennis as well and then you know it's every single time is completely different using the same word the same exactly plate because there's so many elements this is another thing these plates are packed full of individual elements that you can bring as a focal point now can you see i love that the ducks here and then the ducks here but of course here they have me come into fence and then of course the ivy around it and beautiful flowers this is by francis as well and oh look you can use those arches in here to create a heart how gorgeous is that and what about of course to use for a new home now if you want yours of course this is rose arch 106453 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price and you want the e even the previous release so we are going working backwards uh, we have got the lemon tree garden with a beautiful tree there with the picnic scene i mean i that's what i want i want a picnic now i decided this is this and uh, you know i'm going you can there with a champagne bottle or a, a bottle of red wine or you know just elderflower you know, press or you know whichever is what your drink of choice and look at the, the parcel there, the blank, picnic blanket, cushions, and then of course the kitten has to be there, it has to be a kitten, and the tree, and think about that, but of course, the, you know, uh, the shed, oh, I love that. Anyway, 384243 uh, is your item, number 10 pounds and 99 pence. But of course, those elements, you can combine with each other, the different plates will work perfectly, and of course, the original collection, from Lindia Williams. Now, 60% of the stock has already gone. Now, with this collection, we need to re reiterate that once the stock has gone, has gone. There is no extended delivery. There is not going to be, but, but you have got it here. Now, this is the original one. It features the steps. It features the hammock. It features the greenhouse, the fence. And you can see that you remember that we saw the ducks from the, um, the couple of releases ago with your fence. That's the fence. And hence, why you is good to invest in the whole collection to make sure that you can bring those scenes and build them up I mean look I love time to relax I mean how lovely is that just sitting by the fountain with the beautiful what um, how you call that tree um, because I know willow yeah uh, yeah you weeping willow that's what I think it is yeah uh, now we are gorgeous and yes like reading there the book that's that's bliss isn't it and of course in the garden and you have got of course the the shed the proper shed there you know a little bit of gardening maybe it's the allotment maybe something like that you know different ways of using them of course and every single plate from this collection will coordinate now also this collection has a why not deal which means that you have got a, a discount if you're a freedom member that is worth becoming a, a member even if you are not because the saving will be bigger than what you will spend and a freedom membership so do check it out of course at hochanda.com to become a member because also you won't pay a PMP on the during the remainder of the month 798135 uh, is your item number and remember to check out those baskets because especially this item does not you know once it's gone it's gone and now if you want some parchment we have got color parchment you are getting 30 shades in total in total is the soft tones in here you can see how gorgeous they are and you are getting 30 shades in total five sheets of each color and you can see the soft rose and the beautiful peach color the blue for the sky with that kind of softness and then you have got of course the lemon and I would say this is more of a what do you call it um, you know the papayas, papayas, maybe a little bit soft papaya, I would say, and that's more of a some lemon peach, maybe peach, and this one would be the peach, and then a ripe peach, <laughs> then maybe or a mango, uh, depending how you. But you are getting all five colors, and you can see here the translucentness of it, and they are of course designed to do the white work. So the more that you emboss them, the more that you work with them, you will have that white come through it. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence is the price for the thirty sheets of A four, one six three. Four seven six, and now I think we are ready for part two of the demonstration by Barbara. Right, so we've established our beautiful picnic tablecloth, 
And now let's have a look at the little scene in the centre. It's all about composition now. And when we look at the plate, you'll see there are so many possibilities. You've got two facing chairs, which is really great. And what we've done here is we've taken this chair. Um, so, but if you if you look at the picture itself, you'll see that the cushions are slightly different. We've got cushions to match the tablecloth. Of course we have. Linda Williams did it, for goodness sake. <laughs> so let me show you how to do that. It's really easy. We're going to take our, our chair from here, you see, like so. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I did have to look for a moment. It wasn't... It wasn't obvious until I found it, but what I'm going to do is just move this line down a little bit, you see, and then I can go in here like so, and I can add the crosses. So as I do this, I just want to, there you go, you see, I can just add the pattern from there. When I turn this over now, you'll see all of a sudden we've got the lovely checker that we've also got there. So it's really smashing just looking and checking and seeing what you've got. Let's have a look what else we've got. The little birds, for example. So there's no bird. It's like a spot the difference. Look, bird, no bird. So somewhere there's a bird. There he is up here. So then you just add the bird using the number one tool. You add the little bird. Then, for example, this little fella here, well, he actually, we decided we want to put him up there. So you can move him around. Now you've got another one here. Let's see where he is. Well, he's over here. So we'll just add him in. So what we're doing all the time, the little bird feeder, you can bring it down a little bit. You can put it up a little bit. You can add a little bit of greenery around it. So what we're doing is we're creating our own composition. You see, you just, you, you use the bits you want and then the rest you leave behind. So like the little butterflies, they we used on the other project that we did this morning. See, so you've got butterflies. When you start looking at the plate, you realize just how much is going on here. There's actually a little dog here and there's a piece of white, um, there's a piece of artwork that, um, that's been done by Gail Sydenham and she's painted this little dog. He's absolutely gorgeous. So look out for that. So what we've got now is we've we've got our little composition and then what we'll do is we'll just take our pink excellent mat and we'll add a little bit of white work. And we'll do this with these tiny little dots on this on this particular piece of artwork here. I'm I'm really keen to use my my groovy guard only because it's very warm and I find it a lot easier to use the groovy guard and it stops me leaning on my parchment, especially in the summer months or when I'm nervous. And what I'm doing now is I'm just using the number two tool. You can use the number two tool or the 1.5 um, Pergamano tool, the ball tool. That works as well. You see, what we're doing is we're stretching the parchment. Then when we turn it over, you'll see that these little buds now are becoming, they're becoming whiter. So it looks really pretty and it's really easy to do. So all of this now is about embossing and we just settle down to stretching the parchment and using our embossing tools as we need them. So this is a really cool little set actually, whichever you prefer. Um, if you get the starter kit, then you've just got, you've got three embossing tools. We could call them number one, no, number two, three and four. Um, and then, of course, we've got the Pergamano embossing toolkit, which has got, you know, this is the... I'm really lucky, really, look. Well, I'm lucky. I've got the number six. I've got all my tools here, you see. I've got the number six, the number 4.5, the three. Then I've got the, the 1.5, and I put them all in my little caddy here. I've got a travelling bag for when I'm mobile, but at the moment we're not so mobile, so I use my caddy, which is really cool. And then you see you can just use, depending on, on what it is you're embossing, you just use the tool that works best within that slot. So if I'm working on the white work on the armchair, for example, like on this area here, 
And when you, when I hold it up, if I offer it up to this camera, you'll see that it's really, really done beautifully. You see, stretched, stretched and stretched. You see, isn't that glorious? And look at the dots on the red cushion. Also beautiful. Let me show you. So all you do is you pick the tool to fit. You pick the tool to fit the area you want to emboss and you do it in layers. So that one would work really well in there, the 1.5. And then up here in this area, I would certainly be tempted to use the largest ball tool and I'm pretty certain Linda would too. I learned from the best, you see. And then as you, you build up your layers, especially in larger areas like this, because you don't really want popcorn. You know that when you over, when you over stretch it, so you're just going to build this up gen gently, one, one piece at a time. Then you'll go to the next, the next tool, which is the 4.5. So this is the thing about getting the tools. Um, then you go to the, the next smaller tool, which is the 4.5. And you'll let that work with that one in this area for example as well maybe a little bit of white work in there see and then you let it rest and you'll see that it gets whiter and whiter the smaller the ball tools you use the whiter it will get and I ought to stop now because I ought to let it rest but I just wanted to show you how you can stretch the parchment this isn't colored parchment this is just clear parchment it doesn't have a right or a wrong side you know this morning we had to erase the colour, didn't we? But this time, we're not going to do that. See how it just just works beautifully. So that's how we emboss. We get that lovely whiteness. And you know how we added colour. Look back at the on catch-up at the 11 o'clock. We use pergoliners and dorsal oil to add our colour. One thing I want to show you, because... Linda has mounted this on blue, on the baby blue or powder blue parchment. This is clear. And when you, if you were to cut, see this little section here? This has been cut again with those nested dies, you see, to fit, because it all fits. We have a system and it works. See, so that now, you watch, when I put this underneath the parchment, you'll see how much more vibrant the colour is. So you know that behind here, behind this colour, is not, it's, it's blue parchment for sure, but it's also, it's got a white she, uh, shield behind there. And that, that opaque white piece of paper is what will create that vibrance in that particular area. When we come back, we'll have a look at the outside at the Pico V edging. That's gorgeous. And of course, you can create that image with the brand new Linda Williams in the garden, the wake out chairs. Now, 80% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, the details are on the left hand side of your screen. But look at how gorgeous that is summer that, you know, the, the lanterns in the sky, sitting outside, having a little bit of a drink or something to eat and just enjoying this beautiful, you know, the nights, the evening warmer evenings but also during the late time it's just that kind of relaxing times there's something very peaceful about these images there's something very relaxing and also quite romantic about two chairs together with the cat in one the other one and look at that isn't that I love this one because it features you can see how uh, this one is by Francis now you can see the, the uh, probably this is the mummy and this is a, a little kitten and then here is the dog who has been you know, has to hide away because they are being a little bit mean to him. Typical story. Relax and enjoy your garden. That's a sentiment. But of course, if you are not a, 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 a you know a cat person, you can just use maybe the dog or not use it at all. That's just the beauty of Groovy. I love the fact that it doesn't matter which elements you do not like. As long as you like the majority of them, you are your own artist, designer. You select which, carefully, which imagery from this plate you are going to use. And what I love about the Linda Williams ones is that they are so 
many elements that completely transform the scene. Um, now you here you have got the lanterns and you have got here the beautiful leaves coming through and then the, of course uh, those drinks in there and have a lovely day mom and dad. That could be perfect for an anniversary card as well. It kind of just take your time, enjoy the, the, the lovely evening or the day and look at that. That's just best wishes. Also if somebody is, is recuperating from maybe um, you know like they have had um, you know they have had an operation or something like that what about just like take it easy just relax and now is the time to have you know a quiet time and just enjoy the beautiful days warm days outside and look at that and the tiny butterflies as well that highlight and I love this one by, done by Josie Davin, uh, Dav Davinson because you can see the white work. You can see that pergamano technique. You can see the peacock cutting and the edges. And all of that highlights the fact that, of course, you know, groovy plates is a starting point of transferring the beautiful artwork into parchment. But how far you are taking that technique is up to you. Wherever you are in the parchment journey, the groovy is made for you. £10.99. Now, is your price over? Over 80% of the stock has already got on, and remember, this plate is brand new today. 272059 is your item number. Now, also remember that, of course, the original in the garden collection is available to you, but once it's gone, it's gone, and there you have it. It's a six plates, of course, A5s in size. Some of them are very vertical, and some of them are horizontal, and they can be yours. Now, if this is a why not deal, which means that if you are not a Freedom membership, buy please do become a Freedom member because you will save more money by becoming a Freedom member and then purchasing this item that you would if you just didn't uh, become a Freedom member. The details are on the screen. Of course, you include PMP if you are a Freedom member and your item number is 798135 is your item number. Approaching 70% 70 70 of that collection has already gone. And remember, once it's gone, it's gone. And now we have got Barbara for part three of that demonstration. Hi, come on in. Before we carry on with the Pico V, I just want to show you how the tablecloth is coloured in, right? So we're working on the back and we're just going to take our uh, perga liner and we're just going to add a little bit of blue, alternate colours really, let me just show you. I don't want to spend too long on it, but I just wanted to show you, rather than go in with the blending pen, what we're going to do, just put a little bit of blue in the centre like that, and then what we're going to do is make uh, like a look a, like a a little triangle with a tissue like that. Right, we're going to dorse, and then I've just the same as I did before. I've put a little bit of um, dorso oil on there, not too much though, because if I put too much on, I'll just remove the colour altogether. But what I'm going to do is use my tissue. And I'll, you'll find, especially on an expanse like this, this is going to be so much faster. Honestly, otherwise you'll go mad trying to do the, every little square on the tablecloth. See, it looks really lovely and it's really easy. Look, straight away. And when you turn this over now and you put it on, on a piece of white, you'll see. So let me just take a piece of copy paper and you'll see immediately how it comes to life. So you've got the light colour, then you've got the, the greeny colour. Um, I just picked three colours and, and that's just a quick trick on how to, to apply colour and smooth it out beautifully to get your tablecloth um, quickly. Not that there is a, anything quick about parchment, but that will certainly, that will certainly help. So what we're going to do next is have a look at the this beautiful edging. Now what I want to do in order to do that, let me just move my pencils out of the way. I've I've brought in my light wave. I've got my super foam. Get my super foam out. Because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And as soon as I add an, a light underneath, see so you can't see anything. One, two, three, and I can see exactly what I'm doing. I find that the light wave helps me a lot when I'm, especially when I'm doing this job. Uh, and I mean, I'm using clear parchment here. When you start to use coloured parchment, then this becomes a real important point. And what we're going to do now, in order to get these, these Pico V's, I'm just laying down the tumble dryer sheet on top of my 
underneath my parchment there you go and then that way when I perforate with my with my um, Pico V what's good is that it will you'll see it will help immensely when you oh, just keep catching because we we're sort of halfway through the job it will help immensely because it, it helps the tool go back in and out again so what we're going to do now is with the Pico V let me just see if this camera is easier yeah I'm just going to show you a little trick and then we'll fast forward so we're going to go like so and then we're just going to press gently and we're going to what we call shallow perforate see so you make the holes all of them and then you lift then you take you relocate in the hole that you made just gently ease in and then lift again stay away from the embossed line until you're happy with where the position is and then go again and this is how you int this is the essence really of multi-needle tools you see so you're creating your pattern along here um, if I come from above you could I don't know if you could see but there are there are holes in here and they are shallow perforated so if we go to this corner here you'll see oh maybe you can't let's see if we can see it from that angle I'm sure that you can see this that there are there are actually perforations there right, so once you've got the perforations in place and you've done this from the front you've done this from the front then the next thing we need to do we're going to get rid of the light wave and we're going to bring in our pink mat so or our black mat whichever we prefer we need an embossing mat of some description so just for the sake of argument let's use the pink one there isn't a right or a wrong side to the pink one and then what we're going to do is turn over to the back and you can see that the holes are sort of shallowly perforated and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my number three embossing tool do you remember the ones that we were using for the chair I'm going to take my number three embossing tool the object of this exercise the the name of the game let me just show you where we're headed so you understand what we're trying to do is create these fantastic white V's these Pico V's mm -hmm. so what we're doing now is we're introducing the whiteness from the back you see the the needles they they're going to help us cut so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our embossing tool and we're going to just gently we're going to create a V by hand and then we're just going to add a little bit of pressure so we're going to go in by hand and we're going to create our V and we're going to go as close to the nut the the dots the perforations as we can so when we turn it over you'll see here are some that have already been done and here's the one that I've just done so you can you don't want to go in with um, with a, an, a tool that's too small straight away so you start for example with the number three tool right and then you just start you just layer on layer you 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 do one layer then you let it rest then you go here's one for example you'll see this one has been this one has got one lot of one lot of emboss this one's got two lots of emboss so if I go to that one now you'll see that when I go in with the with the tool again the number three tool let me just do this one V and you'll see I could even go in with a slightly smaller one the 1.5 perhaps but you don't want to go the 1.5 will define the V but you don't really want to use it too much to emboss because you might perforate your but let's just do this one and let's compare this V with the two next to it now we've added another generation of white work if you like see when you turn that over you can see immediately which one I've done and which two I haven't and that's what we do we go all the way round you see so we've got this pattern and then of course we perforate with a two needle tool in between as well and then what we do is we, we, we do what's called deep perforating before we cut so once we've gone all the way around and we're happy with our beautiful Pico V I love this I love this these we came up with these 
with these Pico Vs because I, I, I talked to Linda and I said, you know, I went to do the diamond shape, you know, the lovely Vs around the outside, and I used the, 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 the tool that was like, um, like a V, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get these beautiful Vs. And then when I went round, I was disappointed because what I got was like castle turrets. So let me just, I don't need my, oh yeah, maybe I do need my light wave. I got castle turrets. I said to Linda, well, I didn't want castle turrets. What I wanted was a really lovely, um, what I wanted was a really lovely V, you know, like a, a Pico. And she said, well, let's make a tool that gives you a beautiful V when you cut it out, because it's the cutout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a, a single needle and I'm going to take a, I think I can, I can handle a bold, but I probably want to go with a fine, only because I think the single needle bold, there are so many needles here, right? The object of this exercise, all I'm doing here is I'm going in and I'm going to deep perforate. And the idea is that it's easier for me to relocate with a single needle tool like this, fine, Right, and I'm just going through the super foam and you can see this is the, the groovy guard is holding it in place nicely for me. And so I go around like this and I make the holes deep enough so I can see them to cut out. That is the basis of what I'm doing here. So that when you, when you, I don't know if you can see it from above, probably not, but when you, when you hold it up to the, the light let me just hold it up here like so and you can see the holes are much bigger where I've gone in you see on the there here there oh this is all backwards there you see how much how much deeper the holes are where I've deep perforated and now it's much easier for me now I've done now I've done the deep perforating with the fine needle tool it's going to be much easier for me to cut out so to cut out, all I'm going to do now, and then it's going to be all the way around the outside. So this is the real um, relaxing part of the game. Now let me see where my scissors are. That's, that's crucial, otherwise we won't be doing anything. Right, so this is my weapon of choice. I just use the exclusives. These are ring locks. Let me show you them. Right, I'm going with these ones. If you've got larger fingers, these ones lock. You see, they're, they're quite good and they're very sharp, but they're more expensive. These ones, they work for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold my, my artwork like so. See, we've got, we've got Pico mats as well. In fact, we, when you buy the scissors, you get a piece of this as well. So some people, they like to hold the artwork on the, on the mat like so and then cut in like this. And because I'm a lefty, you see, I just I go in like that, get my two, and then I, I snip. But I find, personally, it's easier. I'm just putting my other glasses on. I personally find it easier to hold my artwork in my hand like this. Now, let's see if we can get in here. And let's just do a little bit of snipping. And I find it easier, yeah, to hold my... See, I can go in here. Let's just do a couple of little snips. So I, I, I can feel, as I locate the, I can feel the tips of the scissors through my, through the holes. And I know, I'm just trying to hold it to the camera so you can see it as I'm, as I'm doing this. Let me just, you can hear it, that it's very satisfying when you hear that little snip. Right. So you'll see, and then the top one, this is the one that gives you the lovely V, you see, rather than a turret, which is what I was always after. Let me just get my eye in. Right, oh, is that one? Yeah, do you know, I really need to get my eyes tested again. I think the time has come in the not too distant future, eh? And then what happens is, you see, when you cut this area away, let me just pop a little piece of black card underneath so you can see that those beautiful white Pico Vs, don't they look fantastic? Look, 
You see? And that is how we end up, when you go back to this beautiful artwork, you can see exactly how we end up getting round all the way round and then and then producing a masterpiece like this around the outside. That's then layered up on blue parchment and that's how you get that fantastic that fantastic lace work around the edge. Thanks Linda and thank you for watching. That's so beautiful, isn't it? And of course, using the brand new Linda Williams in the garden, the wicker chairs, uh, you can have it. Now you can replicate it. Now it is limited to stock, which means that you need to check out your landscapes as soon as you possibly can, because it means that 90% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, you have got the details on the left-hand side of your screen. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price, and you will be able to pick and choose whichever elements you want from this amazing ruby plate if you want to go come off the page as well if you want to use the frame do you know that kind of checkboard that of course um, Barbara was using that was done using the edge there are so many possibilities using this plate you have a pack full of focal points and little elements in the background you can choose whichever elements you want to look at that with the gold ink in there as well this one by, by Francis and look at that as well how it is done now if you want yours remember it is limited stock it was brand new today do check out your baskets for the item number 272059 is your item number now we have got of course the rose arch which was the previous release of course by linda williams in the garden collection and then we have got of course the uh, beautiful uh, rose arch now then we have got of course the gorgeous arch and the bird feeder as well there and the little box uh one zero Zero six four five three is your item number and ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Then, if you want the lemon tree garden, there you have it—a beautiful scene. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence is the price as well. Three eight four two four three is your item number. But of course, the collection—the collection is the first release from the Linda Williams is in the garden, and it's three quarters of the stock has already gone. Remember, once it's gone, it's gone. Now, these six plates are completely not repeated in any other bundles. This one are six the first six ones from the in the garden by Linda Williams collection remember to become a freedom member before you purchase this item because it's a why not the diff, the, the discount that you are getting by becoming a freedom uh, or being a freedom member is bigger than the monthly uh, membership of a freedom member member now of course you have got the ability to keep that saving yeah, but spread the cost into interest free payments of 26 pounds and 98 pence that's what all you pay today and then you are getting all of course the six plates and then you're paying the 26 pounds and 98 pence in June in in July. Now, if you want to create something like the beautiful uh, seaside uh, scenes in here with, of course, uh, the, the egg chairs as well looking out, and of course, the beautiful. Uh, you know leaves coming down and the time to relax what about the hammock with elements as well the hats in here like the effect of a tree coming on the side and then we have got here the swing of scores and of course the cats that features throughout and serenity joy as well coming through now of course it features four, a six of the a5 plates remember this one was the original collection and once it's gone it's gone now if you wanted to go for it uh, there you have got the details on the screen seven nine eight nine eight one three five is your item number now of course if you wanted to for instance combine it with the brand new we imagine that you want to create maybe a scene in which the hammock is in the background and then you have got the seat in the front as well or maybe one of you is in a deck of chair and the other one is in a proper chair and because some people like to sit more upright and some people like to you know lounge around uh, think about it let me show you the samples because this of course is this is the brand new one so it's just one single a5 plate packed full of different details but look at what i was uh, talking about imagine to build that scene 
isn't that gorgeous? Can you imagine like, something like that? And of course, this is the ability by investing in the whole collection, by creating the brand a new one. By the way, the brand new collection, uh, the full collection is at the bottom. The brand new one is on the left hand side of the screen. Now, whichever way you go for, or if you go for everything, or you maybe previously have got uh, the full collection, you are going to have a lot of fun. Lots of kind of, I find that Ruby is one of parchment is one of these relaxing mindful exercises yes it can take some time if you want to if you want to just transfer that beautiful artwork to parchment then you can you can do simplicity you can bring colors you can bring your designer papers as well and then you can have absolutely joys of a time of joy crafting with parchment and groovy now of course check out your baskets and I'll see you well hi Dennis gonna say I'll see you after the break but no you will see Yanis uh, now paying fresh one day special final call then I'm back with Felton with Frankie and Sydney and then at six Tim Hall's fabric hi I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean we're a small family business that design embroidery kits embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits we're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. This is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. 
Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the final call of our fantastic one day special. And this is what I love about Hochanda, the way we're able to bring you such iconic global brands. So Pink Fresh, uh, a fantastic American brand, and we are so proud that we're able to present fi uh, Pink Fresh products to you here at Hochanda. Uh, we have a very talented woman who's going to be joining us right now. It is the lovely Leah. Hello, Leah. Hi there. Thanks hello. for having now, Leah, I realize you're currently in America. There is a little bit of a delay, so we will work around it. We're going to get through it this hour together. Sounds good. <laughs> sure. Leah, doing the show, you're like a roving reporter in the States. This is in, in the news in the UK. Whenever we see anyone on location, there's always that little bit of a delay, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, tell us a little bit for anyone, and I know we've had uh, lovely uh, one-day special hours already, but anyone who's not familiar with Pink Fresh, can you just tell us a little bit about the brand, please? Yes, so we are a paper crafting company that was started six years ago. We started with just scrapbooking products, but in the past three years, we have ventured into the card making side with stamps, dyes, inks, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. We have a very um, modern and unique design aesthetic that I think you see throughout all of our products. I totally get that, actually, going down and seeing everything you have, and I have watched the previous hours as well. You have a very unique style. I mean, the one-day special is beautiful. I love the attention to detail in the bow that you introduce in there, the stamps. You've got the coordinating dies in there as well. It's such a stunning uh, collaboration, I think, of stamps and dies. Thank you so much. We, I think you guys, we worked together and picked a really amazing one-day special. There is just a little bit of all types of pink fresh in that one day special so you're getting a really great um overview of what pink fresh is all about that is a really good description and it is kind of like a, a best of you've got so many components in there uh, that is the one day special i'm going to get to it in just a moment leah uh, tell us what are we what demonstrations are we going to be doing this hour what can we look forward to okay so the first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to put together a card with the color block series that you have there in a bundle. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the rainbow. So we're going to create that card. And then after that, we are going to create another card with the nested diamonds and phrase builder hello die set. That is another one of the bundles you're featuring. Brilliant. I look forward to it. Uh, Leah, I think we're really going to have a good hour together. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just go down the counter and show everyone what we have on the show. And then we'll get to your first demonstration if that's OK. Sounds great. Good. All right. Thank you, Leah. Uh, right. So Leah is based in the States at the moment. She's very, very talented. So please stick around. If you love your demonstrations, uh, this is the hour for you. So please don't go anywhere. Uh, all right. We're going to focus on the one day special. Now, what you're getting here, if you consider Pink Fresh a fantastic, and I really do mean this, a fantastic American brand. So being able to offer you Pink Fresh uh, products here at Hochanda, it is an absolute honor. Now, you've got to think how much it would cost you to ship stamps or dies from the US to America uh, from the US sorry to the UK and then also you've got import duties and all that other uh, jazz you don't have to worry about that with Hochanda we've covered it for you I do need to point out though because everything is being shipped from the states there is 12 days additional shipping uh, on everything so it's going to be the 15th of June only because it's the time it takes to obviously get it from America to the UK. That is it, So, uh, but well worth it. Let's start with what you're getting with the one-day special. Now, uh, having a look down here, red rubber, 
foam mounted. We've got beautiful background stamp going through there. So there's your background stamp. It has been, Leone's had a play with it. Guys. Uh, your one will be pristine. Uh, it's only we've just had a little bit of play with it. Uh, you've also got your die in there. Now this will work with your stamp. If we just have a look, you can see this beautiful bouquet, uh, floral bouquet. So that die is designed to work with the, uh, the stamp. But also this is a layering stamp. So you're gonna start building up the detail introducing and accentuating the detail within the stamp. You've got sentiments in there as well, but we're not stopping with a one day special because up here uh, you have your bow, so your dies for your bow to create this beautiful, I mean it is a beautiful little bow, and then we have our frames in there as well to create uh, backgrounds, toppers and uh, card blanks. So you've got all of this in one uh, bundle. $34.98, now that is your first flexi payment. So you're getting absolutely everything at a great saving. You're saving 16 pounds. You've got access to two flexi payments as well. Uh, if you don't choose to take advantage of the flexi payments, it's 69.95, 895, your item number. Can I just show a couple of examples? Is that okay? I'm sorry, is that all right? I think it's worth having a little look. So we've got great words. We've got this wonderful floral spray. Uh, background dye is coming up, by the way. Wait for that background dye. It's going to be very busy. Uh, and also, we have these coming up too. Now, this is using the backgrounds using the stamps, that chevron uh, detail. Love like that a lot, actually. Uh, but then, if you see here, we have got these dyes coming up. Uh, they're at the bottom of the screen. Now, I know we featured uh, something similar. They were in squares before. They sold out. Uh, and the circles are proving very popular too. These are your floral circle dyes set of six. Or how about just something very elegant? That's, that is effective. You don't need to do a lot to get great effects. I'll show you one more. There we go. Ah, uh, I love that you're my person. That's, that's a nice sentiment. I love that you're my person. Right, we're going to move on. Uh, so that is the one day special. Do take advantage because we always try and go above and beyond when we bring you one day specials. Now, this is going to be uh, the bundle that Leah's kindly going to be demonstrating this hour, the color blocks. Uh, what you're getting here, your pink fresh color block dye collection and your good vibes awesome stamp set. I'm all about good vibes and I love color. So this is a set worth your consideration. 13 pound saving, 74.95. Uh, we are approaching limited stock for this bundle and you're getting true innovation. Now we're getting some fantastic stamps. What I would say, and this is something that Leah's gonna be demonstrating. So the dies, I wanna draw your attention to this die here. So this one, you look at it and think, okay, so what does it do? Game changer because what you're able to create is weaving backgrounds. So you can weave backgrounds, so you've got the warp and the weft going through. Try different techniques. Uh, you can put larger bits, small, so, I mean, this is all about permutations, because what you could do is say, have one bit, which is this size, and then you can introduce, uh, cut that in half and put the smaller size in uh, as well. So weaving that all down, playing with your backgrounds. That's just one example. You can also create effects with the, oh, I love this. So that arch one, creating, this one we say color. Creating rainbows, maybe a little bit more muted as well, tones, very nice. Or how about, what? Shake a rainbow, we gotta move on. Uh, you have got flexi payments in here as well, so you're getting the dies real innovation dies and you're getting the stamps as well uh, we are approaching limited stock and i think we're going to be after the demonstration it will go limited absolutely uh, so 622410 your item number right now we have a floral die this is an ornate floral die we as the name suggests just a beautiful uh, die that creates such an evocative card look at that Woo -hoo -hoo. see there are some dies where you really don't need to do a lot. 20 pounds and 99 pence, your price, just stick a sentiment on, and it could be any sentiment. If you really want to appreciate, this is a lovely uh, uh, inspiration. Look at this. So our very own Leone uh, made this one. I mean, with the black, you really do, uh, it just allows the design to pop. Or actually, this is nice too. Gone a different way. So it just shows you versatility for £20.99 uh, and also it would play 
with, if I just pick this up, if you do want to add elements from the One Day Special Other Elements, it just creates a beautiful background. 505-312, uh, your item number. We're going to move on. We have the floral circles. Now, we showed those uh, to you just a moment ago. These floral circles, uh, similar to something that we brought in the past, where we had the squares and they sold out. They were so popular. Uh, so if you want to get hold of the floral circles, uh, I mean, thirteen ninety nine, great price. I actually think these are a nice size as well. If you like your artist trading coins, uh, these would be nice to go over artist trading coins. Maybe add a bit of detail. Thirteen ninety nine is your price. Put them together, create your own shapes, mix in other elements from the show today. Zero nine six four five two. Your item number. Uh, now, we have the nested diamonds uh, stamp here. You've also got the dies with the words too. So it is a great bundle. Hello, friend, lovely, bestie, beautiful, handsome, and gorgeous. So you're getting all these, I mean, those you would use with the dies. I really like these because they're a good size too. So I always think for cards, uh, for scrapbooking, for journaling, for home decor, for mixed media, and then you've just got an awesome stamp let me turn this around this is the quality that you get with pink fresh so and I, when we say nested you can see that the stamp it's not a, a, a solid stamp in the sense that you can just use that center bit you can take the center stamp out if you want or you can use it as a whole you've got that versatility because they've all been cut separately uh, in there that is a very very nice stamp foam mounted red rubber exceptional quality and that's something uh, and i know pink fresh have fans internationally uh, so anyone who's ever bought from pink fresh will already know the quality that you get uh, 655 831 your item number two flexi payments as well nice 19 pounds and 99 pence you get the words you get the stamps the words of the dies you also get that fantastic nested uh, stamp in the mix as well okay we're going to move on uh, something we all need to do is believe in ourselves and that is the theme of this set so uh, what you're getting is another really powerful combo beautiful stamps so you get your clear stamps thank you for believing in me oh this is not okay so i'm all about positivity affirmations and if you're going to make something and whether it is a little work of art just adding that sentiment thank you for believing in me and sending someone a card in there now these will be very good for the art journals as well memory books if you wanted i mean it's very versatile but also the uh, multi-layer stamp screams for color have some fun uh, using your color uh, by the way can i just say if you're a fan of color let's say maybe ranger uh, tim holtz i am going somewhere with this we have got at six o'clock we're going to be launching a brand new fab uh, one day special fabric with tim holtz so it's Tim Holtz, if we've never seen it before. That's coming up at 6 with the lovely Natasha who's getting set. So uh, please check out. That's going to be at 6 o'clock. Okay, going to move on. Uh, if you do want to get hold of this, 33.98 your price, saving £5, 492.760 item number. But we have more colour for you. Now, I have to say, these ink pads, fantastic for all the nested uh, or the uh, layering stamps, I should say. So you've got your Pink Fresh Premium Dye Ink Cube. So they are a dye ink. They're absolutely phenomenal. When you see uh, them being used, and I know that they're going to be used in demonstration with Leah, you are going to fall in love with these. Now, one thing I would love to point out is each set, you can go for the sets of four, you can go for the complete collection. We've got, at the moment, detailed sets of four. Do you see how you've got all your tones? So it's effectively a four-tone blend. You've got your dark value, gray, ranging down to your light. So your mid-tones coming through here, and then you've got your light. And that's with all the sets. So that is instant tones coming through on your sets, all done for you. Uh, I have got a little bit of a color board. If you do want to go for the complete collection, look at that prism of color that you're able to achieve but you really get a sense of uh, the color values and it's something actually we were talking with uh, earlier on we we're talking about earlier on with Ada Banji uh, that uh, our sketch artist okay so uh, if you do want to go for those just a reminder you can go for the complete collection there are three flexi payments of 39.96 can we just take a moment and pause and imagine having all of these at your fingertips at home oh and you're saving 24 pounds 
Mm. Or you can just go for the individual sets as well. Something that I cannot wait to see is the very talented Leah in action. Uh, so Leah, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to be uh, looking at the Color Block collection, right? Yep, we sure are. Great. Okay, I'm here. I, okay, I will so be. For... I'm going to be Ooh. watching Leah. Uh, so I will be watching. I'm here with you. So if you ever want to uh, say anything to me, I am. My mic's still live, so I'll chat to you. Okay. All right. Definitely chat with me. I'll explain things as I go. If I get a little quiet, maybe prompt me or something. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing that I, so I'm focusing today on the rainbow die and I need my little tool to poke it out. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was just how great it die cuts. Now I die cut it off screen because I have a Gemini Junior, which is a little loud and I didn't want to put you through that. But this cuts just perfectly and look at how intricate and awesome that is. Now I didn't nice. need a shim of any sort with my die cutting machine, but just dependent on the pressure level of the machine you might have, if you find any type of intricate die that you might be cutting, if you're having problems, add a shim on there and that evens out that pressure and you will be good to go. So I just wanted to first off show you how delicate and intricate and fun these color black dies are. Now, quick tip for you. So I cut these dies out of a lot of different cardstock colors because I, like so many people, love to create things in all of the colors of the rainbow. So a tip, because you do get so many strips, I will actually pull them out and just put them on a piece of washi tape. And I do that on the side of the back side of it so that just in case if the washi tape leaves a little residue, it's not on that nice finished, finished front part with that, you know, beautiful edge that a metal, the only metal dies can give you. So just a quick tip. If you want to keep your strips all together, I recommend just adding a little piece of washi tape to that. So I am, I kind of started a card already because I thought you might get a little bit bored just watching me glue um, strips down. So what I did is I went ahead and I put that white thin out, outlined border just into the corner of my card. And now I'm going through and I'm adding all of the colors of the rainbow to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish adding the rest of the colors into the leftover slots. So one thing that you can do you can with other or excuse me other options that you can do with this die you could also pop these strips up with foam tape in order to give them a little bit more dimension um, to your card you also could temporarily adhere that white thin rainbow or excuse me the white thin border down and then after you have used this as a guide to place all of your layers, you can carefully pull it back up. And then it's like you just have this perfectly placed rainbow that it looks like you did all of this um, tedious strategic work of making sure that all of the pieces are aligned exactly. But little do they know is you actually had a guide and you just removed it. So there's lots of really, really fun ideas with this color blocking die. Leah, has, um, so in the UK, rainbows have taken on uh, a lot of significance, obviously, with everything that's been going on, and a lot of people have been doing designs. Has that been the case in America as well? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Let's just say 2020 has been an interesting year so far, hasn't it? <laughs> it really has, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that for, um, I think that for a lot of people here in the US as well, rainbows are, signify like signify hope and that yeah. there are better days ahead even yeah. though we're kind of stuck in the rainstorm or the thunderstorm yeah. right now and so i definitely think that rainbows have taken on a pretty important meaning these days and it's also something uh, it's never going to date a rainbow you're going to be using obviously they have a lot of significance now but are going to be equally as poignant 10 15 20 years time absolutely yeah, I, these are definitely dies that you will reach for time and time again. Of course, you don't have to use just rainbow colors on them. You can use any type of colors that you want. Um, that's the beauty of these dies. But 
Yes, right now the rainbow is definitely significant in our world, and it's never going to go out of style. <laughs> Do you tend to find, Leah, with Pink Fresh, uh, your designs, the kind of sense that I, I'm gauging is all your designs, they are designs that are universal in the sense they'll work with anything you already have in your stash, but equally work with anything you buy in the future as well. Yes, we, we work really hard to make sure that that is how our products are. Um, you know, crafting is not an inexpensive hobby by any means. So we want to make sure that as you build your collection of Pink Fresh Studio products, you're going to be able to reach for something that we released six months or a yeah. year ago, and it will still work beautifully with something that we just recently released. Lovely. Sorry, I've, I've interrupted your demonstration, so feel free to carry on, Leah. No, that's okay. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to mention is maybe you don't have a um, hundred different shades of cardstock. And that's okay. So if you cut this out of white, you get all of these great white strips, of course, as well. And with that beautiful bundle of inks, we have 48 shades of color. You could swipe those inks on these strips. You could ink blend them. And that's a way to also um, add all color to this rainbow dye and all of the other stripe dyes as well. So I just wanted to mention that. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp my sentiment to the friend. I am using that Hugs and Good Vibes stamp set, but I'm not using the main stamp, the big one. So there are lots of other really great sentiments that are smaller about hugs. And, you know, we have not hugged people in a really long time right now, other than people that live, you know, in our own houses. So this stamp set is definitely very timely right now and since we can't hug people right now, sending a hug is our best bet. And so this stamp set is just full of sentiments about hugs. See, I and miss, I am I miss the hugs, Leah. Oh. I miss the hugs. I know. I, I'm a, are you a hugger? I I'm miss a hugger. The hugs too. <laughs> I can't wait until I can give friends and stuff a nice yeah. big hug again. So I am using the sentiment that says, sending you a big hug. And just like that, you have a super easy card Aww. to create. You could add some sparkle on there with some jewels or some sequins to finish it off. And this one is nice and flat, so it will go through the mail. Super, super easy. But like I said, it's also easy to add dimension just by popping up some of those stripes with foam tape if you wanted it to have a little bit more depth added to it. That is such a lovely card to make. And if you think about this, because I think as a design, I'm just going to show you different, look, depending on the color tones you want to use, you can uh, change the feel of the rainbow. Uh, but changing the se sentiment as well, think how many contexts you can send as a very quick card, but just a lovely little, pretty, uh, it's a pretty card to send somebody, uh, all ages as well. Got a question for you, Leah, and this is, I can't take credit yeah. for this. It's a great idea. I wish I had thought of it. Could you, if you're working on a larger scale, could you cut this out four times and create a circle? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got to so give credit to my producer, Kim, for that. those lines cut perfectly straight, so yeah. you would absolutely be able to make a full circle with it. Lovely. Uh, just to give everyone an update, uh, we are very busy for this option. If you do want to pop it into your basket, uh, uh, now, if you do love your colors, there is a color about to appear on the screen, and it is found in the rainbow. It's green. So uh, we are green on our screen. That means that 10% uh, of the stock remaining for this option, we are talking pink, pink fresh color block dye collection with good vibes, your awesome stamp set as well. The stamps are fantastic. So you're getting your stamps in the mix. I mean, they are absolutely chock-a-block full of beautiful stamps, flourish, filler, worker, feature. So you've got all the stamps you would need there, popping that down. But then you have the dice. Leah, can I just talk to you about the... the I'm just going to hold up now, and I know there is a slight lag, so it's going to take a little while to come through to you. It's only a few seconds. Uh, but it's like the weaving die, the background die, because I would imagine there is so many different permutations, looks and styles we can achieve. Just like if you just want to change the colorway, so go from white to black, monochromatic, it would look striking. Yeah, it sure, sorry, <laughs> it sorry. sure would. You can definitely weave those. You can also take them and just flip one 
the other way. So I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. Okay. But um, and then they would also do a sort of weaving as well. See, weaving dyes, I think, are fantastic. And I haven't seen a weaving dye here at Hochanda for a very, very, very long time. So I'm so glad we're able to offer that as well. Out of interest, Leah, how are you finding listening to the English accent? Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah? You can understand this, okay. Because I've got American friends, and it, sometimes if I had a very strong accent, uh, they struggle a little bit. But you're okay. You can uh, understand me all right. No, I'm doing yeah. great. Good. All right. That's good. <laughs> Just checking in on you. Uh, Leah, you're awesome. I'm really enjoying the demonstrations. Are you having fun? That's the main thing. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I'm having a great time. Good. Uh, we're just going to do a quick recap and then we'll get back to Leah for the next demonstration. Can I take this opportunity though, because we're talking about the fant fantastic American brands that we bring you here at Hochanda, but I want to mention our fantastic audience as well, because wherever you're watching right now, we've got a huge amount of viewers in the UK, obviously, being a UK-based craft channel, uh, but we also have uh, a lot of viewers joining us in Europe, so hello, welcome, uh, and a lot of viewers joining us in America uh, who are actually watching right now. Uh, so wherever you're watching, you're all part of the Hochanda family. Thank you Thank you so much for tuning in for our one day special hour. It is the final call with a fantastic pink fresh. So we have just gone limited for this option to tell you if you do want to go for this option uh, right now is a great time to do it because I can't guarantee uh, that this is going to last the full hour. You have been warned. Uh, actually, Kim, our producer, uh, she's saying it's not limited. Saying it's very, 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 and she even added in a super limited. Uh, so we are, we really are very limited for, and that's the thing. Once something goes limited, it's hard to accentuate that more. Uh, but we have not got a lot of stock remaining. Six two two four one zero item number. You can see why, especially uh, Leah demonstrating. It was such a fantastic demonstration how you can achieve a beautiful card so quickly and easily with Pink Fresh. All right, we're going to move on. We've got our Nate Floral. This is kind of, uh, I think. It's a good, uh, it's a good dye that encapsulates the feel of Pink Fresh because you get such elegant, striking designs. I uh, really like our ornate floral dye here. So uh, okay, it's a beautiful background. We're seeing one example. I mean, isn't that style? so? What I'd be thinking: have some fun. I love how the petals have been paper pieced in uh, and opposed. So just adding that little bit of dimension. Uh, you can see that. Just lifting up, very, very clever. Uh, I'd be all over these with my alcohol markers. Or create your backgrounds. You know what you could do? Create the background already uh, with maybe your explosion powders, your brushos, your rainbow powders, uh, and then die cut, and it's already done for you. Uh, or if you want to go down a different route, if you want to add other elements into the mix, what about that? That's very nice. Or how about, do you know what? I can only describe this as gorgeous. There you go. And we have got the words coming up as well. Beautiful. All right. Uh, oh, do you know what else I haven't even talked about? And shame on me. Freedom price. Hello. Uh, so if you are a Freedom member, 18 pounds and 89 pence. And remember, as a Freedom member, you do not pay a penny for PMP, considering this die is coming all the way uh, from the United States. That is a great price, 18 pounds and 89 pence. Do need to point out, because everything on the show is coming uh, across the pond from the States to us, there is uh, 12 days additional shipping. It will be here on the, well, to be dispatched on the 15th of uh, June. So just let you know. All right, we're going to move on. Something else that has been extremely busy. Uh, these are your floral circles. Take a look at these. I love the fact each one is a little snapshot. It's got its own personality. There's a movement to the floral aspect within. And seeing them in action, this is a really, really nice card. But it's not, I mean, that is not a hard card to make. Isn't that nice? Or what about this? Thirteen ninety nine is your price uh, there. Zero nine six four five two your item number. Okay, we're going to move on. We have more for you. Nested diamonds. I really like this. Now, again, I do think the pink fresh is such a great. I just want to show you something. I think it's really, really clever in their designs because they think everything through. So giving you that aspect that you're able to nest, so it already cut there, so you can lift up uh, just a particular aspect. Uh, let me just show you. So the middle one, everything 
just pops out. So if you just wanted to use that center one, you can. Uh, they're nested, as the name suggests, uh, with your stamp. So you're getting uh, red rubber, foam mounted. You know when you pick up a stamp, you just feel the quality. They are very good quality red rubber stamps. Uh, and then we've got our words. Now, the size of the words are important because if you wanted to put these on a card, they'd be fantastic. They, they're a feature. Uh, but equally, if you wanted to use these on mixed media, if you wanted to use these scrapbooking, journaling, just a really nice size, should we go through the words and just see? You got hello, use that all the time. Friend, lovely, bestie. So if you wanted to give context to something, maybe use it in conjunction with another sentiment you have. Beautiful, handsome, gorgeous. Now imagine receiving a card. Yeah, gorgeous or not, handsome. I like it. I don't often, I don't often get cards with handsome on there. No, China, China agrees. No, no, no. Especially not with my hair looking like this. Uh, six five five eight three one. Your item number there. Uh, two flexi payments of nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. It has hairs. UK, we're really bad talking about one subject. I mean, we always talk about the weather, and now all I say, I seem to talk to everyone about hair because we're all like desperate. To, uh, to, <laughs> to go to hairdresser, really. Uh, okay, gonna move on, I digress. We've got another set for you. This is nice. So this is your Believe in Yourself. I talked about this before. I get a real sense with Pink Fresh as a company, they're an incredibly uh, positive company. And you see that all coming through with the words uh, as well, believe, strong affirmations, you can and you will. Yes, come on, now you would. Imagine just putting that onto uh, a make while others are doubting you can uh, oh you was, I missed it but then you've got the uh, floral aspect now this is a uh, layering die system so what you're going to be doing is layering up building up the colors we have got some phenomenal pink fresh inks they are a dye ink that uh, were engineered to work perfectly with the stamps if you're looking for and the colors are exquisite so if you're looking for the right colors uh, we're going to get to that in one moment 33.98 is your price 492.760 your item number saving five pounds so the inks have to say, Complink inks are busy. Now, let's just pause for a moment and appreciate the kaleidoscope of colors at your fingertips. But what I love, absolutely love about Pink Fresh, now you can go for any of the sets individually, but do you see how Pink Fresh, they've, uh, they've amalgamated all the colors into color families. So if you're going from the orange, it graduates down into the yellows. And then as we go across, We've got deeper orange now. We're getting on to our reds and our pinks, but each set has three tones. So you've got your darker graduating to your mid and to your light. So if you are uh, working with the layering dyes or if you're using to create a sense of depth, it is so powerful to be able to have the same color uh, colors but different values coming through. So being able to really graduate and build up. Play with the tones. So think about what stamps you already have in your collection. If you wanted to go for more earthy, uh, sort of raw, natural tones, we've got our greens for our landscapes, we've got our blues for our seascapes, our skies, uh, we've got our more neutral tones coming through, and then we've got all the brights and the pastels, so for our floral, our flowers, our features uh, coming in. I've got a, uh, just a little color swatch for you. This is just literally all the colors together, and it gives you an appreciation of all the colors that you are getting in the set. We knocked that up very, very quickly just to show you. Uh, okay, so if you do want to go for the complete collection, you are saving 24 pounds. I really understand that 119.88 is a little bit scary in one clump, but how about 39.96? and all of this gets sent out to you, and you're able to spread the cost over three months. So uh, having all the colors that you can need at your fingertips, the complete collection there, 48 ink cubes in total, a dye ink brought to you by Pink Fresh, so you know the quality is exceptional. 190-963, your item number. Uh, right, we got more. Uh, seven Day Savers, just gonna share the Seven Day Savers with you. Uh, seven Day Savers are very, very busy. They launch every week at 8 a.m. in the morning. They're around for seven days, as the name suggests, or while stocks last. Here we're looking at single-sided Oyster Pearl card, 50 sheets in total, saving six pounds, 9.99 your price. Uh, also got some paints for you. Now this is your Loxley acrylic paint. Uh, I have to say, this is really good value. So here's the thing, acrylic paints, we all know the value and the virtue of acrylic paints. You have got 
five tubes, and they are they're generous tubes. Oh, blue's wrong way around. Uh, so we've got our blue, we've got our red, and our yellow. But then you're getting two of the white. Now, the white is the one color, when it comes to acrylic paints, I get through the most. Because I don't know if you uh, do the same at home, uh, but if you see, we have, look, Leone, uh, I know we've got Indigo Blue, so Kay and Julia are going to be demonstrating tomorrow as well. A lot of, and I've seen Kay do this, and Leone, and so many crafters, just bringing uh, life to the eyes with a little bit of white. Or do you use white to highlight? But also, the white can be used to uh, play with the tones of the yellows, the red, and the blue as well. So it's very valuable, and that's why you're getting two lots. All five of those for $9.99, and look at the saving, £11.31, and and that is why we all love uh, the seven-day savers. Very quickly, we're just going to give you a reminder of our fabulous one-day special. It's proved extremely popular throughout the duration. Uh, if you do want to pop it into your baskets, uh, apologies, our graphics are just being a bit cheeky. We'll get them on in a second. So we've got our uh, red rubber stamp, wonderful chevron red rubber stamp going through. Now that is also nested, so like the diamond which I saw earlier on, each one of these components separate uh, levels there, so you can break that up. You're getting your die. Now this is really clever because the die is designed to work specifically with the stamp set. And we have got the stamp set here as well. So there's the stamps, that wonderful floral spray. And what that does, it cuts out, and if I just drop this in, you can have a little look just cuts that out. But also, we get the bow set in there as well. So we get the dies that allow you to make bows uh, coming through in banners. So you're getting that in the mix too. So you're able to make your bows. Uh, I have to say, one day special is busy and you're also getting your other nested uh, die set in there. So we're getting dies, we're getting stamps, uh, we're getting red rubber, we're getting clear, but ultimately it's the possibilities as well. And have a look at that for a flexi payment. So $34.98, saving £16. Uh, we are going to get to our next demonstration with the lovely Leah. Uh, Leah, what are we going to be doing next? Okay, so next we are going to be um, using the nested diamond stamp set. Lovely. I gave myself a little bit of a head start because I'm a, I'm a little bit of a slow stamper. That's so, okay. um, But you'll get to see the concept of it. But um, as you've already mentioned, this is we call these pop-out backgrounds. Yeah. And what that means is every single piece is separate. Mm -hmm. And this just gives you a lot of versatility. It makes it so that you can very easily create multicolor backgrounds. You can combine the stamping and heat embossing, so you can add a pop of shine or shimmer in there. You can selectively stamp just a couple. Maybe you wanted to just have a couple diamonds or a couple chevrons. It just gives you so, so many yeah. possibilities for creating with these, and that is as I mentioned, a big deal to Pink Fresh. We want things to be innovative, we want them to be versatile, and we want them to be something that you'll reach for time and time again. So I, get, I am yeah, doing I get, the nest of diamonds in a, in a rainbow color. I was going to say, Leah, I sorry, I, I'm, interrupt, sorry. <laughs> I'm interrupting you. I was going to say, I get a real sense of the innovation when you, because with stamp sets, I've seen nest of dyes, but I don't think I've ever really seen a nested background and being able to have it sort of modular. So we talk about versatility when you're investing in something. This is a set you're constantly going to be discovering new ways to use it. Absolutely. And like I mentioned, that is super important to us. And, and we do think that we are one of the first people that have come up with the, this concept with um, nesting those those dyes in there. Okay. Now, I wanted to mention why we chose to do red rubber for our backgrounds instead of clear. Um, the reason for that is just um, you get, it's just easier to get a really beautiful stamp impression that first time. You don't really have to stamp it over and over and over again. And that's something that was really important to us. We wanted you to make, we wanted backgrounds to be easy for you and, um, you know, to get that impression the first time. So that is why we chose red rubber, just because of how high quality it is. Could you just tell us a little bit about the dye inks? Because I know we've got that complete collection. So uh, the, other, the just, inks that you're using, I would imagine, is that just bigger pads of the dye ink that we feature on the show? Yeah, these I'm just using, they're the same exact colors and the ink formulas. Yeah. I'm just using the bigger pads for time purposes. That's okay. Um, just so that I can um, get, the, get the stamps inked up a little bit quicker. Nice. And now our dye inks are 
um, they're premium dye inks, and we spent a lot of time working on the color formulas to make sure that the four colors within each color family blended and um, layered together seamlessly. And we just, they're super high quality. You, after they dry, so one of the um, properties of dye ink is that it's actually trying to dye your paper. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when you put, when you first stamp it down, you might think it looks a little splotchy. And what I've actually found with ours is our ink pads are really nice and juicy. And so I feel like even with that initial scan impression, they already look really, really great and you get really great coverage. But as that ink seeps into your cardstock, the finish is just smooth and creamy. I can't think of a better word for it. Um, we just, we're, we're super proud of how these inks turned out. We think that um, your viewers and everyone is going to love them once they have them in their collection. So I had a little go with them, Leah, and I have to say they are very, very good inks. But for me, what I really loved is how you've uh, you put all, you say you've put the color and graduated down through. So we got all the tones in each collection. So you've got the darker, the mid and the light. And I think that is such a good thing to do. Thank you. And that was that was a really important aspect of the inks because we wanted to make sure when you were using a stamp set like the stamp set that is in the one day special or the believe in yourself, which is the standalone bundle. um, When you're layering those pieces together, we wanted to make sure that they would look seamless, that they would look like they were almost real. Nice. So that was really important. I'm um, stamping the final layer here, and yep. then I can pull it up and show you okay. how fun and exciting this panel turned out. I think I, I, it seems I had a little bit of a rainbow inspiration for my demos today. I went all rainbow on you well, guys. It's all about color. All about color. All right. Perfect. So as you can see, I've got all of the pieces to that nested diamond die here. And then what I'll do, when I'll just flip it over onto its packaging and put it away and reassemble it when it's time to put it back away. Uh But let's take a look at their big reveal of how How simple and how easy and simple is that? Leah, that looks awesome. It really does. Thank you. There we're able to appreciate just having those uh, different color tones coming through and how effective you can use, sort of effectively creating that visual ombre uh, going across your work if you wanted. Definitely. So uh, let me show you another card that I I had started creating the last hour I was on and just didn't quite get finished creating it. Now this is using the chevron Mm -hmm. and just some of our Oh, I like that. But you just get that beautiful gradation. I left out... Um, the center, Mm -hmm. this big center one, and just added that great handsome word. So So it's it's effectively with the stamps, the background stamps, they're a modular system. So you could, if you wanted, use the stamp as a whole, no problem whatsoever. But equally, if you do take out, say, a level or a layer of detail, you're going to be building up your own shapes. You definitely are. Yeah. Nice. It's very cool. All right, I'm going to put together a quick card okay. real quick with the same background, like just that. pulling off some foam tape layers here. Yeah. So this one, because I wanted to get at least a little bit of each color, I'm mm-hmm. making this one a square card, and you only get a little bit of the red, but you can still see it. So okay. it's nice that it's there. I get the and sense. And I am just going to put that down. I get the sense that, that you guys have a lot of fun uh, developing all your goodies at Pink Fresh. We do. Yeah, good. <laughs> it show. It really does show. One. As a presenter, you get you get a feel for a brand, and as we've gone down and seen all the designs, you, you really do get a sense that you've had a lot of fun developing these. We sure have. So uh, this sentiment, the sentiment that I have for this card, also comes from that phrase builder hello die set that yeah. is bundled with the nested diamonds. Mm-hmm. So let me get that this put onto my card, and I'll show it to you because it's so fun. Okay. Um. These are really versatile scripted words. I think that people will love having them in their stash. And the great thing about it is you can pair it with other sentiments that you have 
um, in Pinkfresh stamps that you've purchased or really anything. So they're good building, they're good building blocks to have. Yeah. Okay. Right. Get this last one on here real quick. Nice. What time is it where you are now, Leah? It is um, 10.45 a.m. It looks very bright outside. I found myself peeping out your window, and it looks it looks very nice. Oh, good. Yeah. It's a little cloudy, but it is. it looks pretty nice out oh, today. Okay, good, good. good. <laughs> let's have a look at the card. All right, let's take a look. So that is in some, oh. like, gold sparkle, kind of champagne-colored glitter paper. What a nice... And with the demonstrations today, Leah, you've really shown how you can achieve something that looks fantastic, whatever level of craft you are. So whether you've just started your crafting journey, because I'm really conscious of the fact here at Ochanda, we've got so many different uh, levels of crafters who are part of our family. But equally, if you're a uh, more advanced crafter, you can take them to the next level. But it's the quickness and ease of being able to produce such fabulous cards. It definitely is. Um, we pride ourselves on, on creating products that people of any crafting level will love. So whether you're a beginner or you've been doing it for years and years like me, um, you, I, we think that you will love reaching for this product time and again. I just wanted to show another Please another do. version of that card yeah, for that I had done. So all oh. I did was it's the same background, and I just cut it down the middle and then turned it around and that made it an X instead of diamonds. That's nice. I love it. So it's, it's all about getting maximum value out of the set. And this is another thing I think where you've been so clever with the innovation of uh, separating your backgrounds and nesting those background stamps because if it was just a solid background, that's it. That's your background. You're kind of limited to it. But by being able to uh, turn it around and play around with it. Do you know what it kind of reminds me a little bit of, Leah? Block making with quilting because you're kind of turning things around designs and discovering new ways to use it. Definitely, I agree. Hmm. So, um, you know, if, if this had been just one solid block, you certainly could mask it with yeah. tape, but that gets to be a little tedious and a little wasteful of tape. And so we just love the versatile aspect of having all of those pieces separate. And I think it just makes it easier for the crafter. It makes it quicker and more timely. Um, and you can just bust out backgrounds left and right with all of the pieces cut, to, cut apart and all of the ink colors that we offer. Brilliant. Uh, Leah, would it be okay if I just, uh, we got some news on the bundle. So if we just had a quick recap and then got back to you, is that okay? Oh, that's totally fine. Yeah. All right, thank you. Leah's lovely. I have to say, I absolutely love Leah. Uh, now, we have some big news. The last time uh, we gave you a little update on our color block bundle, we called limited stock. Uh, it's no longer limited. It is now a technical sellout. That means all our stock is either sold or in your basket. Uh, if it is in your basket, please, please make sure to check out. Uh, I guarantee as a set, you will not regret it as an investment because you're going to be able to achieve the most beautiful results there you've got the uh, rainbow in there. Or oh, what about being able to weave your own backgrounds? Now, this is something that Leone started. So you're able to do this with uh, one of the dies in the set. Now, this die alone, you are going to have hours and hours of fun discovering different ways uh, and different designs and looks to get out of it. So uh, being able to weave your own backgrounds, fantastic. 20 pounds and 99 pence if you just want to go uh, for the block uh, strips die by itself. So you can still get this uh, die by itself. Uh, and that is, and I'm right in saying that that is the details for uh, this die. Do, do, yeah, it is, okay. Uh, 522 466 item number. Unfortunately, the big bundle though, that has sold out, but you can still get the dies individually. Do have a look on our website. So the one day special, you can see it over here. Uh, been extremely busy for our one day special today. And uh, Hochanda, uh, there was a, um, a feature on our website. It's called Presenters Corner. Do check it out. So uh, periodically what they do is they have a sit down with the presenter and ask us questions. And one of the questions I got asked is, what do you love about being a presenter at Hochanda? And for me, it is such an exciting place to work because what other job? You just 
go, go to work and you get to have such variety, brilliant brands. So today we're offering you one day special Pink Fresh, a fantastic American brand coming through. And that's what we enjoy is being able to do all the hard work for you, source all these extremely uh, talented brands, bring them here at Hochanda and then offer them to you. Uh, one day special, having a little look, uh, you've got a lot going on here. So uh, with the one day special, this is kind of like the core in the sense that you are getting uh, the layering stamps which work beautifully with the inks. So the inks that we have, whether you just want to get a set of one or the complete collection, fantastic. You've got all your sentiments in there as well. Uh, hope is the only thing stronger than fear. So really nice, really nice words. And that's something that Pink Fresh like to do. It's kind of like a, a signature is the sort of positivity. You get your flowers. Now, the importance of the flowers, they match with the floral spray that you're going to be layering up there. And if I just show you, that is the effect. So because something like that, fussy cutting it, OK, you, mm, no, you probably wouldn't do it. If you did, it would take you time. You, you wouldn't be that accurate. Uh, but you've got the dye to cut these out. And look at the, how you layer them up using the inks, by the way, from uh, the collection that we have on the show. And within the uh, One Day Special, you're also getting the dye to do the bow. If I just show you the bow, actually. So here you can see uh, you're getting all the dyes to do the bow. Going through. Beautiful. Then we've got, now these are a nice set. So uh, these allow you to create your um, toppers. Different designs. And then... We've got here, just showing you how you'd be using that die. Okay, right. Uh, actually, we're going to go to Leah, and uh, I think we're going to have a look at a few more samples because uh, she's going to be showing you. Yeah, this is great. So, Leah, what, what other samples would you like to share with us? Sure. So, let's take a look at a couple of samples that I used for with the One Day Special. Um, they're actually technically the same exact card, just in different colors. So. Oh, nice. This one is, oops, yeah, this one is a little bit more muted. It's got grays and, and aquas. And then this one is super bold, perfect for spring and summer, and just super, super fun. You can do so many different cards uh -huh. with that one day special. special. Like I mentioned, it is, um, it is kind of the epitome of pink fresh in a yeah. bundle. It's nice because you really get a sense of that. I was talking about the words and... I, I kind of associate with Pink Fresh positivity, and you, you know you put that through your words. Well, we'd love to see. What was the other example you're about to show us, Leah? Oh, so this is using the Believe in Yourself stamp set, and then the stripe on the side was used just with that chevron uh -huh. background stamp. It's in the One Day Special. Nice. This one says, Believe in Yourself, and you will be unstoppable. And you were correct. So when we think of sentiments and sayings that we include in our stamp sets and our paper collections as well, um, they're always encouraging, unique, heartfelt. Um, when we're creating stamps, we have, of course, card makers at the forefront of the mind, but we also have memory keepers in our mind, too, because we want things to be versatile and we want them to work for all paper crafters. Yeah. What would you say, what's, uh, what's very big in, in the States at the moment with regard to crafting? So memory keeping is obviously uh, very big in America and getting big here too. So are there any other aspects of crafting you say are really popular in the States at the moment? Um, I think that um, like documenting daily life, like um, project life type books and yeah. journaling, like notebook spreads are pretty big in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always say, and we're so proud to be able to offer Pink Fresh uh, stamps to, uh, to everyone at home. We are busy for the one-day special. We're busy for everything else. Very quickly, can I just talk to you about the, because uh, we've just got a couple more minutes left, the ink. I mean, it is such a good ink, and I just really want to get that across to everyone at home, because I know there are a lot of inks on the market, but you guys have done such a good job bringing us the colors, the tones, and the quality of the ink as well. I know you described it as a premium ink, but it really is a premium, premium set. Thank you so much. Yes, we were, um, it took us a year to perfect and approve both the ink formula and all of the colors because we really just wanted to make sure that we got it right and that the ink would stamp beautifully every single time for every level of crafter out there from yeah. beginner to intermediate to expert. 
and we have got the complete collection. What I would say, and I understand, look, £119 is a considered purchase, but the fact you're able to spread it over three, three months, and it's, to me, the real joy of going for the complete collection is you have got all the colours at your fingertips. So they're all there, you're able to, uh, literally, when, you, when you're building up, and especially with the layering dyes, it's having all those tones within the colour families as well. Absolutely. So um, with the colors, one thing to mention about buying that big bundle, and I, I, I know this because I've been listening to the host each hour that I've done this, is when you buy the bundle, you actually get two of the sets for free, basically, yeah. from yeah. individually priced. So that is really amazing savings. Yeah. And with all, because there are 48 colors that we offer in our inks, and you literally have, you basically you're not missing a color. Right. If there is a color you want to stamp with, with our set of inks, you have it. You've got the complete collection. <laughs> you are saving 24 pounds. So as Leah quite yeah. rightly said, you are going to be getting two of the uh, sets for free, effectively within that bundle. Can I say a huge thank you to uh, the lovely Leah. Leah, thank you so much. And I hope I get to work with you again soon. I loved your demonstrations. Thank you so much. I hope I get to work with you guys again in the near yeah, future as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so that was Pink Fresh. Unfortunately, time has beaten us, but what a pleasure it was to spend quality time with Leah. Uh, do make sure to check out your baskets. It has been a really popular uh, final call for our one-day special. More coming up. Oh, it's going to be a good hour. We are felting with Frankie and Sydney. Don't miss out. The characters, I love the donkey uh, you're going to see. Also, uh, we've got the launch of our brand new one day special, Tim Holtz Fabric. Do not miss it. And then it's Thrifty Thursday. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic45. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. 
Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy, And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Well, good afternoon. Now, we have got an amazing hour ahead of us because well, I'm so excited because it's the first time that I get to do one of Frankie and Sydney shows. And I always, when I, they were always in the studio, I will pass by and they caught my eye because it's texture, it's color, it's cute, it's 3D, it's flat, it's, it's, it's everything that you want into something that you are going to have fun creating and then be extremely proud to display or give as a gift. Now we have got Mandy, of course. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Paula. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to be here. It's, it's lovely to have you here in the studio. Of course, here at Hachanda, we are keeping all the government guidelines to have that social distancing here. Now, now, I have to ask the brand new beach house. Now, Mandy, what was the inspiration behind this one? I, I designed that back in February um, because we were looking forward to going away. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but um, as the months have gone on and the product's been developed, it it's a real lovely summer project. It is. Yeah. And I actually think, let's show you what you are going to get. Of course, you are getting the printed canvas. Is it a canvas? Way? It is, yeah. And then, of course, you are going to show this is the canvas. Uh, you are getting, of course, the felt. It's wool, wool. How you call it exactly? Honey? It's merino wool. Okay. Um, all the colours are in there that you're going to need to create the, uh, the image. I'm going to be doing a demonstration shortly. Uh, to show you how it works and the different ways that you can display it. Yeah. Now, do we get everything we need in the kit? Absolutely everything in there. You get, you get the hoop, the, the pre-printed fabric, the needles, um, all of the coloured wools and um, the instructions of the order in which to compile Perfect. the picture. Absolutely fabulous. Now, for nineteen pounds or ninety-nine pence, you are getting everything here. Four seven eight eight seven three is your item number. Brand new today, of course. And what I love is remember that is merino wool. Now, I believe that the merino wool is the best one for felting. It's very, it's very fine, but the colours are beautiful as well. Okay, yeah, it works really well. They are beautiful. Now, if you want yours, remember to check out those baskets for this item. The details are on the screen. Uh, now. We have got another brand new item today, but very different from that seaside. Then we have got, look at that, isn't that cute? See? This is Alfie Alpaca. Look, I mean, it is both so whimsical and realistic at the same time. Look at that. It's just, uh, they have got characters. We are on TV? No, 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 we are not in TV. I mean, they have got so much personality. Oh, what's that? Is that a camera? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, my hair, my hair looks a little bit, yeah, this, uh, let's, let's put my ears, am I all right, do I look all right, is that a profile better? <laughs> Sorry, I just like, I You're just having far too them. much fun. <laughs> 
Now, of course, can you tell us exactly what do we get here, Mandy? The uh, Alpha Alpaca kit uh, creates two alpacas, the ones that you've got on display yeah. there. But we've got a special offer on today where we've got a pack of embellishments and different ah. coloured wools that we're giving away free of charge with each alpaca kit. And I'm going to be uh, demonstrating later what that looks like. If you, if you make the Alfie alpaca and his friend, yeah. then you can add the coloured wool and the beads and the sequins ah. uh, and make... Uh, make them really unique. So you could make a hat, a scarf, yes. maybe a little, you know, something element, a blank head maybe. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. And, and now, can you tell us exactly what do we use uh, the blue sponge for? The needle felting needles that are included in the kit are very sharp and you need a surface that you can felt into to protect the needles and to protect any surface that you're working on. And so each kit comes with foam block so that um, you, can create the, you can create the models. Of course, that makes, and I, that depth accounts for that deep depth. Yeah. Now, uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. I, ha I have to say, I just in lo love with them. Now, this is Alf. Now, are they both called Alfie or uh, is Alfie and... You can call him whatever you want, Paul. <gasps> oh, Alfred. <laughs> Alfie and Alfred? No, um... Alan, Alan, yeah, Alan, no, no, let's, let's have a name, well, email us in at studio at hochanda.com, and you know what, I will, I will choose the way winner, <laughs> or Mandy will, I don't know, whichever way, uh, well, it could be Lionel, yeah, that could be a you know, suggestion, uh, for, uh, could be Benjamin, uh, it could be uh, maybe Sharna, you never know, 439428 <laughs> is your item number, 19 pounds and 99 pence, and of course it has got a 10 pound savings, and don't remember, don't forget that it has got the gorgeous color one to create accessories. Now, oh, I love this one. Well, I love them all. I don't know. Uh, this one is the B, B and Peony Needle Felting Arcade. Now, this one also comes with the hoop, the embroidery hood, hoop, so you can, of course, display it straight away as well. Now, it comes in with a printed panel. This is cotton printed into a quilting yes, weight. With a, it's got a blue background, uh, which makes the colors stand out really, really well. It does. I love that. And, of course, you finish off with a little bit of kind of embroidery detail or, or is it just felting? It's, but it's needle felting. Um, oh. That particular kit has uh, glass bead embellishments yeah. that are included in the kit uh, where the little flower garden is yeah. so you get a little bit of extra sparkle. Oh it's gorgeous. I, it's amazing that detail. I, so that's another technique to do the fine black lines. Yes, yes it is. Oh yes. gorgeous, amazing. It's, it looks very effective. It does. Yeah. It does. It's up. And also, I love these projects because they are more two-dimensional, but yet it has got some relief to it. You yes, know, it has. It is beautiful. 280002 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. That is cool. The Highland Cow. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just such a realistic one. And again, it has got that personality. I just woke up you know this hair you know i need a haircut like all of us but you know and look <laughs> let's oh look at that oh i love that him it's just so cute uh is him it's, it's, it's a cow right so it should be a she right because he's a cow it could be either oh it could be either or a bull could be yeah, yeah. uh right so we have got of course the uh oh, the horns as well yeah they're handmade from uh polymer clay oh. and so is the nose i hand make all the components um, and it comes with the adhesive oh. and the sewing kit and glass eyes and the wire uh, for the legs is already pre-cut so it's already in the pack ready to go you don't need to look for anything else that is fabulous so imagine handmade embellishments handmade by Amanda herself I love the idea that almost ev you know like everything that you are going to make in here not only you have made but you have a piece of Amanda's uh, handicrafts as well 177102 is your item number 19 pounds and 99 pence now if you like the Highland cow but you like color and you like rainbow we have a funky cow here I mean it's just like proper colorful one uh, I think let's just say this is me this is Leone you know what? It's just like that, you know. Not that we are, I'm calling both Leon and myself cows, but you know, it's like, oops, oops. 
Mind you having a laugh. Thank goodness you see it's the funny side. Uh, but you can see this is a custom Marie cow and a kind of sort of hippie cow. I just love it. I just think it's just colorful and it's cool and it's a bit different. And of course you have got the colors in here and you get again the same elements handmade the horns you get the same elements we we launched uh, the rainbow kit back in february as a limited edition but people absolutely love it i just love it i just think it's something it's one of those things that you have at home and everybody will comment on it it's like how did where did you get it first of all uh, and then it's like you made it oh wow I mean how did you make it and you know it's just I think it's stunning and I love again is merino wool it's merino wool it was inspired by the Stephen Brown uh, cow portraits ah. uh, and uh, they emailed me and said they thought they looked absolutely fabulous so oh. that was a that was a really nice touch from them oh uh, yeah and I, the, the, I love the face because this one is a little bit like do you really love me <laughs> Right, anyway, 004 uh, 4514 is your item number for 19 pounds and 99 pence. Right, oh, we have got Perry, Harry, oh, Harry, the tooth, the tooth, Harry. Now, that is like, I mean, I know I'm Spanish and all, but this is difficult to pronounce. Harry, the tooth of Harry. Okay. Now, that is fabulous. Look, can I show her profile? I mean, it's just like, it's the most look at that little pocket well is that for the tooth that's for the tooth and then you get the coin the next yes you do there's a story inside on the instructions to tell you what harry decides to do with the teeth oh. it's, it's a bit of a surprise yeah, so, uh, yeah but also I, I think that would be you know what i think would be really really cool for if you have got a little bit of an, um, you know jewelry that you take off at night and you kind of want to hide it but not you know not that's a really good idea then just put it in there i just think it's something a bit different yes it is yeah yeah i just think uh, oh, oh i love it uh nine four three uh, one four one is your item number 19 pounds and 99 pence i'm having so much fun with all this yeah <laughs> just fabulous fabulous oh this is this has to be one of my favorite oh uh, this is the oh, the puffin but pebbles pebbles the puffin oh look at that and it has got a fish what what was the inspiration behind this one i just love the colors of a puffin uh, and I decided to run a competition on Facebook to name it and we had over 600 names suggested wow. <laughs> it was amazing and the lady who actually chose the name we did put it in a hat at the end because there was there were a lot of people suggested pe pebbles and we drew her name out and then she had the name her name put on the kit Oh, that's Which good. is a lovely touch for her. Yeah, it is, of course. So pebbles it is, and it's a gorgeous pebbles puffin. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And look at that. So you get, of course, everything that you need to create it. Everything's in the, everything's in the kit. Including the, the bead for the eyes? It is. It's a little black bead. It looks like it's black and orange, but it's not. Oh, I look at that. I it's the different coloured wools that make it appear now, that it's black and orange. Now, can we have a look as well as the instructions? Because every kit comes with instructions, doesn't it? But yes. they are not just instructions. They are detailed, step-by-step -step photographic instructions as well as the written form. So I do think that that is essential. And I think when I saw that, I was like, yes, because I wouldn't know where to start. So that would make me feel much more comfortable. 017980 is your item number. 29 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, we have got Dinky Donkey. Look, oh, look at him. He's in the. Again, you think that they're going to start speaking? You know, because it's just like they are so cute. I mean, what is he going to say? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at the smile. He's, he's a friendly donkey. It's just gorgeous. And of course, you are getting everything you need, including those instructions. A 502313 is your item number. Uh, and he's quite tall. Uh, Baron is t about 20 centimeters, a little bit less than 20 centimeters, I would say. But it's, it is a nice size. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your uh, price and there now of course you imagine to create those different characters and you can of course you can name it however you want once you make them but this is quite a special this is Frankie and Sydney and of course this is the characters and that story you know I was looking at you through your website and you tell the story <laughs> about these characters and they are fabulous thank you now can you tell us a little bit what you wanted to create with this kid 
I wanted to create two models that could be posed independently. As you see, I think we've got three sets of models there mm -hmm. uh, posed in different, in different ways. You can have so much fun with them because both the arms and the legs are, are semi-posable. Oh. And um, they're just so much fun. And I chose two names that could either be male or female. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, people do post back to our website and Facebook to say where their models have been uh, because the idea between Frankie and Sydney is that they go off on an adventure so if we yeah. go anywhere often we'll take photos oh. uh, we recently went to Hong Kong and we took them with us Wow! <laughs> and, uh, and sent photos back to, to the site oh, that's just, fabulous of yeah. course, I don't you... know what people thought <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, well, that you were crafters. Uh, now, of course, if you want to get make your own Frankie and Sydney, your item number is 586-960 and, of course, 19 pounds and 99 pence. And now, without further ado, let's have a look at what uh, Mandy has got to show us. Well, for today's show, we've brought the Beach House 2D felting kit. Uh, and as, as we've shown earlier, um, the kit comes with the hoop the embroidery hoop and the pre-printed fabric uh, this is a really really tough fabric and it withstands the needles uh, being prodded into the surface now it's um, you end up with a 2d felted picture yeah. the kit comes with a really detailed photograph on the front of the yeah. kit so mm -hmm. you know where to put the various colors on your on your piece of um, yeah, the canvas, canvas. On the piece of canvas. Yeah. And you can work within just one, just one of the hoops so that you end up with a circle uh, to display your finished piece. Or what you can do, you can move the hoop around and extend the picture. And I'm going to oh, show you a little later what it looks like yeah. once you've extended it and you mount okay. it. The, the kit comes with the hoop. It doesn't come with the frame. But it's a real, this is a really easy way to display it. Now, each of the kits comes with um, the wool, different coloured wools, and an instruction leaflet that will explain exactly where to put the wool. And so, what, you, what you'd need to do is to just you take off small amounts at a time, and you lay it onto the picture so there's no needles to thread. Of course. There are, there's yeah. no counting, no threads to count. Um, and you literally lay it onto the canvas, and you start just by you pick your hoop up ever so slightly and you prod into the surface of the canvas and the wool sticks through that's quick it does it's it's a it is quite a quick process um and it's quite i find it quite therapeutic yeah <laughs> it makes a lovely sound as you're doing it yeah i think if, if also if you know like the frustrations of the day i mean they go away <laughs> you know. now are you using them um, underneath it you have got like a, a towel is there a household towel yeah you can pick this up and work without yeah but um i tend to just put a bath towel down or something just to protect your needle yes. you don't need the foam yeah. like you do in the other kits uh, because you can actually hold this independently mm -hmm. um, you just tilt it to one side and very quickly you can see I'm just doing a, a bit of the sandy beach uh, yeah and that is just coming up really quickly now the more that we do it the more secure will it be or it will you can see on the reverse side the little threads that yeah. have come through and that's what secures it in place Okay. And so you would just build it up, a very, very thin layer, but um, it does create a slightly 3D effect. Yeah. Um, so you've got that bit of a texture going on. Oh. And uh, so I've just put a little bit of the beach colour in. Yeah. Just follow the pre-printed fabric. So you just gently tease it into the lines, right? You press it into, you press it into the lines, into the fabric, just in a downward motion. Like I said, there's no needles to thread yeah. until you get a smooth finish. Um, oh. If you were doing this little uh, detail at the top, uh, this bunting, yeah. what you would do is tear off a little tiny piece and you just felt into that little printed area. It's a little bit like painting by numbers. It is. 
But, but there are no numbers. It's painted, well, it's painting by lines, but with, yeah. uh, it feels like you are using candy floss. <laughs> because yeah. it's so soft and so beautiful. And a, a very small amount of wool has quite a big impact on yeah. building up the picture. Definitely. But that's also because the colours you have chosen and the quality of the merino wool is really shows shows the colour. The, the co I love the colours for this. Like I said, it, it's a real summer image. Okay. Um, beach houses. Um, a real, it's got a real summer theme to it. Yeah. And even if, well, I mean, maybe... Yes. I mean, we can go a little bit to, to the, the seaside if we are near enough, uh, close enough. But, uh, you know, also if you are not able to go, then it's, it's nice to bring a little bit of that to your house and to your crafting by going and, you know, creating your own yeah. summer scene. It is. So you can see very quickly I've put two small little flags on and some of the sand. And um, when this would be completely finished in the embroidery hoop, what you can do is fold the fabric back and display that how it is. Yeah. But what you can also do, and this is this, this is the same sized project, you may decide that you want to mount it into a frame okay. with um, yeah. some mounting board. This one's under glass. Yes. Um, but you can still see some of the relief on it through the glass. Mm -hmm. I've done another one with the B&P in one that was shown yeah. earlier. And this one's not glazed because you can you, you could mount them in a frame unglazed. Yeah. Yeah. So you can still, you can actually feel the detail. And, and it's, it's a bit of an optical illusion, I think, because the size of the hoop and the fabric don't look as big as what the final picture does. And what I've done is moved the hoop around so that I could fill a greater area. So, so basically we get everything in the kit that uh, we could do the frame version as well? Ab absolutely yeah. everything, well, yes. We could do either the embroidery hoop or yeah. a larger It's frame. the same size, there's enough wool to fill the entire canvas, so if you choose to mount it in a frame, there's sufficient materials to do that. Okay absolutely brilliant because that gives you that flexibility you don't have to decide to go for a larger one or a smaller one you have got the possibility once you get it home to make sure that you find you want to you want to mount it into the embroidery hoop or just keep it uh, in a frame yes how oh, this yeah. so of course you can see it here this is the finished result that well you, if you kept going uh, you would achieve yourself now i think it's also very good for a, a beginner's kit as well wouldn't it Super easy for a beginner. As you, as you can see, um, the, the instructions are very limited because once you, once you know the sequence of what colour to put in first, the, the picture very quickly builds up itself. It, it does. Yes, yeah, super easy kit. Now, how long would it take to finish this piece, more or less? Um, I would say about four hours, four hours. If you're for a complete beginner. Complete beginner. So that yes. could be an afternoon. It could be maybe on a weekend project. Yes, a couple it could. of hours here and there. And of course, the good things of felting is that you can bring it back. Like you can do a little bit today and then a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, you'll not lose where you are because it's, it's just what felting. you put in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, that makes it so easy. Yeah, the dry felting has got that amazing. You know, not not time a schedule in in it. Uh, if you want to get, and it also makes a lovely gift. Whether it's the kit itself or the finished piece, it's it is a lovely, lovely uh, present as well. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Brand new today. Four seven eight eight seven three is your item number. Also brand new, of course. Alfie the alpaca, and we still haven't got a name for his pal. Oh well, we need to. Well, we had uh, Alfred. We had got a uh, Lionel. Uh, we have got uh, Alan. Uh, Natasha. Which one would be the name for uh, one of the alpacas? Well, we are gonna. Oh, I am without the name. Oh, yeah, Andre. Andre, Andre the alpaca, Andre the alpaca. Well, whichever names you will have in this kit, you will get enough to make two of them. And of course, you will have Alfie and his uh, his friend in here. I mean, it's just like they look like. Oh, we are still on TV. Oh, oh, are we shy or are we kind of? Oh, I'm fascinated. Oh. There is a lady there preparing something. What is she doing? Uh, now, of course. Um, now it. Oh, that's a good one. Alpacacino. Alpacacino. 
Oh, yeah, bag of chips. Full marks there. That's a good one. Uh, our producer is that one. Uh, now, of course, you are getting enough in here to make, of course, Alfie and. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say it. Uh, no, uh, and then we have got, uh, of course, in also we have got that included that it makes it. No, so you're not paying for that extra uh, colors. And these ones are the ones that you can, if you feel confident, to give them maybe a little hat, a little blanket, a little, little scarf. And we are going to see what Mandy, because Mandy has customized, uh, you know, her uh, our packets. Now, if you want to see that, uh, what well, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for them. Uh, now, 439-428 is your item number. Now, Mandy, you have got one without the le little legs. Yeah, we've got one of the alpacas, um, oh. one of the two that you can make with the kit. And as, lo as lovely as they are plain, what you can do is really go to town and make them really unique. So we've got a little resource pack with coloured wools and we've got beads and sequins there will be a little sewing kit in there yeah. as well so you if you can't find any sewing materials yeah. we've got those in the pack as well so i made several different versions um, just by adding the additional colour. And so th I think they've got a bit of a Moroccan feel going on. They I've do, said. they do, like camels. Yeah, or, they know. have. Um, we've got a tiny one that I made. It's got I a little love hat. That hat. It's, it's like a proper Andean, Andean yes, hat, it is. isn't it? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is spend just a few minutes adding some of the colour to one of the alpacas so you can see how yeah. it transforms yeah, it, it really. Yeah, you have got plenty of time, by the way. Yeah. Uh, now, now, I'm thinking, I mean, my son really cruel, the idea that I have got, really my seat. So do please bear, but bear with me, a practical idea uh, for sewing a pink cushion. Yes. Because, because I always don't find my pink cushion. With that long neck, I will always find my pink cushion. Yeah, you can use them for a pin cushion, but people get a bit squeamish about sticking the needles I in know. them. So yeah. you could make a blanket and you are pinning onto the blanket, not directly onto Alfie. You yeah. know, let's be honest. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is start, you can see that there are uh, six different coloured walls. Each pack have got a big selection of walls, usually very bright and vibrant colours to contrast against the grey and brown bodies of the alpacas. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is create um, a little detail around the neck and start to make a blanket to go over, over this body. And a bit like the felting kits really, you just apply the colour directly to the body and you just felt into position. Goes in very quickly. Yeah. And so you are shaping it with the needle? Just, yeah, just shaping it with the needles, just prodding it in, prodding it into the yeah. wool surface underneath. And, and that will hold it, right? It'll hold, yeah, it will. Um, the more you felt, the more secure it becomes. Okay. Uh, and eventually it would be very difficult to remove it. But at this stage, if you think, oh, I think I might do it yellow instead, yeah. you can actually get a hold of it and take <gasps> it off. Oh. Now it's naked. And then you can put a different colour on, yes. if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, it's quite forgiving, but once you've felted it in quite secure and uh, put beads and things on, you wouldn't yeah. be able to get it off, oh. uh, because it'll sew it into position. Oh, so. yeah. And of course that means that, if, for instance, you have got two beautiful colours, that beautiful mustard and magenta um, sort of hot pink, which is a combination I adore. If you wanted to look like fine lines, you could do mix them up a little bit as well. You could. You can blend the colours together. Up from these six colours, you will end up with some amazing colours. Yeah. I love that. And, and of course, I just love uh, the personality that they, make, they have. Of course, by you, uh, is it a sewing by doing the, or you felt it as well, the nose? Uh, this is a felted nose. Yeah. Um, but for a, a demonstration that I'm doing later, Ooh. I'm putting a character face on Dinky Donkey just to show you how just adding a small little bit of detail really brings out the character Perfect. of whatever model you're making. Perfect. Perfect. It's just, I just like, it's one of those okay, um, crafts that not only is the joy that is by doing it, you can see that it's just really enjoyable to just kind of sit there, quite mindful as well, I, I imagine. And then at the end, you have got a lovely toy. Well, while lockdown's been on, 
Um, I've been, I usually do workshops as yes. part of my business, oh. but of course there's no workshops. Mm -hmm. But we've been doing free online ones. Oh. And everybody's sending photographs of the things that we've been making, and every one has got a different character to it. Cool. They look amazing. Yeah. Now, where where would we find you then on on, on social media? I'm Frank. I'm Frankie in Sydney. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we we'll look for that. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been doing free felting sessions, and people have really loved it because they've not been able to get out. Yeah. And, and of course, yeah, and, it and it's something to yeah. do. Yeah. Now, Mandy, can you tell us because I know a little bit about how you started, but for those ones who are brand new to the company, Frankie and Sydney, can you tell us how you started felting and the company behind? Yeah, I've always been a crafter from being a very young child. Uh, love sewing, um, done knitting, bit of crochet and stuff, but mainly sewing and. Uh, we decided to buy um, a camper van to go on holidays with because we've got two dogs oh. and um, unfortunately it's not big enough to take a sewing machine oh, yes. <laughs> so I needed to find a different craft yes. and learn a different craft so I started this as a hobby less than three years ago oh wow and you're creating now your own I gave up my proper job I had a oh. proper job how many designs have you got now? On um, over 20. Wow. Yeah, there's a new one comes out about every six weeks. We've yeah. got new ones in the pipeline already ready to roll out. Oh, uh, Already working on Christmas stuff as well. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I love Christmas. Well, I love Christmas. I love Christmas. And I think felt in really... But I think it's an all year round because I see uh, on the alpacas, I see the beach house, a beach house, and... I see the Highland Cow and I think it's very summery, vibrant and happy sort of atmosphere. Well, the, the bees theme of the B and Peony one and the Beach House ones, I think that's a really lovely summer one. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, the, the finished piece make a lovely gift. Yeah, they do. But just as much buying the kit as a gift as well. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, they come, you know, you, you saw, especially the, the ones with embroidery, I uh, hope, they come in these beautiful boxes as well? They all come in the same size oh. box. All of my kits come in those boxes. So it feels very much like a gift. It's, it's like opening a box of chocolates when you open it yeah. because of all of the things that are inside. Well, you know, if it was for me, I would want this and the chocolates, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm just adding a little bit of pink detail around this. Yeah. You see? Oh. So I'm just edging it. Yeah. Just edging it round. Look at that. And if you really wanted to do little flowers, we could do them as well. You could. Little tiny flowers. Um, wow. Little dots and then put beads in them now, to make I, little pom-poms. Oh, the pom-poms are really so cute. I'm, I'm thinking that this is maybe a little bit, like a, as a complete beginner, would it be okay for me to go for the Alfie? That is a really easy kit. There are no wires in these alpacas. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah, we've got wires in some of the other kits. Yeah. And now, yeah, what, what age do you think that is? this is oh, okay? Age 14 and over. Okay, because of the needle. Because of the needles and the very small components. Of yeah. course, yeah. of course. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, and I just love the way, I mean, one of the things I love about crafts is crafts that allow me to do a lot, five minutes here, ten minutes here, and half an hour there. And I think felting is perfect for that. Also, this is perfect to go to the garden, sit in the garden. It is, Ten. provided it's not too windy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because I can your wind blows away. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've spent the last few weeks sat in the garden. Oh. Uh, building kits up and doing various designs and uh, then of course if you if also is the kind of thing that you were talking about how you started very portable so caravan is perfect it, you only need it, it's a, it's a very small yeah. hobby in terms of volume you don't need big machines you oh, don't need power. any electricity or anything yeah, exactly. uh, you're not having to uh, like with wet felting which is a really yeah. great hobby with this it's just dry felting so it's a very clean hobby as well. Yeah. And also the other thing is you don't even need a, a table for it. No. You don't need, you don't need any space. You just have got, um, so it's, it's one of those 
crafts that if you have been thinking, well, with this lockdown and situation that we are in, uh, we still like, you know, I want to experiment with a little bit different, but I don't want to make a massive investment. I don't want to have to buy machines or have to have electricity nearby, or I don't want to have to have a massive table. I just want something nice and neat and portable. Now, for instance, you could go for the alpacas, which, by the way, are nearly half of the stock gone. So please do check out your baskets for this item or any of the other ones. We are very busy as well for the rainbow highline cow. And, and of course, they are three-dimensional. They are, you are, you are going to get enough to make Alfie and his pal uh, still without name, nameless <laughs> pal. Oh, you know. Tupaca. Tupaca? Chupanga, uh, that, that would be quite good. No, that's not my idea. It's our producer's uh, idea, I think. Um, mm, Alex, Alex, Alec, alpaca. Uh, and now, we, ooh, uh, it's just so many. But I just love the personality. I think they're a little bit shy. Well, no, not shy, a little bit. Uh, is it really that a camera? Are we really on TV? That sort of this. But, 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 they're interested. They're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. Slowly. Or oh, they're going backwards. Oh, sorry. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like kind of... Uh, <laughs> right, sorry. I just get very distracted. I just got carried away. I have got a big imagination. What can I say? Uh, but it's all... Uh, now, of course, it's all about making your own. And look at that. May look at what Mandy is doing, creating those pom poms in the seat of the old Wait, seat or chair. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, how do you oh, now it's going in a hairband. Oh, I think that I think it, this one is a she. Oh. And, and it looks like uh, she is going to be called. What is she going to be called? Natasha? Do you. <laughs> Natasha? Oh, Shiva. Shiva's good. She is Shiva. Um, no, um, mm, Ashley, Ashley, that's a good one. I think Ashley, I like Ashley. Uh, Amy, that's a good one as well. And this is exactly the same technique, isn't it, Mandy? You just build up, yeah. build up the wall, it just sticks to itself. Um, you just keep curling the wool around so it goes on top of each <sighs> layer and just keep felting it through and you'll find it just sticks to itself. It's natural sheep's wool. You can't do this with synthetic wool. It doesn't work. So you've got to use natural sheep's wool. Yeah, like I said, the colours that they managed to get from, uh, from the merino wool, um, it must take the dye really, really well. Yeah. This is South Africa merino. That's why it's particularly fine. Oh, um, you can get merino from all over the world and the thicknesses will vary because of the climate. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think, I mean, I'm not correct me if I'm wrong, but Merino comes, the wool originally is from a ship from Spain. Oh, right. Original, like in the medieval ages. At You're claiming time. it, are you? I'm claiming it, yeah. A good thing, a good thing that we can claim. Well, I'm going to take it, you know. <laughs> Very few things good come from Spain, as you all know. <laughs> That's right. brilliant. Right. Well, Mandy is finishing their hat for the alpaca, whichever. And we, we, you know, Alex, maybe Ashley. We have got a selection of, of course, uh, the ten balls, and we have come in eight colors. Now, of course, you have got. We have got different options for you here. So we have got. Uh, this is the natural option that you have got in here, and then is this merino as well? It's all merino. There, oh, um, there's two hundred grams in those packs and uh, if you imagine let's say for instance the highland cow yeah that will take between 30 and 40 grams of wool so you could make well i don't know you make a herd five of <laughs> all different colors oh yeah oh. there are 200 grams in those packs um a uh, smaller herd of, of highland yeah. cows you could make and That's they're grouped good. in colors from natural to pastel to really vibrant colours. 
Wow. It's a really good way. It's a really good way to buy the wool. Yeah, I love that. And beautiful colors. Of course, that's the natural. Then we have got another option, which is the parcels. So maybe you have gone for the maybe Highland cow. It is a regular one, and you want to give her a you know funky hat or funky you know you know belt or you know blanket whatever. Uh, you have got here the the parcel option. Remember, you are getting those 200 grams in total on this beautiful, uh, beautiful egg colors and 10 balls of each uh, 10 balls in total sorry and then finally we have got the bright vibrant and uh, here oh I think I would go for that one look at that pink that's vibrant that beautiful also can you spot Christmas may I say red and green white so if you want to do the Highland cow with a little bit of a snow you could do like little fleckles of a snow yeah, and don't forget, once you've got, let's say, the Highland Cow kit, yeah. you've got the instructions that you can put in a folder. And so you can just keep buying resources to keep making another one, if that's what you yeah, wanted to do. Yeah, indeed. I mean, of course, the for the horns or something like that, they could do their own or, or get... Can they buy more of the horns? Yeah, do little packs of them. Oh, fabulous. So then it's sorted. So go, if you want to get the extra ones, maybe you want to start this, pro this uh, new craft, or maybe you have bought from the past uh, instructions and you want to have enough to make more characters. There you have got the details, two, three, four, a five, a six, five, eight, your item number let's get back to mandy and see what a uh, stage she's in of that oh look at right, that. it's taking shape like i said we've got a little pack of beads and sequins so i could add beads on top of these little pom-poms um which would really bring it to life uh, as you can see with this one i've added beads around the edge oh, I love that. and a little heart yeah uh, how, how did you add the beads just with a sewing needle. Yeah. Okay. Um, the little pack of embellishments comes with a sewing needle and yes. some threads. It does indeed. Yeah, yeah. Just a little one in case you've not got you've not got one to hand. Yeah. Uh, and you can see I, I've only spent maybe five minutes or so, um, and you'd want to take your time, and and really build it up so that you, the design becomes quite intricate. Yeah. But very quickly you can see how you can transform it. Um, yeah. but you may want to keep you um, alpacas yeah. in the yeah. natural colors in but this. they look really funky when you do something different oh, with them the, and, and i love that the way that you can do them if you want to or leave them plain or it's a project maybe do just the alpaca first and then grow but look at that it's just fabulous now we we'll let mandy uh, to reset for her next demonstration if she oh i think she has got another one yeah. so she yes she's like that and now of course if you want to go for uh, the alpaca and the needle file thing and you are getting the accessory pack as well. Remember that these you are not paying for this extra uh, merino wool, and of course you have it because that's for the accessories. Should you wish to do that. And that's just great because you are getting, of course, you are getting the uh, base in here. So you can, it's a foam block and you have got, you can see the very sharp, uh, the sharp needles in here. So that means that you have got the depth, depth in here to go through the needles. So you don't have to worry about that. You can create, of course, two alpacas, Alfie and whoever, whatever name, um, leaning towards Amelia. I like that one. Amelia the alpaca. I'm that's it. 439428 uh, is the item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence, making a saving of 10 pounds. Do you like the idea of Amelia, uh, Mandy? Amelia? Mm. Yeah, that could yeah. be, that could that be a could good be. one. No, it's a contender. Uh, right, um, then we have got, of course, the B and Peony Needle Felting Kit, our kit. Now, this one comes with a pre-printed panel. This is a cotton, uh, I would say that it's quilting weight sort of, uh, kind of, or poplar sort of material and then you have got printed the design so then of course you are getting the embroidery hook which out it's also you works as a frame in which you um course fell through you have got of course the marina wool in all the colors that you are going to need the instructions and of course the finished piece is what you are going to create and if I put it here you can see it with the beads as well for the bees in there I love the three-dimensional and then of course that is what you will end up with or something similar in there 19 pounds 19 pounds and 99 pence is your uh, price 280002 is your item number I love her I mean, I think she's fabulous. Uh, that is the, of course, the Highland cow, the regular uh, the Highland cow with the beautiful caramel merino wool that you can create. Look at her. I mean, it's just a little bit, you know, 
with a little bit too long a hair but of course the highland cows they have got that beautiful hair and of course remember that in this case you are getting the horns that Mandy has created out of poly um, polymer clay and of course the nose as well so the, even the details are handmade by Mandy herself you are getting the wire, you are getting the glue to attach uh, the elements. You are getting, of course, the merino wool, uh, both uh, the, the, both balls that you need in there for, of, I, what do you call it exactly? Well, it's not a ball of yarn, is it? It's a... Um, um, is it? I'm a, yeah, I think yeah. it is. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, then it is, there it is. A ball of yarn. I'll say it this way around. And 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price, 177102. Then we have got the Rainbow Highland Cow. Now, I do love this one because it brings a smile to my face. I think it will to you as well. It's the color, is the ability to, to see something a bit different. Um, and it's just like, yeah, a little bit on, you know, Leonie and Glastonbury. This is how I'm thinking about it, you know, it's just it's just that sort of cool, hippie, you know, boho chic. And of course, you are getting everything you need to do, uh, for everything to finish this piece, of course, including the horns, the eyes, uh, you, the, spo the, 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 the sponge block, I kind of, foam block and the merino wool in all those gorgeous colors as well as the wire in there. Now, of course, you are getting instructions on how to make it and remember the instructions are quite detailed. Now, in this particular case, you are getting the instructions for the Highland Cow and then you are getting an extra for the, uh, of course, the rainbow, the beautiful uh, rainbow elements in here. So, if you go for the Highland Cow, you can create, you have the instructions to make also the, you know, the the everyday Highland cow. So uh, now, if you want to go for a hair, uh, your item number is 004514, 19 pounds and 99 pence. And then we have got Harry, the, um, you know, the hair. <laughs> Look at that, that's just so cute, isn't it? It's just very different. Uh, this one is Harry the Tooth Harry Kit. Now, it has got even, of course, the bell and other, the, oh, I love that as well. And of course, it has got the, look at the hat as well, the beautiful colors, I love. Uh, Mandy's choice of colors. They are so elegant. At the same time, they are friendly and they are warm to, to the eyes. And I love that. And 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 943141 is your item number. And shall we head back to Mandy to see what uh, she's doing? I think she's using a monkey. We were talking monkey. earlier about the character of the models that we make. Uh, and this is the Dinky Donkey. Oh. And what I'm going to do is just spend a few minutes just adding the last little bits of elements so that you can see how the character of the face builds up just by adding small touches. Um, the Dinky Donkey kit makes this particular donkey. has a little halter around its neck. But if you see its face, it's just got some black yes. bead eyes. Uh, and the way that we make those come alive is just take a little tiny bit of white wool, mm -hmm. the tiniest bit of wool you need, and just break it into two so that you've got two even pieces. And then you just lay it at the side of one of the eyes. Yes. And just take the wool around the eye. Oh, just lead yeah. it around. And straight away, it brings that eye it does. alive. It's it's miraculous, really, how it works. It's it suddenly it just pops. It does. It makes it pop. So you go from something that looks like that, yeah, which is all right, <gasps> to that, and so quickly. Yeah. Mass yeah. free. And it's just adding those little bits of extra um, that give it that little bit of its own character. Because even though I've made lots and lots of these, um, oh, I love that. and they all look different, and I've got a, I, have, I have a line of them sat on a shelf, um, and each one's posed differently because it's got these front legs have got wiring, yeah. so you can actually bend the model quite over, mm -hmm. or you can lift it up, so you can pose them in different ways mm -hmm. because of the wire legs. There's um, you, you get two pieces of wire in the kit. Two pieces of wire makes a set of front legs and then a set of back legs. So you don't have to make four individual legs. You just make two. Yeah. Your two legs and then you bend them round. Yeah, you have got the legs. Oh, it's like an... oh hello. My name is, well, Dinky. <laughs> you know, just, just like, you know. Hi. Right, so we've added that white and straight away that character of that little face has changed. 
and then I'm going to add um, some nostrils and that's oh, just yeah. some black wool again two little pieces of black wool oh. so this is kind of adding the features right? just yeah just creating the features And do you have any any like for instance should you should we look at the picture the finished picture quite closely or the um the donkey has yeah. um it comes in the boxes like you were showing yeah. earlier the other kit boxes it has an image this size of wow. the donkey yeah. on the box yeah um so you can very easily see a lot of detail on it and there's always a a finished picture of the finished um, character included on those instructions but the box is a really good reference because the the colored photograph is so large yeah, yeah. so you will have a good in a good idea what yeah. you, you should do yeah, yeah you will yeah. so we've got a pair of nostrils now and we've put whites around the eyes and then to put a mouth on it's very simple just tear a very thin piece of black wool and you lay it across your, the model like this until you're satisfied with the expression it's got on its mouth I wouldn't want to put a, a sad face on a donkey oh, oh yeah I think it needs to be a smiley one yeah I love it this much and I also love how you, if you look at him it's like that the kind of hair it's that comes swept through. yeah it's swept it's like Oh, you know, like, you know, I have got a, how you call it, a, um, a tupe, not a tupe, quiff. a quiff, a quiff, <laughs> mm, yes, um, yeah. like, well, shall I say it? Like Yanis. <laughs> I just think it's just, it, he's a friend, of course, I think donkeys are friendly, they are funny, and they, you can see this is the one that goes into the party, and this is kind of a start making, you know, the jokes. Oh, so yeah. then we've got the mouse. <gasps> And that now looks completely different from yeah. that blank expression that it had before yeah. I started. Um, you'll have noticed on the finished model, uh, it's got a halter on. So there are wools to be able to create a halter, which is really simple. Yeah. You now, just create it with wools. I have got a, a, a question now. I, I'm always very afraid of making mistakes yeah. when, I'm, when I'm crafting and not always yeah. in any way. Uh, but, so I'm thinking if I went with the black and then the mouth was too wide or something like this and I felt it too much, could I go with another color on top? You can, you can add another one on top. Okay, yeah, perfect. Very successfully you can do that. Fabulous. So yeah. it means that if you make a mistake and the mouth is more of a frown and you want to smile or the other you way You can right, change it. You can change it. Yeah. That's fabulous. It's very forgiving. Yeah. It's a very forgiving craft. Fabulous. So it's a, it's a craft, if you haven't done it ever before, that it doesn't require anything but one of uh, Frankie and Sydney's kids. It doesn't require electricity, doesn't require a big table, doesn't require, you know, like a special kind of tools or something else. No, it's just everything is in the box. You can do it sitting down the t on the, in the garden. You can do it in the caravan. You can do it watching TV even like, you know, obviously paying attention. Where you don't need to send off for any other bits. You don't have to go shopping for any other bits. It's all in that box. It, it arrives ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So it's a perfect gift. It's a perfect gift for somebody who, you know, maybe if you are like me that, you know, you haven't seen your family for uh, six months. And of course, what you want, maybe my, like my mom, she likes crafting, she likes paper crafting. So you send like, you did like I do it. I sent her a pack of, you know, paper crafting goodies so she could, you know, have something new to do it. You want to do that and you want some to start maybe a new craft. This is a fabulous present like that because you can buy and have it delivered somewhere else. And that way would make a lot Lot of sense to give us something somebody the joy of playing with felt merino wool and everything included in here whichever character you're thinking that there's gonna suit the um, of course the recipient maybe it's the donkey maybe they want something more hilarious maybe maybe something a little bit more funky I mean I think this is a perfect present and Mandy is you gonna show us oh let's show what, what is it so if you if you buy the packs of wool all the different colors yeah. you could just go freestyle with something <gasps> like this oh that's gorgeous just a tin yeah and just add colored wool or oh, i've made a, a little budgie brooch yeah i don't know whether you can see that that's gorgeous 
and they're very simple to do just you just cut a template out the shape of whatever you want and just add the wool and it builds up that's fabulous. I made this uh, on Monday um, and ju I just keep adding to it it's that's just an old tin yeah or you could make it in a cup that is fabulous so, so a teacup orange teacup yes. you know a teacup that maybe is cracked and you yes. cannot use it anymore and then yeah. you can put flowers in there maybe they're yeah. your favorite flowers and with yeah. this beautiful and remember we have got those options the vibrance the pastel or the na natural now those ones in common 10 volts in eight different colors so you could do that something like that i personally think that would be a great idea to go for one of them as well as one of your favorite characters because that way you have got the all the step-by-step -step, um, you know instructions from monday and then you have got of course the extra the 10 balls 200 grams in total to create more characters to create a garden a little garden to create a beautiful scene should you wish to and of course you have got the the pastels then we have got the vibrance in there that's my favorite now if you wanted to go for uh, we are, by the way, we do have got the seven day savers, of course, uh, here at Hochanda. Now, this one is from Natasha Makes, and you are getting a thousand meters in each of these polyester threads. You are getting 10 of them, so you are getting 10,000 meters. Each color may vary, but you have got high quality threads there. I can see some metalers, I can see some um, coats moon, I can see some, uh, I think it is even sometimes gutterments in there, but their will contents may vary. 999 is your price for a 10,000 meters of thread. Now, now, Mandy, it's been an absolute pleasure. I, you can see that I had so much fun. I hope you had too. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Well, th we cannot wait to see all your brand new characters. Do you, you know when, when you are bringing more characters? Um, it should be in about six weeks, I oh, think. Perfect. Well, I'm really looking forward. I hope that I do get to do the show, or at least I will be watching for show sure because I'm so inspired by these characters. I have had so much fun, and I hope you had at home, at home as well. Thank you so much, Mandy. It's been an absolute pleasure. And, of course, we will see you in about six weeks. I think the, don the, the donkey is having a snooze, uh, having a little nap. But do check out your baskets. Where it is for Dinky the donkey is Alfie the alpaca, the beach house, of course, a bit too Prepare it. The Highland cow, I mean, isn't she gorgeous? The rainbow Highland cows. You want to use? Oh, look at that. I mean, she is cool. She is one of those ones that is a cool cow. Um, and of course, we all want a, a cool cow in our lives. Uh, now, if you want to make yours, uh, you know what you need to put. You need to put that item number. Uh, take note, put it in your baskets and check them out because then you will have so much fun creating them. And remember, you don't need anything else but the kits that are contained here. It's been an absolute pleasure and brand new one day special after the break. Tim Holtz. Well, it is a fabulous one day special. Natasha is ready to demonstrate Tim Holtz fabrics, amazing quality and beautiful designs. After that at 7.30 Thursday, and then Tim Holtz one day special with me. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If 
watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Well, good evening, everybody. So there are one day specials and then there are one day specials. We are talking Tim Holtz. Whoop, whoop, indeed, <laughs> Natasha, with fabric. I'm going to get to this in one second, but let me introduce you to my partner in crime, the ever-talented, the lovely uh, Natasha. Natasha, hello. There you are. Natasha, you look, I've said, I know I've said this already, you look like a Charlie's Angel. Thank other films, you. other brands are available. <laughs> You're well, ready. Well, I've been practicing my moves. You need to, like, literally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good, I did do a very good job there. Uh, okay, look, let me just explain uh, what we're getting here. Quality is incredible. I'm going to give you a little indication of what's happening. When we do have a surge, a lot of people on the system, it does affect our graphics and uh, the <laughs> studio. At the moment, our graphics have gone. Uh, well, we knew this was going to be busy. Uh, we are having a busy start. I promise we're going to get the graphics on your screen in just a moment. You can get ahead on the website and use the apps. You are getting uh, the Hochandra app, I should say. 21 fat quarters from Tim Holtz. Now, when you consider how much, and I know we are going to bring the details on the screen in a moment, there is a great saving for these, but how much would you normally pay for a fat quarter? I'll, I'll direct that towards you, actually, Natasha. I'm just going to take one of the fat quarters out and we'll have a look at it. So, for a fat quarter of this nature, what would you, what would you be saying we'd pay? A designer fat quarter, £4.50. Okay. E easy, easy. The, you have to think that with um, with anything that has been cut, you will pay a premium. Yeah. So you add a, you add on to the price the more cuts it's been. So the charm packs, things like that, are more expensive. It's a more expensive way to buy yeah. your fabric. So the fat quarters are fabulous because you get a really useful, usable amount mm -hmm. without having to have the expense of meterage. The labour cost. 
But there is there is no. a slight labour cost because there is an extra cut involved. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it is that versatility. You make a really good point. Uh, now, when you consider, if you were to go out, and uh, Natasha's absolutely right. I was doing uh, my research for this, and you all know this. Don't need me to tell you that. Uh, but with regard to fat quarters, you would be paying uh, £4.50, around that mark, for designer fat quarters. I was folding that right, wrong. I know, Chloe was looking at me. I realised I folded <laughs> it up badly. Natasha, yeah, you anticipated... This was going to be busy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are two minutes into the show. Yeah. We have an enormous amount of quantity. But when it's Ten, gone, it's gone, yeah, right? When it, I, I'm so glad you said that, because that was going to be my next point. 10% of the stock has gone. In two minutes? In two minutes. No wonder we have no graphics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, and I'm going to tell Sorry. you as well, once, <laughs> Natasha said it already, once it is gone, it is gone. So uh, we are busy. I right. don't think there are any magic phone calls. <laughs> That we've there already we've already tried that, haven't we? When it started selling before we even came to air. No magic um, phone calls. No magic phone calls. No. This is it. There we go. I think I finally got that fat quarter back. Uh, Chloe, <laughs> off, Chloe <laughs> off floor manager, was in tears trying to see what we do. I, it was it was like a puzzle. Uh, look, should we just uh, enjoy the diversity that we are getting here? So, uh, 21 fat quarters. Each one has its own charm, its distinctive style coming through. But it is Tim Holtz. So all the beautiful designs that you associate with Tim Holtz, if only you could hear what's going on in my ear. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let me just pause for a moment. I'm not doing this to add any drama. Uh, I'm just genuinely trying uh, to give you an honest <laughs> update. We are now three minutes into the show. Now 20% of the stock has gone. We're busy. I mean, we are seriously busy. Uh, when all, uh, we were talk I was talking to Natasha before the show, and she, she called it. And Natasha is, and I know I always, I always talk very uh, complimentary about you. I don't really think, Natasha, I say it's just because we work together. But you don't keep saying it. I'm, well, I'm very comfortable with it. You really do. <laughs> you really do know what you're talking about. And Thank I always you. love it when I work with you because I find I'm learning so much. And we had a meeting, obviously, preparing for the show. And the first thing Natasha said, look, the quality of the fat quarters that you're getting here, the uh, diversity of the design, the quality of the design, and the price. And that's one thing that Natasha was so keen on, that you're getting £11 saving, but even at full price, I think that's a good buy. Mm. So the fact that we're getting that £11 saving, the fact that it is Tim Holtz, because it's Ho-Chanda, we can split the price in half with flexi payments. You did call it, Natasha. You said it wouldn't last the full duration. We have to find out what happens. But if we've lost 20% of the stock within the first three minutes of the show, and now we're approaching 30% of the stock, that it, actually, that is very worrying. Forget <laughs> tomorrow. I don't think it's going to last today. Uh, Got to go through all the designs that you are getting here. So um, tell you what I'm going to do. I will open these up. We'll keep in them options. And then when we go to Natasha, I will fold them back up. Is that fair? <laughs> fair, Chloe? Fairsies? Yanis, you know that this is good fabric when I have it in my house. Okay. In Done. my home. Because I have the choice of all the fabrics. Uh -huh. So, because that's what I do. Yeah. And Tim Holtz is in my kitchen. Oh. Tim Holtz? Oh, all right. Now. But I mean, not, you know, but in fabric able, form. Being able to have Tim Holtz in your kitchen, that, that's a biggie. Okay, so there's one. I will be quick here. So whilst you're showing that, I went for it because obviously as paper crafters we know of Tim Holtz and that was how I first discovered Tim Holtz was through paper craft. Then to discover that he had this beautiful, incredible, distressed range wow. of fabrics and oh. on some of the selvages it even says this is distressed fabric, you know, like this is okay, don't worry. Like I wonder how many people have sent it back because they've thought it's been, you know, someone spilt their coffee on it or something. Yeah. But that was partly why I went for it in my kitchen. Firstly, because they're a bit quirky. And secondly, because I have children. Okay. And so <laughs> to be able to put that, I put them on the seats of my dining room chairs in the kitchen. Um, I odor coated them so they could be wiped clean. And two years on, these fabrics still, still look amazing. And each seat is a talking point when people come over and they pull, you know, it just looks like a plain white, you know, chalk painted chair. And then they pull it open and there's something like this. I've got the wow. tickets on, on one of the chairs. Yeah. And it's just, it's just fun, you know, it's just a little bit different. And, and that was from Fat Quarters. That was just six Fat Quarters. Each one of these 
is a work of art. Yeah. And if you imagine what Natasha has been able to achieve just with six fat quarters, 21 fat quarters, uh, the quality of the design. Uh, Tim Holtz, <laughs> oh no, stop it. How much? Natasha, this is serious. Because <laughs> we, we actually, this is very serious. <laughs> We're seven minutes into the show and 40% of the stock has gone. So that gives you a real indication. We cannot get a hold of any more stock. We know, we know this, we've asked the question. So we know for a fact, when these have gone, they've gone. Uh, there is no way this bundle is lasting the full one day special. We've been looking, <laughs> potentially, love this one. There's something about mats that I, I'm just drawn to. Potentially, and I'm only saying this in the interest, I do not want you to miss out. And I fully understand that sometimes we like to watch one day specials, we see the demonstrations, and then maybe we'll order a bit later on. I don't think this is gonna, potentially it might not even last this hour. Uh, we got four minute queues on our phone lines. We've had queues pretty much since the start of the show. It's Tim Holtz with fabric. Uh, Natasha, as I'm showing these, tell me a little bit about the quality of the fabric because I'm feeling it and it yeah. is a very good quality fabric. Yeah, so this is the other reason why two years on they are still pristine on, on my seats that get a lot of wear and tear. Bear in mind I have a six year old that can't sit still. I've got a two, well not yet two year old who likes to adorn everything with food and clamber everywhere. Yeah. Uh, these, and, and that is part of the reason is because these fabrics are such good quality. Now I've put a quilting weight quality fabric and used it as an upholstery fabric um, and that's because the weave is so good. It's not a loose wibbly wobbly yeah. weave yeah. Uh, that you're going to struggle with. It's a beautifully woven fabric. It's gorgeous. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm, I'm getting told off for making such a mess here and can I, I want to say uh, my deepest apologies to floor manager Chloe who always does a great job making things look so great. Chloe, I'm so sorry, but I still can't work out how you kept folding these. <laughs> just gonna, I just can't fold it like Chloe. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. We'll sort this out. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll follow, the, follow the crease. There you go. I'll carry on showing these. Uh, yeah, we, if, it's, if it's any consolation, I spent three years just doing fabric, and yeah. I still can't fold it. Well, so yeah. don't, don't worry. Okay. Don't feel that bad. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> uh, okay, we are over half the stock. I tell you what, shall I just pause there? because I think we do need to get to demonstration. Uh, oh, actually, we're not gonna get to demonstration. We'll go, we'll go to show you the, uh, yeah. the rest. <laughs> I'm not gonna tie this up. Uh, just gonna show you the details of the one day special. Uh, jokes aside, we're gonna have some fun this hour, but I really think uh, if you wanna get a hold of this, please, and I'm only speaking to anyone who, who knows they're gonna go for this. I'm absolutely, I'm never ever going to pressure you into a sales. That's not our thing here at Hochanda. If you wanna buy it, Fantastic. I'm just want to give you that information though that 60%, are we approaching or are we at 60%? See, that's ridiculous. 10 minutes into the show, we are at 60% of the stock. I would say there is a very, very real possibility the fat quarters are going to be gone within this hour. Uh, now, we have got the uh, options for seven fat quarters. So, breaking down the one day specials into sets of seven. Having a look here, so $26.99 your price, getting seven fat quarters, you choose the option uh, that really speaks to you. So this is option number one, option two, and then option three. That is a great price for a set of beautiful fat quarters. If it was me personally at home, I would absolutely be going for the one day special because think how much you're paying for your first flexi payment with the one day special and you're also saving 11 pounds as well. So great value for money. That's just me. Uh, now, just to let you know, if you do want to get half meters of the range from Tim Holtz, we do have half meter. Uh, pick a mix, 14, 14.99 for two half meters. Tim Holtz fabric, that is phenomenal. So uh, you get to see all the designs. Should we just start here and I'll just start showing you uh, the designs that we are getting. So this one is, well, we'll go through. <laughs> I don't have the, I, I apologize, I don't have the names uh, if to If you hand. look on, this, on the um, selvage, okay. it's got the name on the selvage. We will, I will be looking at that <laughs> at some point. I just don't want to make a mess. We'll just look at the design. If you go onto the website, all the names very, very clear. <laughs> You've got your map going through there. Now this is nice. Lovely. So uh, we will be seeing some demonstrations with Natasha in just a moment, having a look. I love the layering. 
the uh, you get with Tim Holtz, but then he's got that nod to the past with these beautiful maps. So there is something about a map that is so appealing. A bit of a vintage vibe here. Tim Holtz is known for colour. So how often have you ever played the game? Uh, what is your adult entertainment name? No, wait, wait. No, can I just say no? Wait, wait. I said that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> not adult entertainment name. Not adult entertainment name. Your entertainment name. I don't know where adult came from. <laughs> not adult entertainment name. What is your entertainment name? So you're, you're like, you know, stage name. Uh, you just pick a distressing. Not adult. What was yours for you, Natasha? <laughs> I don't know how to play that have, game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy Shutters and stuff like that. My adult entertainment so. name is Coco Miles. Well, there we go, Coco Miles. But you have to look at the distress eggs and go. <laughs> I don't know where adult came from. <laughs> it's not adult at all. I don't know why I said that. This is a family show. It's six. Uh, let's carry on down quickly while I still have a job. Uh, okay, this is your bouquet. <laughs> I honestly don't know where that came from. Oh dear. Uh, this one's chalk lines like that. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. So this is a script going through. <laughs> we were looking at we were looking at blooper reel just before we came in. I think I've made it in again. Oh, uh, now this is lovely. I like that. This one's receipts. Very nice in aqua. Uh, then we've got our ticking going through. Lovely colours, uh, and it's very subtle with the uh, colours in there. This is okay. <laughs> This is nice. <laughs> this is your eggs and nests going through. Uh, this is the one I think Natasha was mentioned she had. Was this the one you had or tickets? Sorry, it's the next yeah, one. Yeah, tickets. Yeah, tickets. Tickets, tickets we've got on one of our chairs. Yeah, there's the airmail. And there's your tickets. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's nice. How about this? Now, you would take measure. You're going to be using that in a project. You can imagine that. Oh, I so. love that one. That's nice. Uh, and what about this? Blue, that looks very elegant. Then we have our Dapper. Dapper's a good, yeah. good name, good name, strong name. And then finally, we have the Chrysanthemum. There we go. So those are all your fat quarters. Tim Holtz, we are very busy. Okay, Natasha. Normally, mm. I, I, everyone knows Natasha, fantastic presenter here at Ho Chanda, and she does, we always appreciate it when you lend a hand guesting as well. But as a presenter, yeah. When we have a busy show, what kind of cues would you expect on the phone lines? Four, five? Four, five minutes? Yeah. Have you ever seen seven, eight? Very rare. rarely. Right, rare. Rare, yeah. <laughs> it's not ten. Eleven now, minute cue. No. It was ten a, a few seconds ago. We have got eleven minute cues. Oh my I'm goodness. so sorry if you're stuck in a queue right now, because it's one of my pet hates. Uh, and I've got to tell you, what? One of these, the receipt sold out. So the receipt here. No. The receipts, <laughs> this one, the receipt in Aqua. The receipt in Aqua has gone, I'm afraid, so that, that is serious. Because the one day special looks like it's not gonna last the hour. We are starting to lose options with a half meter. <laughs> and again, when these are gone, they have gone. Uh, so uh, the one day, <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, this is ridiculous. I know you said it was gonna be a busy show. One day special, we are over 70% of the, sh uh, the uh, stock. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm flustered. Right, we just got to tell you a little bit about the K-Facet. Uh, so these are K-Facet, they're shot fabrics. And Natasha, I'm going to let her explain, but this is what I say, every time I work with Natasha, I learn. Uh, and she was telling me, like, K-Facet, uh, when he was starting out, went to India and really tried to, he built his reputation name, bring you beautiful fabrics. And with these, the reason they're different, if I just lift this one up, and it is stunning, the feel of the fabrics are incredible. They are so soft. Uh, you've got effectively a different warp and weft. Uh, so what that allows you to do, it gives those inf that different inflection of color uh, coming through. They are incredible fabrics. The colors, the feel, the quality, everything about these are exceptional. Uh, this is the fabric, or one of the fabrics, that really uh, solidified K-Facet's reputation within the industry. So if you want to get a hold of these, they are a pick and mix, any two, and there's a wonderful story behind them, but I'll let Natasha uh, tell you all about that. Uh, 15.99 is your price, 158.457, your item number. Did you want it, Natasha? It is a really nice story. Just tell us a little bit about the uh, shots of fabric. It's not quite 11 minutes long, but we'll, okay. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Yeah. So, um, Cave wanted to um, 
to go to India and uh, because he's obviously he's inspired by colour and, and India is absolutely full of colour. So he went over there with a charity to um, to help bring some economy to, to deprived areas. And there was one village that uh, hand wove their fabrics. And basically, he wanted to bring, and, and he started off with a striped woven fabric. But it's like this, it's a, it's a shot. So the warp and the weft. So the warp goes up and the weft goes left, if you imagine. And one will be one color, the warp will be one color, and the weft will be another color. Um, and the movement of color, and, the, and that's why those are so stunning, because you get that difference in color. Um, oh. There's a couple like that in there, and, and it's just exquisite. Uh, so... He was, he basically had to learn how to put those colors together to get that third color. It's, it's mixing colors, but not like you'd mix paint, it's mixing colors um, through weaving them together. So it was a completely different way of working for him. So he arrives in this village and then he's told that the guy with the dyes to, for the fabrics lives quite a way away so they get in and it's three or four hours drive bumpy 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 and they get there but it's dark by then now anybody that has anything to do with color does any kind of crafting knitting anything like that knows that you choose your colors under artificial light at your peril um, um, but bless him under artificial lights he had to choose these crucial colors that then had to somehow blend into these beautiful striped woven fabrics um, so that was his first challenge and then they they took these these dyes back and they started to weave these fabrics and created these incredible colors these beautiful woven fabrics and actually it was with those woven fabrics I believe that he won um, the Houston Quilting Festival, which, um, which is, you know, the, one, the biggest quilting festival uh, in, in America is the, is the big Houston show. And uh, his first ever, ever event like that. And of course, he comes with these fabrics that he's designed and woven and, and of course, you know, wins everything. Amazing. Uh, and doesn't realize that, you know, quite the accolade that it is. But that's where this has come from. And off the back of Cave's fabrics, this, um, this very run-down uh, village now can weave all the time because when the rains came before, they sat outside and, and then the gullies would be filled with water and then they couldn't continue to weave, so they were limited as to how much they could, they could actually do. So now they have, they have proper equipment, uh, they can do it undercover, they have electricity, all off the back of Cave's work, which I think is fantastic. Incredible. Thank you so much for sharing no, that story, right. Natasha. Uh, look, uh, I've got to tell you, and we are going to get to demonstration right now. Apologies. I know uh, we kind of took a little bit of time to go through the fabrics, but obviously you want to see what you're buying. Uh, with a little update for the one-day special, I want to put this into context. Genuinely, we try to ensure, and I really mean this, we try to ensure that we have enough stock for the full 24 hours because there's no point day and day out if we brought you a one-day special and it's sold out uh, within the first hour or two. There are occasions where we have something that is truly special and it does fly. This is one of those hours. Uh, it's an hour where you definitely have to get in early because three quarters of the stock has gone. So uh, I anticipate that the fat quarters, potentially, I don't want to put a jinx on it, but I don't think they're going to last the hour. Uh, they, even if they do last the hour, they're definitely not going to be here tomorrow at 8 o'clock for the first hour of our one-day special. We cannot get hold of any more. We've asked the question, uh, and we know that categorically we cannot get hold of any more of the Fat Quarters. 69.97. we are talking Tim Holtz, Fat Quarters, and you can take advantage of the Flexi payments as well. 34.99 today we send them all out to you they are stunning uh, but to really do them justice we have to see them in action so here is the lovely natasha hello right so um i first started bringing tim holtz fabric into my home because uh, my husband had got fed up of flowery fabrics everywhere so i had to i had to find something other than tilda and things like that um that he would you know he would enjoy being around because it's his home as much as mine and tim holtz was was that fabric so it's the fabric that i go to when i need a gift to make um for my brother my dad my uh, my husband you know anybody that like that
perfect absolutely perfect and so it occurred to me what does everybody have everybody has technology um, and so if you are someone that wants to make for someone for their birthday for Christmas for Father's Day anything like that then this is a really easy make to do it also occurred to me that um, everybody's tablets iPads Kindles all those sorts of things they're all different sizes now aren't they every time they bring out a new one it's a slightly different size from the old one so my challenge I set myself why, um, was to create a pattern uh, for you to be able to create a tablet cover whatever the size your tablet was. There are a few prototypes, I'll be honest. There are a few. Uh, some were salvageable, others not so much. Uh, but the upshot is uh, what I'm going to show you today. And we've got the pattern on the show as well. So... Um, and in fact, you can, uh, yeah, so it's there. And you can see you've got uh, an option for three different colored bindings, a dark gray, a light gray, or a navy, should you wish. So the first thing to do, obviously, is get said, uh, said tablet. It's going to be tears at bedtime now, no Peppa Pig. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whoops, I'm not there. Um, and okay, so it will fit onto this size, uh, this size fabric. So it needs to be sort of that kind of width. There is a formula to it. So basically measure your width. This is all in your instructions. Hang on, perhaps if I do it this way. Uh, measure your width there. So that is, ch -ch -ch -ch. by the time it's on its side, that is seven. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It's got to wrap around. And so if I then, so that's about 13 and then add on an inch and a half that way. So I'll take that to 14 um, and then add on an inch to the top. And write it, where's my piece of paper? Write it down, write it down. I'll write it down on the back of my instructions, but just write it down somewhere because um, you will otherwise forget it. Uh, here we go. So, uh, what did I say? 14 inches by... Da, 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 da. Ooh, nine and a half, so that'll be ten and a half inches. Yeah, we just check. That's what... Yeah, oh no, hang on. Double the amount of element and add two. So let's make that um, 14 and a half. There we go. 14 and a half inches by ten and a half inches. Now, we will cut an outer and an inner sized fabric for that so if you are looking at directional fabrics then decide which way and how you want them um, I've just gone for a plane for my inside fabric uh, because you're not always going to see it so I didn't want to waste my gorgeous Tim Holtz stuff on that uh, just to make sure I've got enough space I will just fold that up there and then find me there we go put it there so let's just take off there uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. you see this is why I write it down because I honestly cannot remember for two seconds right so then I've got stuff to use later then I will spin it around and Fold it up again, and this time, and if you've bought your Stripology ruler this afternoon, uh, congratulations, you're going to be able to use it to do this cutting so much more easily than otherwise. So there your fabric piece is gone. So now I have, that is my external fabric there, gorgeous. And then I've got my lining fabric there, fab. Now, um, the next bit is kind of up to you. In fact, all of this is, uh, is your own choice. So I then take off um, half an inch off my measurements for my wadding. Now, how squidgy you want that to be is entirely up to you. I use H640 um, for mine. You can double that up. You can, uh, it's a fusible wadding. Um, 
but you can use any kind of wadding. You can quilt it into place. Maybe we'll do one side quilted and one side not, just to show you. Uh, but I would just take a little bit. I've got zips for later demos and everything going on here. Um, so I would just take half an inch off. So I need that 14 by 10. Um, and that is... Mm -mm. That will then... If I want to do, you know, that it, it can then be really cushioned or it can just be that it is just going to be, um, it is just going to be a cover. So it doesn't have to be incredibly cushioned. It depends how you want it to be and what you feel you're going to get the use of it for. For me, uh, when I travel back and forth to Hochanda, if I have breaks in between shows and I need to catch up with some work, then... Um, if it's just it's to protect it's just to have something in so the screen doesn't get scratched and what have you um well because it goes in in all my bags um when i'm when i'm toing and throwing so it's just having that extra that extra little bit so you know you can do just one of those uh let's show you a quilted version if i show you both versions then you've got every option available to you haven't you um and then it'll be lovely and squidgy so Let's take that. And again, this will be down to personal preference as to how you want it to look, whether you like quilting or don't like quilting or, um, or anything else, really. So do that the same. But how quick is this? I mean, I know, I know we did the show earlier with the grids and, and I know that a lot of you went for the stripology, but honestly... It just makes such a difference to be able to quickly and easily cut those. And they are still on the website. Right, here we go. So, I've, they are my two options. That's my cutting done, by the way. That's it. Easy, easy, easy. Um, so, one I will fuse to. That's really pretty simple. Um, what should we do? Quilt the outer one, should we? Yeah, so we'll just fuse on the fusible. Um, put it in the middle. So the reason we're going to bind this, okay, so there's going to be a binding that's going to go all the way around. So that's why there's the gap around there. To, so there isn't all that bulk for when you bind it. So I'll just take it over to my pressing mat. And if you've ever used 8640, it's just got these little bubbles of glue on the top that will just melt um, just gently and if you look on the selvage if you ever forget well I know when I first started I really didn't understand all the different bindings and waddings and um, interfacings and everything I just didn't understand what they all did when you used them when you didn't use them what stiff oh, I just it was so it was a minefield but with um, Visaline and things like that on the selvage, they give you the instructions as to how to use them. So even if you've only got a little bit left, just keep a bit of the of the um, of the top so that you know how to do it. So it's about 15 seconds. Just gives it enough to just melt those little those little glue dots, and then we'll quilt the other half, and that then gives you options as to how you would like to do yours. There we go. Okay. So with the other one, you just want to place it again in the middle and then find your middle point. You can do it by um, measuring or you can do it the old fashioned way by just finding that midpoint. And however you want to quilt it, I will just straight line quilt it. So I'll just mark it off and then take it under the machine and, um, and just quilt it from there. So I think, Yanis, you've got stock updates, haven't you? I do. We will oh. be continuing. Oh. Uh, okay. So I just want to show you actually something. Uh, Natasha, in the show earlier, if you did watch it, made these two fantastic cushions and used uh, weave fabric from uh, the One Day Special. So you can see the Tim Holtz fabric that we have featured today. Just showing how effective they are and how they all work together uh, as well. So really, really nice cushions. It's well worth watching and revisiting at uh, that hour. Okay, we're going to talk to you about the One Day Special. Uh, we are over three quarters of the stock. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes, 
but I really think it's worth it. Shall we just open up and look at exactly what you're getting? You are getting 21 fat quarters. You are saving 11 pounds, but these aren't ordinary fat quarters. Tim Holtz. So Tim Holtz has built a reputation. Stripes is hard on camera, so I'm not going to linger on this one. If I close that up. Uh, the thing is, Tim Holtz has built a reputation on his colors. And we know that from his distress inks range, distress oxides. But being able to see those and his stamps, his designs in fabric form, so a totally different reinvention of Tim Holtz. Now, this fat quarter I'm holding in my hand is a great example of why Tim Holtz is so immensely popular worldwide. And we've got viewers joining us from across the globe right now, UK, Europe, America. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you are all part of the Hochanda family. That is just one fat quarter of the 21 that you are getting with the one day special. And as we go through this, each one is an absolute cracker. Look at that. We've got the uh, letters coming through, but the color hues, the way it all coordinates, the balance, everything works. Tim Holtz just knows what he's doing. The quality of the fabric as well is very important because uh, it's beautiful quality. And look, if it's got Tim Holtz's name to it, you know that they wouldn't have skimped in any aspect of the fabric that you're getting in here. This is the tickets that uh, we actually, we were talking a little bit earlier on with Natasha, and she has this proudly display, uh, displayed in her home. This is why Tim Holtz is so popular, though. It is the designs he gives you. I mean, look, I saw this one, and I know that the whole team, so Charlotte, our producer, loves this too. You're going to like this. Oh, yes. So you've got those aged, distressed tape measures coming through. Love that. Closing that up. And then this is another. I keep saying this is another one of my favorites. Each one is an absolute classic. What about that? That is such a lovely design. There's something so regal and elegant, refined about blue. But then you just get that little bit of color in there as well. That's very nice. Okay, and then carry on down. Now, you can go for these as options. So everything I've just shown you now, that is an option set number three, uh, seven fat quarters. So I've just shown you set number three of uh, the sets of seven. You can find them at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so that's your first seven. But of course, if you are going for the complete collection, which pretty much everybody is, uh, you don't have to worry about collections uh, because you are getting the whole lot. Let's carry on down. So everything I'm showing you right now, if you have invested or you're going to invest in the one day special, this is what you can enjoy. We've got musical notes coming through. Oh, come on, that looks amazing. All right, we like that. Then a little splash of color. This, to me, has got a little bit of the Monet about it. Isn't that nice? But I, I don't know why, but I just get the sense of pointillism. Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, and another thing, and I know Natasha talks about this often with Fat Quarters, it's the diversity it could add to your stash. So the quality of the fabric and design, but having so many different uh, colorways and designs. They all work together, but equally, you're adding a huge amount of options into your stash at home. So that was the chalk lines, if memory serves. And then, so as I'm going through this, the only question I would ask you, could you imagine working with these fat quarters, having these in your home, proudly displayed, and ultimately using them as well? The layer of detail that you are getting. All right. Oh, 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 come on. I've got four words for you. Get in my basket. Look at that. I love it. We have been busy for the one day special for pretty much the whole show. The only time we always know, know, know this, that when we do a demonstration, viewers obviously like to enjoy the demonstration, which is absolutely fine. That's what we're here for. Uh, but the minutes, so I think a lot of you were enjoying Natasha's demonstration uh, and just learning how to do that beautiful design. But now, <laughs> when we start looking at it again, uh, the figure's just going up and up and up. The cue's uh, starting to come back. So if you do, that is such a lovely piece. I mean, there is so much going on there. The layers of detail, the colors, the design that you are getting. And that is just one fat 
quarter. And as uh, sowers, you'll know, the amount you can do with just one fat quarter, 27. And we've not even gone through the whole design. This is what you do. When you get this home, you will open them up and enjoy each fat quarter. 21 in total. Go through all the designs. It is going to be an absolute treat when you do get these home. Uh, okay, so those are the designs uh, that we are getting. We opened up the other, the first seven when we first went down the counter. So uh, you've pretty much seen, well, you have seen all the designs, the full 21, 34.99 your price here, saving 11 pounds. Tim Holtz Foundation, the mega fat quarter bundle, uh, contains 21 fat quarters in total, 845270, your item number. Another aspect that has been incredibly busy, it's uh, Tim Holtz. So all the designs that you've just saw, uh, seen in the fat quarters, you can get in half meters, pick and mix, very, very busy for these. $14.99 the price. We have had another sellout, so we've already had one. The symphony, which would be the musical notes. Is this the symphony? We're just checking. We just need to double check, because I don't want to take it off the counter if it's still in stock. I think it's gone. Yes, OK, so the symphony, I'm afraid the symphony has gone as an individual option going through. Should we have a look? Just go very, very, very quickly. I know I've just shown them here, but you get to see all the designs coming through. So as you see, being able to enjoy, this is a beautiful one. It's got a bit of a Parisian elegance to it. Uh, when you see the designs from a fat quarter but translated into the half meter, you get, I don't know, it just, it does change the dynamic going through. Lovely, subtle undertones of color there and design. This one's nice too. So layers. This is where Tim Holtz, he just knows what he's doing. Uh, maps, vintage, come on. You'll use it. You will love it. See these two, how well they work. The, the sort of vintage sort of text and the maps. I mean, that you can instantly see it works together. Or if you want to inject some color, we saw that one. I kind of described it as it looks like a beautiful picture. The chalk lines, which we saw. But still, it's not a solid color because you get different uh, color values coming through. It's like a bit of a batik. Uh, then we've got more of a vintage script going on here. Yeah. Going for a half meter as opposed to the fat quarters uh -huh. is that generally a pattern repeat will be anything up to 40 centimeters. Right. So what I mean by that is um, patterns will obviously repeat over and over and over over the length of the bolt of fabric. Yeah. Um, but generally you will have a pattern repeat within 40 centimeters. Okay. So if you're getting that half meter, you get the full repeat, whereas mm. the fat quarter you won't. Okay. That's actually, that's a major point. Yeah. It's a major point. Thank so you, So if there's Sasha. one you really love, yeah. maybe go for the half meter as well. Okay. Yeah. Good, good advice. That's a really good point, Natasha. And this is why I love working with you, because that's not, it, just not something I would have been aware of before working with you. Okay. So we should carry, carry on going down, just seeing all of these wonderful designs. I do know that we saw these in the, uh, within the one day special. So I apologize, just taking some time there, but we wanted to show you them as a half meter as well. If you do have any questions, Natasha is here and would love to speak to you. Studio at hochanda.com. We're just going to jump onto the website very quickly. Uh, so this is your Tim Holtz Foundation half meter uh, fabric pick and mix. Pick any two. We got the world map. This is the best way to go through it. So the bouquet multi, uh, you've got the dictionary neutral there, your expedition. Uh, do have a look online. It is the best way to ensure that you are getting uh, the right design that you're looking for. Now, just before we head back to Natasha, just wanted to show you the tablet pa uh, pattern that we're getting here. What I love about this and something Natasha touched on, the thing with the tablets, and Natasha, absolutely right, all tablets are different sizes. Mm. So uh, the real genius of this design is Natasha, and this took some engineering, and this is where Natasha is so clever, because she's come up with a pattern that allows you then to adapt and personalize to a specific size. This isn't a pattern where it's a set size, and if your tablet's bigger or small, uh, smaller, you're kind of stuck. You will adapt your design to the size of the tablet, because your tablet might be one size, but then you're going to make it for somebody else, and it's a totally different size. Where I really think this comes into its own, because we talk about tablet size, Natasha's actually made a case for her laptop. So forget tablet, we've taken it to a whole different level. You can create a case 
for your laptop with the fabric we have on the show or fabric you have in your stash. But I have to say, the Tim Holtz fabric, whether it's a tablet, a tablet case or a laptop case, works so well. Uh, speaking of which, I think we're going to head back to Natasha now uh, and continue our demonstration. Oh, I put a sneaky pocket on my laptop one as well, so I could put my earphones and pens and stuff in the front as well. So, yeah, that's what you can start to do when you're, when you're designing your own. So we've got our two layers of wadding here. That's choice. One is absolutely uh, perfect as well. Now, there are various ways that I looked at fastening these. Um, you can use Velcro, hook and loop fastening. Uh, you can use poppers. You can use buttons. Actually, buttons with some elastic the other side. If you put a button on there and then attach your elastic through the binding um, and then that's a lovely way. Uh, I'm going to show a magnetic clasp. Um, I didn't when I demoed this on, on my Natasha Make Show the other day because I wasn't sure if magnets were okay uh, with, with electronic devices and then everyone went, yeah? What are you being so cautious about? So I'm like, fine. <laughs> fine. On your head be it. I'll give it a go. So when you have these basically just stop it from ripping through the fabric. When you have a magnetic clasp, and these are really strong ones, you have, whoop, there we go. Uh, you have the male and the female part of the clip. So I'm going to put the male side on here and then the female, uh, sorry, the female part there and the male one will clip over the top. So imagine this is going to be folded and we do this now because we'll bind it later um, so it's a, it's a good thing to have in now because before these two get sewn together I want to hide all of all the gadgets all the all the workings in there and not have it there where it will scratch your screen so now is the time to do it so if you're inserting anything like this do it now um, what I would say is you see, that's going to go the other side of the fabric. So use that. Decide whereabouts you want to do it, in the middle or whatever. Make sure that you do it far enough in that you're not going to catch it with your, wadding, uh, with your binding. And so if you want it sort of in the middle there, and then just make two little marks like that. And then get your very sharpest little scissors. And actually, I'm going to take that away because knowing my luck, I'll just snip through all of that. Um, and just fold it in half and make a tiny little snip and again go smaller rather than bigger because you can always you can always go bigger but you can't you know you can't sort of sew it up again and just try and put those through there like so you see there we go they're tiny now this is going to come under some stick, right? This is going to be done up, undone, done up, undone. So what I would say is get another bit of your wadding. Just another little square. And again, I would reinforce that with another bit of wadding. Again, just fold it and snip it. Or if you've got interfacing or something, just giving it a little bit of extra oomph there. There they go through. And then you put that on there. And then push those out. <laughs> Quite straightforward, says our producer. She's surprised by this. Uh, you thought it would be harder. No, that's it. That's absolutely it. But then, you see, that is attached. But when that lining will go back on, it's then hidden. Okay. Um, now, the binding is going to go on and I'm, I'm going to use this grey binding um, and I also use this for the other fastening okay so that will go that will go around there so what I will do again with this because I don't I don't want that going all the way through is I'll take a length of the binding you get plenty by the way um, you get three, yeah, three meters well I didn't know how big everyone's things were going to be <laughs> Did I? That was that was my problem. I didn't know how big everything was going to be, so I'm just going to make that little snip there, that little snip there, um, and then we will just do exactly the same. Make a little snip, little snip, and put that through. If you want to make uh, your own, your own kind of. Um, clasp then you can absolutely you can I'm gonna 
um, um, I'm going to get another little bit of wadding. Again, this just helps to reinforce. I might even double up. Ooh, let's go crazy, shall we? And it's just giving it that extra little bit of oomph as we go. And then pop that through there, through there. That way, and then through that one, that on there, and then and then you can just trim that back a little bit there. And then by the time that that is folded over, and you'll trim that back and you can just stitch across there and across there to hold it in place and then down there, then you are good to go with that. But I will just trim back a little bit on those sides there and neaten it up and make it look smart. Um, and that, do 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 do. I'll be fine. So if I just uh, still got it attached to the roll. And again. So I'm just going to go over the edge, just obviously avoiding going through the actual uh, element there. Now there are lots of different ways. You can of course make your own claspy thing out of some of the uh, out of the fabric as well and then you can really hide it. I would redo that because I scuffed it but um, you get the idea. We'll come back to that because we're going to have a look now at what we then do on the inside. So from in here, this is your inside. Fold it in half and mark that halfway point. How long have I got? Okay. So that is there and there. That's my halfway point. Okay. Now, from there, I then want to mark um, two inches in down there and two inches there. And I'm going to do that on every corner. We're going to put some elastic to keep it from slipping out, okay? And these are just the markings. Now, if you're doing a large piece, so for my laptop, what I did was um, for my laptop, oh, hang on, sorry, what am I doing? There. Uh, for my laptop, all I did uh, was I put an extra half inch on, which was fine just because it was a larger, a larger thing that it had to contain. Okay. So then just a little piece of elastic will go from there to there. Now I normally use a thicker elastic, but obviously between here and home, it's dropped out somewhere. So I would normally use slightly thicker elastic, uh, but someone very kindly lent me some. Um, so, yeah, we won't, we won't say, they're, they're slightly unaware they've lent it, um, but they have inadvertently saved the day for which we are all very, very, very grateful. So yeah, so with the thicker elastic, that would just lie along there. And what you're gonna do is just stitch over um, just back and forth just a couple of times in each little place just to uh, just to start to sew it in so we'll we'll start to do that now and again if you don't want this to come through both layers then don't just do it on the t on one of the layers if that makes sense if you don't want to see this from from the cover Again, this is much easier with, with thicker elastic. But on that marker that you've done, go forwards. Oh, no. Might have to hand stitch this one in. See, I didn't try that one, did I? There we go. Let's try over. There we go. It just needs, basically, we're just tacking it in. 
and along here so I'll have a little bit more of a run up yeah <laughs> watching this woman with this elastic that looks very familiar oh no I've missed it this so this yeah this is really a little bit too narrow but we're gonna give it a go so bear with me it's amazing how stuff can just travel isn't it uh, 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 uh. We got it. We got it. Ah, oh! I'm gonna go in with um with some with some tweezers. Talk amongst yourself for a minute. There we go. Right, we got that in. But imagine that this is done. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we we've got the technology really. There you go. And the thing is, this is all going to be hidden by your binding, so it doesn't matter if it takes you a couple of goes. In fact, it's probably better that it does, because...